Um, yeah, you know, out of all the animal discussions we've had, what's um, what's the lethality of giraffes? Are they are they useless or are they like surprising? Um, giraffes? Sure. Yeah. giraffes? I have no are, clue. Like, incredibly docile. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they are. Are they like? Yeah, they they seem like a skittish bunch. Yeah, like zebras are the ones that you kind of need to be careful about because they'll uh they'll destroy your face if you get behind them. Damn. That's yeah. That's yeah. That's what just horses as getting, well, right? That kick, kicking, yeah, they kick donkeys, donkeys in hit with their legs. Yeah. Let's see. Mules though, you. man. Talk about an animal that don't give a fuck. Mules are, <laughs> mules are up there. Oh, oh that that'd be something. Which animal has the strongest kick? It, oh, which animal? Hmm, I think it's the, it the Bruce be. Lee. Which animal the Bruce Lee? Strongest? Yeah, they all have the. Well, it says here it's zebras. Zebras, zebras yeah. really? Yeah, I even said it yeah. like y'all say it for inclusion. Yeah. Um, also, desert dwelling camels. Apparently, <laughs> really? Okay, I can yeah, believe that a horse's kick because horses have very strong hind legs in particular. I can so, believe that a kick from a because it's not just the kick; it's the hoof at the end and oh, how yeah. solid they are. Because it's not just like I'm hitting like it's not a human punch where you've got some flesh and some give and that sort of thing. There's this 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 tough super horn. It's like a, basically like a horn hitting you. And there's just the transition of force it must just be super intense. So apparently zebras have been known to kill lions with their kick. I like can believe full, it. Full grown lions. When Is it like when they, the when they pounce and they just get the kick right in the face, it'll like I'm, fuck I'm them up? I'm imagining because that's like I the bet. defensive mechanism, right? Is that they kick when they're, they're about to be in you know, somebody's dinner. Apparently giraffes also have really strong kicks. Oh, okay. Uh, you need drafts. Yeah, I guess I'd like. To... I guess they've got so much leverage in terms of their limbs and how long they could be. Uh, let's let's see. I didn't know that giraffe kick. Yeah, so giraffes kick lions for, and to defend themselves, and apparently giraffes have a very high rate of survival survival uh, once they become adults. Like they're just unlikely to die. Is that because they're not seen as good prospects for for like meat? So this is what it says on Wikipedia. I bet because they could be dangerous size, because of their size, eyesight, and powerful kicks. Adult giraffes are usually not the subject of predation. Um, so they get to sit in their ivory tower. Them, <laughs> they sit well, almost. <laughs> well, of all the I things mean, that you perfect. could, if you're a lion. And it's like we talked about with the, the the tiger thing earlier. If if you're a if you're a predator and you have to actively go out and hunt and chase prey, and you have a really really big interest and investment in staying healthy and all of your limbs working, yeah. um, do you you want to go after the weak and the sick and the 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 little ones when you can? You don't want to okay. you don't want to risk the you know an, an adult big old critter kicking you or or throwing you off. Well, you I mean, don't want to we, take risks we, uh, if you can avoid it. Well, that's, yeah, we see this sort of behavior in, like, lions. They always sort of, you're picking and choosing. Like, you're not, you're not going for the strong ones. That's, uh, it's not worth it. Um, I guess, uh, that's, I didn't know that, like, giraffes had a really strong kick. That is, uh, that is news to me. I can believe me. it. Yeah. I can believe I, it. I guess but I, all I, I need in my brain is to friendly. see it logistically. Is it like a stomp? I think it would be like a kick from the hind legs, I would imagine. Because sure. when you look at how big, so big a giraffe's legs yeah, are... That's true. Or, yeah, actually, yeah. And, think, and plus, I, I imagine that a giraffe's limbs have a lot of muscle to them so that it can help mm. keep its balance because yeah. the, the, the neck and the head is so, you know, they're so high that those legs have to be pretty sturdy just to make sure it doesn't, so it can correct itself and run man. and gallop as it does like, but you look at these pictures you're like man giraffes are like really cool like, they, well, <laughs> such a i animal. love the idea they that through at, natural selection and stuff the longer the necks the more they survived and thus they just kept getting longer with mutations that's, that's hilarious. actually literally how it happened yeah yeah, yeah that's why I said that's it. legitimately <laughs> how it yeah that's that's awesome like they're really cool it's it's such a cool profile for an animal i wonder how big the hooves are they must um, be fucking huge. 
so the front and back legs of a giraffe are the same length. Um, they a giraffe can reach a sprint speed of sixty kilometers per hour. Wow, damn, sixty! And they, All right. they can and they can sustain fifty kilometers per hour for several kilometers. Wow. Most animals I'm, are not good long distance. Uh, no, but giraffes sprinters. Man. But some of them can. Humans are actually one of the best long distance yeah. runners. Don't, yeah, don't we have, right. yeah. we're top dog for endurance, right? We have a lot of endurance. Let's see, animals with best Humans endurance. often get classified as we're just sort of okay at everything. Like I'm we're pretty not specialized sure. for anything. So, but isn't on endurance though our like key in ingredient? That's why we're really good at we can kill anything almost because of endurance. Super helpful. Well, here's a so number one is horses. Horses have the best like ma best marathoners, then humans, and then sled dogs, then camels, uh, then antelope, then ostrich. Wait, is man in the listing or no? Second, yeah. Oh, okay. Behind horses, because horses are better than us. Yeah, we don't. We don't have. <laughs> I great... like how we're second in the list. And then we just <laughs> yeah. like horses. You work for us now. <laughs> <laughs> I like your endurance now. horse. I wish to have yeah. it. <laughs> we are going to turn you into something magnificent. Just give us a couple thousand years. Just You're going to be amazing. Years, I That's the like, thing uh, that, that always feels like the way to describe horses. Honestly, they are they majestic, are incredible. Yeah, I, uh, that, yeah, I, they're I, like I, lions. They're up there in majestic creatures. I've really come to appreciate. You horses. guys are fucking furries. I swear to God, I'm not fucked I'm a just... single furry. Well, I might have. I just didn't know it. But... And you've been on the internet <laughs> so long, you can't separate furries from just animals. Oh, yeah, terrible. Um, there's, wow, there's okay. no difference. You need to go outside and see them. They, they do all kinds of cool things. They're not just people who are you're in talking suits. about other kin. I think, I think <laughs> raccoons are like one of the coolest animals. The fact that they can memorize locks years later after they've cracked them. It's like, man, raccoons like, <laughs> like... Sly Cooper. Sly Cooper yeah, Cooper's around here, coons are they're, mm, they're they're crafty. Yeah, that, that's uh, fun. and they're brave oftentimes. Yeah. That little fun fact makes me think of like humans again. Like, hmm, can we take this power from them? Can we harvest this? It's like we need to do that with all of them. We should imagine if you just had like um raccoons as bomb defusal experts, you know, <laughs> just send them in to defuse these bombs. And when they come back, you give them like a cookie or something. It's like good job, buddy. <laughs> you did it. I'm proud well, of you. Yeah, like the the big uh, the giant uh, African pouched rat. Wait, the that giant for... African pouched rat. Hold on. What? Yeah, the, so they're these they're these big they're these big rats, and they use them to sniff out landmines and stuff. And they oh, can they're huge. They, they sent, yeah, they're huge, and so they use them to sniff out and find all of these landmines because they're 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 small enough to where they don't set off landmines or anything, so they can find the landmines and mark them. So that humans can go in later after all of the landmines have been filled or found and then set them off safely. And it's like a career for these rats and they take yeah, care of them and they get to retire and all that sort of thing. It's on Wikipedia. They're, they get meadows and stuff. It's super great. It's actually really yeah. awesome. In 2020, a hero rat named Magawa received a gold medal. The animal, the animal equivalent of a George Cross. Nice. I like that how we have an animal equivalent of the St. George. Well, I hope the animals right. understand that we really appreciate what they do. <laughs> well, it's what, I'm sure they're this, snacking and feasting their way to happiness. Yeah, quite Apparently literally good uh, rat, yeah. This yeah. rat is a good rat. He he detected 71 landmines and 31 items of unexploded ordnance, clearing over 2,000, 2 million square feet in Cambodia, Jeez. preventing many injuries and deaths in his five-year career. Like, this rat has done more good for the world <laughs> than, like, a lot of, uh, yeah, it's than a lot of humans. I want to say as well, I had giraffes searching on my screen, and I was just like, at a distance, I was like, it kind of looks like he has an afro. <laughs> just like, no, it does. <laughs> yeah. He is a uh, giraffe guy. dynamite. He has style. He has got style, look at him. Um, I was thinking as I well. Imagine, yeah, once you get to be an adult giraffe, life's just sort of easy mode from that point on. That yeah, you'll never. And you're just like, I made it. I made it. I made it. I'm just gonna eat leaves and fuck, and then that's it. Yeah, I've done it. I made it. Um, on this conversation, I was thinking about how if we got to a point where you could like customize to com complete 
like levels what kind of pet you would want so they're completely obedient and domesticated mm. to whatever degree what do you think would end up being the most popular do you think it would just be dog or do you think it would be something more crazy and exotic uh, dude, i feel like if i, I could think is like that it's not difficult to keep like if they are some well, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, if, if there was a modifier where, like, I could make it so that they don't eat much, but they're still, like, as big as they are and, and can run as far. Like, a horse like if, if you could modify their... I Can you modify their, like, actual needs as animals in terms of space? And I, was gonna, I was gonna go as... See, this is the thing. I think I answered my own question, so I was thinking about it. It's like, if it was complete unlock, you could do whatever you wanted. I imagine people would fucking have, like dragons and shit that are really friendly right, and don't hurt or kill that. anything and don't even need food they're just chill well, i mean if I it had to be a real animal it'd probably be bears because they're pretty mm. resilient and they, 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 they're, they're kind of fluffy and you know if they were friendly it'd be you nice think we would breathe so you think like with bears we would eventually breed them to be like we'd have teacup bears and stuff like that <laughs> like little mini or, bears or like really they, really they big just, ones mini like bears. Maybe, like, bears you could keep them the size of a cub essentially their whole lives just yeah for, being able to have that's what I'm thinking, like because like, I think that'll be the big determinant is there will be a size limit on what people will be able to reasonably have. Well, th think of like a character creation screen with sliders and stuff. So you can you can do pretty much whatever you want. Yeah. And um, if you wanted to select the color of your bear, like a bear the size of your hand, and that's its maximum, or um, I don't know, a Maybe mouse bear. the size of your house, if you really really want to. Hmm. Or a grouse the size of your house. Hmm. Oh. Whoa, but yeah, I was thinking if it was full on locks, oh. I think people go with like fantasy creatures. Someone would have like, I want a Balrog. I want a little Balrog to follow like, me around. I feel, like a, I feel like I definitely would like a penguin to just chill out <laughs> with. Like, you know, we watch They TV. already chill out anyway. They yeah, already kind of hang. That's, yeah, that's right. So and they're snazzy dressers. To, I don't even need to change them. They're just, they're just fine the way they're they are. They're just perfect. You knock out the... Um, all right. Like, the, the environmental requirements for them are just all sorted through yeah, genetic cold. engineering. Yeah. So they can like I think dogs more. would still take the top spot. Um, I think they have a they have a huge head start in terms of culture and history and that. Yeah, sort I think of people thing. would default to just having the perfect dog. They would edit it so that yeah, the dog and, is always happy and stuff. Well, and you already have so many different varieties of dog. It's almost like you know, Canis familiaris gives you so many different options just from that alone. Um, hmm. That it would True. fill so many different requirements, from the very big ones to the tiny ones, because there's like like there's a dog for everyone, kind of. Well, I I saw somebody in chat suggest something interesting: uh, Velociraptor <laughs> or like a dinosaur. Well, again, if you could just make up your own creature, right? That's what something that could be done with a lot of people. People might do that. Mm -hmm. Like, check how fucking awesome mine is. It can fly. It can Man. breathe ice. Yeah, you'd start like off the with the basics, it. like, all right, do you want an endotherm or an ectotherm? I was like, okay, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. this one or that one, like, which one's better for this, which one's better for that? Oh, you want male or female? I, was, I don't know. The little leg slider uh, goes from zero to, like, thousands. <laughs> like, hmm, I don't know. Three? If, if there was, like, a fantasy creature, like, a standard fantasy creature, what would, what do you think would be, like, the most popular one? Probably a dragon. No, uh, griffin that maybe would, would be up there. Could, I don't know. Griffin, you mean griffin that people would, would keep as there. pets, or just people yeah. that people just like? No, that's pets. Um, like, well, pets makes it complicated because a lot of these things are like. Can you imagine the requirements of keeping a dragon? Holy shit! Okay. That's, yeah, that's that would true. be only the super wealthy would be able to afford the upkeep on one. Let's assume that I don't know they eat as much as a dog, <laughs> and then Jeez. well, okay. <laughs> I guess uh, the problem with the that's... dragon is like if you needed to move into an apartment, you just fucked like that dragon's yeah. gonna sleep on the roof or like and if he does he might destroy the building. You can I never have feel, a I dragon feel like dragons inside. are a bit too volatile, even They're accidentally. Big, I think. I feel like that a griffin well. might be more viable. Um though what griffins a pocket are dragon. Like, huge as well. That's pretty big. Pocket dragon. Not yeah. as big. Yeah. Um like a little like a like a worm or a or a, I don't know. I don't know the. I I don't know how big they are in terms of like worm, drake, salamander, kobold, dragon. You know, I don't know the sliding scale. Kobolds are small, Hippo but I think they're like they're not animals. They're in, they're intelligent, so they don't really count. Are they that intelligent Wait, you... though? Aren't they kind of dumb? Uh, it depends. Uh, on I get it depends on which kind of kobold you go with. Um. 
I mean, they're like a playable race in some tabletop RPGs, like Pathfinder and stuff. Um, they're Pegasus. enemies and other things. I can see Pegasus Ooh, being popular. That would... Ooh, Pegasus, yeah, Pegasus. Because yeah. that's just like a horse. It's just a flying <laughs> horse. It's, it's just horse. It's horse DLC is essentially what yeah. it is. Pretty much. And yeah. everyone who has horses, they already like have them. Oh, man. So, Pegasus right, is actually a really good one. Like That's that is a good one. <laughs> a Again, the happen. elegance. Talk about majestic. Yeah. yeah. Top of the list for the, the majestic creature is the Pegasus. <laughs> really a gnome. Like... <laughs> you just oh, have a gnome. <laughs> we we're forgetting unicorns. Oh yeah, of course, unicorn. Uh, uh, I prefer. I don't see much value in unicorns. Like they have a horn on their head. That's that's. Well, no. Here's get. the thing: the horn has incredible medicinal properties. Oh. Oh yeah, if it can cast spells and shit, you know. Yeah, the the horn yeah. of a unicorn can like cure any disease, but unicorns are super duper pure and harming one or killing one is yeah. It's like against nature itself and. Depending on the lore, I mean, only virgins can see unicorns, depending on, you know, which iteration of it uh, hmm. you go with. Just paint it so that you can always see it. Just paint it. You can always see the paint. <laughs> the invisible horse. I was going to say as well, I don't want to under undermine the importance of choosing gnome. I love the idea of bringing out your little gnome, and it's just a guy who's like, I don't like this. I don't like being your pet. It's fucked up. Grant me my freedom, <laughs> you giant creature. He's like, no, you're happy, no, but he's like, I'm not happy. It's not what I want. I'm not. Uh, this is not what I saw my <laughs> my life being as growing up. I bet you know. I bet some of the I bet some of the monkeys would be high on that list too. Oh, fuck, yeah. like flying monkeys. But like, imagine like, if you had a, just a chimpanzee. Like, yeah, a, a, really a chimpanzee hurt you. or a. Think of all the different kinds of monkeys that aren't particularly like big, even. They could just hang out, hang out with you around, wherever you go, yeah, and be uh, super, uh, I've been you know, looking for this. I've been looking for this, and it, th these guys literally already did this. I just put oh, it in the chat there. Couple raised. Oh no! They, they, they bear they, they a just, son. They raised a bear and lived with a bear, and everything As was fine. Son on beer and pasta, despite warnings, he'd kill them. Uh, wait, so he did? I'm guessing. Is no, the... no. The, oh. bear, the bear lived to uh, to old age and died. Wow, and it was a happy family. Man. I can believe that there are plenty of docile bears who are more than well, happy to hang around Wojak, to eat their however. pasta. Wojak you is, never... the, is the main one that you think about. You guys have heard of Wojak, right? Um, the Polish bear. I don't, I don't think so. No. So every once in a while, song. I watch, uh, I get recommendations for like animal videos, and it'll be like this, you know, this like like this farmer and his cow have like they're like super good friends, or someone with a bear, or some crazy crazy Russian man lives with bear as son for twenty years, or something like that. Well, it'll pop up. Wojak predates the bear videos because he was uh he was um he, he was in World War Two. He was part of the Polish army, or is it Wojtek? Oh yeah, that's that's his name. I don't want to say Wojak, Wojtek. That's his name. Oh damn! I need to. I like. It. I wonder if there's oh. actually a Wojak of him then. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, maybe. You never Wait, know. Where you guys, you guys yeah, know Gentle Ben, Wojtek. though, right? That's a famous bear. Uh, oh, Ben, I have a question. <laughs> 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 Again, no, ben, another no. story of <laughs> the Ben of the he eventually eats them. <laughs> ben, <There it> is. <laughs> no Ben, and no Wojtek part of the Russian army um and he he delivered artillery to um to like Polish soldiers so he'd like carry the artillery to them and help them fire it uh he got a medal and a great <laughs> yeah it's um and he's that's, got a that's... whole bunch of uh, statues for him all over the place oh yeah i can imagine if you could get a bear to do all that stuff you bet you bet your ass you're building statues yeah he He's got statues in like all over in Poland. He's got statues in Scotland. He, um, I'm pretty sure that they put uh, that particular part of the army put uh, a bear on their like logo or their coat of arms, like specifically. That's because a good of him. history to call back to. I was like, yeah, we had a bear who helped us. We had a bear who delivered bank. artillery to us. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> that special, badass. just the bear that we use to deliver yeah. artillery shells. It's fine. It's no big deal. You know, yeah. I, I, just, I, I assumed everyone else had one. I guess they don't, but it's it's fine. It's whatever. You know, it was, it was <laughs> I thought everybody had like really cool bears that hang out and drink yeah, vodka just... with them. 
had to look at their <laughs> assumed it was a good idea, and so we did it. It's just weird that no one else did that. I don't know. I guess if it's special. See, you know. that would be really awesome, and if it became, like, common, it would be really awesome up until it's like, should they have rights? <laughs> and everyone's like, wow, okay. mm, oh, well, what kind of rights? Mm, I don't know. Like, the bears are really like, chill. They even start talking, communicating and stuff, and then one of them at one point is like, can I, um, can I, like, live life the way I want to? <laughs> it's like, well, the bear's like, I'm a conscientious objector. I don't, I, like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to fight. There is a pacifist. Wanna... Yeah. Well, okay. what if they just, had, be... if they just created Winnie the Pooh in real life? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think that this, this is a good decision. Oh, father. He just Maybe wants to eat Maybe blowing people up at long distances shouldn't be something that I focus on. Yeah. I'm rumbly in my tumbly for vodkly. For <laughs> vodkly. I just, he does I nothing but it... drinks mead all the time. Enjoys yeah, windy days. So Enjoy anyway, windy days. That's, so that's anyway, a specific one. Yeah. So um, there. welcome to Efab one forty eight with special guest, um, thin long otaku. Hello, sir. How do you do? Is this how you guys always start it? You Pretty much. <laughs> jibber jab for a while. We gotta let everyone get in, you know. And yeah, it's, sometimes instead sometimes. of putting a "we'll be here in fifteen minutes" screen like all of the hack streamers out there, instead we have a little chin wag, and anybody who is here can have some fun, listen, contribute, and then the people who aren't here will be chin, able to catch up right chin away. Chin wag. A chin wag. I oh, I'm right. not aware of this this saying chin wag. But, um, so I went to go to the channel and just kind of checked it out, and you guys have EFAP minis that are like five hours long, <laughs> and then you have EFAP regulars that are like ten hours long. Is that about right? Yeah. And then EFAP yeah, movies. the minis are smaller. Yeah, that's yes, the they name. are much smaller. So um, you ever have any EFAP maxis where they're like a whole day? Every once a year. Yeah, we're actually doing one in like two weeks. It's gonna be great. Yeah, our our year anniversaries we do um yeah. And talk about all of the things. Ones. Nice, nice. <laughs> Someone in the chat says that clout chasing lamoid called SFO is here. That's me. Well clout chasing lamoid. You would have been your here. All name. Um, you would have been here last week, but Satan did stuff to you. It was it was horrible. And uh Yes. We are now at the point. Where it's like, well, we could have you on, but we can't possibly talk about last week's subject, because it's done. And then Hassan decided to have comments <laughs> upon what happened. And so, um, uh, yeah. me being the, the fun little content creator that I am, remember, we don't exist. People who make YouTube videos and stream for long amounts of time, they're a mystical creature. They're a rare. Nobody knows what they are. They're like a Pegasus. Yeah, a unicron. That's what uh, no, one of the Transformers is called, right? Unicron. Unicron, uh, yeah. To be fair, I can believe that only virgins would, would watch his son. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I did something that I would not recommend anyone ever do. I'm currently editing a video of nondescript nature, and when I'm doing visual edits, right, I'll be I'll say something in the timeline, I'll be like, right, I need the visual, blah blah blah, I will go search for it. While I'm searching for it, I'm like, I could play a video of any kind. This is time that I can spend catching up on uh, channels I'm subscribed to that I actually want to listen to, as well as different things, maybe testing out for EFAP, or, in this case, I was told he did some, had some thoughts on, on, on what we'd said, and so I oh decided to take the entire stream <clears throat> and watch it from start to finish to make sure I got really? the full context, oh my God. chopped it up, Put it together in a wow. new way to let you guys enjoy in 20 minutes. That's how long the video is. <laughs> what I had to go through in eight <laughs> hours. So, eight hours. well, I put it on 1.5 or two times speed to not kill myself too four much. Four hours. Wow. Yeah. Um, Damn. Still. And four all hours. I've can. This is the first time I've watched a full stream from Hassan, and I am even more baffled than before. He is the like. What? What do you get by being there? I don't understand it. It's, um, well... He's a bit unwatchable, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, but he's simultaneously unwatchable and one of the most popular streamers. It's like, what... How, how did... Boggles well, he's the mind. Kind of, he's kind of like... He's kind of like the inverse of Crowder, because I also think Crowder's kind of unwatchable, but he's also hyper-popular, so... <laughs> well, just the opposite image. team. Um, I feel, yeah, because yeah, I feel like these, these sorts of anomalies exist all over the place, and it's really hard to figure out what the fuck's happening, because... 
I watched um, I watched the eight hours. I gave myself timestamps to make sure when I go back through it, I knew what I could collect to show you guys what I found on my journeys. It was like it was going to a different world watching a whole Assange stream. Because the, the thing I find that's really interesting about um, but you made it comparing now, unscathed, mentally unscathed. Comparing something like EFAP to a lot of Twitch streams is um, they. As you guys saw from last week, this is kind of simultaneously catching up. Uh, by the way, do you want me to call? What, what do, you, do, do, do you wish to go by short fat otaku or uh, or uh, dev? You can call me dev. That's Sweet, my name. that's a lot simpler. Um, so I get what's that short for? I will. Here's the thing. Um, no, oh, dev's, dev's my real name. Oh, sweet. Um, but yeah, but uh, yeah, the whole short fat otaku what? thing just came about because when we started our channel, we were. We were just, you know, we were younger. We were doing like me and my friends doing like anime stuff, and it was just kind of like a jokey name that that stuck. And now I'm just stuck with it. <laughs> so it's not short for you being a Change developer or a, or a devastator. People don't, you know what? You YouTube YouTube audiences react poorly if you change your YouTube channel name. You know. They do. Yeah, like, who, who the fuck is this? Why am I, why am I subscribed to this guy? Like <laughs> we we started the channel in like 2009. We were just goofing around, and then it just stuck. You know, it just kind of happens that way. Well, I think it's beautiful. I, I think it's 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 quick, short, nice and fat, you know, and mm -hmm. and <laughs> it's Hockey. just it's beautiful. I actually I knew someone else uh, called Dev IRL. I can't remember what their fucking full name was. If there was, was it is it just Dev? Is Dev short for anything in 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 the entirety of the Earth? I'm trying to think. Like Earth uh, I'm not I'm not saying a single thing about it because people are already trying to dox me right as we. Oh speak, yeah, no so worries. Gonna... I was just thinking out of curiosity. <laughs> I, a few have now come to mind, but. Uh, what I was what I was saying was with streams like EFAP compared to let's say a lot of Twitch streamers, um, as you saw with last week. So again, as I'm going to catch people up, he he felt that um, he was like like the, our issue must be when he leaves the camera. He he was like, oh, you know, I'm going to get food. I'm still watching it, so there's no difference. Without realizing that we don't actually care if he's on the camera or not. It's the lack of commentary, the lack <laughs> of transforming the fucking content. So. What I find interesting is... inability to grasp what the point was was actually shocking. Fascinating, honestly. Like, what I, a I what a dumb, dumb person. <laughs> so, um, what I found interesting is yeah. a comparison to Eva. We can't get away with that. Like, if we're not talking, everyone might be like, "Shit, are they gone?" Hello, which happens a lot. Yeah. Some some guests might be quiet for like five or ten minutes, and then people be like, "Are they dead? Did they die? Are they gone?" And it's just like because we don't have video of us making some faces. Eating some nuggies, you know. We don't get that content, I guess, when they are here watching us. We we don't we don't get the benefit mm. of that, and so we we have to keep commentating to not only make up for that, but also because we feel that is what we're fucking here to do. Um, well, have you guys ever considered doing a bunch of uh, face cams and then doing like soy faces right into them? I've considered no, that could be your thing. streaming a chair. No, put that on my list. Put, up, put that on my list here. <laughs> I, 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 feel, I feel personally attacked by that comment. Hello, Metal. Hi. Metal, do you, do you have a toy face? <laughs> we, we will no, have... No, because I use a webcam. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, because I said he just a chair. Which Metal's done before, and he's played yeah, the Sound Piker videos also... while he goes. I... 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 I no. <laughs> That would wow. be a great meme to catch on on the internet. Whenever you need to go AFK, you just put on Hassan Piker streams. <laughs> I would love if that happened. <laughs> that's just what everyone does. Well, uh, one of the things we saw when, when one of his fads was like, you couldn't just play copyright free music and put a BRB screen on, like, and then name like some streamers that do. And he just goes, no, it's not what I want to do. <laughs> like, <laughs> want to just leave. I just want to play other people's stuff. Jeez. Um, so. When I was watching it, um, I got a full set of all the things that we had issues with him for. Which, by the way, this is after he knew about like the response from Jay and stuff. This is the stream after. And um, eventually, it got to the point where an unfortunate viewer made a comment that made him think about this horrible circumstance that we're in right now. And he decided to comment mm. on it. And then soon after, he starts commenting on copyright, which was unrelated entirely to our situation. I'm also related to a streamer called XQC, who is counterclaiming being sued by the Olympics, I think? Because he was watching the Olympics on Twitch, and they, they tried to shut him down, and now he's trying to counter sue, um, which is good. That's, that'll be an interesting topic as well. Um, he should have just said he was playing, like, the PS5 Olympics game. 
Sonic and Mario yeah, the Olympics yeah. or whatever, yeah. <laughs> you can probably get away you with that. You guys recall that, how it happened a couple of years ago? There was like a UFC Wrestler. match and one guy, yeah. it was it, they, they streamed yeah. UFC, but they yeah. just, they put themselves in the corner with a controller and they're like, I'm playing UFC. Yeah, they, they you, I, bravo to that person, but uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that. That's You're playing with fire on that one. Oh, yeah. I have provided you guys a, uh, a watch together link. Now, like I said, the format of this is me having condensed eight hours into 20 minutes of things that are worthwhile in seeing uh, from his stream, but not because they're interesting from him, simply because they're interesting for us to be able to respond to. He's not happy mm. with our existence. Not a surprise. That's, um, that's, right. that's a badge of honor. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, I have to ask a little bit of context. What happened last week that made him... So it all um, begins you guys. in the wonderful world of Twitch, where they watch videos without commenting on them while eating food sometimes and also leaving the room. Uh, this happened to Jay's relatively recent video. I think it came out like a year ago or something. That's why I say relatively recent. A uh, <laughs> couple streamers watched it, which is fine. But then one streamer watched it, uh, Critical, without saying really anything, and then like just thanking subs as they came in. And when the video finished, no credit, just moved on. And so it was, you know, we're crossing a line between enjoying and reacting to content while providing your own criticism slash commentary and that your fans can sort of engage with you with. We've crossed over to you're just pilfering other people's content to entertain your viewers while you get paid, which is ethically not cool. That's mainly the point we're going with. And that's what Jay was saying. Jay was just like, not, not, not cool. But you know what? It's fine. We did a whole episode going through it on, I think, episode 144? I can't quite remember now. But nice and fun. Then Hassan watched this video, and he provided what was probably the most embarrassing reaction to it out of everybody. He left the room for most of it, and he covered what you, like, the channel name for most of it. And the second Jay started to promote, um... Just like, so we're clear, when, when he says he covered the channel name... He like it was covered up. Yeah, what I mean is he full screened it Not so you like couldn't he see it. Not like covered it. it like yeah, like he didn't do it yeah. deliberately. He did it because he's incompetent. Um, which is the answer so to just, a lot of things he, Hassan he, does. He 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 started to watch your video but didn't credit you at all, basically. Well, Jay, um, he watched the whole. Right, he had yes. the whole video entertain his fans, and then right at the end, Jay is like, "I'm working on a Doctor Who video." You could, and he just cuts him off and then goes on to the next topic. It's like, uh, <laughs> just it see it. And the undiscerning viewer might think that it was spiteful in nature. A little bit. Um, it, it reminds me of something that uh, me and Metal, uh, the, the thing that me and Metal met over all those years ago. It's this this idea that you're like, ew, you can't promote on my content. Go away. When it's like you just you just stole all. Of it. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> um, and yeah, and, and there are many highlights, including but not limited to a chatter saying that Jay is the one that should try and make some content before complaining, in re meaning that Hassan is the one that's that actually working hard. Baffling. Um, <clears throat> yeah, absolutely uh, insane. Then you have uh, Hassan saying, what do you expect him to do? Die? Like, in relation to just pause the fucking video when you're not in the room? That would be a really great start. And then he said, his, his, his big excuse for all of this is that sometimes his mother isn't there to cook him the nuggies. So, um, something that I think even huge fans of Hassan would have been like, he probably shouldn't have said that. That's, that wasn't a great thing to have said. <laughs> <laughs> but he said it, and ironically, he even, like, it was delivered after a big build-up. He explained his, like, I his think career. He said it, I think he said it almost like a humble brag. In his okay. mind, he's like, yeah, that's, I'm so cool, my mom still cooks me food, and I'm like 30 <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but you adult. guys and want not that. only am I an adult, I'm an insanely rich adult. Oh, and of course, um, Snafu, the the man who criticized him um, entirely fairly in his chat, got banned for it because Assam was very upset. Yep. So yeah. you might say the to the topics could be considered to be to be copyright criticisms, his his opinions on everything that happened, and his approach with chat, as well as some other comments. Those are like the sections that I managed to collect up. So, um, yeah, if you guys would like, I will I will take you through a journey of his eight-hour stream. I don't know which one it was exactly, like, tiles and stuff, but um, he wears a Korean I... veteran hat in it. And so I've left a clip in oh, the beginning really? of him explaining why, because I was really confused by it. But he, he gives his reason. Yeah, I... 
Oh. I, I, so I, I got to jump in here because there's there's still one bit of context that I'm missing and that maybe, maybe I just didn't hear it or, or you left it out or something. So all of this happened. I saw on watching, you know, person's video and then kind of just basically um, stealing the content, right? Yes. And but, yeah. but, but, but so the next thing that happened was that you, you like last week, the show that I was supposed to be on mm -hmm. was you. Yeah, Dev. <laughs> so, hey, <laughs> I lost my internet for like five hours. I'm sorry. But okay, okay. So last week, when you did EFAP last week, what what happened that caught Hassan's attention? Well, we, uh, I mean, I don't want to spoil it. He hasn't seen any of it. He's going to be responding to it, but he hasn't seen any of it. Uh, he's upset that we did it at all. Oh, really? Which is interesting, considering <laughs> that like, that doesn't make any sense at all. Sounds like. but... how, how, if he hasn't responded to it yet, like on his channel or anything, how do you know he's upset? Did he send you a message or...? What? So what I'm saying is, he did respond to it. He hasn't seen it. Oh, yeah. Dev, okay. you have you have the same problem that I had, where I constantly, just by my nature, tend to give him way more credit than he deserves or is owed, and then I have to <laughs> learn as I have, I have to slowly learn to just stop doing that with his son Piker. What um, <laughs> this is the thing. If he was to have watched it and came away with a negative reaction, I would totally understand. I just find it infinitely hilarious how much people love to fucking comment thoroughly on things they didn't have any concept of whatsoever, other than so, existing. So Hassan, like, rolls over, sees the thumbnail, and is like, oh, those fucking guys, how dare they? And then, like, rolls back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's pissed off. The, way <laughs> the thing is, he's been doing this for years as something of an argument he puts up himself. It's like, I've been doing this for ages, so, you know, fuck off. Like, oh, that's a that's that's a great that's argument. A meaningful point. <laughs> yeah, I've been shitty for for a decade now. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been making shitty content for way um, longer. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I've actually become kind of kind of like a, a Destiny fan over the past year or so. But one thing that I do know that Destiny does, and sometimes he doesn't do it the the best, is it is he'll do he'll he'll do that same kind of thing. Is that he'll watch the people's videos. Generally, he reacts to them. But there are times like if he has to go to the washroom or if the you know someone's at his door, he'll leave the video running for like five minutes. And he comes back and he's like, "What did I miss?" And it's like, "Oh, that's that's not exactly the greatest." Yeah, um, I would never do that. It's just ugh. yeah, but I don't think so. I also do know that that he he will. He will watch a video if his fans poke him enough about it. And I made a video just talking about how much I've been enjoying his content recently. And so eventually enough of his fans said, listen, you got to watch this SFO. You got to watch this. It's like, so he says, okay, he finally does it. And I knew that his fans did that. So at the very end, I put in a remix of um, uh, Jesse Lee Peterson singing beta male. And o over top of all of these pictures of Destiny hanging out with various, like, Twitch thoughts. <laughs> because I know that he would watch it on his stream. And, and like, he, like, immediately turned the video off. He was like, ah, he turns the video off. And, like, his entire chat erupts at him. It was, <laughs> it, it was, uh, it was amazing. Um, <laughs> amazing. Um, yeah, from what, amazing. from what I know, his arguments aren't too great on this either. He's got a, as much as he does better than Hassan, like, way better in terms of creating content from responding to them, he'll say, like, everyone's doing it, so whatever. It's like that's not not great. Well, a lot of people value in like because for, like for example, I, I think a, a good way Destiny does it is he will pull up like a true crime video, and he has some he like he's talked to some police officers about like the various things that have happened in a true crime video and in, in the case he has some he has some knowledge of legal proceedings. It's good to see to see things like broken down a bit more. I think there's some value in that. Definitely. Yeah, well, absolutely. That's just, yeah. Yeah. that's just like properly yeah. responding to a video. And well, and. I mean, that should be the just the default that you would expect everyone would do. And the way to, to fucking do it is just like this is this by the way, this was Jay's one and only request. He wanted more, but he was happy at the baseline of tell them who made the video and where you can find them. That's it. Yeah. And yeah, uh, that's asking a lot. Yeah, that, of course that was asking quite a bit. So um that's gonna be that's that'll that'll come up as a topic as well in, in this collection. But um yeah, hopefully that uh, catches everybody up who wasn't already caught up, and we can, uh, we can jump right in. Out a bunch of different things. Isn't it weird for people to wear weather veterans hats without being a veteran? No, it's deliberate. I'm doing it on purpose. I'm wearing a Korea veteran hat. I'm clearly not a fucking Korea veteran, dude. That's why he asked. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's such a great so, start. Isn't it? <laughs> uh, well, I, I know what this is referencing. Do you guys know what he's referencing here? 
Well, um, no. I've I've got no clue on what he's referencing. No. He, he's referencing um, the tr the recent transracial thing. He, he got into some trouble in the past couple of weeks. Maybe 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 about a month ago, over over the the trans Korean person. If you remember that story. I, That's what he's uh, doing. I was that was that the one where he he tried to counter argue and he was crossing lines without realizing it, which he does a lot. Let me just yes, let me just figure out who who is the person. Yeah, uh, what was their individual? Well, um, Ollie London got a bunch oh, of yeah, surgeries I know about to that, be yeah. trans Korean, and that was like a month ago. And Hassan basically went on his stream, and he has no knowledge of anything, ever. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's so, cr that sounds about right. So he goes on a stream and he's like, you know, this this trans Korean stuff sucks, but I don't actually have a solid argument against it, and I just don't like it because it makes trans people look bad. It's like, well, you're not, you're not exactly that helping like your something argument that there. He would totally say, and I just I know the, what the effects it might it might make this thing look bad, so therefore I'm just not gonna, you know, yeah, touch it. He, he, he had like the, there's like a 20 minute clip of him just being like I can't argue against this but I don't like it <laughs> and like that's the whole clip and he basically completely embarrassed himself <laughs> and I think that's what he's doing here why he's wearing a Korean veteran because there was a giant shitstorm after that because he like the entire trans community thought that that he had abandoned them everyone's like laughing at this guy like I did a video Sargon did a video a bunch of people did videos on this on like the stupidity. Like it, it, it was, it was one of the biggest moments of Hassan putting his foot in his mouth, and I think he's trying to do something here with the Korean veteran hat. Well, he's he's about to, exp well, he's about to give what his reasoning is. But yeah, you might be right on the that might be the subtext of all this because I didn't know that that was what he was going for. Stealing valor. Do you understand? I'm doing it on purpose. I I, I am stealing valor from the That's... veterans from Korea. Wait, what? I still don't understand. No, that's bad. <laughs> I, I got I got this is where I put it in because I knew everyone was gonna ask why he was wearing the hat. That was his reason. So that's all I got. Because he's he, he's steal, stealing valor. Because that, that's because um, that's a really shitty thing to do, though. It is. Well, so it makes you feel like have we missed a joke or something, or is he just, you know? Yeah, I. I, I mean, I I think there's like there's something here where like maybe he's trying to do like a listen you. The, the trans Korean argument is dumb because you can't be, for example, a trans veteran. You know, you can't identify as a veteran despite not having served, and then claim that identity, and then. If that's what he's then, going you know, after, get, like I guess, but I just the way that how he just analogous though. Well, it's so, it's like, so flatly yeah, explained the, that, you, uh, that yeah. it's so flatly explained and without context that I could totally see people just be like, "Wait, why are you stealing valor?" Mm. Yeah, he's just saying no, no, no. I'm doing the bad thing when it, everyone's wondering why are you doing the bad thing, and his answer, in his yeah. response is, oh, I'm doing the bad thing. And and the worst part about it is that if you're actually going to go down the the stealing valor route, that also still completely invalidates like, like trans women and trans men. You, you could definitely make the argument that oh, look at trans woman is stealing valor from from cis women, if if that's how you value these things, and it's like no, this doesn't help your argument, Hassan. This doesn't help what you're trying to say. Well, it it was actually hurts it. On the uh, the last week's stream, I was explaining how he um the whole N word shit with with Destiny. He accidentally made arguments that he wasn't supposed to in terms of what his community believe and support, because Hassan's just really mm -hmm. bad at this. He always has been. Um, is there any? Why does he have a Cuban? Is he like? Does he have a special affinity for like Cuba? Why? Why is he going? I'm not going to have any answers for these questions. Dictatorship <laughs> that he loves. I will not know. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure. You know, Cuba is the dictatorship that even the 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 libertarian leftists like quite a bit. So it's a political thing. No, uh, this um <laughs> this next section is basically as I was watching watching his stream, it's more so listening to it. Every once in a while I would peer over, because I can't tell the difference between him being there and not being there, because it's pretty much the same commentary. So every once in a while I'd be like, oh shit, he's not even there. So I've given you just a little compilation of the times that he did it. I've got Skeletor for copyright protection. <laughs> and for anybody who doesn't know, John, John Oliver's videos, like, whether or not you, you hate him and stuff, they're, they're pretty well edited. Like, there's a lot of work that goes into them. It's like yeah. actual like show. So like this is clearly just like, well, it's it's what we've been talking about. But the more interesting part is, Look this is there just watching, just <laughs> chilling out. <laughs> this is this um, little jacket. This is times nine speed right now. 
Oh, 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 True. And that man's story is one of And he just leaves to get a word. <laughs> so like True. That it's, took a lot out of me. I gotta go take a shit. Just just, just wanna you mention what I will say. Yeah, go ahead. I, I, I I will say it's nice that he left because that axe behind him looks really nice. Yeah, yeah, it's the God of War yeah, axe. Looks some cool stuff back there. I gotta yeah. say, yeah. The, the paper cut out of Bernie is way more entertaining than like, <laughs> the actual like, thing itself. <laughs> <laughs> Just a literal piece of paper with Bernie on it is providing more insightful commentary than Hassan. At least he's like, here. Like, so least someone in chat said. It uh, is he not stealing content from TV at this point? Is he not flying close to the sun? It's like, that's actually going to come up as yeah. a topic uh, in the last third of this video, so don't you worry. Oh, mm. you and your insight. By the way, is this chronologically edited? Like, is this the beginning of a stream? So, we you're not watching in chronological order. These are sections. Okay, that, this, that, that was a question. This section is, is the... Is um... like the beginning of the stream? It pops up the video and just leaves? <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, the the First gravity hour of the stream is just him not there. <laughs> that would be, yeah, that would be content. Yeah. Uh, this compilation is um, just the times that he left, but I'm trying to let you know where because uh, I change up the speeds. Mm -hmm. I think at one point it's that times faster. it's times twenty seven. At one point, this could be that. Yes, look fast. Just look how fast look chat is going. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> man. Holy and, shit. and I knew Fuck me. I knew I didn't need to put Skeletor on this bit because there's no like I don't think they'll copyright me for playing the fucking video at 25 times speed or 27. Uh, but yeah, imagine man. you're just sitting there like, okay, when does when does the content happen? What? Hey, can you pause for a second? Oh, I can, I, I can pause it. Can I? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. You want to hit the button I'll at the, lot, the bottom left. Time. Don't hit the screen. It doesn't yeah, work. Yeah. All right. So, um, while you were watching this and putting all this together, for 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 our sake, did you were you watching his chat and for noticing people chat. say like, "Hey, uh, where where's Hassan?" Eventually, Is complaining that he wasn't around. Well, you can see one there oh, that says, "Good one, Hassan." Like, obviously, commenting on the fact that he's not even here. Um, but yes, once it hit about the and like the guy five. Right below it. Dude, I'm here for reacts. I could watch this whenever. It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, if and you're here for reacts, like, why? Why the fuck are you the there? You know who this is, right? Um, and so, so what eventually happens? I think it takes like a, a minute before they go from just being chill about it to being like, "Where are you?" Question mark. Like, hello. And it's mixed in. It's a very low percentage of his audience that care. I honestly think most of them are there for the community. They're not actually there for San. He's just a hub. Mm. Well, like, I feel like yeah. this is proof. Like, they don't well, actually give a fuck if you're actually there. Like, they don't need you. To be honest, um, that's actually, in my opinion, the sign of a good and healthy community is that, like, like if you're there, that's, that's good. But also, if, you're, if your chat can, like, bounce off of each other and they're there for each other as well, it means you have, like, some kind of community bonding. I, I think you kind of want that on some level. Isn't that just, isn't that going to be in all communities, though? Uh, depends. Part of what makes them uh, a community is the fact that yes. they can, you know, bounce yeah, off each other and stuff. But like the like, it still needs to revolve around you fundamentally if you're a content creator. But the the idea that they could, you know, if you're not streaming but they're still hanging out in the chat afterwards, that generally means that you have like a pretty tight community, and you kind of want that. You, you you need both, you know. I don't know if yeah. that goes as far as to say is pretty tight. Um, I guess it depends on what's being said. Like, if, if there were a bunch of, like, Why crazy... Why even there? Well, this is the thing. If he was to keep... Le like, if he started leaving to the point of not being around for four hours of every eight-hour stream and then more and more and more, I think mm. the community would start to fall yes, apart. Yes, yeah, yeah. I agree, yeah. Yeah, but, like, he's got the correct ratio for now that it can maintain. And this is the thing. I feel like this is almost evolutionary. Like, he's, he's constructed the perfect way... As, he's pushed it as far as he can into Lazy Town without destroying the stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. See, for example, I, I've I've been in like other communities before as well. Um, even before I had a community of my own, where you know people would they, they, like okay, this is like maybe twelve years ago now. 
back when Twitch was, you know, uh, good. <laughs> oh but my there was, God. There was, there was a Twitch streamer that I, that I, that I followed back in the day. And when they weren't streaming, there'd still be like between 50 and a hundred people just hanging out in their Twitch chat at all times, just you know, hanging out, talking waiting for the next stream to start. Mm -hmm. And I think if you want to be a successful creator, you you have to have you have to have that that level of attraction that people are willing to stay not only for you but for each other. Well, uh, is it an interesting sense? well is it is it interesting to consider that, that every time he leaves there's a a video and dare I say it's you know this would be top content to his community, something like a John Oliver video. And so does it count yeah, as much if yeah, they're able yeah. to just bounce off that? Yeah, it it is a bit different. Like if they're if they're waiting for a stream versus the stream's on and it's literally nothing, and the guy just walks away. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. However, though, I mean, I'm I'm just playing devil's advocate here. Just, no, of just course. For the sake of it, there are some Twitch channels where the point of the channel is actually not the streamer at all. A great example of this is the MXC Twitch channel, where all they do is they just play MXC episodes twenty four seven. All five seasons just on a playlist loop. Um, and people in there, they they talk to each other quite a bit, more than they watch the show. So if you're, like, I, the, the problem is that Hassan isn't doing a stream like that. He's doing a stream about him, and then he's not present, you know? Well, he, like, and he's you, also you claiming... this sort of thing. He's also claiming that this is his React content. Like, that's how he looks at it. Yeah, yeah. Even when he's not and, in the fucking and room. And there's no reaction. The reaction is that he walks away. <laughs> but yeah, like, I, I think you can make a community like this, where it... It's basically about watching other people's <laughs> content, but it has to be structured differently. It can't be the way Hassan's doing it. Well, that would be the ultimate evolution if he could actually manage to get to the point where he just has a playlist that updates with every new video from every new content creator and just plays them all, and then you'll read the donations at the end or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, someone in the chat is asking what, what MXC is. MXC was... Most Extreme TV Elimination show. Challenge? Yes, one of it's the, excellent. One of the great... One of the greatest shows ever made, unironically, has some of the best, most clever writing that you will ever see on a TV show. Yes. Hosted by Vic Romano and uh, Kenny Blankenship. Kenny Blankenship. Kenny Blankenship. With, with reporter Guy LaDouche. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and who's the fourth one? Oh, uh, Captain Tennille. The, Captain, yeah, the, uh, Captain Tennille, yeah. yeah. It was, it was based TV. off of Takeshi's Wait. Castle, and it was essentially an ah. English dub of Takeshi's yeah. Castle, which was yep. a crazy Japanese TV show as they are and it, it recontextualized it crazier, it, was, it was a comedy dub yeah yeah it's it's a comedy dub of Takeshi's castle and it recontextualizes everything is like contests between two professions or teams and things and like seriously I, I, I it's great and everyone yeah. needs to watch it it's amazing it's super clever extremely funny stuff so it, it ran for five seasons, and I think it, it went off the air in, like, 2007, finally. Um, and the fifth season was lost to time, actually, for a long time. But the MXC YouTube channel just has all, all the episodes from all five seasons on a loop. And you can just watch them whenever you just tune into, the, tune into the Twitch channel, you watch them whenever you want. But but the chat, like, there's, like, there's like gambling bots in there, and the chat yeah, talks yeah, to each yeah. other, and they, they laugh at the show, but, like, it's a community based on the shared experience of watching another set another piece of content that isn't actually the channel owners if that makes sense yeah they because the, the but, first one they tried this with was bob ross right and uh power rangers yes, and stuff yeah yeah and that was decent too you know that, that yeah, was a yeah, fun yeah. Time. that's the thing it's just a completely different beast to something like this i would say um mm -hmm. Because this is the thing, you, the issue people are taking, including myself, Jay, and everyone else, is, is just like, you get this sense of like, man, don't you, don't you feel bad about doing this? And then the, when the person's like, no, you're like, oh, we have an issue. I need to explain to you why this is bad. So this is the problem, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yep. Like, I, I guess if, if the expectation wasn't that Hassan was reacting to it, but he was just a channel playing this stuff, it'd be fine. But he's literally walking away from his own reaction, which is the, which is the problem, yeah. Um, if it were a channel playing it with permission from the YouTubers and there's links to be able to grab them, I'd be cool with it. But if it was a channel that literally just plays their favorite YouTube videos and tries to, like, monetize that, I'd probably take issue with it again, because it feels like we're falling down the same hole of, uh, jinx. Yeah, yeah. Um, permission Somebody in the chat important. wants to talk about MXC instead of Hassan. <laughs> so sorry. Well, MXC is the... So here's the thing, MXC is the anti-Hassan. It is incredibly clever... It's super duper entertaining. Things are constantly happening. 
it's paced extremely well. Each segment has content in it, whether you're watching the contestants, listening to the dubs of the things they say, listening to uh, to Neil or uh, or Guy or the, the host. There's always something happening, and it's got this great pacing to it as it bounces from segment to segment and game to game. And uh, yeah, it's the anti Hassan. It's everything he isn't. And and the worst part is they would not make it today. Like, no, there was a I lot. Know, of I don't know. I don't know if you've watched it her. recently, but I, I don't know if you've watched it recently. But there are there are some jokes that would not fly today in that show. Oh no, they were just fine in the early two thousands. It's edgy. It's 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 funny as fuck, but it's really edgy. Um, and yeah, that's that's one of those shows that we would just never be able to have if things were as they were today. Ah, uh, the 90s to noughts where media peaked. <laughs> now mm, it's like much, back uh, then, you were trying to be edgy, and now we've just gone the reverse, where you're just, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah. It was, or you want to have the appearance of edginess. You want to ex- be the boys, where it's pseudo edginess. It's not actually edgy. edgy. Oh, we're in it for so much more of that, too. Edge boys is not edgy. It. Yeah, it's definitely not edgy. It, it wants to wear the appearance of edginess and seem that way, but it's not actually edgy. I think the boys are just violent. Like, there's nothing else to it. You know? Yeah. It's gory, and that's like... Well, then they have boobies old. sometimes and swear words, and you're like, ooh! Yeah, except that they don't have any... Like, you have a character who's meant to be a racist who, like, doesn't use any slurs because the writers don't want to <laughs> She's put She's a friendly racist. Afraid. <laughs> she wouldn't want to offend <laughs> anybody racist. while killing them. <laughs> It's like she says one by accident as she's murdering, and it's like that's going on Twitter. You're like, no, no. Um, yes. Yeah, all right. Let's 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 see what other commentary he's got for us. Goodbye. Oh boy. We Dude. cannot do anything beyond wishing the mercy Hold of on, God for the lives we have lost. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Jeez, man. It's really awkward. We cannot, you know, like, do the same like we need to, you know, God's mercy is like, all right, hold on, I'll be right back and I'll get some food. It's like, man, it just feels inappropriate. And that's the thing, it doesn't stop the fast forward when he sits back down because his commentary is the same as when yeah, he's not nothing. there. Just, yeah, that's the point being made. He's just like, really just top notch yeah I mean, here whether or not he's actually sitting there he's not saying anything anyway mm-hmm. so it's like all right may as well not be sitting there there's, there's so many people in this chat like adding him it's like hey check this and what here's this question it's like um i don't have chat open well, i don't know <laughs> well that was a, a theory i had from the last time was like i feel like he also farms his chat for content he does cycle through it and just click links and stuff and, and answer questions every once in a while. And I'm just like, man, he doesn't have to do anything like in terms of prep. He's just he just walks on. He's like, what, yeah. what videos have people released for me today? And <laughs> I know Destiny does that. I know people like Vosh do that. If you have a big enough chat, you can just let them link you stuff. And they're like, watch this, watch this, watch this. And you, yeah, just, naturally, you have like three hours of content right there. If it comes from them, that means it's stuff they want you to see. So it, it, it all it's like symbiotic, which, by the way, I, I really do think there are plenty of ways to do that properly but man like actually reacting to the things that you're being linked and offering insight and commentary <laughs> yeah but that's asking a lot to be fair <laughs> honestly I, I think the best way to do it is is to have an idea of a topic and have a few links of your own and then if if your chat wants to expand on it they can but you have to be the one to direct the conversation first oh yeah he's he's flowing in the wind he's just like whatever happens next happens next he is a he is a leaf in the wind with all of the style and brain capacity. <laughs> he's he's fired all cylinders right now. Look at him go. I I can believe that there are plants that are more intelligent than Hassan <laughs> Piker. I he he strikes me as the kind who could like I feel like well, he could I feel like he could lose a game of chess to a fern. I guess that's the awkward part, right? It's like if you just put a fucking peace lily in that chair, like you're getting the same amount of content. If like not a, more, because the piece of lily might look gorgeous, or, or, and it and, might flow. And, yeah, Are you saying he's exactly. not gorgeous? Well, I suppose that's just up to the... Brown Fabio? The, th- the thing is, I've said before, like, when someone is just brain dead, it takes away from, like, how attractive I can find them, ever. And so if yeah, it's like... Right. It's just, yeah. Hold on. Hmm. Um, yeah, there was a meme in Turkey that Erdogan was, like, throwing tea at people. 
the point oh, of that okay. is that oh. he didn't even comment on all of the stuff that just played. It just played, and that was it. Just what moved right fuck? along. Wow. Back to John Oliver. Oh, man. <laughs> Particularly in beat. unvaccinated communities. I was going to say, Skeletor is a welcome addition. I would like yeah, to I, I gotta ask you, I gotta ask. Did, on these topics. So, any, all these times that he's just peaced out, has he said, like, okay, guys, BRB, I'm going to the washroom, or does he just walk away? Um, I think he just said he needs piss there. And yeah, sometimes you'll say food or, or piss, but sometimes you'll just get up and leave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like to see Skeletor's Twitch channel and see all of the th insightful things he has to say. This mm -hmm. Senate bill is ridiculously... Like, I might be a talking skeleton who wants to conquer Eternia, but at least I don't steal at content! Least I, at least I balance the fucking budget. <laughs> Alright, well, I also have to walk away go to the washroom, so I'll see you in a minute. I might oh. as well do that, too. Party parade! Well, I guess right. I can talk oh, with right. Fringy okay. Metal for a bit. Yeah, how you guys doing? What's oh, it's up? me. That's my name. Hello. Hey guys, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Your Just... copyright has no power here, He-Man. <laughs> 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 what? I, I just feel like that would be a really funny, like... YouTube, that'd be a really funny Twitch channel, just watching hey, Skeletor. If someone, this is what I think about when we, you know, we talk about like going back in time and just doing something with all the knowledge you have now, and then the funny ones, like someone knowing that if they did that as a gimmick at the beginning of Twitch, they would be a very popular channel. It probably would have been taken down for copyright at that point, but if they had it so right. that they were a really good impressionist and they had the animation looking really good, mm -hmm. um, where it even reacts to you speaking so that it opens the mouth and stuff, and that was your gimmick. You just reacted to stuff as Skeletor. I feel like people would love it. No, that'd be cool. Uh, if you want to get around copyright, just create a new character who is Skeletor Light. You know, Skeletor's brother. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm a uh, Bonator. Bonator, I feel like that's... Or, yeah, Skelefrank, that could work too. <sighs> yeah, he's just just doing his thing. Just commenting. He has some views, you might not agree with all of them, but hey, that's that's the world. But he's just being <laughs> honest some, with himself. Points. I do love the idea so that... He That's gets a into racist. <laughs> yeah, and he, and he gets into like the debate world. They introduce everybody. He's just like, yeah, I'm Skeletor, and they're just like, oh man, does he have to do this every time? They're like, well, he has really good points. He articulates them really well. So we we humor him. <laughs> Tell you about my economic stimulus plans. Skeletor versus like Mike from PA. <laughs> <laughs> you could have all the controversy. Mike's yelling. It's just like. You know, like yelling to be the alpha, and Skeletor is just like, "Are you finished? Okay, are you just... done? <laughs> it's not impressive talking? when you punch a couch." <laughs> yeah, do you the know? Couch who cannot you're fight back, and also they are soft and fluffy. That is, dude. That punching the couch is like one of the funniest things. I think just... um, he was talking to Hunter Avalon at one point. He, he was getting mad at him, and then he was just like, "Whoa, dude, don't punch a couch!" Like, <laughs> like that. It's his legacy. It's all... Well, the, I think the 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 part that makes it so funny is that he tried to pretend like he didn't do it at first. Like he should have just owned it straight away. Like I did punch the couch because I'm mad. Instead of being I was like, very God, mad, and I wanted to let out my aggression on an object that <laughs> on I an knew object I couldn't instead hurt. of you, <laughs> on a padded yeah. object that couldn't possibly hurt me, <laughs> that couldn't possibly fight back. Like, I didn't want to hurt it. I didn't want it to hurt me. I just wanted to let out some aggression. But um, I'm back. Hello. You know, the best thing. So, so the best thing about having wireless headphones is that even when I'm in the washroom, I can hear everything going on. It's quite nice. Did I didn't you, miss a single thing. Do you enjoy everything we had to say about Skeletor? Yes. Excellent. Everyone should get wireless headphones. I cannot shill for, for that invention enough. They are great. All of my peripherals are wired. Sponsored by wireless headphones. I never have to worry about charges. I never have to worry about running out of battery or juice or anything like that. It's, it's always there. It always works. And quite frankly, when I go to the bathroom, I want y'all to fuck off. I don't want to listen to you. I feel like this you made the same time. point twice to begin that, Rex. Just saying. No charges, yeah, no but bags. Rags, that's how good the point was. That's how good the point was. But, Rags, the problem with that shit, though, is that they're going to get all tangled and they'll get twisted and you'll run over no, the cord with your no, chair. It'll wrap no. around you and be like, how do I get out of this? Wrap it's around be you? It'll just be a <laughs> and then, okay, like, the eventually, eventually debate, debate, the debate. cord gets frayed. Yes. It gets frayed and then it, it, frayed? it gets ruined. What cheap ass? I've never had that happen in my life. 
you got, I've never you gotta wrapped go wireless, myself up man. in a cord. You, you gotta go wireless, man. It's That's just, just it's the cord over there. The future is now, there. old man. Mm-hmm. And Rex, yeah, can you truly you know wrong. that it's not good <laughs> to have company while pooping if you've never tried it? I'm gonna. You know what? I've never tried cocaine either, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna make a leap and say that poop time is me time. <laughs> and, yeah, are you I, saying I mean, cocaine is also me time? <laughs> Cocaine is also me time. I don't know. Well, maybe maybe that sort of thing, you know, benefits from being around others. I'm I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe so anyway. many hard drugs are best taken in company. Maybe if you start taking hard drugs, you should get other people into the habit so that the group experience is improved as a result. Drag everybody down with you, right? That's right. <laughs> um, so yes. Not missed much, just watching some Hassan content. Sorry. I'm back now to <laughs> stare at what I'm going to pull up now. Don't worry, here comes the content. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Uh. Jeez. Uh. This is sped the fuck up because this one's a long one. Is this all from the same stream? Yes. Yeah. All right. Jesus. <laughs> I know, right? Like, because I, I was, to... I was like, I'm only watching the oh, one. Um, when can you? Miss it? <laughs> like, how you many coffees put... does he have? And if he's going for the piss, a piss this much, man. I drink a lot of water, and I, I, I pee fairly regularly, as many of our yeah. EFAP audience knows. Man, it's not. It doesn't take that long to. Pretty you quick, know, yeah. Do that. Yeah. Well, you don't. You don't know. He might literally be walking off to do literally fucking anything he wants to because it doesn't matter. He can do whatever he wants. You just leave the stream. That's true. That I, I assume that, that I, I have should to take a shit while I stream. It's like, oh man, I have to leave for five minutes. <laughs> like, yeah, fuck. I'm the same way. I kind of want to hold it. <laughs> Not to the point oh, of excess um, or ballooning. Dude, nah. this is awesome. What is? Well, that's, what the, that's, that's, to? that's the thing. <laughs> it said it's awesome. I'm confused. How do you know it's awesome? Some one thing that you need to do with these is you need to have on the screen like X and then the number of how fast you're replaying. You know, you're right. Like, I should have done that. On. Well, yeah, you say you this really like I might do it in future. It's like, I'm hoping this is the last one, Rex. <laughs> like, I'm hoping this is it. I don't want to have to watch well, another one of his fucking streams. No. So, you it, just it, you it, can it, put it, that in your back pocket, save it for later. Just, I get, uh, yes, I, personal, you are yeah. correct, and I shall do that if, if for any reason this should ever happen again. Yeah, that's there we go. So at this point, it feels like Hassan is an algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> he has like maybe, maybe five or ten preset responses like hey, this is awesome and then it's it just kind of sprinkles the them right in relatives, at, the right yeah at, at, like, at like calculated times the algorithm triggers and he just says it into the mic and then otherwise he's just kind of sitting there or sitting somewhere else yeah cool dude yeah uh-huh true mm-hmm. oh this is awesome ah <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> i approve of this content <laughs> Ah, so that's it for that section. We are now into the his issues with his chat section. Now, from last week. It became very clear that he's very petty, um, like absurdly so. Like I, I say it about some people here and there, but this this might take the cake. He really fucking hates being criticized in any way, shape, or form. And so this, well, if you're not used to it, is um, I'm gonna hate this stream then. Shit. This is a selection of all the ones from that stream, and then I think it's one or two that happened because he was reacting to him watching him having banned people from another stream, and so I grabs. The, the clip, and then on Twitch you can literally sure. hit, like, take from timestamp or whatever, so I just put it in as well. Before we jump into this, j- just to cap off the last section, 
Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't understand why people eat full meals on stream unless the point of the stream is literally eating. Like that, because, maybe there's like a, there's like a food yeah, contest stream or something. But people are like, yeah, you know, uh, we're, we're going to be hanging out here. It. I'm just going to eat. Yeah, I guess, but it's, I don't know. It just, it just seems kind of gross. Do you mean you know? Um, like, I rarely do this when I just way. randomly do like a super long stream that wasn't planned. It's like, okay, I just need to order some food. I was gonna snack on it on the side, but I still play my game or do whatever yeah. I was doing. Yeah. So like, if because eating seems like it would get in the way of you <laughs> delivering content because your mouth is busy. The saga just yes. said. I also, don't want my, I also don't want my microphone in front of my face while I'm trying to put some food in my face. So I just. Put my microphone yeah. over there. That's like, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, His oh, mum isn't there, Dev. That's why. <laughs> um, <laughs> his mum isn't there to tell him that it's bad lore. table manners. I was so confused See, because I, w I wasn't on those last EFABs and people met in my stream cap. So, do you, did your mom get you some nuggies? I was like, what the fuck are you talking What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> See, when, when I'll stream like the tabletop stuff sometimes with Arch, I'll if, if I have to eat during the stream, and sometimes I do, I'll mute it. Yeah, but also yeah. there's five of us on there and there's no webcam yeah. so like you, you can't you can't really tell right unless unless i bring it up but like if you're gonna sit down and just eat a full meal in silence while your stream plays somebody else's video and you're just listening to it you might as well not even be streaming at all unless of course your your point is to just get shekels which it seems to be well this is the the reality, right? And this is this is probably the truth, but he wouldn't want to say because it, it sounds really bad. If someone goes, I'm gonna put on the BRB screen some copyright uh, copyright free music. I'm gonna go have food. I'll be back in 20 minutes, just 20. Okay. Meanwhile, Hassan is like, but if for those 20 minutes I play someone's prepared prepared content that, that's probably gonna be pretty good, like if he has reliable creators that he cycles in, the stream not only didn't end. In a way, it reached a peak while I was eating, and as soon as I finish, which I enjoy. I, I, like, the stream doesn't lose any numbers or momentum. It just runs right through, and I got to do what I wanted without having to do fucking anything, really. Like, that's why when people are like, why not... Lean in the mic once every ten minutes or so and say, yep. Yeah, well, all this is awesome. He might, he might get, like, a little True. stream deck and press the button while he's eating that says those, so that he can get it all covered for yeah. a bit. Uh, yeah, I could totally see that's the <laughs> real reason. Instead of him putting on the BRB screen and just being like, yeah, I'm gonna go eat my food like a normal human being, I'll be back. Couldn't... The thing we suggested, the fucking obvious thing, because he said, right, in response to all this copyright stuff, he's like, people take my videos and make compilations, I don't copyright strike them, and I think it's totally fine. It's like, okay, that's not a good argument, by the way, but why not play them totally when you go and have it. food? Just play them. Play the highlights of Hassan's streams on your stream while you have food. Perfect. Because you know that the audience that... likes you already. Yeah. And I, and I do know that some, some other streamers actually do that. Like, if they have to put up a BRB screen, they actually have, like, a reel of, of highlights from previous streams. Yeah, I just... That, that is a, a thing people do already. And it's, it's a good idea. Some of the what highlights? Like they, they call them that, okay? I don't low know. Lights. <laughs> don't ask these complicated low, questions. Low lights compilation. So anyway, yeah, the uh, we'll come back to the whole copyright content stuff section anyway because he's going to talk about it more. But this this was more so to put these into specific pieces. So now you have a full understanding of what we're talking about with the whole copyright stuff. This will be his attitude toward people who don't agree with him. Let's check it out. Oh boy. Why did you say retail workers hate their lives? Yes, I said retail workers. Why did you say retail workers hate their lives? As fuck, man, I worked in retail, but my life was worth living. Okay, I'm just going to ban you, dude. Um, wow. I think you. <laughs> Holy shit. You know what? I, I have hated shit. retail jobs, but I've never hated my life. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's not even that, that's not yeah. even my issue. It's skipping all the way over to someone saying that. Like I don't hate my life, and he banned them for it. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're, on a, you're on a Hassan stream. You're supposed to hate your life. <laughs> yeah, some some break in the mold, you fuck. Um, uh, yeah, sorry. Stop destroying my narrative of the constantly suffering working class. Uh, previously sub for four months, by the way. Bye bye. No. Oh, bye. But my life was worth living. Okay, I'm just gonna ban you, dude. Um, okay, <laughs> I think you need to cool Fuck. off a little bit. Cool off. You know, go cool and off. Uh, just just Man. go and uh, you know live a life worth living outside. Okay, oh. eat grass. Holy, 
Eat grass. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Just wait. Wait. What? Live. Well, okay. Eat grass came from Destiny. He yeah. wanted to change touch grass grass to eat grass. But um, okay. Live a life worth living. So is Hassan saying that a minimum wage job <laughs> life is not a life worth living? I think he wanted to throw out insults. I still think he realizes how much it pertains to this specific context that someone's like, I don't hate my life. And he's like, go live a life worth living. <laughs> like, what? He implies that being here watching him on stream is not a life worth living. I mean, that would be fair. I don't, I don't, I don't I'm. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I believe that actually. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I do too. I just don't. He's just not, I guess he's not smart enough to race. And... Yeah, I added I added effects just to just indicate perfect. where he is really his gears are turning on what insults to throw, but he needs time. <laughs> cool well, off. There, the, cool the, off. There's a problem um, among streamers, and this this is part of the problem what we're watching here. But it's it, there's a larger problem. Uh, I saw a clip of maybe a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, of a reasonably good looking woman streaming on Twitch, and her chat asks her how how they should get like what do they need to do to get a girlfriend. And she says, I probably shouldn't yeah, yeah. say this, but yeah, you, you need to spend less time, less time and less money on, on women on Twitch. Yeah. And <laughs> like, you, you can't give, if you're, if basically your whole thing is, you know, getting money from people who are lonely, you can't just say that. <laughs> I mean, it's true. It's true. And it's good for these guys to stop watching Twitch if, if they're in this situation. But like, she basically said what I'm doing is what you need to not be doing. You need to not be here, and it's true. She, she's, she's, and you know, good on her for actually saying the truth. Yeah, um, I mean, damn. But there's like, I think you can make a a good, healthy to consume Twitch show if you're doing comedy or sure. you're doing political analysis or you're doing something where you don't expect people to wrap their entire life up into your community. But a lot of these people don't do that. Oh, I mean, and, I would say that, like, I'm not even sure that it's even something that you can prevent fully. There will just be people who, like, like become... Because I, yeah, I true, mean, when you look true. at, like, political spheres, like, there are people who are just, like, completely subsumed by, like, internet politics and hanging yeah. around in, like, chats to watch people mm -hmm. debate. Yeah. And it's totally divorced from reality, and they never get involved in, like, actual political processes. It's just because well, they yeah, want to have friends. The average, it's like, cool. IRL person is unrecognizable yeah, yeah, to them. They're like, what is this yeah, creature? They were... They reach a point where it's like, wait a minute, you're <laughs> telling me that, like, there are people who are actually okay with the world that we live in, and, like, they only want <laughs> marginal and small improvements and, like, wait, tweets you're talking rather wait, than... Wait, wait this is the vast, vast decision. majority of people? What? Oh my god. Are, are like you telling you? me that what happens on Twitter doesn't actually count? Is like, is that what's <gasps> going on here? Uh, I guess Twitter isn't the I mean. real world? It's, what? It's just like, <laughs> I, I don't know that it's avoidable, because obviously you've got the example of, like, Twitch thoughts, where it's like, well, it's pretty obvious what's going on here, but, like, there's a lot of where like people just want to have friends and so they'll just and i think you can see this in like political circles where people will just warp their political positions to be friends with people because they just need yeah, friends yeah. they need to have friends and of course the the you know you gotta have that sigma male mindset <laughs> where you don't <laughs> need set. grind set that's right the sigma male yeah. grind set where you don't need to conform to anybody's politics to have friends <laughs> um exactly but well i don't uh, yeah. Here's here's the thing though. So, when you have a woman like the one I mentioned speaking the truth, it's a bit awkward for her because she knows what she's doing. But when you get somebody like Hassan, who even though Hassan is not an you know a Twitch thought, he's still exploiting in the same way, just not using sex to do it. Um, when you get someone like Hassan, who who eventually has to say go outside and do something else, do something else with your life, I think the reason that he he starts having those hitches there is because he. he in his mind right now, he's understanding that what he's saying completely undermines his entire business. And so he's like, should, yeah. I, should I say this? Like, can I? He's because just aware enough. There's this like in, yeah. in the subconscious. He probably couldn't put it, put words to it. But there's so, there's a little part of his brain that's a little smarter than he is, oddly. That's trying to whisper to him. <laughs> Wait, you his, guys. Like, his, his little. You guys yeah. think he's actually criticizing the person for spending too much time watching him? Uh, no, no, uh, well, no, I think no, not no. consciously. I think I think what's happening. I think what's happening is he he's looking at this person. He's banning him. He's trying to say get a better life, but he's also like, and he's trying to say go do something else. And then as he's saying it, it's like he he's speaking as the ideas are coming to him, and and it, as, as he says it, it forms in his head like, 
oh, he's spending a lot of time in my chat. He's giving me money. Maybe part of the reason that his life sucks is because he's here. Maybe I shouldn't say this. <laughs> I so I, I think I'd make a few tweaks. I think what's happened is he's like, wait, am I not like just inadvertently insulting like everybody who's here <laughs> by almost well, implying that like Yes, exactly. You know? Yeah. Like I'm yeah, going like, I'm going with and, the and, that, and that's why he stops himself. Uh, I'm going with the simplest I, I, explanation ex explanation and explanation. Okay, I I think it's literally he has <laughs> very few options for making fun of people. Like very few. Mm -hmm. And one of the most well, common ones for Twitch streamers is go outside, loser, get a life. And I'm pretty sure he just, just railed the like he rolled them right off his tongue. He's just like, that's the things I say to someone when they annoy me. Dude, get a life has to be like one of the the lamest insults ever. It's like, guys, it none of this matters. We're all gonna die and it won't matter. So like it doesn't just stop telling people like <laughs> what they should or shouldn't be doing to find value in their life. Cause remember, it's all doesn't mean anything at the end of the day, all right? But you gotta, you gotta accept that part. God. Yeah, and I, I just think that he threw out those insults just because you throw that out for anybody. You just didn't realize this context, there's several layers to this that are really funny. One being that this person's like, I don't hate my life. Stop trying to claim that I do. And he's like, shut up, get a life. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh man. Get a life like a that you can then go and hate it. it. The one that I, if, if you're not... <clears throat> go ahead. Uh, that's just the one that did it got me. It's like cool off. I'll ban you now. It's like cool off for what? You just said he doesn't hate his life. There's like nothing to cool, <laughs> cool off about. Calm the fuck down, yeah, Mel. The Jesus. Internet prescription of like yeah, I'm going to prescribe fuck? onto you an emotion that isn't at all warranted. Like you need to chill out. And he's like, no, no, I'm I'm very okay. calm actually. Yeah. You just I just said I'm pretty happy with my from. life, even though I'm working this job you hate. I yeah, guess the, <laughs> the insult. I'm happy with my life. Chill, chill the chat. fuck out, bro. A, a no, you're of, not. A bunch, a bunch of people in chat are saying that I'm giving Hassan too much credit, and maybe, but I, I, <laughs> I'm verbalizing something that I don't think Hassan is actually thinking. But there's something underlying there. There's, uh, well, there's I an underlying principle of if you insult your own chat that may be heavily invested in you for not having a life, when they remedy that, you will you will be out of a chat. And that I, will, I, I think that that's a fair uh, analysis to 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 make it. It's it's funny to me that. I crushed eight hours of his stream into 20 minutes, and we're likely going to unpack this 20 minutes back out into many hours. Um, <laughs> like it's just like, a, it's how content creation works, I guess. Mm -hmm. We'll call it Hassan Tent. Hassan Tent, oh my god. Oh boy. You know, go and, uh... Ugh. Just, just go <laughs> and, uh, you know, live a life worth living outside, okay? Eat grass, dumbass. Just the idea that someone had the audacity to say they didn't hate their life in a Hassan <laughs> <laughs> What a weird <laughs> fucking scene to look at and listen to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This, I mean, and we're, we're, just, we're, just, we're just through the looking glass, okay? It's going to get way worse than this. I just, like... I don't know if that guy deserved a band, to be honest. Do you want one oh, too, don't, dude? Don't, Here you go. 22 don't. months Jesus, subscriber. Mother 22 don't months. Don't show kindness. Don't show months. kindness wow. to those that the party's looking down on. That is that is verboten, <laughs> my dude. Now, this yep. is what some might call a wake-up call when you get banned after 22 months of support. <laughs> For literally so saying that. Oh. I, I don't think that he deserved a ban. You're banned. Well, you are fraternizing, saying, like... you are sympathizing with the enemy. Well, do you know the, the wake-up yeah. wake yeah. call Hold here on. is... I will, oh. I, I will play the most generous devil's advocate here that I can. Well, sure. just oh, I'm, remember, I'm excited to hear this. Yeah, remember, we're, we're more than happy okay. to slay <laughs> devils, so... <laughs> Because because I've I've had to deal with this myself a couple of times. Um, just because you are a heavy donator in somebody's community doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to get banned if you break irrelevant or something really bad. Irrelevant. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. And all the point that's making, that's the yeah. best I can do <laughs> because like, there are people well, who, who have given me subs for like this. like three four years and I've had to ban them because they've done something outrageous. It's like sorry man, like I appreciate no true it, but... completely agreed. Um, of course, but they also, didn't do anything outrageous. Just the, uh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You were doing <laughs> yeah. this. Like, Something that I find super interesting is in the totality of EFAP's history, people have only ever been banned for spamming, for breaking TOS, and for, um, I guess, like, I was about to say another form of spamming. Basically, just they ask a question they really want answered, and they just do it for every column. And then the mods notice, yeah. and they're like, please stop, that sort of thing. We've never banned somebody because they annoyed us or was, were critical because of us. They in were fact, happy with their lives. we usually fight chat. Quite a lot. Uh, we like to grab yeah. things from chat and fight with it as a, as a form of just like, you know, 
back and forth. This, where someone is just like, wait, maybe you shouldn't, maybe you should reconsider the action you just took bad. It's like, huh. It's, it's real awkward. <laughs> it's like, it's like, hey, I like my life, Gulag. So, like, oh, come on, Gulag. You want to <laughs> test me? Don't test me, all right? Who else wants to go to the Gulag? That's what I thought, you know? Mm-hmm. All right, now let's watch more content. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Hang on, yeah. Again. I'm gonna so go on holiday. I'll just leave the stream on. It's fine. Uh, I feel my least gracious after a hearty shit. So you better watch yourselves. <laughs> God, just the lack Have of fun with that. Okay, get fucked, man. Get fucked. Wow. I feel like get that's another one of those fucked. things of just man, dude. Top tier response to get fucked and then pause and then get absolutely fucked. You know, you know, here's the real sad part. The person who just got banned probably had like a, re- they were probably very upset uh, yeah, at this point. Yeah, I would, I would <laughs> be, I would be really upset if I, like, that's the thing we talk about. He was a patron or a whatever it is on Twitch months of for 22 months. That's basically two years. For two years, yeah. you support someone financially probably and with your time. Every day, yeah, you know, or like I want to regularly. I want to make sure we, we make clear here because this is why Dev was probably prompted to say what he said. It's not about money buys you immunity. It's the it's proof this yeah. person has good faith toward you. And yeah, so to yeah. assume to assume the reverse is really fucking rude. <laughs> and to just immediately just be like, "Now nah, fuck you. You you said that was a little too mean. See you. Twenty two months. Fuck you. Get fucked." And and then the community you thought you were a part of are laughing at you, man. Like yeah, they laugh. Uh, they laugh more he, the more you've supported them. We talked about this with Snafu. Yeah, yeah, we we talked about this with Snafu. Like these. All the people that are around you, you know, thought quote, unquote, around you, yeah. your your comrades in arms, right? Your fellow workers of the whatever you want to imagine yourself, right? Your allies, they will turn on you in a fucking heartbeat. <laughs> and they love don't give it. a fuck about well, you. They don't give a shit. They're trained to love it, to support it. Like it's yeah, it's a it's it's, it's it is the mob mentality encouraged. Mm. Dude, that yeah. guy could have probably cried. Like, well, it's a really night. bad I environment. Wouldn't blame him. I legit would be, wouldn't blame him. Yeah, I wouldn't blame there him are... at all. Like, it's it's pretty uh, emotionally. Well, we... It's a pretty big emotional reckoning. Especially you know, in the almost. world of like the parasocial relationship stuff is real yeah. and it's strong. And we were just talking about how like yeah. some people have replaced their social lives with this stuff. So yeah, you can really. <laughs> and this is the thing we we've hurt people's feelings all, like regularly on on the regular. I was gonna say, but like it's it's a matter of um <laughs> you're like ripping these people's hearts out for doing the right thing. It's like why. Yeah, look, you can see the well, second that his heart broke in half, and now it's yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> see, I, I think I think you can at least avoid or maybe minimize some of this stuff if you foster a community that is not afraid to disagree with you. Because if it's all a bunch of yes men, and then you get banned from that, you're like, what did I do wrong? But as you as you guys, you know, your your chat goes against you all the time. My chat goes against me all the time. If you can foster a community where you can you can actually um, be a dissenter and not just get thrown out, then I think it feels more fair when the community does actually see somebody get thrown out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You have to, when the, when the community can recognize, oh, the person who got banned, they actually did something that was ban worthy. And I don't have to worry about that because th- there's a clear line. I know what the stakes are. I know where the, like, I know what the law is and I know not to break it. Oh, well. Oh well, two different worlds. You want one too, dude? Here you go, 22 month subscriber. So he's watching Destiny watch that clip, just so you understand what's happening here. <laughs> and and now we're watching him that. watch Destiny watch him. <laughs> yes. Hell yeah, we're just adding it. It's like a delicious cake in theory, where every layer <laughs> is a new flavor to be savored and enjoyed. And when you get to the Hassan layers, you're like, Hassan, it doesn't really taste Hassan like anything. Like the, Hassan is like a plate, though. He's not even, like, the cake. He's just he's just a plate. Mm-hmm. So, I, I guarantee you, at some point, Hassan's gonna watch this, and he's gonna watch us watching this, and he's gonna <laughs> be listening to us talk well, about him watching us. I'm gonna... And that's gonna what it's gonna be. Double down on what I said last week. I think he would avoid this. This is not useful for him at all. Um, in any way. Hey. Uh, 
Well, well, j just in case, just in case, Hassan's chat, get the fuck out while you still can, right? I know, you, just in case you're watching this through him, just leave right now, just just go, okay? Go and go consume else. vegetation or whatever the thing is, just get out. You don't wanna, you don't wanna you fight EFAP chat. They are, uh, they're veterans, not just of the Korean War, right? All wars. Oh my Star God, they, wars. They have all the hats. They have Civil War hats. <laughs> uh... That's amazing. Also, yeah, just, just, just look, just look, it's hard to just look at this for a second. So, your chat is on screen, and Hassan's chat, and Destiny's chat, and then Hassan's <laughs> other chat. And it's just, everyone's here right now. Yeah, the whole we're all... <laughs> Let me start up my stream and look at this while we're looking at this, so we have more chats and <laughs> screens to look at. Everybody's here. Do you want one too, dude? Here you go. 22-month subscriber. Have fun with that, okay? <laughs> Oh, Jesus damn, Christ. he's gone to the evil side. I've been doing this for a very long time. Like, I, I've never stopped doing this. Yeah, like <laughs> <I> know, people <laughs> still watch you. Why do people I've go to that argument? For a long time. I've been doing this forever. It's like, balls. that's not a good argument. Stop it. <laughs> it just keep I've on murdering, what? the Obama years, man. This is a... Damn. It's not my first concentration camp, guys. Jeez, calm down. <laughs> this is like a 17 over there. Like, what? Oh, suddenly it's not okay. Fucking oh, hell. No, you uh... Uh, I always fucking... I always ban long-term community members. <laughs> <laughs> He's like oh, no. humble bragging. I always do. <laughs> Excellent. Awesome. I feel like this is a good one. This is a good one to fucking... This is a good one. 28 months, dude. There you go. Hey. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, what's up? You want that? There you go. Get fucked. The feedback loop. I'm sorry. Did you get banned? Months, just like that. Just like that. Gonzo. Oh, now get... he's like oh, having ready. fun with it now. Not that he didn't before, but now he's like, this is this is entertaining, I guess. I don't to... think he I don't think it was about being fun before for him. I think he felt it was like an obligation. I have to do this. You have to be gone. I have to get rid of you. He didn't actually give it that much thought at all. Just yeah, you, know, you got it. You got to go. You went against the, the Hassan. You went against the 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 Piker. So, you're done. You're finished. This is what has to be the, done. It's it's almost like he doesn't even. I bet he would say it's almost not even up to him, really. If this were like eight years ago or ten years ago, I would say that this is basically what killed a lot of content creators is when they turned on their own communities. You know, that is a big part of why Spoonie died, for example. A big I mean, part of why a lot of a lot of YouTubers from like 2010, 2012, 2012 died. They eventually turned on their own communities. But it, nowadays, in 2021, and with how big some Twitch streamers get, they get like 10,000 viewers a stream or 12,000 viewers a stream. Um, I'm not sure if if attacking your own community consistently is enough to, to kill a career. Well, I was going like, to say it's I, interesting I, I, you chose I, 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 Spoonie as an example because his career was probably the only uh, his community was the only thing that kept him going long after he stopped making content. Yeah, like, yeah, and like, disagreeing I, with I, him constantly, like they loved him and they were desperate for him to come back. Mm -hmm. And some of them still are, you know. Yeah, I like they're still going. Even. But but the thing is. Like I think Hassan could at this point he's big enough he could act he could actively attack his own viewers and still keep going. Like I don't think this this kind of thing will stop well, him. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, if you and it helps that you have a community that's so fucking brain dead that you see all this stuff. It, like, he's if trained you're a the Hassan loyalist, he's them that way. Yeah, if you're a Hassan loyalist for whatever reason, your mind is already screwed up. You're there's clear or already something wrong with you. So you're not dealing with normal rational people. And yeah, I think it's, like, not to be too silly with the references here, but it's like he's pulled someone out of the crowd, sacrificed them, and the rest of the crowd are like, that'll never be me. Woo! <laughs> like, I'm never yeah. gonna be that one. Yeah, yeah, kinda. They're always like, aha, look at that guy, aha, and like, they're not thinking that it's them on the next stream, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not me, it's not my blood, so fuck it. It's fine. In it's fact, funny. this is good stuff. Or, or even worse. I'm not the one down or, there in the Coliseum. Or, or even worse, that guy deserved it. You don't, yeah. you don't know what How for, but he did. How dare he disagree? Not even disagree, imply that Hassan might have done something wrong, maybe. Not even stating that he did. Oof, even that. The implication that Hassan isn't free of sin is, oh, that's, that's mm -hmm. enough to get you excommunicated. Let me, let me pet you real quick.
he's he's what? like he's like toying with the person he's he's banned. He's like, haha, oh, are you so sad? Ha ha. Also, he's, did you add the music or is that Hassan? No, that's Hassan's. He puts it on himself. Oh, so he he put on the Sigma male music. Yeah. During this part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> are you sad? I mean, when you when you play the music for yourself, of course it. That's just the first yeah. sign of a pure Sigma male, right? That's how it works. Mm -hmm. You can no longer see the fucking chat, dude. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I don't, it's, it's, it comes across really weird, right? Like it's just like bad. <laughs> these people it comes across are just. He comes across as a bad person. These people are here to support Constantly. your fucking content, mate. And you're like, oh, look chat. at you, so sad. You can't be here. It's yeah, like they're here for you. Me. What do you? Yeah, so. yeah. She's very petty. You know? Very petty. Absolutely. Oh no! Son is just a perfect example yeah, I fucking of who not to be. Held my goddamn frame once again, bitch. Super annoying. Please consider fix that doesn't kill your back. Wait, can 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 he call yeah, people I mean, a bitch? Is that not a sexist insult? Is he allowed to call people a bitch? They're allowed on that one for now. We'll see how time goes on though. Oh, okay. We'll oh, see, okay. right? We'll see. But yeah, so was it, was it, the AC is super annoying, which by the way, I regularly get told by EFAP chat that they can hear my fan in the background. <laughs> and every time I'm like, I'm so sorry, but I'll melt without it. I'll do the best I can. Let's see his response. Mm -hmm. This is a good hack. You shutting the fuck up for an entire week. How about that? I Jesus find it Christ. incredibly strange. Did he read strange. that wrong? Did he read that wrong? I don't think so. He can't read. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I find he might have it in... Let's go back a bit. I think you kind of. I think you read that wrong. All right, all right. My bag. Yeah, fix that doesn't noises. kill your oh. bag, not his bag. Fix that doesn't yeah. kill my back. You sh AC shutting noise. the uh -huh. super. Well, if Wait, if the guy, if the person he read just, said your, then it's fair enough to switch. Yeah, okay. No, yeah. no, I got you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah. Me. No, you're good. You're good. Fuck up for an entire week. How about that? But I why? find it incredibly strange. Okay. Me too. That People think that uh, being uh, people think that being able to chat in here or having access to the streamer twenty four seven while the content is being provided oh, access to it, me, Hassan, access to the streamer. Well, he's, and he me. said while the content is while... being produced. Mm. Like, yeah, he said provided, but still. provided. Pro <laughs> that's right, even worse. Being, provided. What, what providing what is he doing? Is Just going reused. through a YouTube list. Jesus Christ. <laughs> is uh, a. Just a hotline for complaints. So he's he's annoying that this chat would what? complain. It's like okay, uh, this is someone else, by the way. Who's like just like you could you could you could argue that they're spamming, but the thing is, if they believe that this is a problem he's unaware of, they will obviously spam it until he acknowledges it, right? There's an audio issue in your background. Check your noise gate, Breton. Check your noise gate. Yeah, like. I assume that we're all, we're all going to be on the same page here. If there was an audio issue with a stream we were on that we didn't know about, you'd want chat to tell you. It's yeah, one of the, one of the main knows. reasons I keep my eye on chat. I just keep an eye on how everyone's yep. levels are and what everyone's saying. I can't hear the guest, or the guest is too loud, or there's not a good balance. You want yeah, you want to be able to be chat If there's an audio issue, or if there's like a green screen issue, or like anything really, just I I want to know. Yeah, you know, it does it. sound yeah. a mess it's though. Because just Windows updates happen that they fuck oh. with your audio, and you just you're not aware of. I remember yeah. why I made this edit. Well, watch what happens. It does sound a mess though. Okay, clip it and send it to me. I will listen to it. So first guy got banned. Then the second guy was like, "All right, it might be fair then." <laughs> listen, listen. Oh. Did, it, did the other one get unbanned have... at least? I didn't see him unban that yeah. guy. No. Well, rip. so here's the thing. <laughs> so he just stayed what banned, of... even though he changed his opinion on the on the situation. Yep. <laughs> what a lot of people we don't can tell. In, in his chat, what a lot of people don't realize is that back in Korea, right, <laughs> when we were there in the mud and the snow, fighting the filthy fucking commies in Korea, right? We the the least of our problems when we were in the war in Korea, where we were because we were veterans of the war in Korea. The least of our problems was air conditioning noise. We would have killed to have a loud air conditioner in yeah. Korea. The war in which we fought in. Veterans that we are. Mm -hmm. So. I agree. Carry on. Mad dreamer? Yeah, I am fucking mad. Here, take a week off, dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? 
Imagine I would ban every time someone is a bitch to me in my stream. I had an empty stream. You would? Well, <laughs> it's so petty. It's unbelievably petty. He cannot take it. It's impossible. He just has completely... He's, oh, he's melting down. Don't you think he went a little hard? And you bam. too, dude. Here you go, 28, 28 month months subscriber. <clears throat> Fuck me. Oh. You pissed him off. That dude, was you sick. come in here it's in like 20 minute increments and you're like, well, hell, I don't understand. Are you being a little too hard? It's like, dude, literally from this morning, like since I started, I turned off the audio, uh, the noise gate. And, and oh, like thousands of people have fucking complained the entire well. day, dude. So why turn it yeah, back so on, you idiot. Can, can you imagine on, having... What? Uh, can you imagine having to put up with that? You know, people in chat complaining about something. Oh. I don't know how he does it's it. It's like in his brain. I'm trying to imagine myself in his place, which is normally the bathroom, but for the sake of this, we'll say he's in front of the camera. Being in his place hmm. and just like the brain, like, okay, so his brain receives the information through the chat that a lot of people are concerned about the noise, right? And so his brain thinks in response to that, all right, what I need to say is I, lo I turned off the noise gate that's why everyone's complaining. Period. Move on to the next <laughs> I, thing. But like, it, it's actually infuriated him to the point where he's starting to ban people who say anything about it. It's like, dude. Yeah, and after that, if, he's like, oh yeah, I turned off the noise gate, which is obviously the why? problem. Yeah, yeah why? Like, why did you do first that? First question why I would have. Um, if I remember from I, his if stream... If you're aware of it, why I, are you going ahead and ban all these people and be mad about it, even though you know... You fucking turn off the noise gate. So, that, well, it's a normal response. He says, to, oh, I didn't know it would have been that much of an issue. I'll go ahead and I'll turn it back on. Ah, well, see, that's the mistake you made. Because line. in the beginning of the stream, the he I'm says, thinking. I've turned off the noise gate because I want to be able to move away like this and still be able to be heard. If I turn on the noise gate, it would cut out. I didn't want to simulate that because you would have been confused. So, oh, he I'm had to leave it off so that he could do whatever he wanted when talking. And so people were like, please turn it back on. He's like, no, I want freedom. And so now he's surprised that people keep arriving to his stream being like, dude, there's weird noise coming from your uh, microphone. And he's like, shut up. I can't take every fucking 20 minutes someone coming. How lucky of him to have it only like once per 20 minutes. <laughs> like when he's got the tens yeah. of thousands of people pouring in. Like, God, you talk about first world problems. It's like, this is just, yeah. this is, this is just crust of the earth. Not even we're right at the core this is nothing first world problem not even that your ac is too loud right we have to go deeper other people mildly not even complaining people letting you know on your stream that is your job in your house in your air-conditioned room those people telling you that they think the ac is a bit too loud it's even worse of a first world problem there's like seven this is like seven layers of a first world problem <laughs> Yeah, it's it's pretty amazing that he gets this angry over a over an issue like that. It's like, oh man, I just wanna And he's the one who condescends to to people who are like, Why are you so angry? Stop banning people. He's like, Oh, are you upset? <laughs> like, dude, <laughs> I just don't think you have a leg to stand up with this, please. So you wanna get banned slash sued? What? Pepelo? Stolen content, keg W. Dude, my content is just making fun of dumb idiots like you and then banning you. No, not really. Um, okay. Well, down they go. All right. When will you, you learn? Him. Chatters never learn, dude. Chatters think like, dude. So oh my god, you're gonna learn. get so Don't sued. The king. Fourteen year old Andy's like, hmm, I'm gonna get you so sued. Yeah, okay, dude. Make some fucking content first. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Make some fucking content. On first. It's it's incredible to hear. He made any him. content yet? Not yet, no. Like, he's just he's been eating and walking away and like banning. Ha has he has he ever done like uh, a scripted video? A not, like, and like I think a non stream. He, had, he has. He he used to like he did them every once in a while, but he stopped because this was way easier. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people have gone that route where like they used to do like really researched, well prepared, you know, scripted content, and now everyone's a streamer. Well, it's funny. It's like, I, oh, all right, I along with rags and free, we get we get that thrown on us quite a bit. <laughs> but like videos are still coming out. <laughs> Everyone, no one is free of sin. Well, I do. I do. Both. It'll, it'll, be, that, it'll be that Jack Chick comic where I'm Christ, and I'm just like none of you 
are they free hated him because he told the truth. Exactly. Yeah. I feel that would like be fun. we should we should go over some Jack Chick cartoons. That would be fun. I feel like it's totally fine to do whatever you want, be it streams, prepared content, both. But um I just I, I find it infinitely amusing that Hassan of all people to this person you just banned is like, go make some content. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Dude, oh my god, you're gonna get so sued. Fourteen year old Andy's like Hmm. I'm gonna get you so sued. Yeah, okay, dude. That's Make some ageist. fucking content first, all right? Some baby. Anyway, copies are listening. Um, so, yeah. Now we're moving on to a different section. I'm gonna play it first so you understand probably what point I'm gonna be making you. Sick, though. You guys should subscribe to him. All right, let's watch Steven Crowder's <laughs> Nightmare, okay. dude. This is gonna be... No, no, it's... Just just go with it for a second, you'll understand. Awesome. Uh, I think I'm already uh, This know is Eamon Animations. He made one of me Maybe. as well, which was fucking crazy. If you guys have seen that, I don't know if you have or not, but I, I'm willing to bet that this is gonna be an insane fucking video. Vic Berger is the perfect person to do this. Uh to to absolutely just comester these fools. Um Tumster? we have so much to watch today. But Obviously, I love this one. I mean, he's so good. And that's pretty much it for that. So that's Damn. all the ones I found on that stream. So can you oh, can you spot uh -oh. yeah. what's happening here? He's just watching this no shit. Giving, he's giving credit. He's giving what, credit. Like, the thing that he just yeah, fucking refused outright <laughs> to do for Jay. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. <laughs> what? He's willing to credit all of these people, but he absolutely refused for Jay. And it, by the way, someone just posted in chat. We have so much content to watch today. It's like, yeah, that about sums up his fucking <laughs> channel, doesn't it? We have so much to watch. I have so many poops I need to take. Do you remember, um... See, you, know what I, you know what I do when I want to watch a YouTube video? I go what watch do do? it. Whoa. I don't, I don't no, go wait, wait for a streamer wait, 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 to watch wait, 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 it. Wait, 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 Explain, Explain. this. Explain. <laughs> what was this witchcraft? Explain how this works? <laughs> well, sometimes I'll sit at my desk and I'll, maybe I'll have some, some food. You know? oh, wait, let me I'll take put on a YouTube video. Some nuggies. But I don't have my camera or my mic on. Well, go talk slower. I'm trying to write this all down so I know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to take some notes here. Um, <laughs> what, yeah, what do your yeah, eyes in, do? In, I don't get it. <laughs> in general, like React content seems to be completely worthless unless you're adding something to it. And the, o well, the yeah. only, um, the only exception I would make Almost for this is video logical. games, because yeah. because playing video games inherently makes it a different playthrough than your playthrough. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we uh, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Um, so it just seems like if you want to, you know, just waste time and watch your life slowly tick away, tune into Hassan's channel. <laughs> uh, I, th I thought it was interesting Hassan's that Hassan's life slowly tick away and know that you are bound for the oblivion together as comrades until he bans you and in, in, in then. In... He like desperately tries to get as many videos watched as possible. Meanwhile, on EFAP. We're like, 24 hour, 31 hour stream, we only got 7 videos covered, I'm afraid. It's the best we can do, guys. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh. Two videos today? Damn, high fives I, well, all Unfortunately, around, we have things to say. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, listen, guys, guys. Maps and whatnot. Guys, if you want to expedite EFAP, just, like, just be like, yeah. And there's your, just do that. Everyone needs to cook <laughs> you'll, their you'll, nuggies. You'll get this shit <laughs> yeah. done so quick. Yeah. <laughs> True. 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 Yeah. This True. is oh, awesome. That one. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Let me look for someone in chat to ban. True. Could it be you? Um. <laughs> so yeah, I have said before, if he was to watch a whole video from someone, especially with their permission, and then just said, "This is who they are. Where this way to find them," I wouldn't. I wouldn't have any problem with any of this. I'd be like, "Yeah, it's fine." And for some reason, he will do it with certain people, but there are certain people he will absolutely not do it with. And this is not the difference between like ones he's uh, complimenting and ones that he's criticizing. This is literally just seems to be run-of-the-mill like it, it could be anything i mean he's all over the place who knows you'll just throw out a, a compliment or not incredible so incredibly talented this is it that i think that's it this is the greatest work of all time this is a permanent conservative l compilation of a bunch of sad freaks who See. basically bet the horse and the house sorry bet the house on a horse isn't funny if you're an adult? Yeah. Actually, I actually haven't heard that saying before. Bet the house on a horse. At least you can follow it. Yes. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the yeah. whole. The one of my dad once said he, because you know he's 
old, old and sagacious as they 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 can be is never bet on uh, just, i don't know I, I forget i shouldn't have said anything i should have prepared in advance you should have brought a chair the... you could have just thrown that up i should have brought a chair Okay. Right. So somebody, what? somebody, edit in a, a, a little, um, a little loading symbol above Rags's head while he's doing that. I want that to be the stream clip. Well, it was, it was something along the lines of "never bet on horses," and uh, I, for, I forget. That's the thing. I forget. But it was something similar. It, it's the follies of gambling on animals mm. and things that are unpredictable. It's things that make safe bets. I think is the is the is is the proverb point oh did you oh did you see in the olympics the chat is was... saying red the, the chat is saying rags went full hassan oh no i have True. not yet begun to hassan i don't even know if i'm <laughs> capable of that that my my mind might have a fail safe like how a computer shuts down if it you know gets too much electricity or something and so it's just like oh we better shut down so nothing bad happens i think my brain might have something similar to that where if i try to go full hassan big h and everything it just says no you, nap time <laughs> You're clearly operating on faulty mechanics. Yeah. You need to go to sleep. We need to restart to sleep for eight <laughs> hours, so we'll try again later. We need to install some updates. Uh, uh, I heard in the Olympics there was someone, uh, some, some woman, some equestrian, and she, like, she was supposed to be like the favorite to win, and the horse just wouldn't jump or something like that, because horses are dumb. Aww. So, and she was like in tears because the horse just wouldn't fucking jump. And I was like, man, that must suck so much. Do all that tra uh, training. I, I, I tried to combine training and practice. I almost said practice. Uh, <laughs> all that training and practice to get to the Olympics and be that favored. And then you get to the event and you're ready. And the horse is just like, no, nah, I'm just not going to. So there. All right. Carry on really mean much you know oh wait let me let me rewind him um yeah because he's let watching rewind him he's watching something <laughs> and one of his people in chat says um they're like not funny i think or something yeah if you're yeah, an adult I mean, okay so what there's like i feel like there's an endless supply of 12 year olds on the internet so it, it, it kind of doesn't matter huh like Okay, then. I appeal to adults. Doesn't really mean much, you know? I like it. This I one was the first one that was that like an actual mean... like an actual thing was directed at him that I could see as an insult. And he's like, oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> like, well, what are your standards? What are your the, standards with this? I don't the person understand. in chat was making fun of the subject, which is this guy here, because he's doing some stuff with it. Then they were just like, well, I can't, I don't find him funny. I think Hassan said he was funny. And then they said I, only a like, non-adult would find him funny, and then he's like, there's kids everywhere, so whatever. I'm appealing to adults, which... <laughs> Does he? <laughs> I, I, don't, uh, I feel like you'd have to prove I, that. He appeals to... Uh, I don't even know if I want to go into that. <laughs> what does Hassan Piker appeal to, person-wise? Hmm. Probably, like, si like, people who have, like... 16 years old, he, him, Marxist Leninist in their Twitter bio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Idiots, basically. Okay, I low key think that <clears throat> I'm going to fucking toot my own horn here. I think ah, so this is the section that begins. That was, that was just prep, you know, all that stuff. That was just you getting a taste. So the way this happened is he was watching a video by someone he's watched on his channel many times and probably left the seat for, and they are they are popping off CoffeeZilla. I, I I'm not familiar with this stuff. I think they're covering like a lot of the crypto like stuff. Financial stuff and yeah. crypto and yeah, stocks, scams yeah. and stuff. And so a I'm lot of people to watch them recently. Appreciate the content. It's good stuff. And as you can see, Hassan is about to give his reasoning for why he believes CoffeeZilla is popping off, and that creates a conversation. I low key think that. I'm gonna fucking toot my own horn here. I think that. Oh no! Hold on, hmm? hold on. I am contractually obligated by the rules of of my own channel. Now that a horn has been mentioned, hmm? okay, we can continue. You can continue. What? What happened? No, 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 no. Explain what happened. Nothing happened. I couldn't hear. We couldn't hear anything. Oh, you what didn't happened? hear it. Did you toot, 
no, no just, Discord is a horn. Horn. Did you Discord, Discord, I will do it closer to the mic. Discord is good <laughs> noise cancellation. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, no! I have a <laughs> horn have that, the... I, that I honk whenever I whenever a horn comes you up. You have a kazoo? <laughs> no, a horn, like an actual horn. Oh, like a like a French horn or? Yeah. Wait, you guys can't you guys can't hear me honking the horn. Can you hear it now? I can hear it now. Yeah. It's something. Yeah. Kind of, it's it's not that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How embarrassing. How embarrassing. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, you, yeah, Where did my I horn you have go? a noise gate or, a, or something. We don't hear Wait, your I horn. Do? Well, no, Discord has an you, automatic you one now that's amazing. It's, it even stops. I regularly try to burp to Mel and it doesn't let me. Yeah, I can't whistle. Saying. If I whistle into the microphone, it doesn't pick up. That's why, everyone, you haven't heard me whistling in ages. I still do. It's just that it doesn't. I, I think RTX. It is like nah, that's not that's not coming through. Yeah, nah, Discord. That's not a word. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, I will see if I can change something in my settings. You can. Well, hear if you went push to talk, because I always I right? always honk the horn. Okay, I've I've turned it down to completely on. Can you hear it now? <laughs> it was like a no? tiny. It was like a mosquito like a... flew across <laughs> the desk, but sort of far away. <laughs> it sounded like a dying what horn. What kind of horn? <laughs> Man, when you Discord said horn, is fucking I assumed awful, it would be like you know a <laughs> like a horn horn. What kind of it's horn? It's a bike exactly horn, actually. It, it, oh, it's like a squeezy honky the... horn. Oh, like a clown horn. <laughs> yeah, I have a clown horn. I'm excited so to hear the horn. There's, there's, there's a horn, oh. or there's like a clown world thing on my channel. I just honk it. Oh, now oh. I want to hear the horn, but I'm not hearing it. Oh. <laughs> I kind of want to hear the horn. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Oh. Well. Do you need it? Maybe as you're talking, you honk it so that the the. So yeah, I, knows, I tried like, that. So... I tried that last time, and it still oh, kind of half came through. Does your stream hear it? I guess you don't use Discord. Uh, I'm well, not right now I'm just hanging out with you guys. I was gonna say the I reason know, why I'm asking, the like, when you the... use it for your streams, do it would you... come through for a stream because it's not through yes. Discord at that point. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah it, it's going just asking, directly to yeah. my OBS. Yeah. That's what I was. I was... Yes. Yeah trying to see here but huh well i i i can appreciate the, the I, idea I appreciate <laughs> the, the 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 quirk i i do i do like it's it. wonderful i love it um anyway back to hassan's horn i'm gonna fucking toot my own horn here i think that <laughs> the reason why these the, the reason why coffee is like exploding is because one he's doing great content obviously but i also kind of feel like Twitch streamers watching, like every Twitch streamer watches videos. You don't promote so viewership gonna, as much I'm as. I'm gonna stop because I've been yeah, subscribed to CoffeeZilla for like several months before all of this sudden explosion. It's just been in the algorithm. That's like the big yeah, thing. Yeah, that just happens. Really relevant things that have been going on in terms yeah. of like. You can this, argue that the streamer watching it is just a result of everybody watching it anyway. Like I it's... would say so. I would honest. I would say that that is more believable to me than like oh thanks Hassan you know <laughs> it was you. Hassan like, that did it <laughs> that just doesn't that doesn't I don't I don't buy that I think it's just a matter of like the algorithm so picked up on it yeah um I know, but I mean, the, the content itself is entertaining as well yeah I'm sure it's well researched right it's part of why it's, it's like super well researched yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty impressive um yeah um but of course someone in his chat a Someone with, I guess, a free-thinking mind, a fool, you might oh, even say, have that here. Uh -oh. decided to speak up in terms of what he's just asserted. Twitch streamers watching, like, every Twitch streamer watches videos. You don't promote viewership as much as you think. Literally yeah. every single fucking YouTuber says that when Twitch streamers watch them, they fucking spike. They can note <laughs> That's not true, though. No, wait, you have to... Oh, no, no, you, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You have to appreciate that he's saying this infuriated at Jay. That's what's in his head right now. He's fucking pissed, yeah. and that's about to become very clear. He's angry that Jay, among other people, including myself, have perpetuated this idea that Twitch streamers do not increase and promote YouTubers, because that was the whole fucking reason he was able to get away with it. If we destroy that idea, he starts to lose all of his coverage, so he's pissed off. He didn't have to respond to that chatter. Could have just left it. Uh, so, yeah, so ahead. people in your chat said to record the honk. So I did. I, I put it in oh, the okay. chat if you want to play it. I, I would. I would love to. <laughs> let me. Let me click. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even know if that is that a horn, really. Yeah, that's okay, a horn. That's funny. It's a really I cute horn. 
that's like that's yeah, a very cute it, it's, horn. it's like a little clown horn. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. It's like a midget clown horn. <laughs> it's and, a gnome and clown horn. Like a clown world. That's a clown <laughs> car's honk. Whenever like the it. clown <laughs> car is like, you need to move. You know, I'm trying to park here. They the, they do that, and that's what it sounds like. <laughs> whenever, whenever there's like a clown world thing on my channel, I'll honk the horn. That's just part of my thing. Perfect. I love it. It's like one of my people as they as they bite down on a toy to simulate the, mm. the death screams of a wounded animal. Oh, th there are dogs somewhere right now going crazy. Oh yes. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was all right <laughs> myself, but uh, yeah, kapla. YouTuber says that when Twitch streamers watch them, they fucking spike. They can note they see a noticeable spike in their subscribers and a noticeable spike in their view count. <laughs> See, I, I I don't know. Like, I still think that that's kind of true because like, when Destiny watched my video, I got like a thousand subs in a day. So, like, we need uh, there's, there's something there's to this. There's like multiple things that we need to address. Well, first, I was gonna say we, we went over it all last week, but we could do it again. Like, yeah. it's it, it, first okay. of all, it doesn't matter. It's a principle of like you can't do this. You can't just watch somebody's stuff yeah, yeah. and not comment on it without their permission. It doesn't matter whether they get. 1,000 views or like 100,000 extra views or a million extra views. Like, yes. fundamentally, there is an issue here. But secondly, mm -hmm. it doesn't cause a big spike. It, did, well, it just doesn't. So, like, at least in Jay's case, anyway. It's, it's, so, what I that's why I showed those clips earlier, right? If on EFAP we cover someone's video in full screen, we watch it and go, that was neat, move on. I said uh, last week, people in chat be like, whoa, 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 who is the channel? Who is that? Can you, like, hello? Like, what's going on? Who is, who is the channel? What's the name of the video? Yeah. Can you link it in chat? Blah, blah. If, however, we go, this person's name is this, the channel they run is this, this is the link, it's in the description, it's in the chat, they do all kinds of videos, this is the subjects they cover, I recommend them, I'm subscribed, I love this stuff. If I do that, versus the prior one, very different results. And so when you yes. take to, to Asan to be like, the problem here is blah 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 blah, and then he's like, I no, the spikes. Like, so Jay didn't really get a spike from what he did, and uh, don't worry, I have intercut so that we didn't have to. Uh, Jay's response to this from Jay's stream that uh, he did when this initially happened. So you'll be able to see Jay's spike. Don't worry about that. This video will blow up too because it's about Aiden Ross. Why? Why are you? Why are you random chatter who does not understand analytics or content creation or any? Oh. So Hassan talking about yeah. it, someone who doesn't understand analytics or content creation. It's fucking rich yeah. as hell. Uh, all we ever wanted, uh, everyone here, was to just credit Jay. That was it. <laughs> but now it's unlocked all these retarded arguments, and he's just frustrated that uh, it's become a true, like an like acknowledged truth that you don't spike everyone you watch. But mm -hmm. as Fring already pointed out, it's not actually relevant. It's not the point. Yep. Anything for that fucking. Sitting here and acting like you know what the fuck you're talking about because you watched one YouTuber who was butt hurt that like I didn't ah. react hard enough to their fucking YouTube video, Freud. even though that very Freud. same fucking YouTuber Sig unironically Freud. literally said, got a delivery. "Oh my god, who's watching my YouTube video now?" and and showed that it was like Man, leading to more so fucking mad. viewership. So yeah, it sounds very pissed at Jay. <laughs> And just and just summarize the situation as Jay was really mad, even though Jay got a whole bunch of viewers. All right. Wow. Admit Jay yeah. admitted it Ungrateful himself. Piece of shit. Admitted it. Of them. Well, what, well, well, well. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> for that. Uh, oh, 200 views for a YouTuber who who is like, for a YouTuber who was doing this professionally. That's literally nothing. Not literally nothing. That's figuratively nothing. That is. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Um, yeah. So insubstantial, like that is very insubstantial to them, and they That's probably nothing, yeah. there was a very good chance that they could have not noticed this if it was just like you know wasn't all in the same hour, right? Or even if it was, right before yeah. they fucking yeah, made it fair. their mid yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> the average in my videos is like around 50k views over the course of like a couple days. That's that's normal. Um, I wouldn't notice a 200 view bump. But I do know like I did either, notice yeah. the Destiny bump because but Destiny also commented on the video. Well, the, I was but about was, to ask, was... did did Destiny's fans know that you made the video? Yes. Well, there you go. That's already a step above what Hassan <laughs> does with a lot of people. Yes, and Destiny also also replied to each point. And um yeah. He, he did close it very quickly because of the troll at the end, but but, but the point is, is that I did actually get a um get a bump from it because um it 
basically his fans had been bothering him for about two days and mentioning my name every time, so it kind of got out there, yeah. Yeah, um, and I think that there's, there's just, there's so many ways to handle it that are so perfectly fine. But he just summarized the situation with Jay, he's complaining that I gave him views, it's like, okay, so apparently you didn't absorb anything, like, from, from Jay or anyone for that matter. Hassan Mission. doesn't have a problem, like, if you have... I, I think the issue with Hassan, the issue I say, the is, um, one of the basal issues with Hassan's stupidity is that um, he he doesn't like run the race. He doesn't know how to get to the race or understand like what it is. Like it's almost like he's not playing the game. He doesn't even know how to play the game. You are not even getting to him. To, he doesn't know what the issue is. What's the thing? He doesn't it, know how to interact with it, or his brain doesn't understand how it needs to respond to 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 the the game itself or to the argument itself. Jay offered a conversation. That would be like the worst fucking thing for Hassan because he's got no. He doesn't even understand the situation, as you said. It's like <laughs> if you if you walk in, you'd probably be like, right. So what what's what's your issue, dude? Like what? Like you you've got views. What? And then Jay would be like, do you, do you actually know what I've said in response to this? And then someone would be like, you're complaining that... Whatever, that I don't... What? Yeah. And it would just be like, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> and I think he knows that, I think he's aware, so he's just like, yeah, there's no fucking point in talking to Jay, that would be a nightmare. I guess that's, but like, if you're that self-aware, do you not introspect at that point? Like, <laughs> nope. I can't even just have... Yeah, I guess not. Before they fucking made it their mission to just, like, uh, make content for the next month or so with other YouTubers uh, getting together and just be like, Oh my god. They fucking made it their mission to just, like, uh, make content for the next month or so getting together and just be like, Oh my god. <laughs> the other day, the every frame of pause, guys, literally spent four hours bitching about the reacts. Sorry, let me just jump in here before we get to him talking about EFAP. Um, this is something that I've noticed, too. If a streamer like Hassan, or, or in my case it was Vosh, but you know the kind of guy I'm talking about. If you react to their content, whether you, you react to it on a stream, or you make a video about it, or, or whatever, and they don't really have much to say about it, or they don't want to take the time to watch it, they will just say that you are trying to farm them for views. Yeah. It's kind of funny because, like, Vosh claimed this about me. I, I made a couple of videos. I think I've made two videos overall criticizing him. And now, like, he and all of his fans are saying that I'm constantly trying to make all, like, dozens of Vosh videos that don't exist. And how I'm just farming views. But actually, my Vosh videos don't get that many more views than my regular videos. They get, like, ten to 20,000 views above average, which is not nothing. But it's not like I'm, it's not like I'm blowing up because of it, you know? Well, this is the, so, like, if ever you're in trouble... You smash the emergency kit, and it reads, Does this person have more subscribers than you? If yes, bully. If no, <laughs> clout chaser. And you've got it. That's your main defenses when you've got no argument. Simple as that? Yeah. That also kind of ties into, like, why are you platforming this guy? That kind of... Oh, they do that too, too yeah. It, it is really... Oh, God, hold on. Hold on. Just give me a... Oh, no. His horn. His horn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, but yeah, as as people pointed out, he's just he's just read out every frame of pause. We've got Hassan reading that out. We can put that on intros now, like every frame of pause, and we'll just say it's endorsed by Hassan. Okay, check check <laughs> this check this. I actually got them. I got somebody from this crowd. You know, the, the the bread tube crowd, straight up saying that it is all about numbers. They say as long as your audience is noticeably smaller than theirs, you can only gain from the interaction. You're not giving them attention, they're giving you attention. The problem arises when you platform them, and neither Vosh nor the Surfs do this. And I'm just like, wow, it, it's just all a numbers game to you. There's, yeah, um, there's no actual story. interest in, in discussion or ideas, it's just the numbers. That doesn't surprise me at all. Um, but not in a no, way that you might think. I, I could see them justifying it from a perspective of like the overall war. Like, we need to win this, and so providing any kind of benefit to the opposition when we know that we are right and they're wrong is a huge mistake. Meanwhile, a lot of people will rather be like, wait, I'm wrong on this? Nah, I think I'm right on this. Let's have the conversation. Crazy, I know. Yeah, this is where you get, 
again, people like Vosh who say stuff like, um, oh, it's it's good to lie as long as, you know, the outcome is okay, as long as my side wins. And it's like, Jesus. Well, Vosh, uh, as, as me and Frankie covered on Sitch and Adam's stream, he's, he's said some incredible things in terms of uh, your integrity as a content creator slash activist slash... Slash person. Yeah, person. In, <laughs> like, it's... Yeah, in general. It's, it's surprising. Um, well, surprising for a lot of people. Some people think it's just completely normal. It's, it, I just like, god damn, it's, it's sad, I guess, is probably the word I put it. Mm. Um, but yeah, we'll roll him back just Perfect. a little bit. Just like uh, make content for the next month or so, you're getting together and just be like, oh my god. The other day, the every frame of pause guys literally spent four hours bitching about the React stuff. They just suck my cock. I'll never watch their dog shit fucking content, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you sound upset. You sound really yeah. upset. He's, yeah. He has no you idea. Irrationally upset. <laughs> he has no idea who we do. are or what we do. Yeah. Yeah. It will, if they responded to you negatively, they must, it must be dog shit content. It must be terrible. Mm -hmm. Look, Hassan, you're gonna be way, fine, can, okay? You know, you're gonna be fine. Horrible racial slur, I guess it just, but, it rings, yeah. it rings hollow, I guess. <laughs> just considering well, that Why don't you guys invite Hassan want. on? But, invite uh, him onto the show. The, 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 so the only reason I wouldn't have is because I don't believe in a million universes he would ever come on. But he's absolutely welcome to come on. I would happily organize it. <laughs> so so if for some reason Hassan's like, yeah, I'll go on there and I'll tell those guys what what for, you'd do it? Oh, absolutely. Are you kidding me? I would, mm -hmm. I would even be like, <laughs> guys, don't all talk at once and make sure you have simple sentences. We've got to really let him, like, get him back in his element and don't be too hard. Rags, you've got to, you've got to, don't go beyond basic colors in terms of concepts or something i just don't want to hit him yeah shapes and colors <laughs> but really simple ones five sides and below and you know, we gotta really we gotta rein this in so he can keep up the sun um, is such a simpleton we gotta really watch what we're doing well this is what i mean like he, he's so angry at us and it's just like you have, you, you have no idea what we what <laughs> I, I could, you don't I'm, actually know that any of this is true. A chatter has just said it. You yeah, don't know anything knows, about any of it. It could have been a four-hour stream defending him. <laughs> we could have been like, yeah. no, he has a point. <laughs> but, uh, no, he's, yeah, he's pissed. He's like, nah, not having it. Any of YouTubers fucking understand is that, like, this actually fucking helps. It's like a back-and-forth ecosystem. <laughs> I can't wait. Now that I fucking mentioned them, I'm sure... Ecosystem. Nice. What yeah. do you, what do... YouTubers need to understand it's a back and forth system. Me siphoning off all of your hard work to earn money helps you. So shut the fuck up. Yeah, that's, shut the fuck it. up. Can't and, you and, see I'm helping you? Well, this, and this well, is the reason on. why when I saw this, I was like, we absolutely have to respond again because like he wants you to stop talking about this because it's going to fuck up his living. It, not just the, the money, but the, the, the element of how lazy the, the content creation is. It fucks it up if people start thinking you're stealing stuff. See, Hassan the communist is literally extracting capital from these 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 lower level YouTubers. Well, we're replacing YouTubers with workers. And, oh uh, man, we yeah, we haven't even gotten in much to the whole how well, richly ironic this is. Doubly so coming from this guy. I wonder how worthwhile <laughs> that even is with, with someone like Hassan, where he doesn't. I don't even think he knows what he fights for. Like, I don't think he's understood it at all. Like, like I, he, he'll walk outside every day and just marvel that there's weather or something. He'll stare in awe at the flushing action of a toilet. It is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's very mesmerizing. Um, it's like magic. First there's poop, and then no poop. It's like, what the yeah. fuck? I can't yeah. wait. Now that I fucking mentioned them, I'm sure they'll, like, literally do another analysis on this, dude. Every time I pause, it's, it's, it's an analysis. So, oh, son <laughs> said something correct for the first time in his life. So analysis is a big word. Nice. Um, yeah, that's a big one. So he couldn't it, spell it, but he's heard it. So I've never understood this attitude where you say, "Shut the fuck up about them. They make shit content. I'm never gonna watch it, and they're wrong about the the principles in relation to transformative content." And I bet they're gonna respond to this. You're like, yeah, probably. You're talking to what is it, forty thousand people? About how shit we are? <laughs> like, it's, it's a good yeah. chance we might mention it. Yeah, we might. We're like, oh, he got us. Totally called it. We're I fucked feel, now. I feel super owned. I need to, I've been convinced to go out and acquire a life. And eat How's grass. This eat that oh, grass, Oh, yeah. munch, munch. So, are, are you guys actually incel Star Wars YouTubers that are wrong about everything? 
Um, when was no, the last time we talked about Star Wars? About everything. The last time we talked about Star Wars would have been Mandalorian Season 2, right? Which was over yeah, what, a, a year ago? It was right, fucking right, ages right. ago. Yeah, that was, was like last while, summer, I think, eh? It's so good it's to see how fucking uninformed these people are that talk shit about EFAP. Who's Star Wars YouTube? Well, I feel like oh. this is a great example of like Chinese whispers, right? Like, what is it? Uh, where does what is the end point? An incel Star Wars podcast wrong about <laughs> everything. It's like, where did that come from? Nice. What that came from? It keeps getting passed down the line with more things of like they suck, they're assholes, they're well, pieces of shit, just added on until like eventually you reach that point where like will... what you've said is totally divorced from what it actually is. If you go back to EFAB, I think it's around 50, 50, late 50s, I'm not 100% sure, when we covered Jenny Nicholson for the 11 hours, that will be where the incel part comes from. Um, but right. I would like to remind everybody that they posted that we were incels and that we hate women onto the cringe subreddit, and it got removed by the moderators because it wasn't cringe. So get uh, fucked. It wasn't, uh... <laughs> yeah. Categorically. See, uh... <laughs> Scientifically <laughs> proven. <laughs> If Reddit says we're not cringe and they're the fucking experts, it must be true. Yeah. Yeah. So um, Hassan's attitude here, it reminds me of, there's a bunch of people um, on YouTube, on Twitter, on Twitch, all, all of these places, where they, they they kind of view the internet or like that it, that it should be a giant safe space for them. And so if they get if they get any kind of blowback, it's it's harassment, right? So they can sit there and talk about whatever. And then as soon as it's like, oh man, they're gonna reply to me, aren't they? Oh fuck. It's like it's like you're harassing them just by daring to have a response to what they've said to you. Yeah. It's, it's a very strange, whatever very strange attitude. Say. And it would really like, help yeah, him if he avoided going, Oh, those fuckers, they just make shit if he just said, Yeah, that's okay, they can talk about whatever they want, whatever. You know the the true yeah. best move Dismissive, for him in a way, but, would probably you know, have. Well, I, yeah, that's the thing. What I'm saying is like, how could he be surprised when he's saying shit like this? What do you, what I mean, do you, at your size, there's no way you can be surprised at this point when you say something about people and they have a response to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've thought I've thought of the perfect example. Okay, so this is a clip that went viral about a month ago, and it was um, Oni Oni NG making fun of the the old channel awesome guys. Uh -huh. And then, and then their reaction to it. So Linkara was on his stream raging about it, and he would ban people who brought it up. <laughs> and Doug Walker was like, "Yeah, it's pretty funny." That's <laughs> and, there you go. And, and guess and guess who got more respect? You know, for for, for being mm -hmm. made fun say, of. Dude, well, I've seen I've, the video. They're pretty kind. They spend a lot of the video talking about what they actually liked about Channel Awesome, and then they're also like throwing in jokes. And in fairness, they, the way they drew Link Car was fucking hilarious. That's a really good video. Uh, <laughs> is, but it's really fun. That. that sounds funny. To listen to them, they're really chill. They're just friends, and they're just drawing all of the characters, people from Channel Awesome. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I've had the well. Also, um, on on Oni's Let's Play channel, they they bring up like Channel Awesome jokes randomly yeah. a whole bunch. And I've had the opportunity to, to to talk to Oni once or twice. He's actually a really nice guy. He's really down to earth. Oh, they're, they're the kind of people that I kind of I would uh, definitely, hope yeah. have a similar vibe to what we try to do on EFAT, which is just like, there's no, it's just, just people chilling out. We're just, we're just having a chat. It's not yeah. like anything, nothing too fucking heady or serious. It'd be or... really cool to chat with the yeah. sleepy cast. Yeah. Like sleepy cast guys, that'd be awesome. Your, your your mod says EFAP has unironically been called left wing, SJW, right wing, and alt right. Yeah, see, I've been called both a socialist and a fascist at this well, point. So remember Transparency Tube? They they called me partisan right. <laughs> I was like, uh, that, <laughs> that feels this weird. Me of the old console wars PC days, where it's like, oh, you're a PlayStation fanboy, you're an Xbox fanboy, you're a PC fanboy. It's like, man, like just. Fucking hell! Well, like it, it's just whatever you criticize this one time, and you're the, you're like <laughs> the complete opposite. I released the uh, the Snyder Cut video, which was like one of the few videos of its size and production of that was critical of the Snyder Cut. Most people were very happy with it. Got in loads of trouble with DC fans for that one. It's just like oof, really pissed off a, a beehive with it. A couple weeks later, we cover um. The Falcon Winter Soldier, I think it was around Falcon Winter Soldier that someone on Twitter, after I tweeted that I thought it was a shit show, was just like, fucking DC fanboys. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> uh... <laughs> on the same day, uh, on, it, on all, of all places, for affinity, I, I was called a fascist and a libertarian, same fucking day. Fucking libtard <laughs> fascists, man. Oh, I hate those. <laughs> 
Well, here's the thing. People on the extreme left who are kind of like halfway knowledgeable about theory, they actually believe libertarians and fascists to be the same thing. And the explanation of why is kind of long and boring, but it's and, and also stupid, but they at least have like some kind of grounding there, even though it's really dumb. But yeah. It's a fun world we live in. Mm. Do another analysis on this, dude. Every frame of pause is incel Star Wars YouTubers that are wrong about everything. Yeah, every frame of painting is fucking sick. Every frame of pause, on the other hand, <laughs> I do not know who the you fuck don't they even are. Know what it is. I don't know what the oh, fuck yeah. they are. Yeah, you, you just said I don't know who you are. are. Yeah. yeah, I don't know yeah, who you right. are. After <laughs> their shit and it's dog shit content and they're fucking terrible. Also, I don't know who they are. Just top. This this is at the top of what people view online. It's it, what the fuck are you doing, people? The yeah. fact that anyone gives to this man for two years to get banned by him is incredible. It's some. Um, it's genuinely, I'm at the point where I'm like, whatever you're getting out of his stream, you need to experience other streams. They are so much better. They are so much richer in terms of what you can get. This shit is like... Oh, no, they don't... Well, richer? No, those are... <laughs> Avoid them. <laughs> no. It's just like uh, this scrounging... Like what they do. It's like, uh. This scrounging at the bottom of the barrel when there's many full barrels across the area. And it's just like, give it up. And I guess it's just a matter of, like, sunk cost or some shit. They've just been there for fucking long. They're just like, nah, it's fine. I've seen, by the way, when we first covered him, there were some people um, in the Discord and then in the comments that were like, hmm, I am a fan of Hassan, but this is, this hasn't been fun to watch. And this is like, yeah, I, I'd imagine so. How were you a fan of Hassan? You baffle me. Your existence confuses my brain. I'm trying to make sense of it, and I can't. At the very least, go for VTubers or something. Yes, that would be <laughs> the superior alternative by far. Yeah. Um, apparently they were fucking <laughs> complaining about me watching YouTube videos of them. Watch out, Asan, they're gonna make another Discord argument or destroy your entire career. It's just fucking, it's so... It, because we're on another Discord? Discord argument? Is, is that a slur? That a, if an <laughs> argument's on Discord, it's like... They're lesser than normal now, arguments. Or... Oh, man. I don't know. Yeah. As opposed to high the, the 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 apex of argumentation that happens on Twitch? I guess so, yeah. We're learning. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. So lame, dude. No, like, work here. go off. You're right. I mean, they're right. Fortune they're right. right. They're, they're, right. They're, right. they're right. They're right. <gasps> Look, he just said we're right. He hasn't seen anything in the chat. There, somebody was saying in the chat they've had Sargon on, so it doesn't count. I was like, gee, <laughs> all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have Sargon in the chat now, or he was earlier. He was there at some point. He was enjoying Rag's I, commentary. I'm glad, that he is, uh, yeah. I'm glad that he's just like that. Has admitted that it's like he's wrong. That's that's kind of well, the only thing that matters in this particular. Well, of course, because there'll be like a whole bunch of prefaces and stuff that's soon to follow. That, like, you've you've heard that, but, you've heard the yeah. argument before. What he's about to make, it's the confusing yeah. one that we dealt with last week. But I'll let it play first, I guess. Every YouTuber and I in the beginning, every YouTuber has every right to be upset if Twitch streamers are watching their YouTube videos. Straight up. Wait, what? That's so he misses the point but... completely. But this sort of undermines all the stuff that he was trying to say earlier. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, so this is the thing. We're, we're evolving. We're going to understand perfectly by the end of this video exactly what his position is. But from last week, he did say, if a YouTuber well, tells you to stop watching my, uh, my videos, you do. That's because they're right. They are right every time. And of course, our response was just like, well, no. It, like, if, if, for example, High Top said, stop watching my videos on EFAP, we'd be like, um... <laughs> I mean, Fuck you, no. <laughs> we, yeah, like You'll have to do better than that, I'm afraid. Um, but Hassam would be like, no, you should stop. That's just how it works. They've told you you're not allowed. And it's like, okay, so Hassan, the way transformative content works is that you don't actually have to ask permission if we've completely transformed the content. Like, this, it's just yeah, basics. Yeah. Like, um, however, if we were to play it in full and then move it to another video and play it in full, it's like, we probably would need his fucking permission at that point. Um, but Hassan, for some mm. reason, has melded these together where if you do anything with someone's content, you have to ask the permission uh, for it to be legal, I guess. And so he's running mm. on, like, a piracy sort of ethic here, where it's like, let me do it, but if you say no, all right, all right, don't, I won't, I won't. It's, it's fine, don't worry about it. Um, when, as we said last week, it's like, you'd think you would ask them instead of waiting for them to say no and hoping they just don't notice. Well, that's the way that the system works. It was way easier for... that way, right? <laughs> Yeah, well, it's, it's just the whole easier thing to ask for forgiveness and for permission. Well, but, yep. well, that's what he's operating on, but it's like, man, yeah, like, you've already got the utility from it. Like, you've played the video. It's done. 
Like, if I say you shouldn't have done that, it's like, oh, sorry. It's like, you did it. It's like, oh, sorry. It's like, that doesn't fix anything. You did it. Like, it's too late. <laughs> this goes This goes back to uh, the mundane Matt thing. When that all kind of came to its head, um, an, an apology, part of what makes a apology sincere and believable and meaningful is the willingness to try and make things right and to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. put forth some level of effort into correcting any harm that you may have done. And so what happened with Monday and Matt? I didn't. I don't know what's going oh, on here. This is. Oh, it's the old thing. It's the old thing. Uh, this was just it. it I don't know the old thing. Was. Go to you, oh, when he you, was caught flagging everybody who was talking about. Oh, him that. that okay. Yeah yeah. 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 It, it's sort of the good go-to for here's how you fuck up an apology and how you don't. Um. Uh, like how this the worst way to take an L essentially. Um, the, yeah. Oh, Monday yeah. Matt, by the way, he was he's someone who is shit talked EFAP without knowing who we are. And then I guess he learned or thinks he learned and then he kept doing it. I don't know. Yeah, he did. So he's um he he's on a warpath for a lot of he's he just like kind of Do you not know why? He's Do searching for um why? I actually don't know why really. <laughs> he's searching for uh like takes that make him unique, and so he goes on the warpath with like loads of different creators now. He just just does it. Runs into him like I'm gonna fucking end you, and then does didn't he call his podcast like Boulder Industries or something as well to try and capitalize on the meme like two years after <laughs> Boulder Industries? I don't know. It, this is a, this is actually tied into what Rise was just saying. He um he did it all wrong at first, and then ages later he did it correctly, but only because he it just his plan wasn't working. Ignoring it wasn't working. I don't think he did it. I don't think he ever did it correctly. Um. In terms of making a meaningful apology, and because it, it's the two prong thing of how do I, from a personal level, make this right, and how do I do this right from a career standpoint, in both ways, because they they are tied together in many senses in this business. But um, I don't think he ever did it right in any way. Mm -hmm. He never did what it took to show a meaningful apology to prove to everyone that he understood that he made mistakes and that he was going to do what he could to reverse the damage he did and to to prove that he was a different person now and that he was changing he never did any of that he's too he's too proud and of all the people to be proud just if you're mundane matt you shouldn't be proud of being mundane matt you know uh, i can't Naturally. He, he gives me hassan piker energy but i would say that i'd say that mundane matt is smarter than hassan piker and that's not a high bar but I think that's just default people are smarter than Hassan. Yeah, Hassan's actually one of the dumbest people I've ever seen. Pretty low down. The shocking even. Um but Yeah, someone someone did mention it's like, didn't you cover him though? It's like we did, but I don't think he knew anything about it. Um it was it was the survey he did, if you guys remember where yeah, he he was like. Oh, Turns out uh, people did like Game of Thrones season eight actually, and everyone's lying. And he did a survey he with covered. like 60% of people in the survey weren't fans of Game of Thrones. <laughs> it's like, what? We covered him on EFAP, and we also, a couple years back, Mahler, myself, Ringy, and Fun Fact, a friend of mine, we covered Mundane Matt on uh, my channel as well. We did a little stream. There you go. That was fun. That was back when the the Crowder Vox thing was going on, and Mundane Matt has a hate oh, for yeah. Trump and Crowder and all that sort of thing. So, he, uh, yeah, he, he sided with Vox on that one. <laughs> An excellent choice, man. What the stream's called? Like Monday Mass Sides with Vox or something like that. It was. Mm. Yeah, apparently it's yeah, called Boulder Cast. What's his face? Boulder Cast. Yeah, like I said, if he had done that from day one and profusely apologized for everything that he did and tried to make up for it, it would have been way better. Absolutely. That's not a. That, that, what he did is not actually a career killer. He just killed himself with it. He was he was given just enough rope to hang himself. No, he he gave himself enough rope to hang himself. <laughs> he farmed he that hung rope. Himself. Yeah, <laughs> he hung he himself. I just ended yeah, there. He hung himself. Yeah, yeah. He just. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm trying to flower this up, but I really can't. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the worst part about Bouldercast is that if you look it up, all of the SEO for that name is taken up by. A um, it looks like a SEO? weather forecast for yeah search engine optimization. It, all all oh, the space okay. for that name is taken up by a a weather forecast site for Boulder, Colorado. So it's called oh. there, there's <laughs> there is a site and called the Bouldercast, and there's a Twitter called the Bouldercast, and it's all about Colorado's weather. 
Oh. <laughs> and nothing, oh. nothing about mundane Matt is coming up at all. <laughs> it's true. There, which is precisely why when YouTubers are like, "Dude, what Let's the fuck start. are you doing?" I'm like, "Oh, sorry, we'll never watch it again." Stop giving them free cloud. They throw out the shit. Yeah, I know. There's fucking more cloud than they are ever gonna get. But whatever. So, um, yeah, okay. I don't think I. I don't want your cloud. Your cloud isn't even like worthless. It's it's negative positive. Yeah, I, it's just it's just interesting because I think about the numbers stuff you brought up earlier, uh, Dev. I honestly think they see it that way that I was we about to say, like are they are only looking. Value? Yeah, it yeah. couldn't be about the discussion. That's, that's no specifically well, yeah, it was, about well, the numbers. It's just numbers. Yeah, it's 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 Sigmund Freudian. <laughs> like it's just <laughs> oh yeah, it's more clout than they'll get. It's like man, that's like really important to you, isn't it? Like just attention like yeah viewers, i've never understood eyeballs. people who i've never understood the whole you know worshiping the numbers to the exclusion of everything else well it's you just I, I never understood that like what this is just matter? a natural like, result you know? well this is the this is just what businesses and businessmen do if they're super into like the career stuff it's just now it's happening in the online sphere as this job becomes a more mainstream and accepted thing like those people are always going to exist and it's just the yeah, natural guess, progression yeah. of that attitude, but it is a it is a not something a that I would advise attitude. people focus on. It's a really yes, toxic uh, attitude. You're entirely placing your like worth in factors that are well beyond your control. Very fickle, and actually don't really say anything about how good you are at what you do, because I'm pretty sure like everybody knows that. Like, if, if we're measuring good by eyeballs and Transformers is incredibly good, it's better than most content that's yeah, ever been Transformers made. Transformers and Justin Bieber, man, they're the, they're the yeah. top of the craft. Yeah, it's like, that's well, the best you can get. Like, you could add Hassan to that. Wow, of course. That's why it's oh, a yeah. good example. It's like, dude, it's, it's not... It doesn't... I don't know, man. Like, you should focus more on your work rather than how many viewers you get. That's... I don't know. No, we're it's only here for the for the clout. That's really, it. Which, by uh, the way, is pretty shout, interesting boy. because, like, shouldn't people want to defend themselves if you say this in front of this many people? Yeah, you should expect this. It's well, like, oh, they're in it for the clout. It's like, what if they're in it to be like, you know, please right. don't fuck my channel by? Because this is the thing, EFAP, we, we've been through a bazillion dramas, I don't think any one creator is ever going to be able to do any, like, as much damage to any of, to any of us that would be in any way significant. I, I feel like we're always going to be fine. It's, um, and, and, yeah. But at the same time, if any of them do, fucking our fans, at the very least, going to be like, you're going to respond to any of this? Like, literally, this creator just called you out as being, like, pieces of shit. And it's just like, oh, well, I mean... What other arguments does he make? What kind of content does he make? I was just like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can make a video pretty quick using my YouTuber skills, not my streamer skills, because it's on things you can only have one of those at a time. Um, we, and, and now we've created a, a combo stream of, of such things, and I just... Like, this this is the easiest win we, we could ever have because of how, like, pathetic our opponent is. And so yeah, if it's like if eating if, up a third grader, yeah, uh, why wouldn't I with with all of this? This there's, there's like I've got every reason in the book to do this. It's like clearing the fucking well, the air, the, making the arguments clear, defending the podcast itself, defending ourselves as characters, or our characters rather, um, and then showing people who are really big fans of Hassan, maybe you should reconsider if it's for his content. Simple as that. So I, just, I just like this whole, like, oh, you're doing it for the clout. It's like, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Ultimately, even if that were true, it's just like, you're still wrong. So I can watch your stream and talk about it, and that's okay? Yes, of oh, course yeah, it's okay, that. you fucking weirdo. Of course it's fucking okay, dude. Are Check you fucking stupid? You so he's very upset, because someone said, I guess I'll watch your video for views, and you'll get exposure. Which is pretty funny, right? Like, because mm -hmm. the the thing this chat is pointing out is that that wouldn't fucking work because he's got barely anyone probably watching him um, compared to Hassan. And so, well, I mean, it reveals we're, we're doing it right now. We're, we're doing it right now, and he has a problem with 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 your show doing it. He just said that a little bit earlier. Um. Well, I guess it's it's un, if you didn't know, it would be unclear on exactly what his issue with us is. 
Because mm-hmm. he didn't I think if he asked himself, he would be unclear what his or what his issue <laughs> is with us. I think the best you can draw is that he's annoyed at us for complaining about something that's totally just it's fine. Shut up. Like chill out, it's fine. It's like why are you complaining? But he's like clearly really angry about it, so you'd think there's more to it. And yeah, um the the reason I like this comment from Pfeiffer is that it highlights that the principle is what matters. It's not about if he's just like like what exposure am I gonna get? from someone with like a, a no channel so it wouldn't be worth it, you'd be like, ah, so what have you just revealed there, that it's it's gonna be about a particular line? Or how many viewers? Because th- I assume that's what the, po- the point that's being tried to made by this person. It's just like, couldn't everyone then just start watching everyone's content, and that's what content is. And because Asan has to bite that bullet to be correct, he's immediately said, yes, you can do that, go right ahead. This is like, uh, I feel like the, the world you're yeah. crafting there is not gonna look very good, <laughs> if, if that's all everything was. But, um, Hassan's angry. The commenter has just said something that's kind of against his position. What do you guys expect's gonna happen? I expect that we're not gonna see much of that person much longer. Rest in peace, Fife. Going against the... Watch your video exposure. What fucking exposure are you gonna give me? But go off if you want yeah, with your fucking 45,000 views, dude. Go off! Man, you just totally what is it? Terrible went person. over your head. I was wow. about to say... So this this fun reveal, he didn't get banned, but Hassan said, "Fuck off! You're not gonna give me any exposure." It's like, wait, what? A, what? <laughs> like, what? But what about the thing from earlier? I think you completely missed what he was trying to say. Yeah, um, <laughs> just went right over your head. It's incredible. Um, uh, and you get to see it all in real time. This is what I mean about Watch how I, I knew that I wouldn't be able to stand watching his fucking streams more than this once. It's just like it's so much stupid constantly, and that's if he's there. Watch all my fucking streams Man, on your so stream, wow. dog. Have for fun his, you'll with that. Beg Maybe you'll poops. fucking blow up soon, King. Did you see that thing? Somebody else views. banned him. Oh yeah. That's, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In, one in, of his in, mods in got him. In the chat room, one of his mods banned him instead. Yeah. I was. I, was, I saw yeah. that scroll by really quick. Bye bye, FIFA. Oh boy. That sucks. Fucking 45,000 views, dude. Jesus Christ. You make it so difficult not to shit on you, dude. God damn. If you have... <laughs> God. Often big creators just forget they were small ones. Well, you, you, you know? say that. Well, he, but, like, I just he, think that he was not, always not this awful. I'm sure he was always this awful. I don't believe this was oh, something yeah, that happened over time. I see that. It happens so many times when people get, like, someone... Get shit on on Twitter by someone. It's like, oh, you only have two followers, so you're... What you yeah, say it doesn't like, beat anything. It's like, go fuck is, yourself. This is a what weird, scary social clout like world that I don't yeah. like where people you're are judging tiny their pleb, worth based on how many views they have. Yeah. You tiny fucking pleb can't tell me anything. I, I have more people listening to me, so I'm right automatically. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, gotcha. Well, and- so you're a piece of shit. I really yeah. do want to make sure we, we, we laser in. The way he constructed those sentences sounded like the fact that that person had such little viewership was why he was so tempted to make fun of him. That's the way that he said that. Yeah. Like you make it yeah, so hard not to make fun of you with how little viewers you have. So just give it, give it all. Man. That's what he said. I mean, I think that's what he believes. Fucking 45,000 views, dude. Jesus Christ. You make it so difficult not to shit on you, dude. God. See, like... Wow. <laughs> the fact that you have a lower view really count aggressive. than me makes me want to uh, shit on you. It's like, okay. I'm better than you because I have Freud, more people looking at me. Freud Why didn't you have a rich uncle? Freud is crawling out of his grave. To just watch this. He's Freud's like, I have, I have analysis I to have, give. There is a slip. There has been a slip and I must witness it. It is a big slip. God damn, you had fucking more than three goddamn brain cells, you would recognize that, like, Man, I literally- that's the pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> yeah, like... You get a lot of that with Hassan, it's like uh-huh. constant projection. Yeah, yeah that's the reason. Do not fucking care, yeah. okay? Also, there's you plenty of- you There's plenty care. of streamers that are significantly more successful than you that already do, do that, okay? Shouts out the Miskif, back when he used to stream, that's what he would do. Uh, he was just, Matt, you know, he's, so, he's yelling so loud that you can hear his throat, like that it's sore. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, Poor it's, guy, jeez. Yeah. Yeah, just trying to give it. Really Man, he might need to just start watching some videos, lay back, you know. Jeez, mm-hmm. look, he's okay. Maybe he might he need to take a break. Yeah. From his own channel to get time out. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to get his mom to make him some chicken. Yes. 
It's the only thing that calms him down, that calms down the beast. <laughs> I, like, I like the idea now of, like, Hassan's so mad that he's, like, red and trembling, and then his mom needs to come in and bring the monkeys, and he calms <laughs> down. Just no, like, Hassan, <laughs> calm down. It's just a person. You'll be all here. right. You've been through this. <laughs> Can I get you some chicken nuggies? <laughs> yeah, mom, that'd be great. Yeah, mom, chicken nuggies. <laughs> you want the extra sauce? Yeah. some chocolate they always, milk, mom. They always make you feel better. How are you gonna meet a girl or, uh, someday? Yeah, and so to be clear, the argument here, he just said like there are people who do what you're suggesting better than you, and he's shouting out a guy called Miskif, I guess, who used to just stream Hassan's streams, and he's like he was All more right. successful at that than you are. Again, like, Hassan, I don't think you understand what they were saying. You've taken it literally, like, only literally. You've, you've exclusively yeah. assumed they wish to restream you. And you're fucking fuming at them. Because they have such little viewers, and you won't get the exposure that they're saying they would get. Like, how stupid you have to be. Like, this is ridiculous. Come on now. Come on, it's, it's, you know, the writers of Earth, they need to do better than this. Here, I'm, I, 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 have a, I have a bet. Okay, let, let's let's roll the dice on this, okay? All so right. we'll, we'll, we'll just pause the video for another minute here. And here, cl click on this, if you don't mind. What, what, we, we will just restream his stream. Oh, no. And it's, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, let's just see what he's doing. Let's just see what nonsense he's... It's probably going to be Oh, wait, wait, dumb, wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Before anyone clicks it, okay. will he Back be oh, oh, oh. in front of his webcam? <laughs> is that, is that what the there? bet should be? I already clicked it, so be? I know. Oh, well, it was a fun idea. <laughs> oh, well. That's okay. Is he there? Well, I mean, if you... Let me... The, 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 there's no way we'll be able to watch his stream, and it won't be, like, incredibly fucking spicy political takes or some shit now. Oh, yeah, I'm not... I'm, I'm also just, like, not interested. <laughs> I was gonna say, if anything, we've I, proven that watching him is fucking boring as hell, so... I, um, I wouldn't want to encourage anyone to do such things. So anyway. Now yeah, let's continue. Just watch my stream and then copy it next day. <laughs> Man, that's there an are authentic law. YouTube channels with hundreds of thousands of subscribers. <laughs> that's how we, hey, that's how we laughed back in Korea. He tried. You gotta go and run the laugh algorithm. He tried to laugh and you insulted him. He tried so hard. He tried to he tried to impersonate a human for a moment. There are yes YouTube channels with hundreds of thousands of subscribers that get millions of fucking views and they just you know they take my fucking uh videos and they clip it they clip the reactions they post it on those YouTube channels and they make money like I don't have a problem with it yeah if you, so, that doesn't you've matter made if you have a problem with it. it it doesn't matter it doesn't even matter if you don't have a problem with it this is what I mean it doesn't yeah. that's Completely irrelevant. It doesn't matter if you're okay with it, because somebody else is not okay with it, and it's totally their right to not be okay with it. This it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. It just totally it doesn't oh, matter. Holy shit, guys, guys! What? Uh, what? EFAP as a phrase and every frame of pause are, are both now banned in Hassan. Hassan's chat. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I think we made him upset. Man, we that did is, it. Uh, <laughs> oh. That is we like, chased that's... clout too close to the sun. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Hassan. I didn't mean to upset you. It's just like, you said all of this stuff, wow. not me. <laughs> I agree, Man. chat. Fucking dab. Well, there are ways around is that. Jay, <laughs> is Jay banned from, like, is his name banned from... Try JX to uh... see if anything happens. Yeah, try... Yeah. And besides, it would be more funny if people were saying every frame of painting responded to you, just to trigger him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's so fucking it. pathetic. <laughs> Banned <Man>. EFAP. <laughs> he didn't even know what we said. <laughs> nope, he didn't have any clue. He knows we're the villains, That's though. Right. And in fairness, look at this lineup. You could, you, I could believe this is a set of villains. Mm -hmm. We're super I mean, villains. I'm German. Come on. Yeah, he's German. Look at me. What says villain more than me? You're really far away, though. Apex, <laughs> Apex villainy. Oh, I, I'm coming. I'm coming. He's coming. You. I've seen oh, boy, you. There's coming. nowhere to hide. Oh no. The industrial complex is fucking thriving. 
So when dumbasses come in here and they're like, <sighs> about if I were to watch man, your videos, like go I, off, dude. Man. So yeah. He like, I I I am I I am consistently baffled by how <laughs> ineloquent he is and how popular he is. I don't get it. This is what I mean. You don't get it when you, in your own brain, rationalize why someone is popular. You have several boxes they could tick, and as long as they get at least one, yeah, like charismatic is usually the big one, and I just don't see it. I don't. I don't see it at all. Yeah, well, I don't. Well, he, funny. He barely string together a standard sentence. Like there's so many gaps and spaces between every single, Which... like every couple of words. There's a gap because it's like he's almost he's trying to, he, he, like he can't think as quickly as he speaks. And there's, there's no pressure. He just a very bad connection. He's completely alone. He can take. He can. He, he has plenty of time to think, and yet he still does this when yeah. he speaks. And he's and like, then the Jesus. insult will be something like, <laughs> "You're an idiot. You're stupid. Fuck off, dipshit." And it's like, man, can we can we be a little more creative? No, is that no? No, okay. Try dude, right. get a life, harder. dude. Get a get a life. Yeah. Dude. It's like it's it's weird. It's almost like that. It's like the the jock became the fucking like foremost political commentator on like a <laughs> platform. It's just bizarre. The like, fucking meathead know. at the peak of political commentary. Yeah, and I guess that's the I guess that's the problem. Is like I don't feel like I'm ever gonna get anything insightful from Hassan. Like it's not even a matter of you can have people who you disagree with, but like who always raise really interesting points that you can think about. I don't feel like I get any out of out of any of this like content it's just they like yeah i don't get it i i i don't get this one like this one this one baffles me um so that section is complete this section is just oh boy. golden nuggets that i ended up getting because i i like i said i went through the whole stream so xqc that's the guy you can see right now he's yeah. doing this clip this is a clip of him explaining what he's doing with the olympics and then we get to see Hassan react to it, and he accidentally manages to talk a lot about... Let's just say, if you needed confirmation, anyone watching, of what Hassan thinks about what he does, we're about to get it. So we counted it. So what that does is that that removes a strike, but we're fighting back. Type of thing. And if this... If this, like, escalates, yeah. well, it'll get cr it'll get crazy. I don't know how much content he consumed, but this could be a terrifying precedent, dude. Especially if he's, like, especially if he's in the wrong, like, especially if it's not actually in the fucking range of, of, uh, fair use. Okay, this is legitimately terrifying because if it's not fucking fair use, which a lot of stuff that we do on Twitch is not fucking fair use, dude. Oh, uh -oh. it's not. Don't say oh that. no, don't say I'm, that. I'm like no, actually don't worried. Say dude. That. You definitely shouldn't admit this if you're really worried about it. He just said uh, he's yeah, actually he's worried saying, about this. This is uh, this is this is uh, this is not good for you admitting that you are uh, that you recognize that it's a problem. <laughs> like if it were to ever I'll become admit, a problem, I'll admit that everything that I do is fair use, and everything we do on EFAP is fair use. Yeah, I don't think totally we've within the bounds of the law and yeah, morality. It's... It's it's definitely yeah. fair use, yeah. I was about I was about to say first and foremost, we are ethically in the fucking clear. Like with everything, we, we work hard to do that with every piece of coverage we do. But secondly, like I'm pretty sure we're legally fine too. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, okay. Hassan is probably not clear on either of those. Also, by the way, like just a quick clarification for because people always talk about precedent. It's a little more complicated than just this one case, and then yeah. that's over. Like it's more complicated than that precedent. It depends. There's always contextual stuff. So, like for instance, in a lot of cases, there'll be several different precedents that you refer to because I there's see. always like slightly different circumstances, slightly different factors, different jurisdictions, things like that. It's not a matter of there's this one case and you lost, and that is the end. And of course, precedents can be overturned. Um, it yeah, it's just more complicated than that. Well, I, I, yeah. it's also worth mentioning though that. He's probably right to be. He's very right to be concerned because of what he's he does. Right to be but concerned for sure. if yeah. if uh, XQC was to lose, then that can make other people open the other company. Gates. Yeah, they'd be yeah. like, oh, the, the Olympics won. Oh. Ooh, okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to be harsher with people reacting to my shit on Twitch. Yeah, and, uh, and yeah. you know what, Hassan, you don't need to be worried if you just change the model and, well, <laughs> and react more and provide more commentary. Then so you'll be okay. That that sounds that sounds like a lot of work. This is a that pretty sounds sad. Like a lot of work. That sounds that sounds tough. <laughs>
This is a pretty sad reality, uh, and it's kind of true, so like the additional reason why it's worth us doing all this. We're actually in his boat. We're all in the, the reacting mm. stuff boat, and he's fucking sinking it, along with several other idiots. This is like, can you not? Yeah. <laughs> Like, he's in the rowboat, <laughs> kicking a hole in the bottom, just kicking it constantly. And he's like, oh no, guys. Like, stop it. Oh no, stop water. It. Oh, what? Oh. Something's you, you wrong. Try, bang, bang, you try bang. Grab his, try grab his foot and he just keeps doing it unabated. <laughs> like, just yeah, I, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna, I'm gonna modify that analogy, uh, and say right. that there's a leak. There, we're on a leaky boat, and there's a very obvious leak that all he has to do is put his finger on it and it stops it, and he will just not do it, and we're begging him to. Please do something. Just Provide some level of, dare I say, content. Do it, please. You just see please. You're, in, you're in an airplane, and he's just standing next to the emergency exit, staring at the handle. It's like, <laughs> hey, you're right, buddy. It's like, oh, I'm just just looking at it. It's like, oh, you are. Uh, what? Why? Uh, was, was, you, you want? Why you, you want to like go doing? back to your seat, please? It's like, no, I I think I want to stand yeah. here. His yeah, hand, like his hand slowly <laughs> moving toward it, really <laughs> slowly. Hey, what? You slap it down, slap it down, and he's like, Oh, what? Come on! I'm just like, I, I, dude, I, I, I I'm just, I'm just standing. Uh, and know, the hand just moving like, forward again. Yeah, the hand keeps moving again. It's like, Stop it! No! <laughs> I want to touch it. I want to open the door. I want to go flying. <laughs> open the door. Which a lot of stuff that we do on Twitch is not fucking fair use, dude. Uh -oh, it's not. Don't say that. Oh no, yeah, don't I'm, I'm like that. actually worried, dude. That's like fucking ninety percent of my content is React Andy shit. <laughs> Mad. Ninety <laughs> percent. React oh. Andy. Re Andy's like a stand-in for just. Andy yeah. is. Random the person person who who does... when we say Randy, it's like the same. It's kind of like that, yeah. Meaning, I People guess. say Wikipedia Andy, and again, I just got Wikipedia Andy is more well informed on things than like a large number of people. <laughs> I will not stand Wikipedia Andy. I will stand Wikipedia Andy. Um, Wikipedia Andy gets a bad rap. I just, I just want it clear. He basically just said ninety percent of what he does does not come under fair use. It's not fair use, yeah. So that means like, so that's a really 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 bad thing to say it's damning to get it's a it's, it's a terrible thing to say because everybody can just refer to that you knew you actually knew that this was okay and you did it, it anyway you said it out loud yeah, this is, with your this own is words way worse way worse yeah, there'll than be some lawsuit some lawsuit in five years where so, like some lawyer pulls that out it's like what do you have to say yeah. about this that mm. is the that is oh talk about a well, huge just shooting yourself in the foot and again like imagine if um you know, we saw that thing where it was like uh, John Oliver's HBO, it's Warner Brothers, says so like AT and T or something. That's like, imagine if they saw that and they were like, "Ooh, I don't like this. We're taking this down." Like, oh, what he said could it he himself? Possibly... Yeah, what could he say in his defense? He knows that it's not okay. Yeah, and even and and you know, the reality is whether or not you understand copyright law, it doesn't matter. Like, it still it still applies to you. It'd be um, what it do, yeah. But. It definitely is a really bad look if you're like a professional Twitch streamer who makes millions of dollars a year and you recognize that you shouldn't be doing this. Like, I don't, <laughs> I, I don't. And this is I, the guy who bitches about CEOs all the fucking time. Well, it's like CEOs <laughs> are at least like <laughs> doing work. They're going into the office to like do work and do meetings and stuff and form plans. Like you're just sitting here reacting to, not even reacting to it. You're not even there like half of the time. Like that. Because that whole John Oliver clip, how long was he there for? Like, two minutes out of the whole thing? And he didn't say anything. Yeah, it's, uh... So, like, that has to be yeah. what is working for him, is just that people can come to his stream and watch all of this other stuff and occasionally get his insight. Though, admittedly, like, I don't... <laughs> like, I'm not... I, that, that feels like Calling a Calling it insight, insight in quotes, yeah. I, I, insight I... in, in <laughs> big quotation marks. Big old quotation marks. Hearing his words. We'll call it that. We'll call it hearing his words. Well, but I guess, I just, I don't know. Like, I don't... Worse, bad insight is, is worse than no insight, you know? Like, I'd rather yeah. just watch these videos as they were originally presented rather than occasionally having him in, throw in some commentary and ban people who have been subscribed to him for 24 months. Yeah, I'd like to enjoy the cereal without you pissing in it. Yeah, mm, like no. <laughs> I, I, I'm just reading in ch this chat here. It seems like what's that? That's literally what's going to happen if Felix doesn't drop the lawsuit. Oh, is that the guy's name? XQC Felix? Is that him? I, I think no so. Idea. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. <clears throat> well, so well, I mean, 
actually that would be if he just let it happen and accepted the dmca that'd probably be like when you think about like the long term the problem is i don't know what xqc like did whether there was enough substantial commentary or something like that but if um, there wasn't like it'd probably be better off to just let it be i think he's better off not fighting it um just because the internet has already well, been it's, limited it's, on its, it's wild the, west element but well, the more you involve the, uh, level it's the olympic committee like they got resources they got money like they got not just that it just it just puts longer. a big spotlight again yes, on the online on the issue, stuff and exactly. it's just like guys we're not in a position like this is the thing we know we're fine but they might not feel well, that way i guess the yeah. problem is like if you're if you're hassan and like you want to keep doing what you're doing you just need to try and change the copyright laws that's what you want to do but you never will or at no. least not in a way that will protect you if any if anything they'll YouTube change in the other direction well they'll just become more clear they'll start like saying like twitch streams and stuff like that is stuff that's not considered to be... and i don't want that because like there's definitely transformative content in live streams i mean it's what what we're doing here like, yeah. I, I don't want this content to not be possible because some people are not putting in the effort to make their commentary different enough. Yeah, it's not- it's supposed to be the fucking thing you're there for! Why aren't you enjoying it enough yeah. to do that? Why are you so fucking lazy? Are you grudgingly doing this- like, yeah, why? Is it just is about the money? Else? Is that what it like, is? Well, is it about the money? Well, well. You know, some people actually do do it begrudgingly. Like, if you, you look at the, do. um... What, wait, me? No. What? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he said doo doo. What do you mean? You said you said doo doo. You gotta honk the horn now. You absolutely. Uh, did. Now because okay. I said doo doo, you have to take a poo. A poo, -poo. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so, if you look at um the epic mealtime guys, they went viral and they kind of got stuck into doing a bunch of the same stuff. Oh, and you I, can tell I, by I, the end they didn't they didn't want to do it, yeah, but they were like, doing it because they got paid. And I think that's okay, what's so, going on. The thing is. I think that's way more reasonable compared to someone losing interest in watching YouTube videos and fucking responding to them just in terms of your thoughts. Yeah, yeah. There's a, I can there's guarantee you, I can do this till I die. Like, because I have things to say. I feel like I'm the same way. Yeah, like I, it's, if, like, you I, only I, want to watch them Dev and not say anything... that little horn until he dies. Yeah. Um, and, of course, ultimately, you could just quit... You always have that option. Why would he question. do that? <laughs> you could just quit and do something else. Not possible. Or... Yeah, see, course, I, I think Hassan, with Hassan, oh, man. I, I think with Hassan, he's basically he's in it at this point so deep that he he can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bills coming. Yeah, yeah, you have bills coming in. You have you have stuff to pay for. You have an easy source of revenue. You don't care about it anymore, and so you're just gonna ride it out. I think that's what he's doing. I guess my question would be, what is it that he wants for. to do, and whatever he wants to do, does he not have the resources to do it? Because, I mean, if, dude, if I had, like, a million dollars, it's like, I'm making an animated pilot, like, that's, that's what the money's going, like, hell yeah, like, I, I, that's, you have the means to do what you want, why would you not do what you want if that's, maybe this is what he wants, maybe he does want to, like, just be able to chill out on streams and, like, watch other people's stuff and go to the toilet and... <laughs> He just wants to relax. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I can sympathize yeah. with a man who wants to go to the toilet, but yeah, I can yeah. that's true. That's true. Um, I uh, uh there's, there's someone in chat called uh, Thingy Plays who is very upset with us. If you want to make an argument, I can respond to it. But he keeps saying like, "Oh, you guys are just so smart, huh? Oh, this podcast is garbage." Blah blah blah. It's just like, if if there's anything, can't work with so any of that stuff. First off, we are pretty smart. Uh, yeah. Wow. To, to I dare I say to toot my own horn. Oh, I'm not. Oh. Gonna <laughs> I need to click the button. Hang on, hang on. Wait, let me, let me click the button. Oh, I already clicked it. <laughs> yeah, I have to click it for there myself. There he is. Ah, uh, yeah, boy. Well, I, I do think we're we're pretty smart. Um, so yeah, I agree with you there. Uh, also, this is content, and I think it's quite good. So. Well, he thinks the format is garbage, and I'm just like, just give give me a okay. give me something to work with. Why? Give us anything. EFAP is crying for hours on end, and incels eat it up because it gives them an outlet to cope. Sad. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that's, that's that's an interesting another... string of words in a sentence. Um, <clears throat> very clever. Very clever. Wait, I mean, who, 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 this uh, thing he plays. So he, he said we're giving uh, incels an outlet to cope. I still That's um, still not really an argument. I'm still looking for more. I, like, what do you mean? What do you, I what don't do we... see... I mean, I think our content doesn't 
specifically appeal to incels, but I don't see what about our content would drive away an incel. Well, if you think of incel neutral, if you think of Ethab as this big old house and people are coming in, one of them says, "Oh, I'm an incel. Can I come in?" We'd be like, "Yeah, you, that's yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, you know, sure. I mean, we fine. can't. Yeah, I mean, the, the door's fridge, open. You know, I... and if someone else goes, ha, he's oh. an incel. I'd be like, eh, it's all right, it's all right. Don't worry about him. I mean, hope." Hopefully you'll become less incilly, <laughs> incelly by our it's content, it's... you know? Yeah, uh, ho hopefully you, know, not, you will... You know, I don't know what's going on in your life, hopefully, you know, get that taken care of. Yeah, if any, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll say, I'm, I'm a little, like, on the pro side of letting incels in, that's fine with me. I'm not even neutral, I'm I like, you know what, you guys, awesome. you're welcome to come, enjoy the fire, you know, sit down, have a drink. It's, uh, it'll be fine. Chill out, it's gonna be okay, um... Absorb all of these pearls of wisdom mm -hmm. that we're just bloom, bloom, bloomping. Uh, uh, yeah. What what else has Hassan got then? I would literally on ads at the top of the hour, and then for the rest of the hour, I would just be a top of the ad streamer. But fear not, top dude. Of the ad streamer. No matter what all the right. precedent is, you can still avoid those ads if you subscribe. Five dollars, Twitch Prime for free. <laughs> <laughs> so just nah. just want to make sure you understood that. Five dollars. Oh Twitch no. Prime for free. If I can't steal content, I'm gonna start running ads constantly. But you can avoid that if you subscribe. Man, it sounds like a it sounds like a like a threat in a weird. You way. can avoid the ads that I will choose to play by giving. Me when money. I run, when I run out of things to steal, it sounds like the Raid Shadow Legends shit, where it's like, oh, if you get it now, you can skip the first ten levels. You're like, oh, sweet. Man. Yeah. You can play this game, however. You cannot play this game by giving by paying more. <laughs> by paying more, you could play the game less. Oh yeah, can can we truly be an incel podcast if someone proposed using EFAB? I don't know. Proposed is, is, hmm. using E? What do you mean? Remember someone someone did it through super chats, I think, or at least they were telling us about their wedding. Oh right? yeah, that's right. Yeah, they yeah they proposed on a yeah that's true. We are oh, actually a gateway to many romantic possibilities. Yeah. Limitless in scope and scale. Anti incel pipeline. <laughs> <laughs> Where, well, now they're going to say, oh, it's, it's a super straight podcast or something like that. Who knows what it'll be? We next week or... It's like we bring <laughs> cells in. We're like, look, women, men, just, they, you know, get, get stuff going. You know, just, this, we're they... the gay conversion therapy podcast. Convert them into super That's gays. That's gonna be clipped and brought up sometime down the down down the line. In Minecraft, yeah. <laughs> it's a, still a strange Minecraft map, but I would be curious to see it. Like this could set a, set a precedent, and if it sets a precedent, and like Twitch Stop has to that. get more proactive like on uh, reaction content or just like in general. Oh content no, not that, proactive. Uh, we are rebroadcasting content. without like prior consent. Which is like 99% of the, uh, which is 99% of fucking content, it would be terrifying because no, they already <laughs> specifies Wait, that you don't have to have the so, authorization is, of the copyright what? holder. That's already specifically. Well, so the that's, that's the super awkward yeah. part is like, it's not even a precedent, it's just the law. Like, it's just, exactly. it's just what it is. Well, that's the thing. If I was to steal man him, I would argue he's saying that it, it sets like a flag where other people can be yeah, aware of something true. that's happening. Um, but there is no precedent here. It's just this is no, the yeah, law. it's just the like, law. <laughs> but he also just said it's ninety nine percent of 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 content. Like, bro, so what do you mean? <laughs> Not, like of your content, man. I think, yeah, uh, speak for your mm, fucking self, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> we work our butts off. I was gonna say we're at three hours, and this video is only fourteen minutes long. And we still got <laughs> Oh, sorry, we're fourteen minutes in. War. Yeah. Oh God, oh, that's right. Okay, so it's actually past five, and I gotta go. I only had three hours maximum. Why? Oh, I didn't. Wow. I didn't notice what time it was. Damn it! I shouldn't have oh, said it, anything. It sounds like <laughs> it's not quite as much, much of a need. Yeah. I am seven minutes late to what I was going to do, so I probably have to go. It's you... not important. Stay. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. I gotta go. You're upsetting chat. Look Listen, at them all. I... Listen, yeah, I don't, don't feel like getting dumped by by my girlfriend for not going to dinner, okay? Well, if you tell okay, her listen, it's, if it's... you're not no no, if you don't go to a dinner with a a girlfriend, is she really your girlfriend if she dumps you for that? <laughs> and if you tell her you're doing it for EFAB, she'll understand. Yeah, she's, tell um, him you're you're tell him you're paying for many dinners to come. I think she's a oh, huge man. fan of EFAB, actually. 
Yeah, oh, and she? have her on. <laughs> Bring her. You here. You're streaming. You can eat on stream. Just eat your food on the stream. Yeah. We established that's totally acceptable. So both of you have a nice wine and dine here on our stream and just stay all night. And if well, you... if you if you guys want, I'll if you guys want, I'll come back for another show at some point if you guys are interested. Well, no, you're just being greedy. Well, we got um. Th this, <laughs> you have to. This, uh, this is this is episode 148. So in episode 149, then 50. 150 is the 24 hours. So we'll have you happily to jump in at some point on that if you wish. You can stay sure, for many sure. two hours. Yeah, sounds yeah. sounds good. Multiple two hours. <laughs> sounds good to me. But um, if you must abandon us, you should probably tell chat who you are, what you do, and uh, well, why they should subscribe if such a thing. Is ethical. Uh, no, I'm just gonna mute and walk away. <laughs> Enjoy your poo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm SFO Chef and Otaku. You can go to you can go to the link in the description for my my main channel where I mainly talk politics. I have a gaming side channel on Twitch called Game Boomers where we actually play games. What? And <gasps> we, we we use Twitch the way Twitch was meant to be used. <gasps> so to that's show off Twitch your oh, TV. Tw Twitch TV slash Game Boomers. And um, you know, you, you see me around. I've been on. I've, I've been on this channel now. I've been on Adam and Sitch's show. I've been on Sargon's show. So you, you you see me around here and there. Yeah, you you get you, you get around. You do a lot of. You play the field. You know, you get out there. Make sure everybody yeah, gets yeah. a good. Chunk but if of if you game. guys if 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 you guys are okay with it, I'll come back on for another show sometime. This was a lot of fun. Uh, we'll talk, talk to the higher ups and see what we can do. In, yeah, in fairness, we have mm -hmm. managers and producers and and executive producers. You know, those guys they just yeah, they get very upset. Got... We got obligations, shareholders, you know how it is. It's a tangled <laughs> web we weave. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot. Doodle bit. Cheerio. Bye-bye. T T T T. Hong Kong. Oh my god, what a clout chaser. Wow, I can't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> our our views are gonna explode because of <laughs> his coverage, so it's okay, I guess, or something. <laughs> That's a, yeah, it's hard to <laughs> Find out morals from uh, Hassan, but you can get there eventually. To keep it all straight. By the way, there's some really fun shit to come that we have not got into yet, and I'm I'm upset the dev will not see it now, or at least react to it live. He might still be able to see it, but man, let's just let's just I say it's some fun. Oh, I didn't we will rewatch that movie in vain. Oh, yeah. no, I didn't even mean that. I just meant at the end of this thing we're looking at right now. Oh, a different Don't stupid thing. Don't you dare okay. make that in vain, though. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We'll be, we'll make it. And you just like literally think it would be worse than who should be worse Killer? than YouTube. Like, oh. why not? It's transformative just like YouTube, dude. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm so mad. Just I'm, I'm a little bit lost. <laughs> what, what, where we are now? Would admit to so, that. It's transformative. Like, no, it's not. So funny. I well no I think I think you you're both <laughs> laughing at different things because I'm laughing at both of them one being the argument he just made which is fucking hilarious and two the way his brain fucking the it's the so cogs what <laughs> watch him it's like process mechanism. what the person says and then speak transformative just like YouTube dude no <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just like the delivery mechanism that is his mouth for the expenditure of ideas. It just, it's so perfectly. Dude, no. I, just, I can't even Dude, describe no. it. <laughs> right, so. Like, it's, it's just someone basically saying, just do it like you would on YouTube. And his <laughs> shut down, restart, no. <laughs> this dude was like the, oh. the beginning of, of a ban situation. Dude, it's like, no. I bet you that dude was like, his heart Maybe stopped consider. for a moment. He's like, oh shit, am I going to get banned for saying that? Like, oh shit. I, I just, I like yeah, to believe uh, yeah. he had the whole Once dialogue tree to choose from. He could have done all different <laughs> options. Just, and he was just like, no. Time, so the game defaulted no. to just whatever. He ran yeah. out of time. <laughs> the With game was just bar. like, you, you get yeah. this option, then no. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it, it, it is so awesome because it is like he's considering options that he gives up and just says no. <laughs> then, who should be worse than YouTube? Like, why not? It's transformative just like YouTube? Dude, no, it's not. <laughs> it's transformative if you're like actually fucking cutting it up and transforming it. If you're just nope. letting the video. I, did, man, that was uh, that? that's, that's a nice little circle. The it's fucking useless. If you transform <laughs> yeah. it. If you transform, transform it. it, if you transform it, awesome. Thanks you know, for expand. 
That's like saying yeah. that the definition of like happiness is to be happy. It's like, thanks, bro. <laughs> Super useful. <laughs> you know, when you're happy. Dude, you just, just don't know. <laughs> like, how we, we're back where we started, Hassan. <laughs> like, we need to do that. <laughs> you have to get oh, delve it, I guess. Present fair argument. And then say, dude, no. <laughs> just move no. on. Yeah. Dude, no. And make sure the pause is about three or four seconds, because I think that's how long his was. So your brain can catch up with its own buffering. People need to wonder like when if, you like, download something from Steam and the download has to stop because the hard drive yeah. can't handle the load. <laughs> it's just, oh, wait, oh, hang on, hang on. Okay, now we can download again. Yeah. If ever there was a brain that needed a task manager, it was well. He I don't know. Maybe that implies that he has a lot of to, he did task. Yeah. To destroy all of the irrelevant thoughts. <laughs> That's a lot of destroyed content right there. Jeez. Hey, look, Taskmaster is he's 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 you know, he's uh he, he, very he has, cool. He, yeah, that's right. He's super cool, and he he knows how to destroy irrelevant memories. It's like his favorite thing to do. He goes home and he like throws off his shoes and just destroys irrelevant memories. I want to stress, by the way, it was a complete coincidence. This topic was on the stream that I was watching specifically to find anything he said, like in response to J or EFAP and stuff. Like a fucking it's open poetic, admission that he's like ninety nine percent of my fucking content isn't fair use. Just like. Thanks for this, Jesus. Like a, <laughs> like a stanza, it rhymes. Oh, beautiful. Video, watching the video wow. raw. The band name. And that's not necessarily transformative. I mean, I try to fucking get away. I try to be as like, you know, transformative as possible. Obviously, nah. notable exceptions. But <laughs> nah. Uh, you, th nah. It's even worse that you admit that you're doing this as much as possible. Much worse. We've entered into a new realm now. It used to be that he was too stupid to tell what he was doing, but now it seems to be that he's admitting he knows what he's doing. He knows yeah. that it's not good enough, but he still does it anyway because he wants to have chicken nuggets. <laughs> I just want to play it again. It's, oh, it, it, want... Listening to this, I was baffled. I was like, what the fuck are you doing admitting this? Video raw. And that's not necessarily transformative. I mean, I try to fucking get away. I try to be as, like, you know, transformative as possible, obviously, with notable exceptions. <laughs> yeah, so there are notable obviously. exceptions where you are not transformative and you know it, and you've admitted to it. That's really bad. And baffling. Well, why did you, you, why he almost you slipped to too. He said, "I try to yeah, get away yeah, with." I, I tried to get away, yeah, and yeah, then he, then he changed himself. It. It's like because exactly. people don't tend to say, "I try to get away with good ethical things." <laughs> like, you know, I, yeah. I try to get, a, I try to get away with giving oh, money to the homeless. Like I try <laughs> to get away. Yeah, just, <laughs> try to sneak that in without anybody noticing. I try to, I try to get away with working at the soup kitchen. Like it's not, it's just not things that people say. <laughs> Just, why would you say this? Why would you admit to this? Hassan Piker, truly his own worst enemy. <laughs> Trust no it's one, like, not even yourself. He needs, like, if you got into a duel with him, he'd, like, he'd end up just cutting himself into little bits of confetti. Oh, I thought you said duel real quick, and I was trying to figure that out. Oh, a duel versus a duel. Oh, oh, right. We've had this conversation. We did. About accents and mispronunciation. Maybe that's like the new arc of just trying to pronounce things in ways that are clearer. It's we'll a see, duel, not a duel. I kind of wish that one fame. came up, because I wonder if that crosses into the reason why I started changing my pronunciation of year to stop confusing people. I think well, I'm starting to think that too. Like, I'm starting to come around to, and this is kind of funny, I'm starting to come around to the guy who said that assume versus assume that you should do it the latter way. I'm starting to be like, hmm, actually, it's probably better to do it that way, less confusing. Well, I don't know what I would be confusing it with. That's the thing. There doesn't seem to be what I. That would I just be one of those peculiarities you'd notice instead of actually right, being I guess confused by a to... different word. That's, yeah, yeah, that's dual true. Dual versus dual. Dual um, versus dual. I would like, say yeah. there's potential in terms of like if you do a sentence quickly and you throw a shoe in there, someone might be like, a what, was, "What was that?" Like but a shoe. Yeah. In there. yeah, but I feel like most people will be able to get it. There's there's other words though, like maybe with dual or dual. Dual. Yeah, I could, I could see people being like, huh? Just like Rags was for a moment there. And of course, Dune mm. and June, which we talked about. You know, June, June, and Dune. 
Yes, yes. That's another one. Sorry. Um, ultimately, it's still not. Like, it's just not. Like, no shot. I don't think it would be. Okay, what doesn't fall into the category of fair right, use? Then. For example, oh. if I'm, like, literally doing a, a YouTube video. Oh, no. And I just oh. take a video from, like, a local broadcaster, like a local news broadcaster, and I just slam, like, 10 seconds of it or 30 seconds of it into the beginning of my video, kind of like the way I do when I'm opening up a broadcast about a particular news story, like the Macy's playlist that we watch. That's actually not fair use. It would be fair use if I were criticizing the actual broadcaster and what... So he seems to understand so a lot done. more about this than he, he made clear. Yeah. He, he understands more than a lot of people do because a lot of people don't understand the criticism element as being like a critical component of it. But of course, Absolutely. criticism can be positive and negative. You can praise something and that will still count as fair use because you're, you're analyzing it. You're like dissecting it. You're doing something with it. So like... The, the fact that he's even said this alone makes me wonder, just like, so what, what the fuck has all this been? Why, yeah. why yeah. can't you just why engage you, with the uh, fucking argument? Is it, is it a matter of that, like, he knows that a YouTuber like Jay wouldn't go through, also, like, the legal process of actually doing... So someone just said, Mola, he's literally wrong, Sargon got sued for this and won. Sargon got sued and won because he criticized uh, Akilah, obviously, by s flipping her words on herself. Yeah. Yes. That's what he argued and that's why he won. He won by fair use. And, it was, and the specific was form writing. was criticism. He was being critical of her content. Yeah. The thing is, he had to... Imagine yourself as a jury member, and you see this cut-up piece of a video that shows themselves shitting on themselves without realizing it because you put the latter parts in the former parts. Um, and then someone argues, you're trying to resell my video for your own gain. It's like, no, he's trying so to criticize you. It's, it's pretty obvious. Video. It's yeah. not your video. Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. of course, it's... When it comes to fair use, like, the transformative part is the murkier part. But, like, criticism is just clear-cut. Like, that's just protected. It's, it's just, it just is. Parody is another one. And um, educational, but that means in a school or an institute for learning. Not that you were trying to educate people on the internet. That is not... That doesn't count. And, obviously, if Sargon is still in chat, one. he can further clarify the situation on that one but like that's what i know from the videos i saw that it was it was cr criticism it wasn't um just yeah. using a clip as a, for the startup of commentary or something so yeah um hassan is like this is the problem hassan is like speaking to something that's very much true in relation to how you transform content which baffles me because i'm just like what what the fuck have you been doing this whole time why don't you actually transform content then like and why do you put up such a fucking wall when people criticize you for this it's just, yeah, that's just his. That's just his personality. Well, that's what I mean. This almost it's almost become worse. Saying rather than uh, using what the broadcaster is saying as like basically uh, uh, seasoning for my uh, seasoning for my commentary. I haven't watched as much as I used to. Do you understand? Is it fair use of Paris? So, and, well, so this is what he's saying. He's saying that if I was to play a clip from uh, whatever news station and then comment al almost with them, so they do all the work of showing the event and then doing their coverage, and then you go, yeah, this is really bad, and they're right when they say blah, 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 that wouldn't be transformative is what he's saying. Which is probably true if you were, to try if you were taken to court over something like that. They would argue you've just taken their clip and used it. Like, you've taken the value of that clip and just used it for yourself. Um, you haven't really provided anything. But, uh, I imagine that would be stretched to its limits when you literally pause like we do. And, uh, I think at that point they would absolutely qualify, but he's saying if you played a clip for 30 seconds and then he just, um, said that used that as an intro to a topic he then started talking about, it wouldn't be under fair use, which he's probably right. Um, but the thing is, fair use is really complicated, and this is part of why we don't want a spotlight on the internet as much as possible with this, because it could get a whole lot worse very quickly. Sit in someone else's copyrighted content and react to it to make dollars without their content. So, can you see that comment? The, uh, wait, what? Is it what, fair what, use one is... to parasitically rebroadcast someone else's copyrighted content and react to it to make money without their their consent that see if i read that as yeah. Hassan, i'd be like right so, so you clearly don't like me <laughs> <laughs> like it feels pointed it's very it, this person very much could like jay for all we know
Yeah, so this is this seems like a criticism of him because you can't just I mean it's in the the wording of the question parasitically rebroadcast. It's yeah, well, so of, eh, eh. Yeah, and that's uh, and that's the thing. Um I th I think he's already basically admitted that it isn't fair use to do that and now this person is I would say this is practically a character criticism. This is like you do this, well, it's not cool. But the awkward part is like making money is not even a factor that matters. Even if you don't make money, it still can be um, like making free. money helps in terms of uh, making clear the motivation, right? Because if I said, oh, absolutely, um, yeah. I was rebroadcasting you guys' content while not being there for no money at all, people would just be like, "Why are you doing it?" And I go, "Uh, it's fun, like." Fun for who? You're not even there. <laughs> you know, you'd be confused. But if someone said you were making money off it, you'd be like, oh, I see why you're doing it. Okay. Um, but you are right. Uh, that would be the focus. And that's the thing. If he couldn't argue uh, the money portion or the, the entertainment, you, you'd be stuck to just admit that, like, yeah, that is the reason. Sand? Uh, it depends. Ooh, he's pulled him up. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Careful, uh -huh. careful, but a lot of content creators don't mind it. As a matter of fact, uh, I don't mind it personally. Like, by the way, just the idea that when he's responding to it, he has to have like their page and everything ready. <laughs> like, he has to vet them and just get mm. ready to ban them instead of just responding to the we, comment. Honestly, Rags, I think that he was intending to just ban them, but he had to do a few clicks first, and he just started filling the air, and he started an argument, <laughs> and now he has to finish it. And by the time he finishes it, he yeah. might have lost the drive to ban them. <laughs> when people do Maybe. it to my uh, content uh, and many other YouTubers that I'm friends with, or uh, it's okay with me and it's okay with people I know, so <laughs> like, that's not an argument that he knows it. Uh, or fans of mine that I don't know of but watch their videos of personally uh, appreciate it and enjoy it. Having said that, some that don't, was a string and words. when they don't, yep. I never watch it ever again. Falling from the future. Yeah. Oh, okay. Don't ask. All me YouTubers to... are technically Oof. correct though when they say, "Hey, don't fucking watch." If they, if... It doesn't mean anything. I hate when he says that. They are correct <laughs> when they say, "Don't watch my videos." It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's not a that's a malformed statement. They ever say, "Hey, don't watch my fucking videos," or "Hey, what the fuck are you doing?" It's like when people say, "If atheism is true," like that's just not a that doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. It's bullshit. If I were to do 12 hours of content in a similar capacity to how, like, I would do it on broadcast television, oh, I would need an entire team of producers constantly reaching out to content creators and being like, Now, this is something I really found interesting when listening to. So, he's moved on to the argument of, it's too hard to do it the way you guys are suggesting I do it. And he's going to talk about, like, producers, legwork, workers, getting everything vetted, making sure everything's covered correctly, making sure I have the right videos in the right space at the right time. He makes it sound as hard as possible to do what we literally do all the time. Yeah, it's like he he it's a struggle. Like it's what like that YouTube comment I thought was so fucking funny. It's the same thing. Like, oh my god, I, I might have to actually do the just the bare normal amount of work that everybody already does elsewhere. Also, wait, I, I, I wanna streamer, that's just crazy. Can you see that comment? I wanna see the full thing of it. Is it fair use when all you do is watch other people's work and ignore the fact that the work you are using has been made with someone else's labor? How many lawyers, lawyers need to be eight to satisfy your tummies? Do better, please. Oh, I, uh, I, honestly, I, honestly, a little, little bit proud of Hassan's chat. Yeah. That, that came out of Hassan's chat. Good job. Nice. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, though. Goodbye. Probably, <laughs> You're yeah. probably not Goodbye, long though. for this yeah. world. Thank you for your service. Please reach and being like, hey, we're going to use these like short increments of your footage. I would have to pre-plan all of it. I would have to literally pre-watch all of the videos. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh God. good God. Research. Could you imagine? Preparation. So, now you may have had a thought. Like, wait a minute, son. This sounds perfect. Because you could employ people. Like, isn't yeah, that, that's that just top great. notch. You can be the change. But you know what, Hassan? If you don't want to employ people, how about, as Blue Pumpkin just suggested, or Pumpkin, um, you or your mods could suggest approved content. And let's see how he reacts to that. Could and suggest No, 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 no that's no, like no one would ever do that. That's insane. 
No one would ever do that. People, <laughs> Hassan, people would do anything for you, no, which is both <laughs> sad yet also true. No one would ever do that. That's insane. If you paid them to do it, they would do it. You wouldn't have to pay them. That's the crazy thing. People would They'd be... Do it for free, yeah, yeah the, people would do anything for him. The way... Because this is the thing, I don't know why you wouldn't pay someone for it, but okay, fine, let's go with the way of you will not pay for it. You'll just get ten people. Does his mom make chicken nuggies for him? Mom. He probably has plenty to test with. Just get ten people, ask them to send in a video to watch on your stream, and if any of them fail the requirements, they get disqualified, and then you'll eventually have a set of people providing you content that's perfect for your stream. That you can react to. It's or just have it in your Discord or whatever, uh, of people, yeah, it just you can... I, I just, I feel like there are ways to solve this problem when you are of Hassan's size and mm -hmm. you have his level of influence and his notoriety. <clears throat> like, at what point, there's like no problem he can't solve just through sheer influence alone. And you know that it's just, you just want to change. So fuck any, change. any is, of this. He's settled in his ways. He wants things to stay as they are. He has found his, 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 his hammock to lie in. And he is just going for it. I would have to literally pre watch all of the videos. Or your mods could and suggest approved content? No, no. Or, God forbid, you personally are interesting. So even if you're covering <laughs> something that's shit, you know, it's okay because, well, at least a cool, interesting, knowledgeable, and insightful person is giving commentary. But that's pretty. No, that's crazy. So. But if. <laughs> It's not even like he could have he could have explained. He was just like, no, no, it's insane. No. Like, oh. Why though? No, no. That who would ever do that. That's I insane. I would have to have full time producers. Counterclaim oh. <laughs> full time producers. <laughs> One moment, sorry. It's just funny to me because it's like even even if even if it was the hardest job ever and you had to have several people employed, it's like isn't that an opportunity? I just eh. imagine um, making better content when you have the resources to do so. That's crazy, right? That's insane. I think if 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 Ragu's on the phone, we'll uh, we'll just we'll wait for a bit because this part's funny as well. Oh um, boy. Destiny explaining the impact of the counterclaim. I guess you'll probably be talking about it's like now it's actually a thing. Like it's not just internet stuff. Now it's like an actual. Yeah, I mean, might happen. this is the thing. You got to be really careful, and you're gonna want to do it when you have a strong case. And from what I gather, the XQC thing is like it's, we're not sure about that. I haven't well, seen yeah, it. So, but I haven't seen it either. Uh, no. From from just different people covering it, it's like I don't know. I don't know. Hmm, it's a bit dodgy. Well, yeah, that's that's because. The DMC has like an actual legal takedown notice. It's, it's not just like a little thing within like the ecosystem of Twitch or YouTube. It's like a, it's a thing. Like it's a it's a meaningful thing. Um, and counterclaiming is like elevating it to the next level. It's like you're actually willing to contest this legal claim. It's like oh boy, all right, now it's like serious. And I'm, that's why generally it's probably not a good idea like to do to do that. Um. <laughs> Even if you're in the right, it could be, like, tricky just because of, like, you know, the nature of courts and legal proceedings and stuff like that. Um, someone in chat oh said, God. wait, this part is funny. Mola, you mean you already know because you actually did prep work for this stream? So not oh. only did I watch the whole stream, chopped it up, and covered it for copyright just in case, and then split it into sections so that I knew what you guys, what you guys would be easier to consume it and comment on it. I'm also working on a huge video. <laughs> like the, 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 every moment I had free from this was was on that, and then we do the stream every week. It's like, oh my god, yeah, son, I did all of the jobs that you just said were impossible and insane. It's like, thanks for the compliment, I guess. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but anyway, so it's not just fair. So this is uh, Rex. Uh, he's listening to Destiny talking about SQC's counterclaim against the Olympics. That's this obviously the title. It's just so you know what's happening. Okay. I would have to have all full time right. producers. A counterclaim asserts that you have the rights, not just fair use. That's what fair use is. Fair use would mean that if his if his usage of their material was fair use, then that means whatever clip or whatever content XQC made, he owns the rights exclusively yep. to that yep. content. He owns the, those yep. rights. So theoretically, if the Olympic Committee were to show XQC stream watching the Olympic broadcast and, and without adding content or whatever, XQC could actually sue the Olympic Committee for 
copyright infringement. Like that's what that means. That's what that. That's how strong. Um, for reference, his chat fucking hate Destiny. So you're only gonna see them say he's wrong about this exclusively. The thing is, they're calling him Twitch lawyer Andy, but like he's correct. They spam that he's. <laughs> they spam that he's wrong. <laughs> they, they start spamming like crazy correct. that he's, yeah. he's he's wrong on all this. The reason he's correct is because uh, the Olympics, as a, as an entity, that's an IP. They own it. It's all theirs. The only way you yeah. would be able to counter that is if you've transformed it enough that now you hold the IP. Like, like you hold basically, the rights. Yeah, so it's the fundamentals of copyright is it's basically like property. It 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 effectively makes ideas and like intangible things your property in the same way that like your house or your car or something like that is your property. You create something and then that gives you exclusive rights over that property. And that's like the big part. You can enforce that whatever way you want. Yeah. Exclusive and in the same way that you and it's it's um it's like enforceable on the whole world. It's not like a contract between one person and another person. It's everybody you can apply this to everybody regardless of whether you met them before you've ever talked to them before it's that's just that's the nature of copyright it's enforceable on the world and people might get thrown by the hypothetical destiny just used but he's trying to illustrate the power of it so if they play yeah. xqc watching the olympics at the olympics he could sue them that's the power he should have if he's forcing this counterclaim mm. what's well, it's the idea that um once you've transformed it enough it is it is your original work. Yeah. It is no longer, even though it includes other people's work, it's yours now. Like you, you made it. Um, and then at that point, you have rights that are enforceable on other people. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's the gist of it. I was just gonna say, try and ignore Hassan's chat. The reason this this clip is great is just wait for Desi to finish his explanation and then watch the reaction. Olympic broadcast and and without adding content or whatever, XQC could actually sue the Olympic Committee for copyright infringement. Like, that's what that means. That's what that, that's how strong that claim is when you counterclaim. Oh, because he's saying that he actually does own that content. That his broadcast, wrong. he's saying he owns yeah. that broadcast. Yes, this was fair use. I own that. It was a transformative piece hey. of work. Yeah. Which is why I would be shocked if there was no response. A counter... I'm confused by what he was saying. Chastity it's not that complicated. No, I, man. I don't it's doubt that, that for a second, Hassan. I believe <laughs> How just... can he? How can? How in the world can he speak on these subjects with any authority if he doesn't even understand like the fundamentals of copyright? Like I don't. He just didn't follow it at all. <laughs> man. And Hassan doesn't even present himself as uh, the everyman should... basic person who is a vehicle to learning new things kind of like a like a joe rogan sort of vibe uh -huh. tell me more about this what do you mean i'd like to learn more could he you lay it out these for things. me his job yeah this is he he is yeah like i feel like you need to know what fair use is to do this you absolutely yeah yeah and it's i mean kind of like yeah it's like learning building code if you're an architect you have to know well, that you, you, you like need to understand. lives literally depend on it well, it, you need to understand it not only for yourself, but like, you know, in terms Get of what can happen. Because you can enforce player. this on other people too. I mean, obviously, you're probably not going to be going to court and stuff, but like, you have rights too for the stuff that you've made. Just because yeah, it's on to YouTube, protect your it's stuff still yours. as well. Yeah. It's like body cameras for right. cops. It's not just to protect the civilian population. It's, yeah. Especially, also that, especially exactly. fucking nowadays. Um, and yeah, and of course, his whole chat is just telling him Destiny's wrong, Destiny's wrong, Destiny's absolutely wrong, and what he was saying. So I like how they're all like, like calling him a, a, a lawyer, Andy. It's like, how many of you like a lawyer? Out of curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I mean, I mean, he's wrong all the time, but I don't think he's just like wrong. All oh, the he's time. wrong all the time. <laughs> well, yeah. He just said yeah, he's wrong all the time, that. but I don't think he's wrong on this. Like, he went against uh, his boy. chat, so high five, Hassan, you did it. Nice. You probably now, weren't looking at the chat. This, he has to go through and ban everybody in chat who said that Destiny was wrong now. This is pretty golden, okay? So this also oh happened goodness. on the same stream, and I swear to God, like, Zeus was out there being like, you know what, Mola? I'm gonna give you this too. And I was like, oh, dude, thanks. This is so kind of you. <laughs> so, what are we watching? Asad, don't worry about that. <laughs> Asad is wearing a shirt that has him as like a princess. And it's just that that's mm. the image. I'd get it for you, but you're you're about to see it anyway. Somebody drew oh, I that. I wanna see it. I don't know if I wanna see it. Somebody drew that, and then someone else took the drawing, put it on a t-shirt, and sold it. Didn't credit the artist, and the artist got no share of any of that. Uh. And, and Hassan eventually bought the shit and wore it. Now, as you can see on screen, 
got Live Buggy at Hassan. Mm -hmm. Yo, that's my art in your shirt. It was stolen by bots, so I haven't gotten any revenue or credit, which has sucked a lot because I'm a very small artist. I tweeted it here if you want to share. Oh, poor guy. Let's see yeah. what happens next. Oh, my art in your shirt. Your it was stolen socialist? by bots, so I haven't gotten any revenue or credit, which has sucked a lot because I'm a very small artist. I tweeted it if you want to share. Here you go. <laughs> Liv, this is uh, wonderful. I love this art. <clears throat> Wait for it. Pay them? Dude, what the fuck? Paid with exposure. Oh, <laughs> no. Actually, fuck you. Oh, no. Isn't it, isn't it fucking oh, glorious? God. Isn't it just beautiful? Yeah. Like Oh my God! He, this, is, this is the this is the the advocate for the working class right here, ladies and gentlemen. He cut this himself off guy. right at the end. He cut himself off because he knew what he was fucking saying. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Hassan! You said the, the quiet bit really I, loud. <laughs> I clicked the button that I clicked the retweet button. I mean. I'm literally wearing your artwork on merchandise <laughs> that I purchased that was stolen from you. But I clicked a button, that makes it all better. Okay? I made you, I right? like the tweet, exposure. I like the tweet, it was retweeted. Fuck me. Yeah. Incredible, is it? Like, Again, this was just on the same stream, and I was like, you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you serious <laughs> right now? On, he's He's so fucking rich. He could say, here, have like a big, here's yeah, a have check. like a hundred bucks. Like, I'll pay even more than what I paid for the shirt. You yeah, know? Let, let's let's set something. I love this shirt enough to where I purchased it for me. Let's set something up so that if let, any other people want this shirt, you get a percentage of the whatever. Yeah, so every, that, right, I just that get you a full context, check. exactly. Once you remember that full context, the artist made the piece. Somebody took the piece and put it on shirts and started selling it and made a bunch of money. So the artist made nothing off of their own work. Hassan is wearing the shirt was acquired like through the people who had taken this person's art with it and you know put it on the shirt and he's like oh hey you got a retweet i paid an exposure it's like man you know it's nice though getting paid in like actual money that i could use i don't know <laughs> why yeah, ex exposure don't pay the bills exposure don't pay the bills yeah if well, I don't pay the bills, man. I will die of exposure. Uh, it's funny you guys yeah, that's said right. that. <laughs> is, don't you think it would be great if we got the artist's response to that? Wouldn't that be great? Oh, I, would, oh, I would love oh, the artist's oh, response. Because surely if I was an artist and Hassan, the advocate for the poor, a downtrodden working class, surely he, he of all people would help me. Well, is he smiling? Let's just, uh, I'll just let it play. Yeah. Pay them? Dude, what the fuck? Paid with exposure? With... Chat. I didn't fucking steal this person's art. Why are you guys yelling at me, dude? Dude, uh. what the fuck? Paid <laughs> with exposure. Like... So oh my just, god. Just, I'll pause on those tweets. That is from the artist, by the way. Yeah, How many times do you people have to support this piece of shit before you get the message through your brain that he isn't he that he is a piece of shit essentially? He doesn't fucking care about you. He doesn't care about your struggle. He'll ban you if you say you don't hate your life. <laughs> I, I, I want to make this just this clear, right? You you Fuck love me. You love this streamer. You draw him. As the, the princess thing, as like a, as a meme, and to be fair, it's, it's, it's pretty well drawn. And then, mm -hmm. he likes it, and he puts it on a t-shirt and he's bought it, and you're like, Oh, wow, I, wow you, re you must have really liked the artwork, but I don't even say, oh, someone else is st Oh, man. Hey, Hassan, like, that was actually my work, I, I don't and then he's just like, I'll retweet you, page and exposure, fuck off. <laughs> Like that's <laughs> that's a I look at what that so... exposure has yielded her. Thirty six likes on a, so barely anything in terms of like growth nothing. for her platform. Yeah, nothing. Thirty six likes Basically doesn't nothing. buy anything. It well, doesn't because... pay for the electricity it took to generate that tweet. Like, it's, <laughs> it's just true. It's yeah. worthless. It's just Hassan is an actual piece of shit. Well, and of, and I, I would feel heartbroken, that's... and I would yeah. instantly try to use my large sums of cash and my incredible influence to try and help this person out and get well, this artist on their feet. I feel like the obvious thing would be if you have like a store, which I imagine Hassan does, like actually pay her royalties for like to put it, or, or just pay a flat fee to to buy the art so you can put it on shirts. 
Um, so yeah, I feel like after watching all of that, it's pretty safe to say he's a cunt. Like, just full on. He's done so many really crappy things to so many people. It's just like, damn. Pretty hard Actual to like you. Bad person. <laughs> like, yeah, you're a piece of shit. Yeah. Um, and he wow. clearly, like, he doesn't fucking care about anybody but himself. It's pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. Very, very clear. He's making that abundantly clear. And, uh, clear. Like. There's, <laughs> there's only <laughs> one thing... Yeah, buy bother strategy, drink with like. <laughs> um, Fuck, no. There's only one thing left, and it is... Uh, 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 when we were watching the banning people section, I was, I was talking about how very petty he is. Now, I can say objectively that he is petty because this last clip will probably prove it what the fuck paid with exposure like <laughs> i get so mad at this when you... oh shit sorry this this is the one after this it's the one after this this is just oh, boy. This, this is just is the this, one where he talks Pokemon? about That's um Pokemon, yeah. i threw yeah. this i threw this in because we only ever saw it through a different video before we don't we've technically responded to this but it's just it's just for posterity it's it's interesting youtubers Okay, and they make one fucking video. They make one fucking video a month and get like Patreon money or they make like two fucking videos a week max. Okay, and then they cash out with like a six figure check. Oh man, they have a, a six figure check. And then they man. turn around and <laughs> shit on streamers who literally fucking go live for six to eight hours every day. How come they don't get like, cold losers? Nuts, dude. Oh. But we do. The, the, re the <laughs> reason this is the, the reason this is here is because of what we, all the stuff we just saw, and he's talking about that like YouTubers don't How work, but us streamers do. Yeah. yeah. Well, him mm -hmm. specifically in this. He case, is like, like full of shit. <laughs> he's just like mm. complete uh, to the brim. He is a shit Head space machine. in between you, stupid fuck. This shit genuinely kills me, dude. Decent. And he's he's angry at the people too. Yeah, clearly it's incredible. It genuinely tilts me. You could make a compilation of me sitting around, not even on camera, with a fucking video playing in the background. <laughs> you could, with your life, yes. for 13 hours a fucking yes, day. Yes, you could. Of course there's going to be. Mm. Of course. So petty. So, yeah, this is the last clip. Someone called him petty right. in his chat. He, that, that was a huge mistake. Hot Rod Chatter. Bro, do you not know by now? Like, yeah, I'm petty as shit, dude. Awesome. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, dude, if I never have to I watch any, like, Hassan stuff again, I'll be happy. I'll be very happy. So, yeah. Hassan Pike, a real... incredible content yeah. creator. Back-to-back -back mm -hmm. EFAPs going over just several of the highlights of his fucking amazing, incredible stream. Fuck. Oh, All boy. you incels like that. <laughs> Dude, he's... Oh. Um, some people have already asked me for a link to the video. So, I've actually got... Um, um, I, I think I could... So I had the first video from last time, and then this video is now created. Uh, I've actually rendered out one with both of them in one. And I called it, I think, Hassan Pike of the Complete Saga. I can release that on uh, Moolah if you guys want. If you can come up with a better name than I did. And that's open to the cast as well. Give me, give me a good name for the video and I'll totally do it. And if your name wins the contest, we'll pay you an exposure. Oh. Damn! Oh man, I need to get something quick. The Hassan cut? Well, that's, that's we right. can pay, whatever you're getting, I hope you can pay for it in likes. Yeah, some energy drinks, dude. The tragedy of Hassan? Hmm? The tragedy of tragedy. Hassan, the wise. Well, the wise. <laughs> The wise in quotations. It's not. It's not even a tragedy. It's more just like a tale of sheer villainy. <laughs> like, have you ever heard the tragedy of Adolf Hitler? It's like, no, he was just a jerk. He was just a jerk. It's kind of mean. Um. Also, the chat's going really quick. I'm gonna need you guys to help find good ones. All right. Uh, the Ballad of Hassan. Hassan the Petty. Uh, I don't know if we can call him Pikey. A day in the life of Hassan isn't too bad, actually. Release the biker cut. The good, the bad, the Hassan. Um, Hassan chop. Hassan versus integrity. Hassan versus piker, no survivors. Hassan piker versus not integrity. I, I like that. I like do as I say, not as I do. That's a that's a good like. Hi, piker. I I'm not sure of anybody. I like that. Mm. 
You say do as I say, not as I do. He recommends people do what he do. Like stealing content and stuff, so I don't know if that I works. Actually, I, I feel like yeah. I, I like the Pied Piker, but I don't know. Pied Piker. Really laugh, so. mm. I would literally die. <laughs> Every frame a chair. <laughs> oh, dude, so Man of Steel, S T E A L. Oh. So, like Hassan Piker, colon, good. Man of Steel. Man of Steel. Maybe, oh, maybe. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Just put all these down uh, in a nice little... Well, then we'll do a poll. That's the way we named this Human podcast, so... <laughs> yeah. This on first. Uh, a fistful of nuggies. <laughs> 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 that was good. I like that. Wait, is that is is it Hassan Pika Cola a fistful of nuggies or is it something else? It was it was just a fistful of nuggies. A fistful of nuggies. <laughs> <laughs> Fistful of Nuggies is really good. <laughs> the Emancipation of Hassan Nuggies. <laughs> uh, the Blockinator. Let's just call it Chink's Nephew. Chink's <laughs> Nephew. Um, oh, um, Nuggies are deaf. Sad Korean veteran. The chair strikes uh, back. For a few nuggies more. <laughs> the assassination of Hassan Piker by Hassan Piker. <laughs> <laughs> Chink's nephew's Nugganomics. <laughs> Hassan Souls, do you want me to die edition? <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's good. That's a good one. That's a really good one. <laughs> Um, let me see. <laughs> Someone said, call it transformative content. <laughs> <laughs> the good, the bad, and the nuggies. Got a couple of those in a row. Um, a chair for your thoughts. Our content. There's some good ones here. Silence of the chairs. <laughs> I like that. Uh, uh, hmm. Silence of the chairs. That's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> like just, just movie memes. <laughs> Nuggy over the river Hassan. Ooh, we have a Hassan unblocked. One floor over the Nuggy's nest. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one. How to win exposure and buy food. <laughs> Hassan and the golden Nuggy. Um, 2001 A Space Nuggacy <laughs> I just like all these one with nuggets now like, Yeah the nuggies so They're gonna win out I think I think I saw somebody nuggies. say the wolf of Nuggy Street <laughs> A clockwork nuggy Lord of the Nuggets Lord of the Nuggets Clockwork Nuggets <laughs> <laughs> nuggies. <laughs> Dude, where's my nuggies? No country for all nuggies. <laughs> Twelve angry nuggies. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna devolve into nuggy movie memes. <laughs> oh man. Saving for I'm nuggy. <laughs> Mission Impossible Nuggy Protocol. <laughs> mm. Nuggies of the Caribbean. Apocalypse Nuggy. Far from Nuggies. <laughs> to kill a Nuggy bird. <laughs> Glorious Nuggies. Hassan of the Nuggy Factory. <laughs> I don't know which of these I should actually nice. put in the straw poll or not. <laughs> like, it's just... Oh yeah. man. <laughs> A lot of good ones. Well, you, me, and Nuggy. If, <laughs> if you can, uh, That's a really good one. If you guys can write down in the chat we have which ones you think should be in the straw poll so I can I can oh, filter crap. them out. I, um, I've forgotten some of the really funny ones now. What, what was the one I liked? Um, oh, what was it? Um... Oh. 
fistful of nuggies for a few nuggies what's, more. Wasn't the the yeah the fistful of nuggies uh, the fistful of nuggies was pretty good. Because I, I I feel like it should have something relating to him just like stealing content and that sort of thing. Yeah, nuggies that's is a good true. Meme, but not, but I, I do want the game, but not the yeah the title to be. Like it would be a good subtitle, you know. Oh, the Hassan Piker, do you want me to Hassan Souls? Do you want me to die edition? That was pretty funny. <laughs> I think that should be in there. No, I d I did like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, that's that's a good one. That's a really. Good I think one. we have a lot of. I think we have a lot of correct options here. Yeah. Well, yeah, it'll be up in soon. Chat, you shall decide. Get stressed out, because we will judge your choices. Well, I'm going to get some coffee by the time I'm back. There better be a There will be a list, probably, yeah. Well, Rags, keep an eye out for any late bloomers while I, uh, I fill up, finish right, this list. Let me, let me look through some Dead Whoa. Nugget Society. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, nuggies, you're chasing Nuggies. Nuggies. Legend of the Crystal Nuggies. Content theft for dummies. I almost feel like I want to incorporate his supposed worker advocacy concept. Because he's just so, he's such a walking contradiction to his own supposed Oh yeah, it's, it's incredible. Principles. I don't know how he doesn't like even his his ape brain you think would just sort of recognize it you know like it's such an obvious contradiction to his supposed great principle that <clears throat> you just wonder how does he not know <clears throat> All right this is the current list if there's any in here that, uh, well, that you think shouldn't be in there, or that uh, we need to add, just let me know. I really like Hassan Piker, Man of Steel. Um, Hassan Souls, Do You Want Me to Die edition. I, one flew over the Nuggies nest, I want exposure by food. I think my these these all these are enough good options. I feel. Um, I think my personal top three are Hassan Piker, Man of Steel, transformative content, and How to Win Exposure and Buy Food. I think those are my my top three because those those are really indicative of him and how he behaves and what the stream's about. And the Nuggy stuff is hilarious. Don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but it doesn't quite. I feel sum up. Um, the video it's like a it's a great meme subtitle for the description or something like that um but i, I those are my personal top three i'm probably gonna vote hassan piker man of steel but then again when exposure and buy food oh that's good because that thing with him and the artist was just so damning to his character i feel like the whole video was it was just non-stop yeah but, well, it's, it is hard to decide what was the worst one. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I feel like we will we will call the timer on when Fringy returns with his coffee. Yeah. Just keep it. Keep an eye out. Any any others? We've already got so many good options. I'm hesitant to add to them. Um. Um. Oh, let me see. How can I make this into one? Um, how I learned to steal content and love the. Oh, like I, I'm trying to see how that would work. I'd have to. I, I think someone else content. said like Doctor Nuggies or how I learned to stop caring and steal content. Yeah, something oh, like boy. that. That sounds like it would be fun. We're gonna all but leave. I don't know. All I right, really well, like the, the the options we've got here. I, I will don't spoil myself. With um, allow choices. multiple poll answers, and I guess I will create poll. All right. Oh boy. I'll post Do it in there for you guys. 
meaning the, the you guys here. And here it comes to you in chat. And I will update the description to have it as well. So you get, do you get to vote multiple times, or do you have like three votes? Multiple, as many as you want. So we'll, this, this is the right. most, yeah. I'll vote for okay. my, my three here that I like. I'm just gonna vote for all the ones I definitely I'm okay Hassan with. Souls. Hassan Souls is the good, the bad, and the Nuggies is really good. Minor Man of Steel, Hassan Piker Man of Steel, transformative content in How to Win Exposure and Buy Food. I think those are my my top three. It's still like the assassination of Hassan Piker by the coward Hassan Piker. <laughs> <laughs> Nuggies and yeah. how I learned to stop carrying and steal content. That's so fucking good too. I'm gonna add that as number four. I've just limited mine to three. Yeah, I, I, I threw that one in at the very end, but I really I really like Man of Steel. Yeah, Man of Steel seems to be the I just think it's so well, I like it. It's so good. Bravo yeah. to those in chat who said it. Cause I think that I think that might be our winner here. I don't know. I kinda hope so. I just feel like it's I kind of feel like if this was my video, that's what I would call it. I feel like that's a that's just it's it it excellently encapsulates the point of the video and him as a character, except it calls him a man and I feel like virility is not a, an attribute that I would want to. Uh, I that's, want to that's, that's, that's okay. there's so many votes. I'll keep it to the top set. So yeah, Man of Steel is currently winning with the assassination of Hassan Pika by the coward Hassan Pika. <laughs> Coming up in a second. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. I'm surprised Hassan Souls. Do you want me to die? Edition is not. Oh, it's like, coming in fourth. Up. Four, um, yeah, four, but that's not a medal. Twelve angry nuggies has zero votes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know, this is we'll, we'll let it sit for a while because there's a whole bunch of you yeah. listening right now who thinks oh, I don't care about this. You do care, and you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna pull the phone out of your pocket from how you're listening to it wherever you are right now. And then you're gonna go to chat and you're gonna see that there is a link that's been posted by me. You can click it. It will take you away from the stream for a brief moment, and then you'll oh, come no. back later after you've done a vote on what your favorite is, so that we can all appreciate a bigger slice of the crowd to know exactly what you guys are feeling about everything, all right? If you, if you say you don't care, I'll ban you. I'm a, I yeah, have no a chair and I'm a stream. <laughs> A lot of good hmm. memes. Yeah. Yeah. Some great the memes. Horn of Gondor, the Horn of EFAP. <laughs> <laughs> some of these are really good. <laughs> oh, yeah, my whistling thing. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, RTX is pretty darn good to the point where, like, I could literally be whistling right into, like, right as I speak. And Discord's like, or RTX is like, nah. You didn't mean to do that. You didn't mean to. Well, the thing, man, is it prevents me from making <clears throat> annoying noises to Mel, and in a way, that's just you, you're really ruining the experience of Discord, you know? It really you know, is. Like, that's like part of, like of, of the streams. It's like, why has no one burped? I did, but no one could no. hear it. But it's what it's it, it's also what really helps <laughs> the thing about with multiple people speak. Some people are just lower on the tier list, so they get silenced. It it helps with that a whole bunch. Mm -hmm. Doesn't happen nearly as much since I started using it, and I do like to have a fan going, and I think it cuts off the fan pretty, pretty perfectly. <laughs> <basically>. <laughs> he looks so like kind of awkward. We'll be with the top speed memes uh, again. Massive con 2021. <clears throat> yeah, it does seem that Man of Steel has it. So yeah, you can expect Boy. that will be uploaded pretty quickly on Moolah once this stream is gone. Bravo. Offline. Bravo to the Man of Steel <clears throat> uh, comer uppers with hers. That was a that was a good one. I like that a bunch. I uh, honestly the top four five the like the, the, they're all they're all pretty good. I, I would have gone with all of them if yeah. they if they had won. Bunch of them are great. We have some we have we have some smart cookies in the chat. We got a whole bakery full of smart mm -hmm. cookies. Doing pretty good. 3.8k votes for 4.2k viewers. I don't think, because uh, I think it counts every individual vote. So, 
I think, yeah, I think it does. Which means uh, it would say uh, one person voted for all of them, then you know, counts a lot more. But um, votes or whatever, yeah. Yeah, you know, I, th I think you guys did a, did, a, did a good job. You got you got your your opinions in there. And, yeah, um, you guys did really good. I'd say like that's that. about that. You know, six hundred twenty-eight votes. Us, uh, content yeah. to steal. <clears throat> I'm gonna steal your content. Still no votes for Clockwork Nuggets? Oh, one vote. One flew over the <laughs> Nuggies' yeah. nest, though. That's right at the Sympathy bottom. Bite. One flew over the Nuggies' nest is good. <laughs> it is good. 12 Angry Nuggies got a whole bunch more votes. I guess that's because I highlighted it didn't get votes, I'm assuming. <laughs> I don't know, right. yeah. Original content, the Pika cut, yeah. This. It's all good work. Um. Yeah, I wouldn't want to delay. I guess we should move on with the second video. Oh, oh yeah, boy. about Tomorrow War. Now, I feel like before we begin, I need to... I I Not find it incredibly me. upsetting that there were so many people who were like, Oh, it's fun, though. No, it's not that bad. Hey, look, it's all right. It's not political. Like, <laughs> the, the Tomorrow War is unironically it's... one of the worst films I've ever seen in my life. I will echo that sentiment. The yeah. the, the Tomorrow War is pretty fucking it is bad. absolute horseshit. Well, so full Nothing disclosure, makes sense. we've all seen it um, as part of a new fat movies recording, which will you'll see in yep. several years from now, more than likely. Um, <laughs> and then I was on Hassan duty, which meant Rags and Fringy were on rewatch Tomorrow War duty. I'm afraid mm -hmm. we watched it together last yep. night, um, and and it was pain. Holy fuck. <laughs> it is not a movie that ages well. It does not improve with repeat viewings. It is no prestige. It is no MXC episode. Um, it is uh, it's milk. It, it just a, gets it ages, worse time. It ages like milk on a countertop yeah. in the woods. Yeah. It's just awful. And I'm so sick of people saying, well, it was fun. Well, it wasn't political. It's like, I hate this commentary and it doesn't mean anything because it just sucks. There's no reason why you can't have a movie that is... And, and I just flat out disagree with this notion of like, well, it's just trying to be a fun, dumb movie. It dedicates a lot of time to explaining its mechanics and its rules. That's not what yeah, dumb, it, stupid movies do. That's what movies yeah, that do make sense do. It doesn't shrug and play it as a joke. It no, doesn't ever wink, wink, nudge, nudge to the audience. Yep, no lamp it shading. Is trying, it tries very hard to convince you to care about the relationships and care about the story in the world and things have quotations 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 explanations mm -hmm. this is not stuff that they just don't address or bring up with a hey hey wink wink nudge nudge ha 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 ha, ha. They want this to be serious, yeah. and they treat it they seriously. They absolutely do. And they think that they have stakes and characters, but I don't like any of these characters because they're nothing characters. They're absolutely nothing characters. Their relationships or, are incredibly static and straightforward and boring. Or and they're just bad people. Or, or bad people. Insanely True. stupid. Yeah. Or really stupid. Incredibly stupid. Imbecilic, one might say. So we got terrible characters, awful world building, an absolutely absurd, nonsensical plot. What yeah. am I supposed to like in this film? May I just say, well, awful will building. Terrible. Awful will building is an understatement. Like it is an understatement. Yeah, it, it is not existent world building. It, it implies that construction has occurred. It's like a. <laughs> it's like when you say that this is. It's like when you say that the the house of cards is falling down in this movie. It implies that it's constructed it's a house of cards point. to yeah. fall over. <laughs> When, exactly. if I could borrow the Mike Staclasa imagery of, it's just a pile of cards on the ground. <laughs> Nothing's yeah. been built. It's a pile of cards on the ground blowing in the wind. It's just, it's nothing. Not even um, blowing, like, blowing inelegantly, blowing wildly and stupidly. Like I a am... leaf blower just has come through. Yeah, exactly. Like a, like a tornado has just hit the card factory. Yeah. Do you think it's worthwhile you guys certain like it would be better off you doing it than I doing it? Um trying to do a quick summary of the story. So Oh fuck. Yeah. All Go right. For it. So I will Yeah. Have... Chris Chris Pratt is he he's looking for a job and it ain't working out well and then he kicks his bins and then he goes into his American <laughs> home to watch the World Cup. 
to watch the World Cup final that America's not even in. The thing, with yeah, the things friends, that Americans really care you know, about, yeah, especially America if America isn't in it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then a, a bunch of people from the future come back in time and hijack, and they're like, "Hey, we're we go to war in the future, and we're losing. We need you to come help us." And it looks really fake. And then we got a whole bunch of exposition through newsreels of like, "Oh, it's it's been like twelve months. We're fighting. We're so the 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 fundamental premise is." The people from the future are losing a war. The people from the future are losing a war against like these aliens. And so they bring people back from the past to go fight in the future. And about only 30% of them come back, which is very high a number of people coming back, considering what we see in this film, which should be less than that. Um it should be yeah, less the, than zero. Yeah, it it should be negative. People in the present die. People <laughs> Just, who they didn't even send should be dying. Um but nevertheless, that is the plan. Go back in past, bring people from the past to the future to fight the war, rather than trying to prevent the war from happening in the past. And for whatever reason, going back and forward from the past and the future doesn't create paradoxes, because the people they send to the future, they die before that time. So that eliminates paradoxes, except if you run away from the drought, send your kids or your wife or your husband who aren't going to die in that period of time. So I guess we don't really care about paradoxes. Can we um, acknowledge, though, that the filmmakers are telling us, you know, we don't want to cause a paradox. It's like, yeah. right, so you coming back in time and telling us about any of this has already yeah. created the paradox of you it's not coming back to want. tell us. Yeah, it's the thing of you, you can't create a paradox. That's kind of the, the point. It's a mm -hmm. scenario that has, like, we don't know how it resolves. If it, We don't know what it means. Like the thing, yeah. yeah um, the um, the future, of, you can't do that. You'll... The future should cease to exist as it does the second they go back in time. Yep. It should alter yep. significantly. Well, as I was saying with uh, Fringy and I were talking about, this film kind of wants to have it both ways in terms of does the mm -hmm. timeline create a new timeline or does the timeline, is it, does there only a time, a single one that just does whatever happens and it gets as messy or as clean as events warrant? It, it kind of wants to play it both ways but and it, it doesn't really, yeah. It doesn't it, give any clear answers on that. When we finished watching this the first time, we, I, I think it was me who asked or said, I think this is the dumbest movie I've ever seen. And I think yeah. Crisis on Infinite Earth beats it out as like the ultimate one Probably. out of ten, nothing matters. <laughs> but this is this is a one out of ten movie. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. it makes no sense on any front. Yeah, we just it have is... several instances of like, so like, for instance, you go into the future for a week, a week, and then you get sent back immediately, no matter what you're doing. Why would you have it like this? Why would you not have a system where you can change how long people are going, depending on how long the mission is that they need to do? Why are you sending in elderly people and fat people who have no <laughs> military training to go fight a bunch of aliens? And also, you don't tell them what they're fighting. You don't show them any pictures. You don't give them any real useful advice on how to fight these things. Oh, yeah. You send them totally should... in blind. That's worthy of restating. The, the train... Okay. Again, the basic premise. In the future, people from the future come back to the past so that they can send a bunch of people from the past to fight in a war in the future for a week, and then they get time traveled back to their own time. Yeah. Okay? And the training that these people receive to go and fight because they don't just pull in like, Oh, Hey, we have an actual whole military's worth of people that have training and equipment. We should like send them maybe because mm -hmm. they like know how to do their jobs. They just send a bunch of basically random people. It's essentially random, just fat people, old people, people who are not people who prepared to deal with this. Years. Yeah, it's just like essentially it's just random people they send them to the future to fight what what is essentially aliens uh think of them as just aliens um and of course they the don't tell the, yeah. the their training entails basically nothing they just strap they just strap a plate carrier to these people give them automatic weapons and say go fight in a war <laughs> And well, remember, the training, the training is so bad that as they're about to jump, the guy next to Chris Pratt doesn't know how to reload his weapon. That's how poorly yeah, he, trained they are. He's putting in his magazine backwards. Yeah. The magazine he, that shows the direction of the bullets on the top. It's it's like, it's, I can, I've never seen a 
stupider depiction of humanity i think in any <laughs> well, that's not yeah there's no way they lose there's no way they can lose if you're fighting enemies and you have like air superiority just get some ac 130s you win easily there's no and way remember the aliens, aliens are underground win. one day yep. of the week yeah it's, so yeah. you have like free reign to do whatever you want for yep. a, a seventh well, they, of the time they try to imply in the movie there's like ah oh, you know they get you on water they can even glide and it's like yeah, yeah glide it's like um, i can fly like yeah, but, fly properly dude into there's, the there's air. so many things like just just i'm imagining Stop like a, a fortress where we just have all kinds of traps like fire traps mm. or spikes or acid it's like these things are Sorry, you are not beating Earth. These things are just not going to win. No way. Yeah, they're, they're just not. Aliens. They're not. They're not that good. We, the, the <laughs> issue, yeah, the the issue here is that we have what's called. I don't. We we should come up with a name. It's like it's plot. It's so like you you don't get a grasp of what the stakes are and what the aliens' power levels are. They just sort of do whatever the plot needs them to do for dramatic effect at any given time. Yeah. We can hose an alien down with hundreds of rounds and it won't do anything but if it gets close enough oh all of a sudden it's susceptible to bullets and it gets shot once in the throat with a 556 five, round yeah, yeah. and its head just flies off yep and it's then we also just... see when as soon as you take like any high caliber gun it just pierces straight through their, their yeah. armor skin armor yeah. whatever you want to call it yeah, uh, World War II, essentially what's World War II era 50 caliber machine guns yeah. just tear through these things like Easy, butter, peasy. but we're sending people into battle with short-barreled M4s that don't well, do anything. I mean, lucky they it's... fully explained what these creatures are and how to destroy them, though, right? I mean, that's... that's oh, the... yeah, that's right. In the training. So, oh my goodness gracious, that. I've been drafted to fight in a future war against things. They're called White Spikes, which is a dumb name. Um... Yep. So I'm, I've been drafted. Oh no, well, I, I don't know what I'm fighting. And guess what? You will never know what you're fighting until you meet them. And now someone in chat might be like, why? Oh, yeah, what is the answer that? Is to that is a good that's a very yeah, good question. That, that's an excellent <laughs> question. You might be wondering, well, goodness, I, I feel like part of training when you're being sent to fight a very specific enemy should be all of the information you could possibly give to me about how to defeat this specific enemy. They don't show the they don't show you as a recruit, right? Being trained. They don't show you pictures of the aliens. N apparently not even really descriptions of the aliens. No, no. What the no, aliens' yeah. combat capabilities are, what their behaviors are, um, what any of their real attributes. You don't know what they look like or sound like. Um, you're just basically given a gun and say and to and, and told go shoot Good the luck. aliens. Good and luck. that's it. Yeah. So what you guys aren't appreciating your... is that from a cinematic point of view, a filmmaker's point of view, because you guys tend to look at things like nerds or whatever. So from a filmmaker's <laughs> point of view, we want to hide those monsters for as long as we can, then reveal them in a, in a very atmospheric sort of horror-like scenario. And if we show people what they look like ahead of time, it's going to ruin it. So can you, can you understand that at least? Yeah, so instead of trying to cleverly craft a structure to your film that allows for the audience to get a reveal while also letting the audience know that the people who are being trained to fight these things know what those things are you can be shocked by it right but mm -hmm. the people in the film don't necessarily have to in complete chronological parallel be as surprised as you are especially considering like the context of the film and who these characters are no no instead of trying to do that and be clever and have what we call talent they just hmm. say no fuck it we're just the the soldiers don't know what they are and and that's that the soldiers are basically told shoot for the belly and the neck which you might think oh that's pretty simple that applies to all kinds of things well these oddly these aliens are very oddly shaped so and they're you know, given human targets. They're, the, the soldiers are given human-shaped targets to quote-unquote, 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 practice with. That doesn't in any way apply to the aliens themselves. It's... So, uh, <sighs> on the point of filmmaking, right? The, the answer is what Indigo Gaming has just said. So, these are problems that you have to solve as a filmmaker. You're like, how do I make it make sense and also keep that cool atmospheric reveal? How do I do that? 
It's like, you could have so many options in a boardroom. You'd be like, what if they morph? What if they are ever-changing? So whatever we see isn't necessarily what we will see. And he's just suggested, you could have shown the characters' reactions to the videos and photos and not shown the aliens until they, they appear, you know, later in the film. So you can easily just yep. show the, or, the, the, the yeah. montages of or it and she, like, reveals it. Really Play audio that's relatively vague just to be like, yeah, and then... Or you, you, you have the screen, but we don't see the screen. We can hear the noises they make, and we can see everyone reacting to them. We're just like, damn, what are yeah. these things? Or in, or, or your first, your, your okay. opening action scene that we have for films is, in the future, this is, like, the aliens killing people and going around, and it's all terrible and horrible. That's your opening zinger to get people interested, and then we can cut to the normal stuff so that you know, the audience knows what they're fighting against and we see that they're very destructive and terrible and all that sort of thing. And it, just something, that's the thing, you have many options. The The more creative you are, the more options that you have. It's actually really yep. great. But fuck that, I suppose. Talent's difficult. As, um, someone else just suggested as well, you could have it that we do see it, but it's in a completely controlled and sterile environment and it's really not scary. And then, yeah. yeah, we've captured some aliens for you guys so that you know what the fuck it is you're supposed to be going to war against. That sounds useful. Oh, no, I, I just meant from a filmmaking point of view, right? We see them, we're like, they're not so bad. And it's like, this one's dead. They're not, they're not like this when, uh, when they're alive. And you're just like, you know, plenty of ways to build it up while also maintaining this big spoil. You know what? I think we've said enough. Which they could we'll have. Probably, yeah. um, we'll probably jump into more of these subjects with how this video is likely to uh, bring them up. But mm -hmm. just to be clear, don't watch the Tomorrow War. It's, nope. it's terrible. Horrible. <laughs> not worth it's it. Terrible. Not worth it. Maybe if you have a circle of friends who watch bad, shitty movies and you laugh at them, maybe. But in no other context could I possibly recommend you watch this movie. It is so dumb, your brain will fall out of your head. You will turn into oh, no. Hassan Piker if you watch oh. this movie. You'll um, need to take a nap. So, oh wait, Mel, can you get can you get the clip huh? from your stream of when I discovered this video existed? Is that, is that oh, easy for you to uh, get? Let me just look in the... I actually don't remember if anyone made the clip. They definitely did, because I, I saw it in... It could have been Discord. Okay, well then it's... Then just give me a second. It might be in Holocrons, but I wouldn't mind playing that first, actually. That'd be funnier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would be uh, interested to, to that. look into my... Uh, my dashboard here. Oh yeah, you could probably find it, because there's like a tab for people who've made clips from your channel or whatever, right? Yeah, it's it's really, really good. That's like one of my favorite functions of the, the Twitch thingy. It's going to say clips I've created and then clips of my channel. And then... By the way, people, some people are saying, like, oh, is it a rip-off of um, uh, Edge of Tomorrow? Is it a rip-off of, like, Starship Troopers or whatever? Um, and I'm just like, I... It, it doesn't... Oh! It, it being that, a... It, that's a good... I just think it's bad on its own. Good, yeah, I think that's a good kind of jumping-off point for a very quick comment on... This movie feels like three movies that are sort of stitched together. And one movie just ends and that movie's done. So now we're in a different movie, and now this movie's going to happen. Wait, I certainly and remember now the... that that movie's done, and now we're just going to wrap up with this its own movie. I certainly remember that juxtaposition with how we went into science movie for a while, like after full on action movie, like when they're studying and yeah, just like wow, this feels like we're just doing something else for for forever now. Um, I think clips work in watch together. I can't imagine they wouldn't. Have a look. Nice. Oh shit! I think hey, it, hey, it looks uh, like it's loading hey, something. It does. It does work. It's playing. What can, game is this? It's removed my control from Watch Together, and it's in the video inside it now. But uh, is that pause for yeah, everybody? That's a complicated name. No, it's no, it's running not. for me. Ah, that's not good. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll roll mine back to zero, and then you just say when. Yeah. And go ahead. All right. And watch everybody, it. roll yours on to zero. Yep. And then we will oh, play at the same there, time. Baby. This I'm there. Is, this is me discovering. Whether or not this video exists to be true. Okay, three, two, one, go. Go! Oh shit. Hey, 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 mute play. Hey. Oh, they have mute play? What? Uh, Phil Mento released a vid on the Tomorrow War calling it a masterpiece. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> Thunder just wrote it to me. <laughs> I believe Thunder. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> no. How to build a cinematic masterpiece. Oh my god, he's um... No. <laughs> What? <laughs> That's like one of the worst movies. <laughs> Someone clip that, please. That was such a great reaction. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> oh shit, I'm dying. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. You just wouldn't have thought it's true. So. Now, I remember a time when we first watched Film and people were getting mad at us for criticizing him. I do remember that time, too. That time seems to be that. over. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, wow. Hey, but look, I remember, right? I was just saying. Um, so, and the I video... remember when people were saying Tomorrow War, oh, you know, it's fun. A lot of people saying it's, it's fun. As if you can't that. apply that to literally any movie you guys hate. Like... Yeah. But it's fun. Um, Last Jedi's fun. Yeah, it's yeah. really fun. I love the battles in it. I love what it has to say about failure and how Excitement mental. Excitement yeah, in the yeah. CGI. It's great. The graphics are amazing. Yeah, the gra yeah graphics. I mean, wow. Mm -hmm. And just the cinematography. Um, so this video is called The Tomorrow War. How to build a cinematic masterpiece. Film perfection. Ugh. And in the, say that title in the, one more time. In the thumb... Uh, so the title is The Tomorrow War, How to Build a Cinematic Masterpiece, Film Perfection. Film Perfection. Jesus Christ. So that's why I was so shocked. This is... There are movies you could say that about that I would go, eh, I guess I could see why they would say that. And then there are movies where I'd be like, ugh, no, but I... Eh, it's, it's them. But this one is one this where is I'm just like, no, makes, nobody would say that. It makes that. you think that you misread the title. <laughs> yeah. Because it couldn't possibly be what your brain originally thought it was. Um, and in the thumbnail it says perfect. Now, uh, I, uh, I was, um, just, just really quick, some people have been asking what, what I was playing. Uh, that's Tribes of Midgard. It's, uh, it's a little indie game that it looks I think Al found, actually. Uh, it's kind of fun. Now, I actually um, DM'd Phil Mento, asking if he'd like to come on to discuss this movie. And uh, he was like, he, I think he said he doesn't want to see or talk about anything in any way to do with the Suicide Squad. So he's like off the internet until he gets his review done, I think. Um, which a lot of reviews do that. They don't like to be influenced by anybody. Fine. Totally fine. I, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah fine. Um, and so, and, way, but, and so, so yeah. I said though, I was just like, I just thought your, your, your perspective on this movie was going to be really interesting. He was like, well... Um, the script was actually really, really awesome, but what they turned it into in the film was much less, like, impressive. And I was like, oh, but still a masterpiece. And he was like, no. So... But, ah. but Mahler, he calls... But, but Mahler, his video is... Ye like, it, he said it's a cinematic impressed. masterpiece, and his, and his thumbnail says perfect on it, and his title even says film perfection. Well, apparently... I don't understand what I mean. And, and a lot of people said this when I first posted on Twitter, because I was like, what the hell? They were like, is it bait? So, from what I've gathered, because I haven't actually watched this video, he, he has a comment where he says he's noticed that people are upset that he's too negative on his channel, so he'd like to be a bit more positive. Uh, I guess he overcompensated <laughs> I'm, in the other direction, wait, because... By lying? Well... I mean... Cause that's Because I know what that is, Mahler. That, that's a lie. I've seen those before. I've seen, I know. Um, that's just that's just lying. So if I can... that's not even like I'm wrong and I'm accurately reporting what I believe to be true. That's just that's just lying. So this is what its description says: 2021's The Tomorrow War is a new action thriller blockbuster starring Chris Pratt. That's based on sorry that based on general reviews wasn't very good, to the point where apparently even Paramount didn't like it enough not to sell it off to Amazon's streaming service instead. But since I may have been too consistently negative recently, including my A Quiet Place Part 2 video, today we're gonna, uh, sorry, today we're gonna, gonna and flip things around, um, and try and find positive things to learn about the Tomorrow War, regardless of it being a good movie or not. Today's video- Why would you call it Film Perfection, then? For the bait? I guess? Yeah, I guess. Today's video also introduces the Filmento meter, which will become the only review meter to objectively decide whether movies are good or bad. 
and the tomorrow oh, war. Jack, he's using the word. He's using the word. I, I think he's using it to insult it more than to actually use it. Um, oh. And the tomorrow war might actually surprise you because it may very well be the greatest movie ever made. It isn't. That, that's that's the <laughs> sentence. Uh, okay. So he's I'm saying you, just... he's gonna praise this film as best he can, but he knows it's not that good. That seems to be what the what? plan is, but he's said in what? the thumbnail and the title that it's perfect. So I, this, okay. so he he took Cinema Wins as advice. Kind of, yeah. A little bit, yeah. So um, let's jump in. I really don't quite know what we're getting with this. If I'm honest with you. Yeah, Ooh. I'm. I'm curious what he's gonna say. That's this baffles me. This video brought extra smart words right now with a twenty percent film metal discount. Why are you playing Modern Warfare Two music there? I, I don't know. Fine, I'll do it myself. What? Well, I... Look, well, I'm gonna be honest. Um, hundred <laughs> percent. It's, it's a meme, I guess. All right. I okay. guess. I guess. Think so. Okay. I guess it's a meme. Making a masterpiece. <laughs> this isn't April Fools. Making Why are you doing this? Making a masterpiece. So, so this Even is the thing. In the video, you double down on it. Let's just wait for what he says because that's all I can go on at this point as being the thing we can trust. Apparently, we can't trust anything else. The Tomorrow War is a new Chris Pratt action movie about people in the present being drafted into the future to fight an extinction-level threat of deadly alien monsters. And word oh, has yeah, it that apparently it, it isn't very good, considering that even the studio behind it felt so unconfident in it that instead of putting it in theaters or under. By the way, since we're, we're since we're trying to be positive, I'll give I will I will throw a tiny bone. I will throw a a, a bag of bone meal at this uh, at, at the Tomorrow War. I really like the design of the aliens, and I think that the initial reveal that he showed there of it like panting in the dark and the lights on it, I thought that was a really cool, creepy visual. I think that's the extent of what I could say positive about the Tomorrow War was like a three second shot. Well, there you go. So there we go. That's. Very that's cool. it. There we go. There, we can do it too. I, we can be that, positive. That's a. Uh, that's it. <laughs> that's all I've got. <laughs> yeah. It's right. On their that's own streaming got. service, they just sold it off to a competitor streaming service instead. Meaning that there's probably a wealth of negative stuff here to discuss. But since my last video made quite a few of you express that my channel was becoming what a bit too consistently negative, perhaps justifiably so, this time I'll try to change it up for you and find positive. What do you mean, perhaps justifiably so? Shouldn't that be something uh, that you should have, like, an opinion either on? Either agree with or don't, yeah. Like, so, do you agree yeah. that you're too negative or not? This is the thing with EFAP. Um, it doesn't work that way, and it shouldn't work that way necessarily. Like, it can't work that way if you were being completely honest, or you're trying to approach everything the way that you've set out. It will happen that we cover, like, ten things in a row that we think are bad. That can happen. If someone like, man, you guys are so negative, I should be like, well, not really, we're just being honest. Like, that's just how as negative as, down. as what, exactly, it, it is as negative as the content justifies. Yeah, like... And also, it would, this is even different from the idea of, so, so let's say we've got, let, let's let's use a, a hypothetical EFAP as an example. Um, everyone in chat is saying, wow, you guys have covered 37 movies that are terrible. Wouldn't it be great if you guys covered something that, that that's actually good? It would be nice to get some positive coverage. And so instead of saying, oh, well, this movie came out, we'll just review it positively. Instead of that, we said, oh, we really like the prestige. So we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the prestige because we like that movie and there's a lot to talk about it. And we can be simultaneously positive and also truthful. So that's cool. We could mm -hmm. do that. That, that, that hypothetical is different than what okay, Fomento seems to be that's doing. That's not topical, though. Mm. Destroyed. I actually agree <sighs> the movie Got is him. bad, but from other points, not the decisions the army took. Dude! I think he completely missed the point of the movie. So here's the thing, Nay Dolar. Um, the movie's fucking retarded. And <laughs> as I said, the humans from the future, as they are presented by this movie, are the dumbest depiction of our species. I'm using our collectively because I'm a dog, of course. Our species 
that I've ever seen in any movie ever. Missed the, I'm really like, curious I, what they mean by you missed the point. I'd love to know what the point I would, actually was. Yeah, please. I want you to say in the in the comments here and ping me so I see it, what you think is the point that I missed. I would like to know what you think the point is that I missed. You have your answer, Axe. The Nazis sent children with rocket launchers in the first lines, and you think the army won't throw regular civilians at monsters when the world is at stake? Oh, I love that. When they have it's access beautiful. to time travel, probably not. It's so beautiful. It like it's not it reduced even your position. But like he did the very best he could to ver to blur what happens in the film. So like he's blurred yeah. it to the point where it's civilians were sent to battle the enemy. And you guys think that would never happen? It's like, wow. It's like, well, the Germans, man. like, the Germans, like, I feel like they did, they, the Germans did a way better job. Thanks. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> to, it's like, to credit the Nazis, um, <laughs> I, I feel like Wouldn't go that far. In, in their military training, they would be like, here's how a firearm works. This is what you'll be shooting at. Here's some basic cool tips and tricks to help you in the battles that you might be a part of. At least they so, taught like, the children how the RPGs worked. <laughs> yeah. At least the kid, they probably is like, all right, we're going to have to, you're going to have to know how this works for this to, to mean anything. So we're going to take <laughs> this modicum of time to tell you how this gun works. Um, God, what a crazy plan. Yeah. Uh... I can't believe that somebody would unironically like compare the events of this film to like real world events for context. When in this film they have twelve months as, as far as they're aware to like actually make plans, and it's in the future that you can change. Like what? He's, he's, How in the world? He's restated that he like he believes your well, our main point is that the army would never do anything stupid. It's like okay, so this reminds me of the what? um the Black Widow floor that we were talking about with David Harbour, where it's like. You see, he referenced that he fought Captain America because he's stupid. It's like, that's not a, like, a viable level of stupidity. That doesn't explain the choices that are being made. Just, yeah, I'm sorry. We're talking about, we're talking about a, a massive, ongoing, systematic failure of, like, the militaries of the world. Like, yeah, ongoing. Every Bad government, decisions. every military organization, basically every collective mind of humanity has to be operating at a level of such insane stupidity to mm -hmm. enable this plot to take place. Yeah, because there, there had to be not a single person who was like, um, nah, for real, let's build another time machine, give ourselves more time, or Which alternatively- they, they fucking do in the movie, well, but they, as, they do anyway, it. yeah. As someone just said, it's like, you could trade for years before being said, like, theoretically, right? You have the time- Totally missed the point, Fringy. What point did I miss? Stop saying the point was I... missed instead of saying what the point missed was. <laughs> yes. We, we have ex- we, I, you've got to be, you got to do better. God forbid gotta I say do it, better. but you've got to, you got to do better. Falcon, um, man, he's my hero. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, mm, just, mm. Put the point that people miss in there, otherwise there's no <laughs> way that anybody can figure out what you mean. Well, it, just to create frustration, we'll just be like, okay, you missed the point. Great, yeah. we've, we've done it. Conversation. And also, just, just because I feel like we're sort of glossing over it, I don't fucking care what the point was. If in the movie it's stupid, it doesn't make yeah. any sense, and is executed poorly. So he just said, doesn't it make sense, though, that competent leadership would be dead at this point? No. 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 These are the people you that you would... So the, the also, whole... as if... Go, the, go for it. The whole viability of, like, it, it doesn't make sense. So, like, a child, a ten-year-old could easily have come up with a way better system. Like... They they just be like, oh, what tools do we have? Time time travel. It's like you you have you... wow. Right, so well, just... you see, I'll, wow, you yeah. see, Mahler. I would say that on the spot, random fucking moviegoers would come up with better solutions. Oh, hey, John. He's in he's in chat. <laughs> I'm guessing he oh. thought this movie was really shit. Um, the I, I'm guessing. You know what? He could have loved it. I don't know. Um, the, the, this yeah. is this is where I, mean. I can't push this any further forward. I don't know how to. It's like a button that has the word "win" written on it, and you're like, they're so stupid. They keep missing the button. Look at them, and they're just like pointing at different <laughs> directions, like eh, eh, eh. And you're like, Haha, that explains it because the army's stupid. It's like, right? Uh, okay. I, I don't know. I don't know why yeah. this would be acceptable to anybody, but man, if if you feel that way, that like it, military stupidity explains this. Damn. 
Yeah, I'm, um... We should ban all the people who disagree with us, by the way. Guys, we've got... And throw some of... And and some of them who do agree with us just for good measure, just to show we're serious. Yeah. What what was the Star Wars thing? Operation, like, Firestorm or Fireball? (laughs) Operation Cinder. Operation (laughs) fucking moron. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, it's like, it'll do that. Operation Brain Dead. Yeah, they made stupid decisions because the aliens called them a boy. There we go. That's a... Oh, we like that. I like that's a that's a th- that's becoming an old callback too. Oh yeah, that's very old. Um, I G- guys, yeah, it's hard to believe how long ago TLJ stuff. Was. I imagine, in the same way that Hassan's audience have been trained to be like subservient and obedient and and not understand like the greater implications of what he says, this movie's probably convinced people that time travel isn't that great of a tool, and that it, it the fight is what matters. When it's just like, no, time travel trumps that. There's it nothing the evil. aliens can do. You don't understand. You can't. You can't uh, lose with time travel. It's over. We won many times over. We can't even lose. It's uh. It's fine. Well, you know what? Let's let's just carry on, huh? How about that? No. Positive angles from this film instead. And also, since I still keep getting unpleased feedback about reviewing movies wrong, no matter how I try to repeat that I don't review movies because grades don't matter, and it's. <laughs> I don't review because movies? I beg to differ, my friend. I, I don't like... review, movie, review movies because grades don't matter? Well, I, I, th- I think he thought that sounded good, but the fact is he does review m- movies. He totally he does. does. He's reviewing them. Yeah. He's, he's categorically reviewing them. Just because you don't give something a grade at the end doesn't mean you're not reviewing it. Does he and think so, yeah, that's what it means? Yeah. I can't believe he thinks that's what it means because and he's also not a bright boy, you but... are you're calling these failures and perfection, so you are grading and, them. But yeah, l- yes, you are absolutely yeah. correct. Mm-hmm. So he's just wrong on that. <laughs> Secondly, he's got Black Widow's problem with spy weaknesses. I'm very interested what? to know that he thinks the failure in Black Widow was spy weaknesses rather than everything. Oh, yeah. Secondly. Writing harms concept. What? Writing what harms Writing concept. Harms concept. So is he talking about the concept was good, but the way it was written harmed that concept? It didn't bring that idea into proper fruition? Is that what he Maybe? means? Maybe. I assume that's what that means. Isn't that a weird but way to put I that? I might be doing the writing harms concept. It's definitely odd. It's not the oddest thing, but not how I would phrase it. Also, yeah, I, I would just put out, good R- idea, poor execution. That's one extra word, but it's way more clear. Yeah. Um, RLM don't do numbers or grades, and they, they, they're they a review channel. It's just like, yeah, because you don't have to do the grades or numbers to review something. But uh, he does grade things. <laughs> it's, just, it's just weird. Is that just specific lessons from them? Today, we're going to embrace that as well with the introduction of the film. As in, even though we're looking for just a very specific positive key area- Did this video skip area, for anyone else? It skipped, but I, I followed. I, I didn't miss anything. Yeah, I'm yeah. just curious if that was everyone else, if and, and, and he left that th- in his video. Oh, I assumed it was watched together rather than him, but... Uh, oh, well, it's I, maybe, I don't know. He, uh, yeah, it's just a thing, I just, it's fine. We're good. Just here to that by default will still also serve as very important definitively objective proof that this end poll is the greatest cinematic masterpiece ever made. Because okay. joking aside, right. regardless of the Tomorrow War overall being quote unquote good or bad, there is very useful positive stuff here worth paying what attention. What is this editing? Me. Mm. I think he just wants to make it feel dynamic. Like, I guess. Uh, he's uh, did, did, he should so, spend less time working on random visuals and more time thinking with his brain. I mean, the, the script would have been, you know, just, yeah, but you know, right, he had the red, the red and the green uh, were gonna clash because obviously red is bad, green is good, good and, bad, and then turns yeah. the light on because you know what, good and bad, it's not important. It's the lessons we take away. That's what's important. Even though he calls this a perfect movie, <laughs> it's like okay. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. joking aside, regardless of the Tomorrow War overall being quote unquote good or bad, there is very useful positive stuff here worth paying attention to, starting right from the alien monsters, for example, which shine not only in their intense design and introduction. I feel like I should pause. shine in terms of their intense yeah, that's design. That's very weird sentences. I feel like if we yeah, keep like, could on you those, actually... be the whole movie, the whole thing. I'd like to hear that again, actually. Very uh, well. I'm kind of you know. To worry about the um copyright in this one it's he's playing long clips and i don't know if i should put my copyright protection up 
I'm gonna put it up, but put it on relatively low, okay, chat? I'm sorry, but I'm worried. Okay, we don't want to be going down at this point, all right? Oh, no. We can't let Hassan win. <laughs> he can't keep getting away with it. Except apparently he can. We'll put it on 40%, all right? So you, you guys should be able to see it still. Um, all right, let's, let's listen to what he had to say. Manic masterpiece ever made. Because joking aside, regardless of the Tomorrow War overall being quote-unquote good or bad, there is very useful positive stuff here worth paying attention to, starting right from the alien monsters, for example, which shine not starting only right in their... right from them, but we have to get like an yeah, hour yeah. into the movie or something until we see one, or however long it They're is. So like, if I that's suppose, our starting point... I suppose it feels like it's an earlier thing when you, you look at it as concepts in the movie. It's like aliens are kind of where you start in terms of like aliens attack Earth and maybe he feels about it that way rather than chronologically in the movie. I don't know. It's like we could start at the aliens. They're so awesome. You know, and I haven't really gone into anything in depth. I'm just saying the aliens themselves. It's like, uh, eh. It's yeah. Here worth paying attention to, starting right from the alien monsters, for example, which shine not only in their intense design and introduction, but also more importantly. That was the soundtrack from It Follows, I'm pretty sure. Huh. A movie I intend to show you guys at some point. It's a horror movie. It's oh creepy. yeah, I have. I have not. I have not seen it. Hmm. But also, more are, importantly, in the way yeah. they're continuously evolved. Halfway in the Continuously evolved? They, what do you mean? There's and? two types. There's the one... The queen and then the drone? Does he mean drone? Like, that they fly and then swim? But that's not evolving. They always could do that. But the presumably. queen is the same as the others, really. It doesn't yeah. seem to be any different than the it's rest. Just it just looks a little bit different. In fact, yeah, that was one of the things when I did it. the rewatch with Fringy. I was saying, Fringy, it's really weird that this one is the queen, but it just looks like the rest of them. It's oh, not yeah. this... Oh. Someone in chat said, oh. let him finish. You must oh my uh -oh. god. <laughs> oh boy. So, so here's sorry. the thing. Um, no, he's made complete thoughts. Yeah. Um, how, it doesn't you, matter if he's made complete thoughts. How much of that is well, so, so yeah, let's well, just, we'll, we'll give them, we'll have to do this every time someone says it. It's like, welcome to EFAP, first of all. We pause Hi, literally whenever we want. We just pause, we pause, we pause everywhere, every all the frame. time. We've, every frame, every we goddamn pause. frame. Oh, pause, 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 pause. Now, when Filmento says, I like, and we pause, and then I go, you know what I like? And then I start talking, and then you're like, hey, hey, I want to know what he, hey, he didn't finish it. And I'm just like, you're going to have to wait. You're going to have to wait on that. And then it's like, okay, but what if he says, I like how, I don't know, chicken smells, and you pause him, and then he's going to go and say, uh, he's going to end the sentence with smells like chicken. And, he, and you assume something else. And so you go off on a tangent, you talk about some bullshit, and then, and then you realize it was all in vain because he didn't even make that point. You, you can't respond to him when he hasn't finished his point. Like, okay, so you could be correct, actually. And if that was to happen, what we usually do is go, ah, oh, he meant that. Oh, okay, then. Well, and that's that. At least we got some good discussion out of it, so at least there was some value here. Yep. Also, criticism is a journey. It's not a destination. So that's it. Yep. That's, that's all you get. So I hope you can survive that experience. You listen to us respond to an argument you didn't make, and then we say, oh, he didn't make that argument. Moving on. And so it's kind of like two arguments for one. Secondly, though, Ooh, boy. Yeah, if yeah, he says, I like how they evolve, dot, 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 and then he goes on to say, and we stop him, and then we discuss what he probably maybe may not think and whether or not they do. Like, we're going to talk about first, do they evolve? From our perspective, no. Just no, categorically. And, we, and then, as Fringy just brought up, it's like, oh, wait, maybe he's referring to the swimming? Maybe he's referring to the flying? Those don't really count as evolution. And someone's like, well, why don't you just let it play and you'll find out? It's like, we're fucking talking about it. Just leave it alone. It's going to be fine. Yeah. Makes me wonder why you're here. So yeah. we will we will find out in a moment what he meant, and then we will respond to it as he meant it. Until that time, you have to listen to us talk about half of what his point could have been and what we'll interpret it as. Because welcome to a show about us talking about this shit. That's Wait, what this we is. Wait, we have to talk about a bunch of stuff on our podcast, Mahler? You fucking madman. Hey, I'm going to do this speech every time someone is new and we're covering someone relatively new, and they're just like, whoa, 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 he didn't finish his point. It's like, I know. Isn't that horrifying? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's time for our point, so strap so, 
on. It's time no, to go your stream yeah. deck, so you have a button where it's just us. <laughs> now that all of that's sorted, as we said, I don't actually think they evolve at all in like a literal meaning. If he's talking about, as Free mentioned, the two the two styles of the way they travel, it's like, well, that was something they could always do. And they sure don't. It, it's it's weird to see it because they don't look like they can do either of the things well at all. Because yeah, you look at a creature, and a lot of the times you look at a creature like a fish or a bear or a monkey or a horse, and you're like, you know what? I think just at a glance, I could pretty well sum up what this critter might be good at and not so good at. You know, you look at a horse, probably not great at climbing trees, but I bet he could run a long ways. I bet they're pretty good at running. You know, I think you get the gist. When I see these aliens, I don't think, hmm, they can swim really well and glide. Well, I think that's part of it. I think they do it on purpose because you don't expect that. And they're like, oh, look at this. They're swimming, isn't it? Oh, whoa. And you're just kind of like, huh. and your mind goes, wait, they can, they can what? That's a, how? Yeah, all right, I guess. Um, it was someone said you could stream all the Filmento stuff, then come back in the room and say, dude, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'd just say true. Yeah. Um, all righty, anyway, let's listen to what he uh, substantiates this as. And I, I'm, I'm, do you want to put a bet on if we've covered it or not already because of our ingenious predictions, or do you think we haven't? I think that we have gone into far more thought than he ever thought to think. I think Fringy so, was bang on. I think he's going to talk about um, the water and flying thing. Yeah. I, I think, think that's, that's, I think that's what it is. And if so, I expect some red faces in chat. In the way they're continuously evolved. Halfway in their story, we meet this queen mother monster that continuously raises the perceived danger and intensity of all other monsters higher and higher, to the point where, against help. previous presumptions, I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, how? To the point where against previous presumptions, we see them flying. We're not actually safe from them anyway. Oh, yeah! Not in the air. Oh, oh, oh. In the air? Know. Not even miles off. Hey! Yeah, yeah, <laughs> hey, yeah. we did it. Red to, face. To, okay, Red to, face. to put a slight oh, dampener on us, like, what else was he going to talk about? Well, that, there's so little, actually. That's the power of fucking discussing it. <laughs> it's just like, you li know? I like to speculate where they might be going because of how limited their options are. That's fun. Yeah, I was like, hmm. Um, he said exactly, yeah, we were, we were bang on. So I, yeah, we already went over how these are not arguments, so, all right. They evolve. Yeah, he just describes what they do. He doesn't explain anything or elaborate on why he's correct or anything like that. He's just like, this happened in the movie. Well, and maybe like, he yeah, will, right? Because we shit. cut him off. Maybe. We shall see. Maybe you'll be red in the to... face. How about that? Oh my goodness gracious, oh, I'll my. be blushing with into the ocean. something. And the queen itself ultimately turns there? out to be intelligent enough to comprehend the threats to its kind. Okay, so that was hilarious in the movie, yeah. where it just oh, allows itself to be captured until it realizes. So yeah, for chat, right? <laughs> Basically, they're working on a, a cure to, well, so a, a, an acid type thing that'll kill toxin. the aliens, yeah, a toxin, yeah. The gist of it is that Poison, they created yeah. a toxin that can kill the males, but not the females. This one will kill them all, including yeah, the and, queen. And so the queen is captured. She's sitting in her little cell, locked down, and she's watching them work on this for ages until this moment where they go, we've got it, we've done it. And so the alien releases some kind of like fucking scream that attracts all of her army to its cub saber. No, 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 they're already there. No, they're, they're already, already on there. their way. They're already yeah. on their way. Yeah. yeah. So when we when we rewatched it, right after they make the toxin, all of the yeah. uh, all the aliens show up, and they're twenty five miles off the coast. So these aliens were already on their way. Well, so what was the scream for? Was it just to, to help? Come here? The scream was just, "Hey, look! Oh, I'm here! Come get me!" But they were already <laughs> coming together. Yeah, they were already, already here. The so the it's like right on schedule. They get the toxin made, and the aliens are there. They've swum the entire 25 miles out to sea. I No clue how they know to get here or where this is or anything like that. They're just here because we need drama. And if that's not a good enough reason, then why are you working in Hollywood? I. It's infinitely hilarious that she only screams when she, she's like sitting there like, they haven't got it yet. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. She's reading it. Like, no, they have to carry the three and they use yeah, the square root of negative happen. one to find the toxin coefficient. They're never going to be able to be stupid humans. 
Also, wait a minute. Is this the the view of the alien? Yes, it's the editing that yeah, he's done I of the so. view of the alien. Oh, so, no, I generally couldn't remember the film. That's not... All that bullshit isn't actually on the alien's face, right? This Scan is, mode? No. Oh, okay, no. Good. I, think, no. <laughs> I do think that this is actually supposed to be alien o vision <laughs> because, uh, because, because I was, I was about to have so many more questions. I was like, no, it's it's fine, it's fine, okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's it's really funny. The idea that he's selling this is like, oh, see, they recognize. It's just like, what do you know? <laughs> this comes out of nowhere. It's just, and it's it doesn't make any sense. Why would she have done anything to complain about this before? How could she know what it what it is? Does I she recognize. Have a PhD in science. It's like if you see a, an asset that's harmful to humans, you, it, just, even if it's brand new, like never seen before, you'll just know. You look at it and you go, oof. Yeah, that'll hurt And me. also to take its own infected limb to keep fighting. So on the monster front, for example, this film puts in a lot of great effort that you should draw no, inspiration doesn't. from. <laughs> interesting no, do not draw inspiration. Do not, do so not the do this. The is they can fly, they can swim, and it bites its limb off when it's been poisoned. This is great effort. Great. <laughs> like, <sighs> like three of those things just don't even well two of those things they don't even like apply and the third one is just things that animals actually will do so yeah. I, I guess I just what an insanely low bar him. for great yeah. it is kind of interesting well, right that he, he referenced something being so amazing to cut off their own arm to escape it's just like yeah the like, fucking creatures do that when they get stuck in bear traps yep yeah. It was a great. That was. It was a great um, a little mini story from Hannah in uh, Haunting of Hill House about the mouse and the glue trap. Oh yeah, it's um, a rough one. And it applies. It's a, that's actually a really. That's that's actually something I need to probably devote to memory because that's that's kind of a good meaningful sort of mm -hmm. story that you could you know actually use in real life to explain things to people. It's like a, the idea that in our in in a, maybe in an attempt to be less cruel. Um, in a way, you can actually be even more cruel to things without really noticing it or knowing yeah. about it. It's not just intent. It's consequence. That was a good oh show. Remember those? That Bly Manor? That was, that was I've heard it show. was a little boring, and it's not very scary for uh, a horror show. I saw, yeah, uh, 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 I saw a tweet people. of Fl Flanagan was his name, right? Mm-hmm. Uh... I think that uh, his, his new thing is coming out, show, movie? Midnight Actually, Mass. I don't know if it's a... Midnight Mass. Yeah. yeah. I, I still saw people in the end of the thread below. Oh, I didn't even like Bly. It's like... Oh, oh it's, it's a bit boring. Fucking, I'm <laughs> a fucking simpleton. Pain. I watched like three episodes. I couldn't get through it. It's like, yeah, it's your loss. Pain. <laughs> It is pain. <laughs> hey, look, <laughs> it's fine if we promote stuff like the Tomorrow War. We should have lied about it. We'll get. It's gonna be. We're heading for a golden age of that media. Is, <laughs> that is just a no justice in the world situation. Now. <laughs> well, hey, man, the aliens bite off their own limbs to keep on the fight. That's yeah, that's pretty cool. It's not exactly boring, is it? Like I said in another show. I'm just saying. Oh yeah. So, with this mentality in mind, let's teleport into the mentality. world of the Tomorrow War and look for a couple more specific central uh, key strings that we and all... Okay. Alright, so he's saying... There are many he's... superfluous words in these sentences. I, I understand him completely. He's saying he's gonna look for positives. He's gonna look for positives. He's looking for the positives, yeah. So, you know, you have to consider that, yes, he's saying that there is flaws, but there's also positives. So, let's see what they are and let's see if they're fair. All other film productions use for. And this way then also of course see why it's the greatest cinematic masterpiece of all time. You know, at least oh. until next week's positive video. What? Huh? Why would you say I don't So now I'm very confused that they is this satire? Is, is this satire? It feels like well, it. It, def well, it definitely feels like it. But Filmento being earnest is impossible to distinguish from actual satire. Hence so, my, my very confusion. <laughs> I am very confused. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, because okay. cause now you're like, wait, so are these positives or not? Yeah, like, are you just fucking around with me? Or is this shit that I should just actually, you know, know and be aware of? Well, someone just said the ball drops. Like, do you understand how unclear it is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a, he's not doing a particularly great job. That's the problem. Something shouldn't make more sense the less you think about it. 
The first central positive you wanna notice here is how the established goals and plot beats of this movie rarely occur as intended, but instead in a failed way that increases their difficulty. Dude, I'm I, already. Uh, I'm gonna need to hear that again. I, I'm gonna yeah, need to hear I don't so already what tell you said. that. I rarely ask for this, but I would like subtitles in this YouTube video. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna restart. We'll listen to that again. The first central positive you want to notice here is how the established goals and plot bits of this movie rarely occur as intended, but instead in a failed way that increases their difficulty and tension and so on and so on. The best way to con- Alright, so, I think he- what he's trying to say is the- uh, the setbacks that the characters encounter, um, stress how difficult the problem actually is. And that's one of the- Centrally good things you should look out for in terms of a plus positive. I think I, I think the, the key here that you should be saying is if a plan succeeds or fails, it needs to make sense and it can't just be for whatever fucking reason. Because the success and failure of plans and schemes in this movie has nothing to do with like making sense and everything to do with whether or not it's dramatic in that moment someone just said it's clearly satire it's like uh, what well, how do you know it's not clearly satire <laughs> not you have four confused satire. people here i have it's no idea if that was satire. earnest or not there's people in chat saying it was obvious and earnest that he's saying things don't go always the way that the protagonist would like them to go and that difficulties arise that make it so they don't automatically win what is happening yeah he's saying the characters face a lot of setbacks which create tension it's like that's yeah. I think that's a very valid interpretation. Or is he joking? <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't. I'm assuming we're supposed to take him seriously. In the things do not work out the way the characters hope that they do, and they deal with those situations as they come. Now, if if he is actually being earnest, my response to that would be. A lot of the drama in this film arises from characters making absurd, nonsense decisions. Such as, yeah. let's inject a bunch of queen aliens or whatever, and then we'll piss off like the entire hive, and then we have to detonate the entire ship, and s several of our but guys have to be sacrificed. From the get -go. Yeah, and let's yeah. not After tell anyone. Not tell the world's. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think that deserves its own explanation. Okay, uh, I say explanation loosely, <laughs> as I often do in EFAP. Dude. Okay, so. The third movie in this movie is that <laughs> they they have this they 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 successfully create a toxin in the future that will kill all of the aliens, male and female. It's very progressive. And then they time travel. Chris Pratt time travels back to quote unquote present day with this toxin so that it can be mass produced and used against the upcoming alien scourge. So, through a series of impossible to explain ridiculous lines and plot threads, they are able to locate underneath the Siberian tundra in Russia a crashed alien spaceship that inside of it, uh, under the ice, everything's frozen, uh, ha has inside of it what they believe to be the, the, the alien scourge that will emerge from the ship when global warming thaws the ice. Okay. They arrive at this ship. They find it. They're here. Okay. We're at the spaceship. It is at this point, knowing what the stakes are for the alien invasion that's to come, they don't tell anyone. They don't tell NATO. They don't tell the no, government. Remember, NATO the disbanded. Oh, yeah, that's right. NATO rags, disbanded. They, disbanded. <laughs> they don't tell they don't tell Russia. They don't tell America. They don't tell anyone. They don't send text messages. They don't send one of their crew back home with like pictures oh, and is. video yeah. as proof, just in case their plan doesn't work. They you all found decide. It. You have all the yes, time. They have decades to yeah. work with. And the moment they find the ship, they all decide that they need to go in. But it's worse than oh. that because they actually suggest that they should tell the world's government about this crashed 
alien spaceship with the alien monster scourge inside of it that will destroy humanity in the future that all of humanity is already accepted will occur. They don't tell any of the governments. They decide to go in themselves. And well, what they do is they go into the spaceship and without checking the entirety of the spaceship to see what the fuck, instead, they happen to come across a room <laughs> with like 10 pods with queens in them and they just start injecting them with this toxin that they've produced and it fucks everything up and it wakes up all the aliens in the spaceship and it's all a fucking mess oh and you know what the best part is of that scene they blow up the ship so the toxin was worthless it didn't matter you just blow yes. up the ship you just blow them up anyway the whole, yeah which cancels the out the whole, whole film toxin thing doesn't matter yeah. yes the toxin was the whole point of the second act of the movie and it's just negated instantly because <laughs> no, it's you just blow blown up, up by a normal turns explosive. out c4 will solve all of your problems we didn't need the toxic makes you wonder how they Whoa. lost in the first place um, you just blow them up and that's super effective so someone in chat said they did tell people what they were doing the government ignored them this was before they found the alien spaceship i, I was gonna say i, I remember that being yeah them anyway they wouldn't have ignored yeah, them. Yeah, so the government decides that they're not... Yeah, so this guy who comes back with the toxin, right? Th he, this guy, they don't, like, listen to him or anything. They don't talk to him. They they don't trust him. They, they just say, we're not going to do that. And that's that. Like, mm -hmm. that, that's the extent of it. They say, hey, um, so we found out that there's probably a crashed uh, spaceship... And it's got all the aliens on it that are going to destroy the world. We have a general idea of where it is, but we don't know for sure. Can you help us save the human race? And the government's like, lol, no. And that's that. <laughs> what, wasn't it like, uh, no, that's Russian airspace that we can't No, do that. no. Or something. They're, they're, they're in universe explanation, more air quotes, just assume they're there whenever I say the E word, is mm. that we have enough problems to deal with right now all right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I, I remember something with airspace. I don't know. Oh, uh, well, because they're well, they had to get a plane that could fly them into Russia's airspace undetected. Uh, or they could the, just that's... they could just email Vladimir Putin at you know the big Putin dot ru or whatever. Yeah. And can you get say, your bear and ride through the ice field and look for a spaceship? It'd be, like, it'd be big. Oh, uh, and the fact that they <laughs> found a spaceship in the middle of Siberia, <laughs> like, dude. It's, Russia. If, if there's yeah, anything yeah. that I know about Russians is that they sure don't want to save Russia ever. So I guess that just doesn't pan out or work yeah. or anything. Oh, I just mean, it. It, Russia hey, is Mr. really big. President, it's really large. Russia my... is fucking massive. It's got like hey, 37 Mr. What? Times. No. Hey, as a president, did you get my WhatsApp with the picture of the spacecraft? <laughs> of yeah, I want to do spaceship. something about it. <laughs> yeah. This is CGI just like Americans when they supposedly land on the moon. Um... <laughs> And yeah, and someone else said a little earlier, I feel like the overall video is satire, but the points are earnest, which is confusing. <laughs> that's an untouchable yeah, that's, project. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's the CinemaSins way of doing it. It's satire, but you make actual points you believe in, so nobody can criticize you. Schrodinger satire, yeah. Yeah, this is, this yeah. is going to be a tough one to get through it's at that point. It's donkeys. It's, it's donkeys yeah, satire. Yeah, donkey does it too, yeah. Convey what I mean when I'm wrong, it's satire. When I'm right, I am the big smart the near beginning sequence of our heroes being sent to the future on their first mission. Essentially, our hero Dan along with a bunch of other civilians have been randomly drafted and are now prepping in the army facility to ship out Well, they the weren't future randomly drafted, they were selected. It's, it's virtually random, I, I guess. guess, but technically not. So Maybe you, means... you by looking at all the people they have assembled, it would look random that they it just picked random, random yeah. people. Yeah, yeah maybe it means There's from like, their reason, POV but... that they would feel it's essentially random or something. Yeah, it's virtual. Seven day, yeah. which isn't a lot of time to prepare, but at least oh. it's something. One might say it's no time. It's All something. Right, people, let's go! This is not a true world! What's going on? I thought we had seven days. The world doesn't end on a schedule. The, that doesn't well, make any that's sense. That's all the explanation they give. That, that's the explanation they give. Yeah. The world doesn't end on a schedule. So, but like that's that. But like it do, as in we know when the world is ending. Uh, so... That's the whole point why we did this. Uh, it's so weird. Now, what someone might say if they were not intelligent and enjoyed this movie, 
or thought it was good is they might say, oh, but Ragsy, my 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 dearest doggo, don't didn't you know that the reason they had to hurry up is because their airstrike was going to happen, which only makes you mad if that is if, if that potentially was your explanation, then that raises up the issue of why would they airstrike something that they need? Why would they not wait? They have. Why would they not wait? wait? Yeah. Why? Why not just wait? Oh, there doesn't seem to be any ticking clock other than the one that you made for yourself. People so... probably, want to, probably want us to acknowledge that is Bioshock Infinite, the uh, the objective is, market yeah. things. Yeah. Uh, but... I don't like to be reminded of that game. It's very rude. <laughs> <laughs> but before the seven day prep is even near completion, the situation turns so bad that we actually have to go right now, which in other words, launches us into the mission. But if you were to ask Filmento, how did the situation get so bad to warrant this, uh, you know, this early uh, expeditionary <laughs> activity, then he would not, I don't think that he would be able to answer that question because, because I just don't think he's aware of that. And I, and I wouldn't necessarily blame him except for the fact that he decided to make a movie calling this a fucking masterpiece. But I wouldn't generally blame anyone for not knowing what the fuck is happening in this film. Because it's mm. really, really well, dumb. Thing, it's so dumb it's become confusing. I think this is one of his examples of, you know, we had a stressful kind of goal. And oh look, it's not it's even worse than that. It's even more stressful. Oh you know, like, oh damn. Yeah. With a wow. much hectic, uncomfortable feeling, as opposed to if we just hung out for a week and then shipped out. It... Well, but that, why is this see, being that, complimented? That's the problem. It's, it's just, just we just it's just hectic. It's just we, it's just more hectic to speed it up for no fucking reason. It's not even for no reason. The reason is it's a negative reason. The reason because is the reason really makes bad. humans look stupid. Yeah. Well, but like I don't know. It's, it's just like. Rags, you gotta kill that huge bear. It's coming right at you. You have a pistol. You're like, okay, and then I go, actually, you've only got one bullet. And you're like, whoa, whoa, and I actually got no bullets. Oh my god, you are a genius of tension. <laughs> no, it's it's like you found it's like you found a stopwatch and you wound it up and then you said, Oh my gosh, look at the time. Are you saying because the writers control everything or? No, because the people in the film are they they've subjected themselves to a No, I'm talking about Filmento's time. point about writing. He's saying like to have a situation become more tension filled is automatically just better. Like Regardless it even, of context. Yeah, like it doesn't it doesn't matter in any way, shape or form what you did to do that, as long as you did that. And so I'm just like, how extreme can we push it? Like just everything just keeps getting more and more and more and more and more and more stressful. I turn you into a and baby. And then the aliens pull out machine guns, and they start listening to Bon Jovi, and they're indestructible, <laughs> and then they start changing colors. You reminded me of, um... It's so unpredictable. Seven Psychopaths. Do you remember when he's describing his yeah. like, screenplay? And he's like, and then, yeah, yeah. and then they have a shotgun. <laughs> Just pull it out and kill it, everybody. Exactly as planned. And thus, Dan and the others have no choice but to jump to the future landing zone unprepared. Not the best way to do it, yeah. but luckily we still have an army of adults. He's about, he's an about to say... Oh, and he's about to say, but then the oh jump goes God. wrong and they Yeah, because he's going to oh, keep look, doing it that way. It's like, but at least we have, we have X. But then, why? At least we have an army of adults. Well, you know... We don't give like, them any armor is... or vests or anything. Like the Here, armor, they, they don't, the armor and doesn't off. work. The armor doesn't work. I don't know why they give them these plate carriers. Mm. If I, I maybe there's no actual plates in them. They're just used for holding the magazines because you're going to need 7,000 rounds to kill an alien. So you should probably bring some spare mags. Remember the scene where they grab spare mags from the dead bodies, but they, that's never used in any way to convey information to the audience. I do because I saw this movie fucking twice. <laughs> and now my brain is mashed potato scrambled eggs. Well, I'm just waiting for him to say, like, well, at least they're still breathing. But then, like, like just because he's got to pull a positive out of it somehow. But then there's an asthma attack. Ah. But at least their blood's still flowing. Oh, no. A <laughs> oh, stroke. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Equipped with automatic rifles, so at least there's still some hope. It's just... This is yeah. as dumb as it looks, everybody. Copyright. This, yeah. this is so much. This is so well, much I do have the cover up, to... but oh, okay. Yeah, this is like um, specifically done for it. It exists for itself. It's no. It didn't justify this it in any exist fucking way. For itself. It exists. For oh itself. yeah, just to be clear, yeah. the movie opens up with this image of people oh, falling right. through the sky, 
Yeah. And then it's like six weeks early or something like that. Like this, the movie opens with the, the, the teaser of this scene occurring. Yeah. And through the air. You don't need. Oh, in media, right. Or whatever. In the universe, yeah, but the yeah the so what happens here is that the the time machine that they can't build but they did um, it sends them into the future but it messes up with the coordinates and so they fall into the air and that's the and that's that and yeah. well, now we're done. And our that's protagonist happens to survive because there was a skyscraper with a swimming pool at the top. Yep. No, no, he he happens to survive because magically before he hits the 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 cement, yeah, he, he changes slides. locations above the pool and slides it's into the pool. It's a trick of the, the camera. Air. They've aimed it so that it looks like he's not heading for the water, but he totally is because that's filmmaking. Just, oh, is, yeah. Filmmaking. Look at yeah, that. Again. Yeah, they totally <laughs> cheated. Totally <laughs> fucking yeah. cheated. We don't just land on the jump like site we as in the ten... part where another guy falls on top of him in the water. Like he should be. Which would have killed him. Oh yeah. yeah, you saw how far they fell. He's like, dead a few times. Dead, yeah. He's dead. This is in... yeah. This is an and then plot, and I hate these Definitely. sorts of plots. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it's almost a compliment to the film. Just... <laughs> yeah, it it's, it does imply a, a, um, a sensical progression of events, but it's really just, and then this happens, and then this happens, and then this happens. Like, you're making it up on the go. It's like a, it's like an eight-year-old is describing their dream, but they just want attention, so they're making shit up on the spot as to what happened in their dream. Yeah, because they realize halfway through that you're not entertained, and they're like, fuck, um... And then Luke Skywalker and his X-wing comes in, and then the the moon explodes, and then that, and then that, and then da da da, and that's the plot. It's like a ten year old's fever dream of just events that occur loosely strung together. That edge edit is Han Greedo tier. I don't know what you mean. Greedo shot first, okay? I believe it. Such a mess that most of our army is just wiped out army. instantly, which isn't really ever properly yeah, explained, army. but on level essentially makes it this is mission. explained properly this it is, is explained. explained you didn't, that you didn't one is explained. I, I can even yeah. steel main it's steel main steel man <laughs> this my, i'm sorry my brain is just getting confused with just That's life right. and you Wait, is the explanation right it's a glitch it's a glitch oh, they, yeah it is, it is a glitch yeah. with the computer they have the control room they're like count? oh no something's going wrong well it's it's it I, I think it is. I th it's I, it's I, something. Yeah. It's half an explanation. There's like tiers of explanation. One is that it's acknowledged There's in no universe reason... as a fault and something went wrong. Tier two would be yeah. what went wrong, how. It's just it's yeah. just the computer glitch right before. And it's the self-contained thing that happens for the sake yeah. of just a shocking visual that ultimately results in absolutely no change whatsoever to the plot. And no, like, no one's ever upset about this. No one references it. It's just it's just for drama. It's just a shock that's value it. of seeing all these people fall out of the sky. Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah it's like, wow, that's bad. He's like, yeah, that is bad. Isn't that bad? Was it in the trailers? Yeah. I could believe it was in the trailers. Probably was. Probably, yeah. Mm. It Instantly, looks like trailer which isn't really ever it's properly like explained, with. but on yeah. conceptual yeah. level essentially no makes this mission feel that beginning. much more yeah. dreadful. They're like this. He said on a conceptual level, it still makes it feel more dreadful. It's like, I can do that any way that I want. Like, you can do it better, yeah. Th this is well, the if, only way that it could have been done. Yeah, if, if that's the bar, I'll just have someone's leg fall off in this scene. And then someone else goes, oh my god, and then his eye pops out. <laughs> and then just electric wires are on the floor. If you touch them, you get electrocuted. It's like, how dreadful am I being here? Oh, what else can and we do? And then he's like, oh no, I have diabetes. And then he explodes. <laughs> And then a beach ball man says, come here, over here, and then he gets shot in the back by a <laughs> raccoon. And he's just like, what is happening? And you're like, it's dreadful. There's dreadful things happening. But then the raccoon <laughs> evolves into Gyarados. Eats them all. Well, not all of them. And he uses be a fire-based move just to keep you on your fucking Whoa, toes. Did they ever explain oh that? Oh <laughs> my god. It turns out his mother was a Charmander. Damn. Possible One of because the best how the hell can we ever complete a task that has put us on life support already at the starting line? And thus, our heroes have no choice you but can't. to press on with their objective of retrieving a special team of- I like how he says, like, how could we possibly do this? And then we press on. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. I, li I like too that- So, when, when Fringy and I were watching this yesterday, this whole, like- I know, I know oh. there's only so many ways to say that the plot doesn't make sense, but holy fuck, the plot does not make sense. Yeah. You know, they're, they're, they're given the task of, they're, they're sent to the future, they're not told why, which is 
generally you give your soldiers like here's what you're supposed to do <laughs> so many fucking movies like, don't that's do that normally normally a thing you have soldiers just be aware of is their job however they're 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 sent into the future they land on the top of the building and the survivors of that calamity they are then told hey come in what's up and then they're told to go and collect a research team at a place because we're about to bomb it so you have to hurry up <laughs> I'm the best just hearing, part the, is. just hearing that again makes me want to have a seizure. Well, here's it's, the best oh, it to hold on to your team. fucking oh, leader hose yeah. in there, metal, because <laughs> hey, you. I don't wear pants. They say that they, they say that we evacuated everybody except for the research team. Go get the Who research team before get? we bomb the city. Yeah. It, <laughs> so, again, so the first question would be, why didn't you leave with the rest of them? Uh, seeing as the future, the people from the past that you've sent to get them have no transport. What you need to send people to get them in cars. So what's the point? Why would you <laughs> was, do this? Why would they just leave like, with the rest of them? Guys, nothing in this movie makes sense. Nothing. 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 Like it's it. This well, is the dumbest movie. You wouldn't want to be too negative, now, would you? Someone said, haha, I missed that part. Dude, Ryan, I don't blame you. <laughs> I learned new things about how stupid yeah. this was the second time I watched it. Yeah. Oh, man. Like Rewatching a movie and discovering shit about it? Uh, yeah, that's something that happens fucking constantly these days. We, shit, there's so much hurts. cringe that you can't possibly process it all in one go. You end up with this fucking 40,000 words script. It's unfathomably stupid. Like, if oh, sorry, I watch this a third time, which I'm not doing, um, Never. No. I will find even more things. I'm not doing it. Fuck this you. is before the monsters find their way to the area, which doesn't go as planned because the monsters are already in the area and have killed the scientists. Which yep, they I have mean, every reason to already know because Command Center has, like, little bleeps and bloops yep. of where the monsters are moving. Yep. <laughs> How I mean, did humanity course, lose wait. this war? Because they're dumb. Yeah, because... They should know they're here, but why else would they be bombing this place? Why, why, yeah, why are you bombing this place? <laughs> and why did you evacuate everybody except the research team? Well, that's and a good if, question. If why to... are you bombing it? Why? For, to yeah, what because end? We need a, because, Fringy, we need a ticking time bomb for tension that's right. because we that's dramatic. Well, dude, it's, yeah. Guarantee you he's, he's going to use that drama. as a plus. He's going to say that creates more dread with, with more bombs on the way. Because drama is the reason. Scientists, meaning that we'll just have to collect the research ourselves and get the hell just out. Nondescript as... research. <laughs> yeah, just collect the, the research. research. <laughs> like the intel and card in it. Fast as possible with the monsters right on our tail. And thus, our heroes have no choice but to rush their way oh, over to the Humvee. But then the monsters destroy the Humvees. Th this is. But like, then uh... the guy falls through the cracks and breaks his leg. But then the, the thing, ex the airstrike explodes. If it feels like we're barely scratching the surface of the power of storytelling, where we just say yeah. something is supposed to happen, but it doesn't quite happen that way. But then it doesn't quite happen that way. But then it doesn't quite happen that way. And each of these ways that it changes are often negative, thus creating issues for the characters. You're like, whoa, fucking nuts, dude. Extraction outside, which doesn't go as planned because there is no more Humvee extraction, meaning yeah. that we'll just have to fight our way out. Which doesn't make any sense because they're supposed to be—they were like essentially bulletproof for ages. That so, sometimes they're not. Like, yeah, yeah, it's—it's yeah, it's like I was saying earlier that this—the the power level of these things is just so they're so. If we're gonna be frank, none of the humans should have survived to get this far. There's no fucking way. Um. Chris they Pratt. just if the plot wants them to survive, they will, and if it doesn't, they won't, and that's that. There's no correlation between what your brain expects and what you see and what actually occurs. On foot, so isn't helped by the fact that there's an incoming danger close airstrike that we oh, ended yeah, up there right in the middle of. Man, increasing that but dread. But why is there an airstrike? Yes, it was like, yeah. but why is there an airstrike? Because there dread. just is. Well, that's the thing. What, you're because just saying what's happening, but you're not asking why it's happening. I suppose Everything about every why is stupid. I, su I suppose yeah, that's wow. why he's not. It's because it'll, it's all crazy. Not let's let's assume that's his goal here. He's just going to explain 
on a very basic level that at least they do that, and that should be thumbs up, but really no. I mean, that's the thing, he's about to conclude, he's gonna get through the whole plot saying this stuff, and then surely he's gonna conclude it's like, at least it does that. Which is just like, oh. Hmm. You know, I, I, like, because every single event changing is, is, is supported by bullshit, so it's just like, hmm. Like, so the idea stressful. that he is portraying himself as being is I don't know if that's actually him or not. No, that's the meme no, video that's, of that's the guy who's <laughs> who's like typing away at his keyboard or doing something so fast that he's losing his mind. Okay, but it's if, a fun if this meme. makes if this makes you actually like like that, you you just you're you're just a simpleton. It's like you you you're easy to fool. You're easy to trick. Um. And your why movies are going to be shit forever. So there you go. So he's not praising the execution. It's like no, just just the concept of taking a situation and making it worse. Crazy. They did a lot of that in Underwater. Where was your praise for that, huh? Yeah. And you no, should really keep an movie. <laughs> eye on this aspect of how the film continuously negatively alters the deal it has with you and the characters. We go to capture There's the no queen. There's no deal. What? There's Both no deal. The deal. No, don't. This is right after. What did I just say? That y the correlation between what you see and expect as logical outcomes and what actually happens are totally divorced from one another. What the plot wants to happen will just happen, and what it doesn't want to happen just won't happen, and there's no rhyme or reason to any of it. Well, do you think um, that's, that he's saying that was the deal they made, that nothing would make any sense? Right at the beginning, <laughs> you know, it's, it's... It, the deal is none of this makes sense. Uh, well, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe. Filmonto made that deal and reveled in it. I'm not... And you should really keep an eye on this aspect of how the film continuously negatively alters the deal it has with you and the characters. We go to capture the Queen Mother, only to end up having to survive a giant horde of its underlings. That why is that yeah, impressive because... to you? Why is that impressive? So aliens show up. And again, okay. you're not even thinking about everything else that's happening in this. Like, how many failures do there have to be on the side of the humans to allow that to happen? Mm -hmm. And what does that say about how smart our main characters are? And what are the consequences of that? Like, as if there's no trade-offs for the decisions that you make in terms of ratcheting up the intensity. And you need to, like, if you, can... you, can't just, you can't just do these things. Like, there needs to be a justification for these things. Uh, anything can happen at any time. This is the movie where the, the just anything can happen at any time for whatever. It just it just happens. Just watch it. This just watch the pretty colors movie. Well, they are pretty colors though. Yeah, look at we the red and the green. in our safe ocean base, only to find out that it isn't safe at all. We go yeah, to the government insane. to locate the alien Defying ship. Defying all logic and reason. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you Past see those little drones with their guns, they shred like thousands, maybe hundreds, let's say hundreds, probably not thousands, but <laughs> a lot of, a lot of those aliens. With yeah, well, ease, there's millions of the aliens, ease. so there. Just build like 20,000 of those drones in this time that you had, exactly. and you're good. Just you're good. You're golden. Just give yeah. everyone AK-47s, they'd be better. Yeah. Like, unironically. But would it be world breaking for the aliens to have successfully destroyed 99% of humanity, but these humans to constantly be successful? So that's part no, of the issue, that uh, the world it, shouldn't it, have lost this fight. Yeah, yeah it, you, it's difficult to accept the premise that humanity didn't annihilate Just these like, aliens. Just um, like A Quiet Place, the same problem. Yeah, yeah, like, I don't accept the premise that A Quiet Place puts forth, that these aliens just killed all of the Earth when a shotgun to the face will destroy it. Like, I don't... I just... I By don't way, believe you. This is why a lot of zombie movies started to try and deal with this in different ways. When you just go, there's a shambler right there, oh god, he's gonna bite one person, then they have news reports of how it's spread, it's like, no, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Like... Yeah, because the zombie outbreak ends when it gets to Arkansas. Ex it, when it gets to <laughs> anywhere that has any kind of... Like, it's not gonna... Spread, but then they go, okay, actually, no, there was a virus that wiped out 95% of humanity and turned them into zombies. Like, oh, okay. That's how I do it. All right. Well, yeah, The Last of Us is a pretty good example, right? A lot of people got sick before it was clear what the consequences would be. 
like a large number of people got sick and then it started to manifest That's as like the way you the do zombies. It. Even yeah. fast zombies can't spread the zombie virus without getting like Shaun of the Dead had the realistic end. It was like, yeah, they get shot. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, we did it. <laughs> my the the idea that I toy with in my head is that before the the outbreak actually happens, very few people actually get sick because they're the very few whose immune system actually recognizes the virus as a bad thing. And so they get super sick fighting it off and it's miserable and terrible. So they go to the hospital with these weird things and the doctors don't know what's going on. And those are the ones who live. The people who turn into zombies and die, their whole immune system doesn't even recognize that it's bad. And so that's how it works. Bum, bum, bum. Just a little, just, just a little thought. Just because you got to mix it up. You got to. How could this, you know, maybe happen? What could we do to sort of change it up? And also, the zombies can't be slow because then they'll lose. Yeah. There you to go. be left all on our own, we go to infect the aliens in their sleep, only to have to face off with an entire process of waking up. Well, there, there was a fight in the hallway for ten seconds, but I guess I, it's, 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 it's built on such stupidity. It's just hard to take this seriously. Yeah, but it's, it's like, all okay. built on. All right. It, it's it's super dumb. Yeah. Let's see what he says in conclusion. Whatever yeah, events and plot beats this movie establishes, it consistently has them go wrong in order. Also, this scene, Queen got away. How are you two alive? The yeah. Queen clearly, if the Queen sees you, it will charge you in the middle and, and, and try and kill you. So how did the Queen get away from you? How are you two alive and the Queen got away? How, how are those two things simultaneously occurring? The Queen yeah. seems to be obsessed with killing people. You got lucky. Blood. Blood. Oh, well. So, I don't know. Just, yeah. The plot base this movie establishes, it consistently has them go wrong in order to grow the obstacles and in turn reduce the boredom. Because if everything... Oh, that formula. Oh boy. Such a great formula. Like, oh. increase the obstacles and thus reduce the boredom. That establishes, it consistently has them go wrong in order to grow the obstacles and in turn reduce... Tell you, man, one way to make me bored very quick is to just remove stakes. I'm like, uh eh. Yeah. yeah, I don't care what happens. I don't care about who it happens to or how it happens because the film doesn't care and the film doesn't care. I don't care. Yep. Boredom, because if everything plays out just as you expect it to, then what's the point of watching it play out? Wait a second. If it all goes the way you expected it to go, then what's the point? It's just like, you know, wow, man. You know, you, how, you... Uh, you, know, an, you know an A team, Hannibal would say, I love it when a plan comes together. And that was like his thing. Yeah. Fuck that. People hated that. Fuck, just, fuck having I plans. It, I hate it when a plan comes well. together. Yeah. <laughs> Shit just can never work because it's not dramatic when plans are executed well. That's well, why I mean, a lot of films do the thing where the as the plan is being executed, you have the the audio flashback or whatever yeah. of the the time skip of them explaining the plan as they're carrying it out. Wow, best of both worlds. That's a cool idea that people can be using. This is the thing, what he's trying to get at, I think, is that when you have the, the, the final act plan is set and then there's no complications, it would be like weird. And I actually agree with him that if we saw a film run that way, I'd be like, huh, everything went the way they, they hoped it would go. Well, that's, yeah, that's good. Um, usually, as, as Raj just said, you'll, you'll do the style of they go, here's the plan, and then they cut to the day. And we're like, oh man, what, what is, what's the plan? And then we see, like, ocean style, we're just seeing things unload in a way... Uh, oh, sorry, not oceans, because that's... Oceans is the other style, where things do go wrong, and then they have to recalibrate or, or, or move around to try and adapt to it. Um, the thing is, what you're cracking into is, is difficult when you have a plan go wrong, but they can still succeed in ways that we understand to be possible, um, but was still unaccounted for, whatever. Just making things go wrong, and they still win... So anyone can do that. And so what I'm getting at here is like, in terms of advice for any writers that are listening right now, they'd be like, hmm, how can I make my story better? I wouldn't want to just have a plan succeed. It's like, make things go wrong and they still win. Like, oh man. Make I feel things like... go wrong in ways that you could be like, yeah, I guess that could have happened. And have their solutions be things that make you go, yeah, I, that makes sense that that, that would be their solution. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like, yeah, they because that one guy they have, he's really good at impersonating a bartender. So he can, you know, he could pretend to be, you know, that one guy. The, yeah, it's, oh, yeah they, they set this up. Yeah, they, yeah. they set this concept up. And I, I see, ah, like I can I can almost predict what will happen, you know, right before it happens. So I go, ah, yeah, I've, I've been rewarded for paying attention. Yep, so that's the way to that's do a it. That's concept, rewarding people. Yeah. Yeah. That's Maybe that's asking a bit much. Yeah, I hate it. Instead, you should just gun to create conflict and drama by making things go wrong. Boredom. Because if everything plays out just as you expect it to, then what's the point of watching it play out at all? I'm gonna fight back against that one. I, uh... So uh, there's a lot of journey, not destination stuff that happens uh, yeah. in well, you know in the, in the viewing experience. You know how um, and it showed, yeah how when someone makes an argument that sounds pretty good on paper, but they don't realize how it um, like its tendrils stretch into other areas that they wouldn't want it to. So for example, Gaston Piker. This he's he would be top dog for this. So the argument he just made would be valid in terms of me never rewatching a movie. What would be the point? I know how it's all going to yeah, go. Yeah, what's going to happen? Yeah, I, I know, so there's no point now. And if, you know, nobody believes that to be true, there's probably some someone out there who's like, I've only seen movies once, there is no point in seeing them again. Be like, okay, I guess. <laughs> but, um, and, I'm not one of those people, know, is what I was going to say. <laughs> you know, plots being executed, like, if you have a, a bank heist plan, or a, an army is executing a military strategy, or really just anything, any plan, it can go as planned, with great difficulty and stress, like yeah. the hurt locker. Or oh, here's our plan to defuse the bomb. Oh yeah, that's right. We're fucking defusing bombs. This is a tense sequence. It's very stressful. Uh, yeah. Well, um, yeah. watching people who are talented at their work do it successfully is also pretty good. Like, I think of John Wick. Absolutely. Where it's like mm -hmm. in his opening scene in his house. I'm pretty sure everyone knows he's gonna win. Um, yeah. but watching him execute it's pretty damn cool. And again, this comes into the whole oh, yes. rewatching. But if I said to you before you get to watch that scene, it's like, oh man, the, loads of people attack him in his house, and he fucking kills them all because he's like one of the most talented assassins ever. Now, if you were to able, if you liked me enough to say, wow, you just spoiled that, you just leave that alone. You go, yeah, okay, I'm excited to see. Yeah, you'd still probably enjoy the scene because the action's that good. Um, yeah, I remember when John Wick was good? I do. I do. I was fucking in that love with that time. first film, and then I went to the cinema for the second one. I did not go to the cinema for the third. And I won't be going for the full. I might well, so I can talk about it. But yeah, um, what he said sounds good, but it, it stretches into other things, and you'd have to make arguments to save those, and then you'd be saving this. So it's just like, it's not gonna work. I'm it sorry. Is, it is not what we call applicable, useful advice. Mm-hmm. It's like a platitude. A writing platitude, almost. Yeah, and I, I think it works like, for... I can't really do anything with this. Well... <laughs> It's kind of how video essayists work. A lot of them appeal to, like, you, they look around the room and they go, we all know, we, we all agree, right? Like, action is way more entertaining than a, a scene with people talking. Yeah? And most people go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. And then, yeah, like, one guy's like, well... I mean, what if, what if it's half and half? And then some other guy goes, well, what if it's just, what's wrong with talking? It's like, well, it's b more yeah. boring than action, right? And it's like, not really. What, what if it's like, what if it's a person bartering for their life? Steve Jobs, the movie, is just people talking to each other, and it's far more riveting and intense than anything in this in film. In the Tomorrow War, yeah. Um, and so, so that's... I that one. feel like that nails it? The whole, like, sounds like a good argument. It's not a good argument, nor is it good advice. Oh man, it would have been so boring if they had actually done it successfully. Okay. I like generic Especially music. at the... <laughs> Especially in this part, where, where I thought the movie was already over, like, an hour ago. Oh, like, yeah. still like, going. When the, when the- you think the movie's gonna end, and then you realize, oh, we have, like, 50 minutes left to go. It's like, what, what are we doing? And you're, like, you're really doing? confused. You wonder what- like, like, we're done. Right? Nope. We have to undo the second act, uh, <laughs> and then wrap up the movie with an extra movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With, di with a different tomorrow solution. War. Because we're so we stupid and wake everything up with our needles, and then we just blow <laughs> everything up, and that worked perfectly fine. Because we're so also, fucking retarded. Also, imagine exp 
imagine explaining to the rest of the human race yeah we found an intact alien spaceship uh we blew it up <laughs> it's like you did what now oh yeah. we exploded it with c4 and you'd be we like, was there up. anything we could learn from it before you decided to blow it all up? It's just like, well, we didn't, we couldn't find out because we'd, we'd accidentally pissed off the aliens well, we, inside it. Yeah, we kind of went in there, we woke everyone up. We just, Wait, there were there were we... alien specimens inside of it? Yeah, they were shockingly well preserved. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, two different ones, like the, the the ones we fought only cargo. Like there was like oh, two yeah, different species in there. Oh yeah, yeah, it wasn't just alien. There. And someone's like, did, like two different those? alien species? Yeah. Was this spaceship capable they, of like they, fucking they, interstellar travel? And they're like, I don't know. Clearly, oh, if it got wrong. here, so I mean, <laughs> it got wow. It. Wow. oh well. Hmm. Oh well. Anyway, credits. So what, do you, what were you? What were you guys up to? How's NATO doing? You know, <laughs> we're alright, I guess. Much out for though is unjustified randomness and nonsensicalness. If you have a time jump mission take a turn for the worse due to a malfunctioning teleporter, for example, <gasps> then maybe you should also establish oh, well, why the teleporter that actually that malfunctioned at all. Oh, so we, um, is that going to be what he does now? Is explain how they're all stupid? Uh, what? Oh. I hope so. I mean, props to him if he does, uh, I guess, but Video is but I don't see how this won't go against his... I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. No, Which yeah, I mean, generally has me excited, but now I'm just I'm I'm a little excited. We'll have to see what he does. Trips. Things can't go wrong just because you want them to, because the audience will see through that. But when done right, this method of negatively altering the deal is one of the cornerstones of writing out but your that's not good Wait, but here. yeah, is he suggesting this was an example of it being done right? Uh, uh, this this particular scene, I mean. Uh, uh, I don't know. Or is he saying, we'll all, yeah, I guess we'll find out. It's in a way that keeps the viewers immersed and at the edge of their seat, praying that you don't alter it any further. Oh, oh no. I don't think the planes, I don't, oh, oh, okay. Oh. Oh, so much for our optimism. That's what we get. We did this to ourselves. Oh. And we, should, we should have done better. You think we would have learned myself. after all this time? We would be yeah. We should we, sh we should have known better. That's yeah. yeah mm. Same way with Hassan. You you just you give him <laughs> way too much credit, and he rewards you as you should expect. Wow. Ghost draft. What does that mean? The second key positive to take here is the way this film crafts a very easily distinct and memorable identity for itself. An identity a very that comes... easily distinct and memorable identity for itself. God damn it. <laughs> one of the most stupidest things I've ever seen. Yeah, it's true. It was it's also just the salad. This dumb. Yeah. yeah, it's word salad. There's just... so many words that he didn't need to use. The second key positive to take here is the way this film crafts a very easily distinct and memorable identity for itself. You know, an identity that comes very from the very easily and distinct. There. You see, very easily, very easily those and two, distinct. Those are two very redundant words. <laughs> I, I, that was stupid. They're both redundant words. Not very. Very easily and distinct. Is that what he said? Very easily and distinct. Yeah. Identity for itself. Uh, very wait. Well, very easily That's... distinct and memorable identity. Okay. Ah, please, guys. Yeah. Is it? But things can be like. It's incredibly but that's the thing. It's, <laughs> it's like when you tell people just like be unique or be yourself. Like you don't have a choice. You have to be yourself. The definition. So it's not like useful information, really. Like you have to expand on that. And it's like saying with a movie. Like you should just. It's this movie's great because it has its own unique identity. But like, yeah, but you can be. You can have a unique identity. And it's horrible, and also a unique identity, and it's great. Like, we have our Lord of the Rings trilogies, and we have our Tomorrow Wars. They're both unique, but damn, the quality the, gap is massive. When he cut the phone out, he cut the thumb with it. The finger. I think that's because the finger was over it. No, of course, so that's why. Just, but he did. So what you do is you use Photoshop to make it look like you didn't do that. Or you just have it be a still frame and you zoom in slowly, or or you just don't do this at all because it's not Hey, necessary. you thought it was awesome. You were like, oh, that's so cool. I heard you. Right. No, it was actually, really quiet. What, I, what I said to Fringy yesterday when we were watching it was, why did they have to fake this image? Just have it be on the phone. Yeah. Uh, well, that's a great question for all kinds of technology and all kinds of films. They always they have a green screen, and, and I guess... 
it's complicated yeah. because green it's like glare and stuff like that and it might be that you don't have the graphics done yet it's a safer it's a way to do it it's easier it's definitely easier yeah it's just i feel like you could just make it would a be cool if it were real just show it yeah just make a screenshot and have it be on the phone and then just have him hold up the phone and the camera will see it and if for whatever reason the camera can't see it you just say oh, we'll just do it again or because you're going to cut in and out of the of it anyway, just have them holding it up to the screen and moving around just a little bit. Like there's a lot of different ways to make this work that are really easy and simple and very cheap that don't involve green screens and computer effects that make yeah, it which look fake. end up costing quite a bit of money. I I I would just want to go the direction of you know you try to do it all with like a real app you created to simulate it for the movie. And then maybe you record the scene again but with a green screen one just in case things go catastrophically wrong with that prop you made and the app you made and stuff. I don't know. ...that comic and word of its original script title, Ghost Draft, that I, by the way, still remember a couple years after reading. To introduce the point I'm trying to make, look at the relationship Dan has with his estranged father, who we meet for the first time after Dan's been drafted. What you'll quickly notice about the father is that he isn't some random person, but is that, in terms of this story, actually very specific. When I got back from that... What was that? Uh, what, what did you say? <laughs> He. <laughs> oh boy, what a sentence! That that I'm sentence just, is filmento. I'm just happy that's not just me and my rampant <laughs> alcohol abuse from yesterday that's confused. <laughs> I just I don't know what else you're saying. Like no, don't yeah. worry. You haven't been hitting the beer steins too hard. It, he is. <laughs> have this that sentence. That sentence is so beautifully filmento. You know. Just. <laughs> I've been doing a lot Frame of it. a lot of recordings lately for, for the video that's on its way, and um, uh. sometimes I'll read a sentence and it doesn't come out quite well. I'm trying to figure out if it. I've been drinking as well, by the way. I'm trying to figure out if it's because of the way the words come together and and how my accent or the way I deliver them is, is the problem. But oftentimes, I just slow down a little bit, and it comes out way clearer. I was like, ah, that was it. Yeah. I just needed more time for the words to breathe. He does not do that. He, he he just keeps on talking real fast, and sometimes I don't even catch what words he's using. Uh, I would say that English is like his fifth language, but he's not, I don't think he's smart enough to learn four other languages. Aww. He just I doesn't just, strike me as an intelligent person who constructs speaking, sentences Speaking to well. us hard enough. He was in Goodell, but I don't know what he said. I can't write that down. <laughs> Remember the rule? Well, yeah, I established this a while ago. I said, if you want me to gedelb something, you have to include the quote in your gedelb suggestion. Alright, and then just if I see it... On the, just open the notepad and roll your head over your keyboard, like, a couple of times. And you got it. Game, is this, is this a... Are these random words chosen from a dictionary by a computer algorithm? <laughs> or is this a Filmento quote? Who knows? At Wall of Gedelb. His father isn't a random character. He's someone very specific. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a condensed version of what he said. I think so, yeah. Let's, yeah, well, let's we'll give, we'll give let's, it a little let's listen. Let's listen to it two or three the point times. point I'm trying to make, look at the relationship Dan has with his estranged father, who we meet for the first time after Dan's been drafted. What you'll quickly notice about the father is that he isn't some random person, but is that, in terms of this story, actually very specific. <laughs> but instead, in terms of this story, a very specific <laughs> person. You know uh, what point he probably wanted to make. You know, I, I so I, don't I, think, I, I think, think about all the time. I think what he's I, what he's trying to say is he's not a random character. We just intrude. I mean, he's a random character to us, well, but for these guys, they know each other. It's just like this. Oh, is, I thought he was uh, saying he's going to be a... Frankie the Armorer. He can do the things, and he has a plane. I thought he was trying to say that he's not just a character we will meet as a result of him being his father. He is someone who's important to this whole world and That plot tends line. to be just how stories mm. work, though, that the characters yeah. that you meet are this more character important than their utility be... in this scene. This character is going to be involved in the plot. Yeah, that's all that's been said. But I mean, even you... then, it's like, I, I often tell, I often, I know oftentimes, I go to my father and I say, thanks for not just being some random person, but for <laughs> being the person who impregnated my mother with what would become me. And raising me. Thanks so much that you're just that person and not some random other <laughs> guy. Random. I'm so happy you're not I... that guy over there. He looks like a shitty dad. That guy over there, I hate that guy. 
<laughs> how come that random that person one. who just walked past? How come he's not my dad? I don't fucking know. Yeah. Explain yourself. <laughs> don't make sense to <laughs> me. Just some random person. In terms of this story, he's a much more specific person. I don't know how this works. <laughs> I love these scripts. They're amazing. Someone said the dad wasn't a part of the plot. He had no specific skills outside of flying the plane. No, he had a, he had involvement in the plot. Could you have written him out and found other ways to do it? Sure. A... But the problem with the the relationship between the dad and um, what's his name, Chad? Um, Dennis. Dan. Dan. Dennis. <laughs> Chris <laughs> Pratt. Names. I just I just fucking I just Chad just came to mind. The difference Chris between Pratt. Chad and dad dad and chad is that their relationship is bizarre if you want when we watch this again fringy and i noticed that the way that they interact with each other and their takeaways from conversations and just how they behave with each other fucking weird just it's weird just, yeah it's just a bizarre relationship i it, i even hesitate to call it a relationship it's almost it's just plot fuel is all it really is When I got back from now, I was in a very dark place. It would have been worse for you and your mom. Do I these sound effects or everything? That's I'm not sure why he's doing, doing that. Sorry. I don't know either. You're you're like, you're like, don't beat us over the head with war noise when he's talking was... about his traumatic return from Vietnam. I thought like, he was what are you trying doing? to make a joke or something. Wow, it's like careful. Oh, I thought he was being earnest. See, well, we instantly had two different... So Total okay, so completely honest, because I don't know where the fuck we're going with this. I thought he was about to like reveal that we get all this history about Nam, and then it's not relevant, and that's the switch, or something. But that's the movie. I don't fucking know. I, 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 the movie is I, that it isn't actually relevant because I was gonna say the result of this conversation, like his dad, like seems to really open up to him in a meaningful way yeah. here, based on what little interaction we have, and Chad's response is just. Don't ever talk to me or my daughter ever again. You're never going to be a part of her life. Bye. That's really and weird. It's, and we're just like, what, what the fuck? How is that your reaction? <laughs> like, what the fuck? I'm sorry. I have, to, I, have to, I have to have to share this with you guys. Just fucking look at the, look at the costumes. It's a fucking joke, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so real. Dirty. It's unreal. <laughs> it's like this is this looks like the setup to an orgy. Wait. A I thought Supergirl had ended. Is it only recently finished filming? I guess so. That, Dude, yeah, this, this can't that, be real. That, like, it's honestly looks though. like a porno thing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it really does. This is, they're just gonna start, they're just gonna start sucking and fucking and scissoring, but, and <laughs> that balcony, God. man, it's just gonna be the happening place. So fucking <laughs> cheap. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> nice Look at the guy. Lighting. Look at him. Look at the green Wait, one. Which guy? <laughs> the, 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 one yeah. of these poses. <laughs> one of them poses. He looks like a what? character from Futurama or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in one episode? The, the, pose, the, the pose he's making is great. Dude, his face, uh, his face yeah. speaks regret. He looks <laughs> like, like AI. He looks face. like an this Oblivion is... NPC. Like, you know, this is like... my legacy now. He looks like a <laughs> mine and he's legacy. hiding behind a pillar. An invisible pillar. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. god. That's his hero face. Uh, I wonder what his powers are. Man. Like Is he a green lantern or something? Because he has a No, he, I it's Brainiac's green, right? So is he like it's Oh green. man. Someone in chat must be a fan of Supergirl and knows. <laughs> Guys, this looks what's amazing. What's the one on the, 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 the right? <clears throat> Not the one on the far right, the one in the middle. <laughs> The, the one with the the weird helmet. What, what is is that meant to be like Hawk Girl or something? Like I have no idea. But there's no wings. The Down Syndrome. Yeah, Avengers. I was about to say her her helmet reminds me of uh, Hawk, yeah. the hockey one. But well, wings probably cost money. <laughs> They're retractable yeah. oh, when the CGI budget. We're not doing. <laughs> bring it out. Oh yeah, they they magically go away whenever oh. she doesn't need them because fuck me, that would be either an awkward looking prop or CGI, and that shit costs money. Yeah, that's right. That does cost money. None of that here. Oh uh, man, like you you feel bad, you know? It's like oh, 
This is the one I'm working on. <laughs> Couldn't have been the other one. You know everybody, everybody loves superhero stuff right now, and this is this is uh, my superhero show. This is the one I got. <laughs> yeah, you know what? The, I'll I'll throw them a the bone. Stick. I will throw them a bone and say bravo to them by because they remembered to make his hands green. That's <laughs> true. Yeah, yeah. Good that job, seems yeah. like a mistake that would happen on the CW. They just do his face and they forget his uncovered hands are still like white people colored <laughs> so they just forget and then they have to make a law reason for that <laughs> like it totally my transformation is, is only 16 percent complete i began with the face <laughs> <laughs> man we should write oh, these shows we nail it we're exactly what they're looking for uh Hawksway, hold up someone just sent me this image it's a southpaw sent me this why am my computer being slow? That's very strange. Oh, I'm getting pretty fucking sleepy. Oh, similar but pose, this... yeah. Is that on purpose? Yeah. Oh, the, the, the oh, is it like be. referencing them or something? Maybe. Power Rangers. Power Rangers looks less cheap. Yes. Yeah. Wow, Discord is being slow right now. That's Power weird. Ranger, Power Ranger, Power Ranger. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be frank. I think that the Power Rangers in space and this relationship as a whole I really like the Power Rangers in space theme. Wait, I can't pause it. What do you mean? It is paused. Well, I I heard it a bunch and then I tried to pause it and it just it like it wasn't showing up as a thing. Is your internet flooping on you? I hope not. I can still hear everybody. It's just that for whatever reason, Discord was something was acting a little slow. So it's very strange. Everything's just scrolling through like normal. Is the video paused for you? It is now. Yes. What's the time so, at? So seven thirty-eight. Yeah. Place. All right. It would have been worse for you and your mom if I'd stayed. So yeah, the father and this relationship as a whole very specifically revolves around the core topic of him being a Vietnam War veteran and the consequences of it. And keeping this in no. mind, if we now jump into the future no, and look at the really relationship doesn't. between Dan doesn't. and his they now grown-up... They don't grown do anything up, with it. Yeah. Is he trying to say it reflects his relationship with his daughter? Daughter, for example, yes. you can see that it's about the exact same thing, only with the role swapped. Throughout the future storyline, there's this weird underlying conflict between these two to the point where Dan for some reason just can't get close to his daughter no matter how he tries. Which ultimately is revealed to be due to the fact that she blames him for the exact same thing he blames his dad for. Oh god, it was so late. Yeah. Like, it, it was really the problem with this was like, nobody believes that he would have done what they tell us he did. It's like, oh... Mm -hmm. It's like, just well, say that wait, he did, though. It's like, yeah, but he just did. Uh, it's like, oh, okay. Just, I just look at this, like, how far did they fucking drive? There's no fucking tree in sight. And they came, like, no out of a... aliens. And no aliens, yeah. Just realized, because should there be, like, some woods or something? They they, 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 dr they drive through woods, right? When they escaped? Or I'm misremembering that. They did, I think, yeah. yeah. And there was, like, a lot of aliens. It was, just, it was just yeah, past just... the horizon. You could, you, it's just, you just can't see it. <laughs> It's just over there on a little island somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> Four. You left us. <clears throat> Bullshit. I know for a fact I would never leave you. Yeah, that's what I thought. You just never... Mm. I have leadership experience. I ran in combat missions in Iraq. You never seemed happy None with your life. Is... <laughs> is he desperately <laughs> trying to link the two relationships? <laughs> yeah. Well, we... I think the film thinks that it's their link. I think that that's what the film believes to be the case, but what what is in the movie doesn't... It's just, it's really thin. Mm -hmm. Very thin. And so it's, we have two different relationships between three different characters built under the same banner in a way that they can join together to progress that one thing. You don't have to remember what? multiple individual characters and relationships. All you have to remember- God forbid, remembering multiple characters and relationships. <laughs> Your nightmare. Mm -hmm is the single identity they all serve. And it's this core topic identity and the consequences of it that this entire movie revolves around, to the point where it's basically one Can big futuristic time. I'm... My... For whatever reason, like, my... I just... Yeah, just hold on a second. My computer's just been really slow with this shit for whatever reason. 
Like my memory, my 16 gigs of memory was just at like running at 95% capacity because of like Google Chrome decided it was going to, I don't know, just be Google Chrome. <laughs> Give me just a second. Dude, my here. brain is melting. I can't, like, it's just, I don't understand what we're talking about. It feels like we're just tr grasping at straws here. Yeah, like, so the relationship between the father and his son is like, stressed by military service and abandonment there is a similar issue plaguing he and his daughter it's just like hey give me cool give me just one second i'm gonna quit discord and open it back again and join up the call all right oh no what if he can't open it back up <sighs> oh there he goes ragu is gone <sighs> <laughs> Jay put out a tweet three hours ago that says, Hand. Yes, Hassan, that is your hand. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> King Shark. I, that feels like an insult to King. Like, come on. King Shark. He's a good yeah, boy. It's, it's unfair. Like, come on. It's, it's not. King Shark tried so hard compared to Hassan. I assume. I haven't actually seen it, but he looks like he's probably going to get up to some mischief. And I did see him mm -hmm. eat somebody in the trailer, so... Delicious. Mauler is a Twitterist confirmed. Well, you know, I'm just scrolling through. Doing, doing me a good scroll. While we wait and see if Rags is going to live. Did the thing happen? Did he actually, like, reboot it and it broke? <laughs> Rags, He's I don't want to be I don't want to be stuck life. on this video forever, Rags, please. <laughs> no, I don't either. I'm Should we just, just like we'll just carry there is he's missing yeah. nothing. Yeah, oh, right. there he is. There you are. Rags, you okay? Uh it seems to be. For whatever reason, I don't know, my computer was just fucking chugging for hmm. whatever reason it just decided it would all of a sudden be that way. Um I I don't feel like Discord should use like I know I'm in a I'm I know I'm in a call, but Discord was using like almost a fucking gig of memory. That's yeah, that's you know, not right. Mine is using 190. Yeah, mine's 183 right now. So yeah, I'm like, something along those lines. Because I'm in a call, I'm like, okay, you know, that's the. But it, for whatever reason, it was seriously using like 985 to a, like a gig of memory, and. My memory was at 95% usage with Chrome on for whatever. I don't know what Discord was fucking doing, but mm. it was just like, yeah, lol, we're going to, mm. I don't know, do whatever we're doing. So let me open up uh, the watch together and get back into that because I don't know. It, I just, everything just crawled to a halt <sighs> for some reason. That's very bizarre. Wow. Dev is streaming Ninja Dragon Ball Z. Mister uh, had to go on. No, he's got to. He's got to. He has <laughs> got to go to dinner. And so all I did was open up the watch together link, and Google Chrome has eighteen instances, of, and it's at five hundred fifty megabytes of usage. Hmm. What a what a world. That's fine. Now I got plenty of memory for it. It's just it's just weird that it all of a sudden decided to be like, hey, hey, hey and did all, that. all right. I ain't gonna use all of it revolves around to the point where it's basically one big futuristic science fiction allegory of the Vietnam War. I do what? what? It's an allegory for the what? Vietnam what? War. How is that? How is <laughs> how is it an allegory? Oh. Yeah, the Viet Cong. That was, you know, the equivalent of giant aliens hordes of aliens. <laughs> what in the what world the are you fact? saying? What are you what? smoking? That's that is absolutely ridiculous. That is such I can't believe that he said that. That's insane. So like the his father referencing Vietnam basically amounts to absolutely nothing. There's no reason for it to get mentioned. There's no it, it's just it doesn't amount to anything. And then he he, can, he creates these connections. Like, there's like, oh, yeah, the whole movie's like an allegory for the Vietnam War. And I'm like, that's a thing that you say is parody? How can you possibly say that about this <laughs> film? Like, 
you know what? The Vietnam War, with all of its complexities, you know, it's about as straightforward as a, a horde of aliens. <laughs> from I can't believe you showed this. Fo- this is what I mean. It's like someone's probably going to be like, see, it's satire. It's like, oh my god, I need a, like a cheat code at this point because I cannot fucking yeah. tell. <laughs> yeah. We have unfit civilians being forcibly called up to arms to fight an invisible war that masses protest as not- What do you mean invisible war? So, is it not an uh, allegory for the Iraq war or the war in Afghanistan or like any number of wars that people protested? I'm annoyed at how low the bar for allegory is. It's lame. Yeah, the the bar for allegory is people get drafted to go to a war that people oppose. So all wars, like all wars. <laughs> There's a mouse that it has humanity. to battle a cat. It's like it's Vietnam. <laughs> like I don't understand. It's like it is. I have a I have a ficus in my living room. That's basically an allegory for the Vietnam War. <laughs> stop it, please stop it. Not uh. ours. A war that in actuality is going so terribly that the full extent of it has to be censored. Okay, but why don't we- Fucking- what, uh, Vietnam tell me. War was not censored though. The Vietnam War was known what it was. That's why so many people were opposed to it. Well, also, tell me which war has both sides revealing every aspect of it during the war. Like, mm-hmm. why would- It's it like, I oh, see, it's Vietnam specifically. We have pictures or videos, you know, it would help us to know what we're up against. The yeah, that would be. Yeah. Well and we'll succeed. Huh? What? We thought so- How what? do you possibly draw these lines? <clears throat> I'm, I'm lost I... again. My like... brain hurty. <sighs> oh, yeah, like as everybody's saying in the chat, Vietnam War was not censored. It's like, yeah, that's why people were opposed to it, because they saw what was actually happening. Like, so it's completely disanalogous. Maybe it's the... Uh, you know, be, beyond the big alien, like, horde. <laughs> the fight, like, no, 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 the world. alien, the, the, oh. the alien horde that needs to be exterminated. They got and that part course, right. It's everything big, else that's like, oh. I feel like the big party missed beyond the alien horde is like, so the issue with Vietnam was it was like a war about like politics specifically like about you know spheres of influence around the world the future war in this film is about saving humanity as we know it it's not the same <laughs> like, I, oh, you do have to oh, save humanity from communism what is this though? meme hold on what's mm. this meme <laughs> you know <laughs> you know what's great about this meme is and correct me if I'm wrong chat but it's most people who haven't seen The Office don't know what the actual, like, meme format actually is, so... The, um... The joke, I'm pretty sure, is that the girl on the bottom is setting up the scenario on the top, where she's gonna show... pictures to a person, and the person has to figure out the difference, and then she says, they're the same picture. That's the joke? Yeah, she... Is that they can't yeah, tell that. Yeah, confirms they're the same picture. It's the, decreed, right? The meme... I think so, yeah. The, the meme has now evolved into, like, I can picture people are probably like... She's the dumbass who thinks that they're the same thing. Like, you know, like, like the context of the meme is actually very different from how a lot of people probably understand what's happening in yeah. the meme. Uh, still, fucking works great either way. Uh, it's just interesting to me to think about. <clears throat> like manga when you I read it from the other it. end. Mm. Uh... So yeah, back to Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you guys have anything else to say about Vietnam, you know, because obviously it would come up when talking about the Tomorrow War, naturally. Tomorrow War, yeah. Uh, this is, uh, yeah. On PTSD, we touch on desertion. You know, we go to another period of time that may as well be a different planet. We have. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Is this? I mean, is this? Is... Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's not. It's I, not. Is like that, that, is that the deal? Is... Vietnam? It's like a different planet, you know? Like, sight. <laughs> so... It's completely Uh, fucking invalid if we're literally going to be like a a, a hellscape war zone. You know, it's kind of like a different place than my comfy suburbs. Like, yes. Like all (laughs) wars. Thanks (laughs) for narrowing that down. Yesterday, civilians making the ultimate sacrifice for causes they don't even fully understand. We have. What do you mean they don't fully understand? They know know what the cause is. It's extinction. This is not the same as Vietnam. It's not Vietnam. <laughs> I mean, I doubt you're being so based as to say that if communism wins, it's the extinction of humanity. I, I assume that's not what you meant. But yeah, the, the people here know exactly what they mean. 
They mean like like the aliens and like. Mm. I mean, it's it's, it's been years of doing this stuff. It's like yeah, we're trying to just stop the end of the world. I, I like the yeah. idea that someone's like, mm, from... I think I think something else is going on. I think these aliens are actually yeah. trying to help us. It's a little bit different mm. from like a proxy war from the fucking Cold War. Enemies are so unlike us that they're basically an alien race. What? Like the Vietnamese? Whoa, like, whoa, whoa, like, like Asians? Like, like Asians? Whoa, is that what you meant? An alien race? Like, you know, those Phil Bento folk? Fucking like, oh pump God, the brakes, my dude. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Quentin, you can't say that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn. <They're> like... <laughs> <laughs> God fucking hell. <laughs> this video just got fucking amazing. What did he say exactly? <laughs> Please. What's the quote? Let's let's Give get it. The, the ultimate <laughs> sacrifice for causes they don't even fully understand. We have enemies that are so unlike us that they're basically an alien race. We have enemies that are so unlike us that they're basically an alien race. Dude. Oh my goodness. Bruce is why would you say this while talking about <laughs> Vietnam? <laughs> the war that was fought between people. The, that's one of my favorite video essay quotes ever. An enemy is in relation to Vietnam. An enemy so unlike us, they're basically an alien race. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's amazing. I can't believe he wrote that. He said that. But I guess I'm just wondering how we can catch that it's like, wait a minute, I'm talking about like human beings here. <laughs> like actual like human beings just like me. You see the, the thing when we when we talk about racism, it's just like a joke and it doesn't actually mean anything and it it, it goes under the assumption that it isn't true and it's just playing off as Yeah, that like we all, all we all but, just know. It's just yeah, known that like but, racism is bad. <laughs> But he says this shit, and he's like, you know what? I'm making a damn good point. <laughs> I just feel like he, 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 he made a mistake. He made a really big, sustained mistake. He, 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 he pulled a off. Quentin with the Ewoks, is what he did. <laughs> <laughs> he did a Quentin <laughs> with the Ewoks. Someone in chat said, wow, we're not even a different species. We're an alien race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't even get the credit of being a different species. We have yeah. to be from another planet. <laughs> and of course, it's kind of amusing to say this about the people who were invaded rather than like the uh. dude, I fucking All love right. the idea that there's someone out there in the Vietnam War that was like, you know, these Vietnamese. I'm not sure they're from Earth. <laughs> I'm not sure that they're from Earth. They're from the planet Vietnam. They uh, see them food, and everyone looks at, at the guys like, "The fuck are you saying?" <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, see, he's got cuckoo. He's been here too long. There's too many. There's too many layers to this video. I have no fucking clue what's what's satire, what's uh, honest, but that quote was phenomenal. This, this video for me is Amazing. like I, I, I wanted to sleep like an hour ago, but this video is so bizarre. I just <laughs> need to see how it ends. It's so <laughs> surreal. <laughs> I'm so fucking tired, it makes it even funnier. We have to see where this journey takes us. <laughs> yeah. ...making the ultimate sacrifice for causes they don't even fully understand. We have enemies that are so unlike us that they're basically an alien race. <laughs> hey, did you hear that? Oh, is he- Oh my god, the aliens are speaking Vietnamese! Is he, is, yeah, is he like actually playing the aliens speaking Vietnamese? Is that what's happening here? Maybe it's, yeah, I so the, the, we're at the point now. where I don't know if he is making an incredibly edgy joke or he is this unaware of what he's fucking doing. <laughs> I want to, I, I want him to the, the he's in that stairwell and he shines the light up at the alien. And it just says, "GI, go home." <laughs> just, oh no, American! <laughs> oh no, American! They sent Super boy cool. to fight man war. <laughs> this is so. Insensitive. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the point I'm trying to get across oh isn't God. necessarily that one all-encompassing identity automatically improves your movie. Why did you do? So why did you do this? Why, why did you? Why? <laughs> what have you done? What why? <laughs> what, <laughs> why did you have the video come back here? <laughs> I take this. But why? <laughs> too much.
But why, it's though? Dead. Also, I'm pretty sure that was all by accident. I'm pretty sure he did not mean to say the things that he said. He didn't mean to do that. I don't think he did mean to do that. It's just a big mistake that he didn't pick up on. God, it's so good. <laughs> I can so believe good. he's dumb enough that he didn't even know that... Oh, this is, is totally a character. Believe, like, all, all of us. I would love to write a character like this, where they just so, like, just dull when it comes to understanding the shit that they say, that you just have someone have to listen to them and be like, what the fuck? And he's just like, yeah, you know, it's kind of interesting when you look at movies this way. You kind of see the allegories. You know, like, Asian people, they're kind of like aliens. <laughs> why would you say that? Why, why would you do this? Why? <laughs> So that it can be a real help at improving it. It's easier for you not to get lost writing all the different aliens and time machines and characters when all of it ultimately has to serve the same purpose. It's easier for the audience not to get lost watching it all when what they see essentially is the same larger thing in different smaller forms. Wow. I, see, I, 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 I looked at it, I heard it. And I have no fucking idea what. I that. know exactly I what he said. I'm in tune with him. He's first point. It's so mush to me. First point, way easier to follow stuff when all of the stuff leads to the same end. As in, you know, if Fringy has a gun, I have a car, and Rags has a ship, but we all use them to destroy an alien race. That's easy to follow. Okay, it's easy to understand. Mm. No variables outside of the destroying the. Secondly. If all of your separate, like, ideas, plot lines, characters and stuff kind of relate on the same theme, that's also easy to follow. And what he's talking about there is the whole abandonment stuff and the Vietnam allegories for alien Asians. It's like, it, it all comes together at the end. You understand it easily. Excellent points, both of them. You wouldn't want a complicated story with multiple payoffs at the end. That would be, oof. Get out of here with that. Multiple themes or multiple points being made. Ugh. Yeah. What, what See, you're, you're all silent because I was so right about all of what I just said. You bet. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Strings doesn't get overwhelming so long as they all ultimately lead See? to the same destination. Jones has way too many characters and storylines to. No, eat. no, no, oh, no, my no, no. Gracious. No. <laughs> Let him finish his point. No, I know exactly what his point's going to be. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the problem with Game of Thrones, you fucking idiot. That's never been the problem. <laughs> How do you talk about the show like it, the problem is too many people when it, it was had that many people at its height and at its fucking lowest? How? What do you think happened? Oh, it was just too many characters. That's what it was. The excess of strings doesn't get overwhelming so long as they all ultimately lead to the same destination. Game of Thrones has way too many characters and storylines to even count, but at the end of the day, what's the one ultimate all-encompassing thing they oh, all no. in some form end up revolving around? Oh no. What? If Dan's relationship with his- Oh, Thrones. He's, thrones. he's gonna mean the throne. Oh, I yeah. thought the whole point- But- I, I thought the whole point of the film was leading to the- So- You know what? He made the opposite argument, which is actually worse. He's saying that, hey, it doesn't matter how many characters there are in Game of Thrones because it all ended up being about the throne. It's like, dude, the last episode was all about the throne. Everyone hated it. It's, it's like, the whole yeah. season. It's, it's, not a, it's not about ending all storylines with one thing. That just, it's not about that at all. The, what horrible advice. Like, it, I was, you know what Game of Thrones, you know what saved Game of Thrones from being critically trashed was making it all about the throne in the last Make episode. Making it all about the throne, yeah. That's fixed. It, it. That didn't piss every person off that they went, yeah, Brad, you could have it. You you have a good story. Like, it, That's how you can dominate popular culture for a fucking decade and now everyone laughs at you if they even remember you existed in the first place. God, you... I, I thought he was making a different, better point, but still horrible. Why? How do you talk Turns about Game out, of Thrones? He was dumber than I expected. Why would you bring up Game of Thrones, like, a, a positives, the positives of its ending, when it's, like, hated for that by everybody? No one likes it. That's the thing. Nobody likes it. It's just... Ugh. Why would you do this to me? His father is about topic and the relationship with his daughter about a whole other topic that separates the movie into two different halves. But if the purpose of one relationship whoa, 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 whoa,
If Dan's relationship with his father is about one topic and the relationship with his daughter about a whole other topic, that separates the movie into two different- My god, I like memed about this five minutes ago. I said, oh gosh, imagine there was two separate points. And he's literally saying like, you know, but if there was two bad. separate points, we wouldn't be able to follow it as well. Like... This isn't a point. Like, this isn't- how could you possibly say that like a story can't be about more than two things at once? More, more than, than one, one thing. thing at once, actually, yeah. Like, as if you do two or more plot threads, that that's not okay. It doesn't, like, they don't, man, I feel like we need to go right back to fundamentals before we can start, like, Someone just pointed out awfully, how this is... Uh, Fringy, that's an awfully big word. Could you oh, calm down? Right. We all way... go back to basics, big, little basic building blocks, all right? He's just, someone in chat, thank you for reminding me, Game of Thrones wasn't even fucking about the thrones. The point was to be about life, not the thrones. Yeah. That all storylines would lead to defending against the White Walkers, winter destroying summer, and bringing cold and death to everybody forever. And that everyone was like, you know what? Fucking cheer. Not really important. And, like, yeah. the last season convinces you that, no, lol, actually it is about the thrones. And, like, he the took that. The chair was very important. He took that. And then said, like, that's a plus that all the storylines lead to. It's like, oh, you're wrong in, like, every possible way. How do you fuck this up so much? And then you say, like, <laughs> man, as if a story was about two things at once, you know, that's not happening. Nobody's gonna be able to fucking pay attention to that. Follow along. Why? Cowboys versus Vietnamese people. Because <laughs> of the cowboys versus aliens. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> It could be fun. You have to involve some time travel, I, I guess. You could have modern, more modern cowboys. You'll be fine. Yeah. Different purpose of one relationship is for the child to learn to forgive their father for sins beyond their control, and the purpose of the other the exact same thing, now you have one whole movie, which way too often isn't the case. So don't take oh, it for granted. Oh, come on! Literally, all, all, all he said is the two character relationships that are significant in this movie relate to similar problems. They mirror problems. each other, so that's, that's Which good. Which, you, would, you wouldn't want it- don't do that. Yeah, you wouldn't want it to be that there's two relationships that are about two different things. Ugh. Ugh. Can't yeah, I can't have that. Buffy's pretty shit, you know, having all these relationships that are about different things. They should all be about one thing. He referenced Game of Thrones. It's like, well, it all went to yeah. the Thrones. It's like, yeah, but it's about fucking like a million things. <laughs> mm-hmm. Find the one central identity you want your movie to be, and then at least to some extent build everything and everyone around it in order to give the audience something easily. Someone just referenced Lord of the Rings. Yeah, how does he deal with Lord of the Rings? This is like, oh my god, uh, there's, there's so many things happening at once. I, uh, but it's, but oh, it's about a ring. It all, it all leads to the ring, that's why it's good. It's all about a ring going in a thing in the, the mountain. It all leads to the ring, it's fine. It is thing to know and feel and remember. Man, so dramatic. <laughs> What's it gonna be? What's the editing gonna be when it's oh, he wow. oh no! Oh no! I like how you don't even know. It implies he doesn't even know. How this it is works, scary. Which I wouldn't even. Really... Yeah. What do you anticipate the points gonna be? Timelines. Oh, um, uh, oh uh, let's see. Bad. Are we gonna Are we gonna try and guess what he's gonna talk about in terms of timelines? Want... As a compliment? <laughs> no. Uh... <laughs> what could possibly be complimented? Because this doesn't have timelines, it has timeline, a timeline. And this, if you if you like reset it, then the the old timeline just never happened. It just stops existing. You can't go to it anymore. I assume is how it works. Um, so yeah, this isn't like oh we created a separate timeline and that's the thing that we could travel to or whatever. But no, it's like you have to go back and stop this from even happening. So. It, mm. I don't know. I know. I, I don't even care about. I got stuff. nothing. I don't know what he's gonna say. The third positive cornerstone to learn here today is how this movie unites its two timelines of present That's and past. Not two in terms of... oh, oh. That's not oh, two oh, timelines. Oh, oh. I'm no. nervous. You... I'm scared. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. okay. Rags is correct. It is not two timelines, as they established in the film. They are concurrently running. It's like a yeah, portal yeah. between them or some shit. Um. Mm -hmm. It don't make no yeah. sense, but it is one timeline. ...of every aspect imaginable, in a way that I can only wish Assassin's Creed, for example, had done. Oh. 
Wait, so that's Assassin's real. Creed has to do so with that's, timelines? That's awkward because, like, Assassin's... I don't know about the movie. Maybe the movie sucks. Movie's but, bad. Like, Assassin's Creed, like, they're directly connected because the whole point is that you're learning things from the past that will help you right now. How is that not way better as, like, a fundamental connecting yeah, thing than effect. what they have in this movie? Like, the whole idea is, hey, you go back as Ezio, you follow his story, you can piece together clues that will help us right now. I just You can use his knowledge to help us now. Just out of any context, being like, you know what? This other movie should have done what the Tomorrow War did with time. No. I feel like that's not <laughs> true. I feel like there's no way you could have done it. There's no, there's no the movie War. that improves by having the Tomorrow War's fucking time system in it. Mm. Certainly not a drama. To introduce a very obvious way, the first thing you'll notice is that the timelines don't exist in a vacuum, but instead share a clear relationship of cause and effect. What is this they editing? No, they don't. No, they don't. They, no, they do don't. not share a relationship of cause Wait, and effect. They isn't the whole point that they do? The... They try and justify that, like, that's specifically how it doesn't work in order yeah. to make things make sense. Yeah, they're not. This connected. movie is a giant black monolith that stands in opposition to the concept of cause and effect. Yeah, I think we've um we've more than gotten past that sort of point. I just mean the 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 movie is like <clears throat> we can't do a lot of the obvious stuff for time travel because like yeah. the, the, the the don't they make it clear at one point that like the timelines are constantly like running forward, they're connected in that way. They want they almost want to make you think that it, once once the timeline's done in the future, that's it, and the past the past is like yeah. left as if we can't just do it again. Exactly, doesn't make sense. I can totally believe that they have no fucking idea what they're talking about and the story that they made. I I totally believe it. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's. I'm very. Just like, does this way. sound good? All right then. The first thing you'll notice is that the timelines don't exist in a vacuum, but instead share a clear relationship. Of what the fuck was that editing? You're right. What? I don't know who that is. I, have no idea. I, who is that? I guess Principal Weena died, and this is like the Weena. the shrine. I guess. And he's trying to say guess, like that. Randy what? could have been Principal Weena. Mm. The only person oh, who couldn't be Randy was the dad. That's yes. right. He's super special. Was an effect. When the military begins drafting people to fight in the future, it's not like the present just remains as is. Your well, and obviously. <laughs> when people come from the future, the present does not remain <laughs> as is. Like, what does that even that, mean, though? Like, the that's really good. That's really good that that's how it works. <laughs> It would, yeah, I guess it would be weird if you had someone from the future show up to the past and no Maybe one cared. Yeah. Well, that's what and nothing changed as a result. The sentence just is broke. It's like the present remains. The present never remains as is. What does that even mean? Like, it, it, we have to react to what happens as it's happening. It's just like when you introduce someone from the future, it's like yes, that's going to have a major impact. Yes. No, the war has clear evolving consequences on how people behave, what they value, how they view their- The war obviously. has an impact on what people value. The war has an impact on society. This is good writing. It's like, this is what I would expect, but okay. Our, again, our baseline is low. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Just, things like, that happen affect things. Like, chat, you have to understand, it's frustrating oh. that he's, he's praising the movie saying that when the future people came from the future to, to to the present to tell present people that there's a war that they have to be drafted for in order to fight that this this made society change in the present and that's, that's a plus good writing yeah that's good it's not competent it's not the the, the middle Fucking way. baseline it's, it's good. it is above average I, like <sighs> their future anything school grades college it's all bullshit yeah, the aliens kill us all. Very obvious, and obviously you could do a bit more with it than just one montage and one scene, but still on conceptual level, incredible. See, so that was like a. a oh, you know, was oh, okay. You just. Saw uh, but why did you oh, put you it over? More with it, but conceptually it's good. It's like conceptually <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. I just wonder how far we can drill it down. It's like conceptually storytelling is good. Like, yeah, yeah, I yeah, guess. Conceptually, conceptually things are good. Conceptually, having a character yell at another character, thereby making the other character sad, 
they didn't do much with it, but conceptually it's good. It's like, man. Just like also, having an event occur. What, like, that's pretty good. Yeah, having an event occur that affects the characters. That's, you know, they didn't do much with it, but it was conceptually <laughs> good. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Please end this misery. Yeah, the aliens kill us all. Very obvious, and obviously you could do a bit more with it than just one montage and one scene, but still on conceptual level, incredibly essential in crafting a world of two concurrent timelines. Incredibly that the essential, as opposed to not really <laughs> that essential. I'm sorry, these sentences are too long. These <laughs> sentences are so long. Twice when as I many words as you need for you, half the meaning that like you think they have. You forget the first half by the time you understand the second. <laughs> yeah, like, basically. What? It feels like the sentence should be over, but it just keeps going, and then it becomes really difficult to understand what exactly you're trying to say. In good communication, what you want to do is you want to have the receive. So when you talk to someone, you're, you're reverse mind reading, right? The key here is that you're trying to get your thoughts into someone else's brain. Yep. And because we understand language and words and we put them together and we've had so much practice to soak up and absorb words and their meanings, generally people people will be deciphering what you're saying. God, this guy just talks too much. I don't even understand what he's saying. If you're, you have a really confusing structure to your sentence, people are like lagging behind and they can't keep up because they're what? trying to decipher what you mean but it takes them so long because you phrase things oddly, so they miss all the stuff you're saying. It's it's like you just get this backlog of info that people can't keep up with. Let me, I'm going to read you this sentence just to illustrate what Rice has pointed out. So he says, very obvious, and obviously it's like, oh, doing great so far. Four, four letters, in, four words in, and like we've already reused one word twice. And obviously you could do a bit more with it than just one montage and one scene, but still on a conceptual level, incredibly essential in crafting a world of two concurrent timelines that the audience can actually buy into. Dude, what, like, stop. Like, <laughs> pause, break, full stop, please. But he's talking about timelines. Watch mm. Tomorrow War two times and have some flashbacks. <laughs> Can That's how I feel. buy into. As another showcase, you have, for example, the plot, which doesn't exist as two variables in both timelines, but instead as one central constant that both timelines work together to progress. Essentially, what? what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like so. Should we even bother, or should we just keep rolling? I think just keep going. I don't care. Your, your reaction oh there God. made it feel like this is like the Lovecraftian vision of a video oh where Rag sees it and he's just saying what the fuck <laughs> over and over and over again. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh. I can't. I got all. So, chat. All I've reached a level of Nevada now. I can understand everything he's saying. So all he had to say oh, oh, was both timelines work on the same issue. Thus, making yeah. it easy to follow. That's all he had to say. Now, I would like you to listen to what he actually said. Then no, just one montage and no. one scene, but still on conceptual level, incredibly essential in crafting a world of two concurrent timelines that the audience can actually buy into. As a measure case, you have, for example, the plot, which doesn't exist as two variables in both timelines, but instead as one central constant that both timelines work together to progress. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! No, all you needed to say was, so the plot, despite taking place in two realities, is fundamentally about the same thing. I think I think you've even gone further than you needed to there. It's just I like might, yeah, that's both true. timelines plot, work on the same it's, problem. It's, yeah, it's just yeah, you're he just right. said the plot is related to itself. <laughs> yeah, basically, he just like mm. that's all he said. It, oh, it, it's boy. it's like it, he basically said a tautology. Stop. A thing mm -hmm. is related to itself. Stop saying Goodell. You have to add a quote. I'll kill you. I'll yeah. ban you like we Hassan. Can't no. entire, I'll we ban can't you the like entire script. I don't, I don't <laughs> care how many months you've been. And you like this. How many shots you said. Get out of here. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus Christ. Actually, All right, when we let's go push through. The yes. future, our main objective turns out to be to develop this toxin that we can use to kill all the aliens, which at the very end of that timeline we succeed at developing, thus unlocking the chance for us to win. Except, uh, we don't. Do you understand how many 
how many sentences that could have been instead of man just, or you could have had one real the, short sentence it could have been zero and he couldn't have made the video at all and we could have just gone home uh, you listen to this also and then you're out of breath when he's done well, yeah there's a Goodell the recent <laughs> sentence it's like so the whole reason i need you to write it down is because i don't know what the fuck he I said don't know what that is <laughs> what is the recent sentence <laughs> Do also you think he's gonna talk about the fact that the toxin is fucking meaningless mm -hmm. No. No. It doesn't amount to anything. <laughs> it, it has no matter. impact You're on the right. plot it, whatsoever. The important the information was just finding where the aliens started. That was the important part. Um, yeah. Do you think that the film recognizes that it made her quote unquote sacrifice and life's work just meaningless? Meaningless? Just, just upload this nothing. video and call it content. <laughs> 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 this is why Goodell exists as a format. <laughs> All he had to say was, they developed the toxin in the future to be used in the past. That is the point he wanted to make, okay? We have issues with that point. That's all he had to say. Instead, he said other things. Lots of other things. Our main objective turns out to be to develop this toxin that we can use to kill all the aliens, which at the very end of that timeline we succeed at developing, thus unlocking the chance for us to win. Except, uh, we don't. Do you see what I mean? Like, he took so long. It doesn't have to do with her being shot. He's only done the first half as well, by the way. Yeah. I, s I said all of this in like, eight words, or something. It was ten, maybe. Wait, what soundtrack is he using right now? It's not from this film, is it? I'm pretty sure it is from the movie. The movie has an incredibly generic... I was, like, I was about to say, it sounds super generic. <laughs> I was like, I'm not sure if he's just Dude, a stock Inception one. Inception Bois, it uses Inception Bois like five years after we moved on from that wow. train. Yep. Surely wow. it's been more than five years since that, right? It's been like ten now. Maybe, what yeah. It Oh yeah. I Inception. think what I told Fringy when we were watching it was this is this movie's music and sound effects is like kitchen nightmares. Yeah, it is. It's very <laughs> over dramatic and it it doesn't fit. It's like really it's amped up more so than it needs to be. Wait, is this Inception soundtrack? No, this is an Inception soundtrack, because Inception soundtrack sounds better than this. I feel like that's an insult, almost, to Inception soundtrack. I'm not exactly I can't like... remember the soundtrack of this movie. All I remember from Inception is the bombs. That's I why I'm getting wise. confused. That's true, but this is... I think there's a little touch, because it's, you know, it's, it's, um, it's... Oh my god, I can't believe... Hans Zimmer, Wait, like... People you know, in chat saying it is the Inception soundtrack. Is it? Is it really? Oh, okay, it doesn't sound like it. Springy is wrong. Again. Yeah, alright. I get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it, apparently it is Inception. Gonna right. ban Springy. Time now. to ban Springy. Sure no, wait, I'm sorry. I, are they sure that it's the dream collapsing part? I'm pretty sure that sounded different. Well, now I worry about playing it. Because of, uh, copyisms. Can we- no, I, we need to rewind. I- I don't- hold on. I need to know, is this actually Inception? I don't want to play too okay, much. Okay, I'm 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 pulling up Inception Dream Collapsing. I'm pretty sure no, I'm pretty sure that Inception sounds different to that. In fact, yeah, now I'm ooh. Oh, oh, let's see. The Dream Collapsing sounds <laughs> It sounds similar, but it's different. You need Sounds to rename to the e this EFAP to the Dream Collapsing. Yeah, mm -hmm. like people are now saying it's <laughs> not that. I oh man, oh it is, oh. it is not. I'm, it copied I'm it. upset now. I feel like I've been gaslit. Hold on, we need to rewind it a bit. They can't be oh. gaslighting if they think they're right. No. <laughs> by the way, yeah, by the true. way, while while you guys are discussing this, I just want to point out this lonely island in the chat right now that I just saw. <laughs> oh my god, he's the all the way room. he's all the way back in the opening 20 minutes. Oh my god! <laughs> Bonnie! Bonnie, <laughs> dude! <laughs> oh man. Oh man. You have so much to go through. Tonight. Wow, he didn't even mention the, the gnome kick being clearly the most powerful of the, the, the animal oh. kingdom. <laughs> no, Barney Boyle. 
you sweet summer child. You, you know, don't know what we've been through. Bonnie, oh, turn man. back while you have the chance. <laughs> <laughs> Run as fast as you can, or you get banned. Uh, it is. I'm wrong. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm wrong. It's wow, right freaking gaslighting chat. Really? Wow, that's fucked up. Banned again. Hey, you you made it clear that if you think that you're right, then you're wrong. It's just an honest mistake. I was using your rules, freaking <laughs> you uh, gaslighter. Yeah, but my rules were wrong. All right. Wow. Barney reminds me of a simpler time. Yeah, man. <laughs> when a more innocent time. <laughs> I just love the idea that he's watching the stream right now. He has no fucking clue this is happening because he hasn't hit the live button. He's just been watching. <laughs> he just wants to add it to the conversation. You know what, Barney? If I could put your comment all the way back there live, I would. I can't. So, you think, so does that mean theoretically Barney hasn't... He doesn't know we're talking about him right now? No, you, you, dude, he you won't know for another eventually, six hours. He won't know. Seven, yeah. You think he'll... If Here's the thing. If he's able to get that far... If he sticks with it and gets Man. to this point, he'll be like, oh shit, they're talking about me. I didn't want everyone <laughs> to know about my opinion on kicks. <laughs> like, <you're laughs> off. Yeah. yeah, I needed that part to tell me that last bit there, the change. Right, before we can actually complete the falling. objective in the future, we run out of time and get pulled back into the present. You know what's funny about this to me is like, the movie treats this as like a almost like a a low moment, like fuck. But to me, I'm just like, no, we're doing great. Like yeah, we <laughs> we're it. fine. The salvation <laughs> of the human race. The human race is saved. Well, She's gonna be a hero. Well, first of all, invent time travel again in case this all fucks up, <laughs> so we can mm -hmm. try again. Well, they already. <laughs> but they already have this te time teleporter in the present day. Oh yeah, that still works. What can they do with that then? They can they put it on reverse? Well, I mean, now, no, I well, now not, that right. they know how to make it, and you have the yeah. like the collective oh, togetherness of a non extinct humanity working on it, like, holy fuck, what hath God wrought? See, mm -hmm. so, so picture scientist man, and he's, he's making his stuff in the future when the aliens are attacking. He's like, ah, he completes the job, opens the portal or whatever, sends people through. And then they're like, we need to draft you for the future. That was their first idea, because they're so incredibly stupid. But like, why wouldn't one of your ideas then also be like, maybe we should make the time machine again, but in the 30 year past or whatever, and then go even further back. And then we'll make another one. Go even... How far back could we go? Let's go all the way back to dinosaurs, say hello. That's probably not a good idea, because the, the, the comet and stuff, that's probably a bad idea actually, let's not do that. Actually, wait, we can save them. Comet. No, wait, we don't want to save them because we use their bones for fossil fuels and stuff. We need them. You gotta die. Sorry. <laughs> what if the, the <laughs> film, the, the whole alien invasion, it gets resolved really quickly because, of course, it will be? And the, the main story of the plot is the concern of, oh, shit. So, like, the problem's done, and now we have, like, time machines fucking, that you know people what? are using? You know what, Rags? That would be a fucking genius idea, and the public would hate it, because they'd be like, I was sold on the aliens, and you made it all I about the, aliens the morality of time. That would be so cool, and that's I the thing. Fall into a pool. You know for a fact they would market it as the aliens is the main portion, but you'd want it to be like, no, 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 the aliens is like the beginning, we knock them out with time travel, and then it's like, now what? What else can we knock out? Yeah, and then we- the and then, aliens facilitated our rapid invention of time travel, and now that that's taken care of, we're stuck with a humanity See, that has access to time travel. I think that's a way better story already than, oh my god, send more and more people to shoot guns at the aliens. Blah, 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 blah. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone said, get the dinosaurs to fight the Vietnamese. <laughs> <laughs> Unleash the velociraptors. Someone said you're giving them ideas for the Yesterday War. Well, it, oh no! Someone mentioned in chat they're probably making a sequel to this film. Like, oh Man. boy! Man, can't fucking wait. Uh, the Let It Die War. Yeah. Meaning that we now have the clues and weapons and growth. Gen the clues. The growth. <laughs> <laughs> the growth. That's a, that's a laugh, isn't it? Yeah, the growth. 
curate it over there and use it to prematurely destroy this film the is a growth threat like a tumor. in here. Or in other words, mm. take the pro- He's taken so long to say using information from the future they benefited in the past. That's all he's fucking saying. Which is something that is like the first fucking thought you have when you have time travel. It's like the most basic element of, hey, future knowledge in the past. Hell yeah, what can I do with that? And that's as far as they went, and that's all he's complimenting them for. Progress made in the future and progress it to the finish line in the present in a way that saves and completes them both. And also not by facing Saves and completes both the past and the future. Saves and what? completes. Make us whole. Okay. The fuck does it mean to complete a timeline? When you it's get all... to the you get to the heat death of the universe. Oh no! <laughs> well, he just said that's you what they it. did. Oh no! Oh no! I don't actually have no fucking clue. The other set of obstacles and enemies, but instead the exact same ones we've been developing thus far, thirty years from now. What, what, what is? What are we doing? What is this? He's playing Civil War music. Yeah. What the? You, stop <laughs> touching! Do not touch that music. Get it out of this fucking <laughs> video. <laughs> He keeps switching up the music. It's this is me. this is when Bucky's grabbing Iron Man's fucking yep. Unabeam slot and it's just gonna fight it's like also he, ew. When, uh, what's his name? When John Walker grabs the thing, the van, because they like to pillage Civil War music in that show. Ew. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, this upsets me. Actually, oh god, stop <laughs> it! Stop it! Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, it, what's happening to you is what's happening to me when they played ELO and Cruella. How is he not getting hit for music copyright? I completely agree. I'm surprised. We're fucking lucky if we don't get hit by it. Oh my god, acid! Blah, blue, bleep, I'm making noises. I'm, I'm so pausing. Stay online. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Oh, stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Please stop. <laughs> That he and as another great example, you thing. have the <laughs> thank fuck character relationships, like with Danny's daughter. Even though it why might did you be edit that? You didn't <laughs> need that. Just why? You I don't understand. Isn't I'm this lying. so cool that I moved it so that when I said his daughter, his daughter appeared because he I had artificially fucking seconds. cropped and zoomed. He spends ten seconds on the script and the rest of the time on just like edits <clears> that are totally not necessary and add nothing to the point he's trying Some to make. Of them Downright fucking confusing in terms of like what he was going for. Yeah, like what were you, what do you mean? Why did you do this? Why did you go through the effort of this thing? Is it important <laughs> because you highlighted it? I um, uh, hmm? Is this video you guys' Vietnam? <laughs> this is a war that we didn't sign up for, man. <laughs> Bit on the nose for future contact to be his own daughter out of all the people in the world, the reason it on a conceptual level is so crucial is because now by developing this level. relationship in the future, you're also at the same time by proxy developing it in the present. No. Yeah, no. Really. No. But no. It's not even it's true. Not yeah, true. everything he ha everything that happens with her yeah. in the future will be wiped out once that future's gone. Yeah. So how exactly is he saying because he realizes his mistakes and so he won't make them in the past? When we never- he never knew why he would have made them anyway. Uh, it would be like- it would be like, he... Rags goes to the future and it's like, you killed your entire family, you gunned them all down. You're like, why would I do that? You never find out, and then he's like, well see, now you've learned to not do it. I don't believe it. you. That's, that's, that's like, what I'm gathering from this. You. Yeah. you go back like, to the I, past, I, and it's like, Rags will not do it now. It's like, he wasn't gonna fucking do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, was, I don't believe what? that I was gonna do it in the first place. Exactly. Also, someone in chat is saying TVA it. stands for Time Vietnamese Authority. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so at the same time, by proxy, developing it in the present. Dan's family isn't just some pointless background noise that exists purely yeah, for- It totally is. It's- it's yeah. the classic yeah. shit. We make fun of this all the time. It's a writer's <laughs> wet dream where they grab their archetype book and they're like, there's hero man who has family that he has to fight for. That's all they are. Mm -hmm. the existing. We can actually grow to care about that family through him. Why would you cover up the face of his family member to write the word family with a <laughs> heart over it? Oh, no. <laughs> Honestly, because it seems like he just needs to do editing. There has to be something <laughs> that he could do. What? This YouTube channel is just an outlet so we can make his stupid edits that are meaningless? <laughs> I mean, it, 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 it's working. <laughs> People like this, Rex. 
I mean, I, no, yeah, crazy people, crazy people like his shitty videos, I guess. Wow. Well, I had a it's good authority shitty. that we make shitty videos from a from a streamer yeah, on Twitch. You're wrong. What? I, we have hours of evidence to point to that his videos are shitty. They have wow. something they heard on Twitter that one time from someone who doesn't watch us. Well, we'll say this is four out of four for Filmento now, right? Yeah. We've done him four times. Oh, Jesus Christ. So. Mm -hmm. He will probably pop up on our anniversary stream too. Not in person, unless he wants to, of course. I welcome him, but like. <laughs> This purely for the sake of existing. We can actually grow to care about that family through his. <laughs> Mola, please get help. A seed of a piss with a face blur that just says human. <laughs> 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 Alrighty. I gotta write that, that down. Is, that is. That is. Funny, That's yeah. good help, buddy. I think, yeah. That is. That is. Funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're so close to the end. We are. We're so. I'm so I can tired. See it. <laughs> His daughter, we've developed an actual relationship with her. And you can no. find this method of merge. She's not the same person. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. like a fully it's grown a woman who lived on her own like, in a war. And this also, is a. She got eaten uh, by aliens. <laughs> She's eaten by aliens. <laughs> and this goes from a two way relationship to just a one way relationship because the daughter doesn't know the context of anything that happens in That's the future. Right, yeah. Exactly. So this is all flowing one way from the dad to her. Well, and he doesn't. That's... Like, the, like, he does it. So I don't get Like, he loves her more now? Like, what exactly is. Did he not is, love uh, her before? Hence... What is the. All I could draw out of this is what I said earlier, where it's like the only thing Phil Mento could be making a point about is Chris Pratt learns, oh no, I abandoned my daughter and my wife, and it caused horrible strain. I have learned now not to do that. But he never learned why he did it. So there's nothing to learn. So it doesn't affect yeah, anything. Yeah, what, what's the... Why would... I mean, like, why would... did He loved his daughter before... Yep. And so he goes to the future and meets his old daughter, and then he goes to the past. What changes? He learned he abandoned he them. Loves her. Now he knows he shouldn't do that, even though he never would have done that anyway. And he says as much. But I don't get. I don't even, like, uh... they had to deliberately fuck that up as well, because you could easily have made it so that he wasn't a particularly good father. And then, like, from what he saw of the repercussions of his bad parenting, he then, in the past, is like, you know what? I'm gonna be a fucking, I'm gonna be a Stella dad. I see now how important well, fatherhood is. Or, you, you mentioned the subject of fucking things up. One of the things that's interesting here is that the scene on the bottom where he cuts the cable by accident. Uh, we didn't notice this in our first watch through, but Fringy and I noticed it yesterday when we rewatched this film. I'm this so movie. sorry. I'm not even gonna call it a film. This is so he goes to his dad, they have their tism, and then Chris Pratt, Chad decides that he is going to go to the future and he is going to fight. Then we have the scene on the bottom here where he goes to talk to his daughter who's digging for vaccines in the dirt. His kids are stupid. And he accidentally cuts the ground cable. And then he says, I'll pay you 10 bucks, which is then she's like 20 bucks to, to not tell your mom this happened. It's weird that you would show the scene of him like accepting his res responsibility of what he needs to do by fighting for humanity in the future. And then we have the scene where he shirks his responsibility and has somebody else take the blame for it. A child, no bizarre, less. Bizarre. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's bizarre. Like it's 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 played like as a laugh, I guess, because it's 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 amusing father and son exchange that would have probably worked really well in a different film. But it's totally at odds with the idea of what his character's just gone through. Just stood out as really odd to us. Very strange. It, like, you could have a scene where she says, uh, like, they've done this before, and she says, you know, it'll be 20 bucks this time. Like, she knows what he's going to ask, because they do this often. And he's like, no, no, I'll go tell her. Because he's, yeah. like, learning to accept responsibility for things. But... I don't know. Fuck it. Let's. We can just keep rolling. It's fine. Urging both types to push the same boulder again and again. The thematic growth of the daughter learning to forgive Dan in the future ultimately means nothing because she dies. Well, well, it seems to forgive what's his name in the present. His dad. His own dad. Yeah. It leads to Dan learning to forgive his dad yeah. in the present. This because that's like the simplest fucking reading you could ever have. Like what a. 
Mm. Like, why you only this talk about what? This is like. Uh, why only talk about what they intended? It's it's the same thing as every single fucking Spider-Man Two video essayist says. This film, it's about duality. It's about identity. Okay. We have Peter Parker. We have Spider-Man. These are two lives that are conflicting with each other, and they cost uh, Peter. And you're just like, yeah, yeah, I know. Say oh, anything no, new. thank you. That's Yes, we know. I saw the movie too. Everybody says it. <laughs> like, Tell me something that isn't blatantly obvious. The certainty of the stakes in the tomorrow ultimately lays the groundwork for the stakes in the today, which gives the finale, for example, this what end even? game intensity. No, it doesn't. Why it's you end, end game music here. You just said because it gives the finale end because game we're in intensity. The end game now. Yeah, but end game is like broken too. Oh my god, what is going on in chat? Jesus. There's some bots in chat, the, but Benedict uh, Arnold, what is wrong with you? Yeah, James <laughs> and Thunder are taking care of it pretty. Fuck them up, boys. <laughs> yeah, go get them. Fuck yeah. them up. But Why yeah, are you timing out the ball like badly? The, of, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the um, like the stakes of the the this thing. We we talked about this disconnect between the second act and how it ends has no impact whatsoever on the third act. This mm -hmm. the third act, which is like its own movie. It comes out of nowhere, seemingly. No. Uh -huh. This That's whole idea about the stakes of the second part—they they lead to the stakes of the third part. Like that's just not. That's just not true, really, at all. There's well, there's hardly yeah. a connection at all. What if you you could? What if that's yeah. what you wanted to feel? What about does it come across that way then? I don't really even know what I want to feel at this point. Mm -hmm. All I feel is all I feel is hate. Mm. Typical e fapper. Hmm. To forgive his dad in the present. The certainty of the stakes in the tomorrow ultimately lays the groundwork the for the stakes in the today, <laughs> which gives the finale, for example, this. The certainty of the stakes in the tomorrow set the groundwork for the stakes of today. Man, that's uh, gibberish. You, you yeah, know he felt good writing it and reading it and, 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 and putting it in, but it don't mean fuck all. It just doesn't mean anything it means it would it wouldn't mean much for any movie but it means a shit ton less for this film because mm -hmm. the second act is just <laughs> it just doesn't lead to anything and to engage as as fairly as i can it's like he's saying you see the future lets us know what happens if we lose setting the stakes problem is you're battling the queen alien person in the middle of like russia which didn't happen <laughs> So you don't know what the future's gonna look like, whether or not you win this fight. Yep. It's completely different now. The events are it's all fucked. Nerd. Yeah. It's endgame intensity. Sure that if we fail, the world will die, and so will Man, he just We're fucking. Actually not certain do you think, that, but it's uh, Do you think he uses film soundtracks just to try and make people go, ooh? Oh. I remember that. It's like, it's like, he's like <laughs> the Mandalorian, but in video essay form. Look at them mm. keys, I'm jangling. Look them go. Our daughter, because we've seen it happen. I mean, there's even this very yeah, effective- Well, what? yeah, but that that future can't possibly exist the way that it exists at that point. The second that they change the, the past, everything changes. Yeah, that's the, the whole point of what she said. She said, like, don't let this happen. Like, that. that's the whole point. Did you miss the point of that whole I'm not... part of the movie? I'm also, like, amused by the fact that he's like, see that daughter's death? It's like, he has to kill that queen alien, otherwise that might just happen. It's like, yeah, also the end of the world, but I mean, sure, I guess yeah, it yeah. makes it personal <laughs> that she dies. Like, okay. Active ...emotional landscape that's born strictly from playing with the time of where it comes from. Like, for example, with the drift what? between Dan and his dad. I, I was honestly willing to just I'm move past up. it because I have no fucking clue what Let's he just go. said. I'm giving up. Okay. Yeah. Go it, go it. Just go. Just go. It doesn't make do sense. This. Just go. Being born from up. his sins that he hasn't yet committed. Born of his sins that he hasn't yet committed. He's <laughs> 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 like slamming his head go. against the wall. Go. Just go. Right. Go. 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 Just get to the end. Go. Power Rangers. And save our family. By the way, this expression is me for this whole video. It's just like, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I didn't want you to walk away, and then you were gone. Yeah. So the special core source of this specific emotion is the sheer impossible the nature of it. Of There's this no way we. The is the specific impossibility <laughs> of it. The core source of this emotion. 
<laughs> Why would you say core source? Stop it. <laughs> so there, there are many sources because this that that's how emotional this film is. There are many sources of your emotion, but the core source. You, 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 source at the core. All right. Source you know, at the core. It Sorry. didn't quite make sense, but now it makes perfect sense. Thank you. I agree. Ooh, Jack, corn sauce. Corn <laughs> sauce. <laughs> Mm. So I love I love some corn sauce in movies. Just leave our daughter. That's one of the worst ways we could possibly hurt her. And yet, in this future's past, that's exactly what we've already done. I think the less that we say to each other, the better. And why did she get involved with him and bring him back and meet Which him here and talk to him <laughs> and get involved with him? Because, because why you're not appreciating you the fucking filmmaking, okay? It's it's engaging. <laughs> His daughter yeah, is mysteriously it, saying it's better if we don't talk to each other. How interesting it's not is that? Engaging. It's enraging. The, you're not thinking about the corn sauce. You're just going around just fucking thinking about whatever you want. <laughs> I'm putting Focus. way more thought into the corn sauce than the writers of this movie <laughs> did. Where's the corn sauce? <laughs> Give it to me. Uh. Where's the corn sauce? Corn why sauce. does he, when someone's asking in chat why does he keep referring to Chris as we yeah a, I know I guess he's uh, trying to rope yeah. us in he's he rope wants to rope us, us into his crimes <laughs> his sins it's to, it's to encourage the sense that we feel what he feels because he is a protagonist a protagonist <laughs> Corn sauce. Informs this obsessively Rock strong Morty. urge for us to make corn. things right, both now as well. So plan made of corn, Morty. <laughs> <laughs> sauce everywhere. The last 30 years ago. I did some modifications <laughs> to my corn sauce. Now it's real corn. <laughs> spending all day talking about the stuff what i really suggest you do is take this film along with assassin's creed and watch them back to no no <laughs> I don't want to watch these two movies. i've never even I've, I've never even seen assassin's creed i just know that this proposition entails that you have to watch the tomorrow <laughs> war at least once mm, don't yeah. do it this movie's bad don't with do this aspect it. In mind to really see just how massive no. of a difference. Oh my god, he actually is standing by those criticisms. You have separate characters, separate emotions, separate events, separate locations, separate storylines. Like, why the That's fuck is that a negative, you weirdo? Present is plot, future is action. No. Poor Vader. Ah. Oh, that sounded really weird. Uh, <laughs> no, it makes well. Also, at the same time, keeping an eye on the earlier aspects, which can be as well. All that educational stuff out of the way, though. By far the Education. most important thing you need to take from this video. <laughs> Education. Oh God! Oh no! Oh, no! <laughs> no! We're doing it again. I can't. What? <laughs> Where is the music? What's happening? <laughs> Thank God it's over. <laughs> There's no what such fucking luck. This video, this video brought to you. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. I just want it's, to so, it's so <laughs> fitting. I just want to die. I just, I just want to die. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost there. Well, also at the same time, oh, keeping an eye on the other aspects, stretch. which can be really useful as well. All that educational stuff out of the way, though, by far the most important. <laughs> educational, I can't. <laughs> the this video, however, like, is that the on the inside, I'm laughing like I'm in a straight jacket in a padded room. <laughs> <laughs> This is, this, this is something else, honestly. Existence of these few non general specific puzzles we've discussed. These non, few non general, general specific? specific. <laughs> non general non -general specific. specific. <laughs> <laughs> non general specific. <laughs> oh my <God>. Non general <laughs> specific. He comes from the same planet as like Neil Breen. <laughs> Where he's just an, he's an alien impersonating a human. Why? General, non generally oh. specific. <laughs> with the Vietnamese. God, I gotta hear him say that again. That's so perfect. 
is that the sheer existence of these few non-general specific puzzles we've discussed the by default then of course means that 2021's The Tomorrow War earns 100% on the filmentometer and becomes objectively the greatest film in the history of cinema. See, this is the clear I satire to me. This is where yeah, I'm like, this is I... Satire. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I get think... it now. Oh my god. And of I, all time. Oh At goodness. least until next week. But since I'm oh actually starting God, to enjoy this power of deciding retard. the definitive value of things, I'm gonna give you one- Oh, see? This is perfect for us, too, because he's like, <laughs> how silly to objectively review something. It's like, bruh, your problems don't even scratch the surface of whether or not you're oh, being objective. You just, <laughs> that's, that's really not the issue. Have, oh, like, you just have to learn how to speak. <laughs> Well, right. <laughs> Both of them, I guess. I don't know. Right. Just how do you need to work on how to convey thoughts to other minds? You'll get there. He's getting. This is what the channel's all about. It's improving on that particular notion. One at the bottom. That, that non-general specific idea. Box filmentometer review. This time about your messy, low-quality wallet that's always going missing. What? What you really need for your wallet intro, is a clean, yeah. minimalist design with all your cards neatly organized and ready to be used in a cool way that makes Why you feel like- Why does your wallet have a button on it? Why does your wallet have a button on it? I feel like a button just in, it immediately decreases how long it can last because that- Why yeah. would you add moving <laughs> parts to your- I, like, there's a lot of things, like, a wallet doesn't need moving parts. Well, I feel like the design that we got is pretty good. You just have a little yeah. piece of thing yeah. you flip it out, and it's got the slots for all your cards. Super easy. I yeah. feel like we're in the maybe evolution, but not revolution stage of wallet design, where we've just kind of really gotten it down to what it needs to be. Mm -hmm. I haven't stuck all the way now, back maybe in, after watching a video like maybe. that. He starts selling us a wallet. I just, What's that got to do with anything? I, it feels so weird. My brain hasn't quite connected it yet. It's just like a wallet yeah. ad. Okay. <laughs> That's uh, what we're doing now, I guess. It's a wallet. Like, it just... How much shit do you have in your wallet that you need moving parts and buttons to organize it? Do you know how much of a douche you're going to look like when you go to pull <laughs> oh out my your God, wallet yes. and you hit a button and your credit cards pop <laughs> out? Do you Imagine know how much of a they're... piece of shit you're going to look like? But how funny would it be if they popped out and they all fell out? It's like, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. What, what, what is, what's this product? How much money does it cost to look like an asshole? <laughs> you hold everybody up in the queue because you can't get it out. It's stuck. You're like, fuck. It's st well, yeah. Let's I see can't get my credit card out of my wallet. The button isn't working. If you say that out loud, people are going to look at you weird. The button. Like, what, what button? <laughs> my wallet are you, button's not working. Are you okay? People will assume by button you mean like the like a clasp or you yeah. like a shirt, a button that you button like in your for whatever reason your wallet just has one of those that it keeps broke. it closed. It broke and somehow. It broke. Yeah, it broke to in the in the stuck position it broke. And so yeah. you're just unable to retrieve your credit cards. Mm. Let's see. It's a cool wallet. All right. You're in a it's Tarantino this is, someone's movie. called the Inspector Gadget wallet. You also need it to be made of sturdy premium leather go, that not go, only lasts, gadget, but also wallet. offers RFID protection to prevent your cars from being yeah, scanned like, from the outside. Pretty much all modern wallets And then you also that. need a special solar power tracker that allows you to easily keep an eye on where your wallet is going and what it's doing. A solar it has power a solar tracker. Power tracker. <laughs> yeah, but my so people... wallet is mostly in my pocket where there's no sun. So, <laughs> wait, so that means that this wallet also has just like electronics in it too. Just Dude. like flat yeah, that's, out that's, electronics. That's, that's no, what wallets need. No more electronics fumbling. Electronics No more fumbling for cards. I'm sorry. That's not what people do. What, what, that's like, not what people do. This, this is where I'm at. I am, I am a, a, a lowly rando. I, I use my wallet every day for a lot of different things. Maybe not every day, but here it is. See, I'm shaking it. It has coins in it. Oh, fumbling with it. Oh, you have coins in your wallet? I do. From a bygone era. Because <laughs> I... Um, that, that's fine. It's just interesting that you keep. I, I I thought you'd like put them in your pocket or something. Maybe if they're like dollar or or pound coins or what, like big ones, you um, keep them in there. So but, rags. I, I don't wouldn't. know. I we have one dollar and two dollar coins in Australia. I'm not putting those in my pocket. I'll put them in my wallet with the zip. Why would I? Why would I put? Why wait? Yeah. I think ten steps back. Why would you put? 
there are parts in wallets for keep for coins. Why would you not put them in not the wallet? Not necessarily at all. No, like mine doesn't. What do you mean not necessarily fact, I... at all? What what well, are you talking about? If Fringy's referring to wallets that have pouches for coins specifically, then that would be necessarily. That's specifically well, he, necessarily. Well, he, would, he said wallets have that thing in them. They but, do. Like the ones they do. There's there's some without them. Yeah, yeah, but, I yeah but, 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 but well, no, the, the, I knew that these these wallets he's selling right now have that. They don't have coin portions. Yeah, but like, so what do you do if you need? Okay, yeah. Well, I, well, so that was the conversation I thought we were going to have, where we've practically evolved to this point now, where coins are becoming so irrelevant. Wait, why are people yeah, saying I've, that I they rarely don't have ever have pouches? What What are you talking about? Like, I've got my yeah, wallet. And have... It's got a zip. It has a zip that you can put the coins in. Mine actually has two yeah, different we... pouches for coins. Yeah. We don't, there, yeah, I don't, we don't have there's those. There's the one that has the, the one for, your, you know, paper cash, and then the zip to put the coins in. And people are like, oh, it's a purse. It's like, it's a wallet. It's just got a it, zip. You put it, the it, I don't know. It, it does, it, in a way, it does sound like a girly man purse, but that, that's fine. We could skip over that. Um, I don't but know. Maybe, I, I think that maybe, there was Rags, you got to educate yourself on wallets. Putting, exactly. So, I don't know what to tell I you. There's something the, manly well, about having a wallet that has coins for you. It's not you really. Know, to um, put them in your pocket. But. I think one of the reasons is because you often sit on your wallet, and so coins might... If Why? What do you stashed... mean you sit on your wallet? This is what? his weird yeah, thing where he your... stores everything in his back pockets, he doesn't have front what? pockets. Why? Why? Why would you do that? What? You sit on those! <laughs> well, yeah, put how, anything how in your back your... pocket. Rags, use your front pockets, okay? Why? Use your front pockets. I do, I put my phone in my front pocket. You have but two, you Rags. You have two. Back pocket. You have two <laughs> front pockets. You put your phone in one and your wallet in the other. Is this a, is it, is it weird to put your wallet in your back pocket? It is That's if you're like gonna complain about your sitting on your wallet. Yeah. <laughs> if, if it's a well, problem, I, well, you can, you no, can a lot take of people it out need, when you sit down. Their, but yeah, the, why a lot would of you not just put it in your other one? Because I want to put other things in there potentially. Like and maybe what? Just... potentially. Like what? I... Whatever what? you want to put in there. Like what? Such as phones, phones or coins or pens or chapstick or stuff you're carrying around, oh, right. pieces of paper, a knife. We have already established that the phone is in the other pocket. So what are you putting in this one? And, and a knife, apparently. Why would I not What's put with, paper? Yeah, I have, a, I have a knife I carry with me all the time. Here's something, Rags. Why would I not put papers in my back pocket and my wallet in my front pocket? Why would I put the thing that is uncomfortable to sit on in my back pocket and the wallet's thing that not I uncomfortable to sit on? Like, wallet's not uncomfortable to sit on. I sit on mine all the time. I I don't understand why. Maybe it's I uncomfortable because why... it has coins in it. No, you said that. Free didn't say that. No, 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 that's what I'm asking. Maybe if 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 you have, because maybe the two are like yeah, related. yeah, yeah. But you skipped if over the part you, where if it's uncomfortable for you, so you put the coins in your front pocket and the wallet in the back, so you can sit. When you could just no, put I the like, coins in I the wallet and then the wallet the in the front pocket. I, no, 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 coins. Like for me, I never like have coins. I don't use cash and get but like change. If you need coins and you need to put them somewhere, wouldn't it be handy to have that wallet in your front pocket that has the zip that you can put the coins in? If I needed to carry coins with me, I guess I would just I just would put them in my no, pocket. No, talking about an instance where you have now been bestowed with coins while <laughs> you're out, and you still need to go home. And instead yeah, of having a nice pocket. little wallet that you can put them in, and everything stays in that same place, all your money's in one place. Instead, you got to fish around in your pocket for these coins. That no, just... I'm not. No, this isn't an infomercial. I just reach my hand in and pull them out. I, if I need them. Oh, but Rags, what if you've got a knife in there? What if you have your tampons in there? How are you going to get to the coins? No, my knife. Was he have two pockets? We've been over this. You brought it up. Earlier. Oh, I love, I love that you brought that up. Pockets. I love that you brought that. Up. <laughs> also, knives often like EDC knives, like I use. They just they have a clip on it, so it keeps it higher up in the pocket. I know it's genius that you can order all of this stuff to be extremely efficient, like putting coins in a wallet. It seems less efficient, because then I'd have to get my wallet out and then unzip it instead of just pulling it out of my pocket. Yeah, instead of pulling out all of your coins and sifting through them, instead of just having the wallet open and you can see them. And then just grab the ones that How could you possibly- you follow... It's funny, there's loads of people you in chat arguing you're correct when you're just wrong. This is just completely- like, you guys need to experience what it's like having coins in a wallet. It's incredibly useful and easy. You're all weird. I don't know. I... 
I've He's never had a problem with coins if I ever need them. I just if I if I ever need coins, which is extremely rarely, and I just coins. pull it out of my pocket and take the ones that I need. It's not whether you need them; it's whether you get them when you're using the other money that you have. Some places don't take card. Some American, places you don't. Take how card. big are American? Some of the American coins are different sizes. Like we have different sizes in Britain too. But like, how big are we talking? How big do they get in America? Yeah, never, yeah I've never needed i've never had an issue with just having coins pulling them out of my pocket well but that's a different like, issue a wallet seems like a, a wallet seems like an extra step for it how is it an extra step to have all of your coins in the same place as your cards and your money literally all of your monetary devices in the in one place them. Uh, well, you can't because then if i want if i want my coins if i need them for whatever reason then I will just pull them out. You know what's interesting? Pulling out the wallet, then unzipping, then getting the coins out of the wallet. It actually sounds like Rags would more value the coin portion of the wallet than me and Fringy because it sounds like you never use coins. I, I never. Yeah, I, I. Therefore, the only time that I use coins, is you, you've been arguing. Coin. I don't even know. You've been arguing how it's tough to pack them away and get them all out and stuff. It's like, well, if you never use them, surely that's more no, efficient than pulling them out of the pocket whenever you change trousers and then put them back in the new trousers. Like, why? Mine, I never have the coins. Stop, that's avoiding like the point. You keep avoiding the point by running to a different area. You have to come back to what you were saying, okay? You have your coins. We've got the coins in this mysterious world. You've got your coins. They ha they're in your hand. And you're like, hmm. I guess I'll put them in my trousers because that's easier access than having them in the wallet. But also, I never use coins. Like, maybe put them in the wallet? If I come home with coins in my pocket, then they go into my coin cup. Man, we got coin cups and shit rather than just putting them in your wallet. No, you don't you don't keep like your you don't put your change in a place so that it's all together and then you go to the bank and turn well, them into bills. I'm starting to wonder I, what coins mean to Americans versus British people. I, I I'm I'm I don't, yeah. I don't get yeah, because when I when I come home, if I have coins in my pocket, then they will just they go into I have a, a mug and I just put coins in there, and then when the mug gets full when I go to the bank, I turn in all the coins and get them as bills. So the lowest bill we have, bill, note, is five. Five dollars. Yeah. That, maybe that our, explains our it. Is one. Yeah, maybe well, that maybe yeah, that's the, the one difference. We have is one. I don't see how you, you don't have a one you don't have a one no. pound note? No. No, we have one dollar coin and a two dollar coin. Oh, we, we, have, have one we have one bills. pound we have coin. Rare two dollar ones. Yeah, we, we have one dollar bills. Our notes but start so, at five. Yeah, is nothing. I feel like that changes nothing. Nevertheless, you'd still be better off just having the coins in your wallet rather than having them in your well, pocket. I can see how it's encouraged Americans to be anti-coin if most of the time they can have it all in note form. Maybe. Well, we just option. turn our coins into. Just we just turn our coins into notes. That's what I do. Well, see, so I can't turn my one pound coins into one pound notes. It's true. Why would I, man? So you, you, yeah, you guys have way more reason to use coins than we do, especially with I'm... things going digital as they already are. Well, see, that's the interesting part that I thought we were going to discuss because I've found more recently there's less and less coins being uh, needed, but they still are. They're still totally in circulation. I'm yeah, still using the shit out of them. Yeah, I, I, the, I think the only time I ever use coins is for, a, laundry, sometimes, but. Man, if only you had That's them in your wallet, then you wouldn't have to, like, have to keep switching. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm still confused at how it's so, easier access in your pocket though. than it in your wallet. Because I just take the specific amount of coins I need over to the building yeah, where the, the washer and dryer is. With your wallet? You Instead of... Coins in well, your no, wallet. I, I need it so rarely that I don't, I don't want to carry around... I don't carry around the coins with me all the time. I'm just like, okay, I'm going to go wash my clothes and everything. So I'm just going to take the coins over to the building with me now. Convenience from having the coins in your wallet in case you need them. I I never need that. Well, if you have over here, so over here it takes quarters. So I would have to carry one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'd have to carry fourteen coins with me all the time for a very specific use that I know in advance that I'll need them for. That's next to my house, so I have no reason to carry that many coins with me all the time in my wallet. You don't need to coins. carry all the coins that you need all the time. Like, you can always make up for that with just physical, the other money. Why would it need to only be coins? <clears throat> and if you did Because that's the way the machines operate. If you the didn't... The machines operate on coins. 
Yeah. So you you live in a country where there are fewer coins for higher values, but then you have a machine that operates entirely on coins. Yeah, it doesn't accept dollar bills. What? No, it no, it what just it just uses what? coins. Uh, that is strange, actually. You, you, many, you think... many of them, many do. Like like pretty much all vending machines here nowadays will accept bills, but for whatever reason, these just these washers and dryers they just take quarters. I, and so when I go I, to do my laundry, I'll just bring the quarters with me when I walk over there, and I'll put them in, and that'll be that. Credit to take your doll. In a, in a world where you don't have dollar, that is bizarre. I don't understand, man. This this we do, we do have dollar coins, but you they just take have, quarters. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why like they do. I didn't make them. It it might be old machines. Uh, I yeah. don't know, but they just take quarters. <clears throat> None of this defeat is, is well. Like, yeah, I was going to say. Still, if, there's no reason why a wallet would be better for you. If you were in a position where you needed to use potentially 14 coins every day at different times, you may not 100 percent know. Would you then still not put them in the wallet, rather just put them in your pocket? Hmm. The answer I is like well. I, I feel no, like no, this no, is no, an no, obvious I'm... answer, but go ahead. Well, I would have to change my habit of wearing my wallet in my front pocket because if i if i was going to keep wearing it in my back pocket 14 coins would be you know it, i'd feel that when i sat down um so i'd uh, so I'd just put it in your wallet and then put the wallet in the front pocket i don't think i like how it feels though <laughs> I just, All right. I, like I mean, the that's, of the wallet in the front pocket. that's good enough that's, for me. That's, that's totally fine. That's not what you said up until this point. You were arguing that the utility is worse. I think that I would. I even for utility, I'd rather have wallets, or I'd rather have. Yes, right. I agree. <laughs> yeah. Because I would just reach if I needed coins for whatever reason. I just, I just pull them out of pocket. Out. Take exactly. the ones I need and use them and I put the rest back in the pocket. Whenever I need them. Excellent. Yeah, whenever Instead you describe the, wallet, the then... ease of the coins, I may as well just replace it with wallet and it all still makes sense. So that's why I'm just lost yeah. on your argument. Meanwhile, it's easy for me. I would... I feel like there's a bunch of coins floating around your co in, in your pocket. Do you have to pull them all yeah, out? They don't float around, they just they go to the bottom. Oh, that wasn't these. literal rags? I was using that to describe the experience, because they're all jangly, you know? I didn't actually mean they're literally floating, because coins don't do that. At least not in that environment. No, they're just, all, they're just all there together. You just pull them out in one motion with your yep, hands. Yep, that's what I said. You You'd have, have to take them all hand. out. You have to take them out of your wallet, too. What, well, so no, actually. Wallet, depending on what you wallet you have, you can actually open it up and see them, and then choose the ones you want. Yeah. Whereas if you have to fish them all out of your pocket, you need to get all of them and then check to see which ones are there. I I don't know. I've never had a problem just reaching in and grabbing all the coins in my pocket yeah, and having them all just in my hand. Experience the other way. Like it seems like you've totally missed out on the joys of having all of your coins in a wallet. Well, apparently it's considered a man purse. You put coins in a wallet, so maybe that's good enough reason to avoid the utility. Why would it be a man purse if it's like if it's the shape I was, of? I wasn't being serious with the purse thing. Oh yeah, well, a lot of people in chat are. <laughs> so like, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cover it. And there are people in chat like, "Oh man, it's so obvious that like Waller and Fringy are wrong on this." It's like, what do you mean? Well, the funny part is that I've had a huge experience of using coins in wallets and in pockets. I find it way more frustrating to have them in a pocket because you have to fucking yeah. you, you have to like uh, what do you call it? Claw machine them out. You're not even successful yeah. necessarily on getting them all on the first try. Get stuck right in the corner, and then you have to try to yep. push around and get. And there's, there's really? some people who are saying, you can tell what coins they are by the feel of them pull the right ones out. It's like, fucking hell. <laughs> Dude, like, now, talk about, talk about in utility. Australia, in Australia, we're a little bit better on this, because all the coins are shaped differently in ways that have distinct profiles. So that's, uh, that's, that's pretty some neat. Some of the coins the here are yeah. different, but it's pretty difficult well, to make them up. Right, well, ours are, like, flat out, like, the 50 cent coin is a hexagon, so it's like, that one's really easy to tell what you've got. You don't have to defend your use of a purse. See, the thing is, my wallet's a chonky man wallet thing. It just has everything in it, and I, I yep. consider it super yep. useful. If someone was like, well, I prefer to have my cards in my pocket, because I can pull them out with ease, I'd be like, uh-huh. And yeah, if it's the same for coins, or notes, or... Exactly the same. Yeah. yeah, I'd just be like, just keep it all in the wallet. I have them in my 
and then I need to open it up when I could just have all my fucking notes sitting in like it's, my pocket. I, I just, I just don't understand what correlation isn't understood. It's, it's the money thing. It's the thing that has all yeah. the money in it. It has all the money plus more. I'm glad we settled that. <laughs> yes, I encourage the use of wallets. They are fantastic for all of your money needs. Though I wouldn't recommend whatever wallet he's selling you. Yeah, I don't see the point of a wallet. Like, I guess I see the point of a wallet having a... I understand the point of the wallet having this thing that detects sunlight that you can use to this solar-powered <laughs> radar on your wallet in case you drop it in a place in the sun. Or how often is your wallet in the sun that it would even ch get charged? Well, that was actually Mel's primary point <laughs> when this was yeah. first posted. Like, so don't fucking keep it in the sun. It's like, yeah, most people don't keep their wallets in the you sun. Know. It's almost counterproductive. Like when you lose your wallet. She was asking what's asleep. was like, no, when those three get going, I'll just listen. It's fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. So when you have a wallet and you lose it, I bet 95 plus percent of the time it's indoors. Yeah. Last thing I need is a fucking wallet and I need to charge. Like, what the fuck? And also, like, if you lose your wallet, by the time... like, I, I think the scenarios in which that would actually be of practical use to you are going to be so tiny and minuscule that it will never end up paying for itself. Also, yes, Especially my point... once I... Once I happen? check how much these wallets are worth. How do you lose a wallet? It's like, it's, it's possible. There's lots of scenarios. In, indoors, yeah, if, you swapping, bet. between, swapping between pants, maybe it falls out. Maybe you put, like, maybe you're going to the bank and you pull it out. And instead of putting your wallet back in your pants immediately, you put it on the seat next to you or the console and it falls between the seats. Or It, it can happen. It probably happens most when you forget to, you set, you're switching it between one pant to the other pant and you're, you set it down someplace, and you just forget about it because you're not used to thinking about where your wallet is. It's normally right where you need it. That's what people are asking. My wallet does have a coin, a coin pouch, or whatever it is. I do put my coins in there. Yes, oh. I do. Fucking Europeans, also Australians. Australians. But overall, all of those actions take so little time that it's such a non-issue for me. <laughs> I don't care if you Well, I mean, this is the thing. I've never had trouble grabbing my wallet and orange. whatever I need out of it. It's not so an issue. I can agree I... that it is mostly a non issue, but when people stubbornly cling to the idea that a wallet is inferior to having the coins in your pocket, like at that point, then that is. I, be... I don't think it's fair to characterize me as being stubborn. I, I think that I, I'm can, I see where your point is, but especially for me, I it, it certainly is way more easier to if I even have them to have them there. And if I had to deal with coins, I would probably just want them in my pocket. I don't think I'm being stubborn. I just think that I'm well, see, right and it works best for me. That's fair. Saying you would want them to do that, but saying that it is easier to have them yeah. in your pocket. That's where we draw. It just seems... I think it, it just seems easier to me. Well, I, to, I'm... You keep then I don't pushing think I'm... for thing. If you just committed to, I like the way that I do it, that's one thing. But then you keep saying, but no, but it is easier though. It's like, well, I wait a I think it's easier to have them in your pocket. <laughs> So you don't, it's not just that you feel that way, you actually think that it is superior, which was what we were talking about in the first place. I mean, I do. I would, I, oh, okay, all right, sure. <laughs> but, like, I don't, I don't think it's fair to characterize me as being, like, stubborn. Like, I, I've listened to your points and I understand them, I just think it's better to have them in the pocket. I don't think it's been very fair to me to call me stubborn. Do you think that they are, like... Do, do you disagree with all of the points? Uh, I mean, to, to, to differing degrees. Like, I see your points, but I just, I think that the pocket, especially because I feel like a lot of this comes down to how many coins you need, how often you need them, that sort of thing. But if you just had all of the coins in there all the time, just when you need them, like, it, it, just because you have them doesn't, like, why is there an issue with having them even if you don't need them? What if something comes up and it's like, oh, I'm glad I had my coins here in my wallet.
Well, yeah, the the the, the argument obviously <laughs> seems real straightforward to me. Just uh, I I find there's more fumbling if they're in your pocket compared to in your wallet. I just find it the other way. My argument would be that there are collective scrambled in, and you have to pull them all out, lay them on the hand, and then pick out the ones you want. With wallet, you pull the wallet, open, grab, done. And there's no, there's no fuss of any any kind other than a zip or or button, depending on what wallet does what. Like that seems so much cleaner and faster. And this is the thing, I've done them both, a lot. I think we can all agree, though, that whether or not you've got them in your pocket or in your wallet, I feel like both of those are superior to this fucking wallet here. Well, the thing is, if has, if you had this you wallet, you would... It seems like it's built more so for Americans because of the fact that you would have your coins in your pocket and you put this in your pocket, too. That's the thing right. is, this thing seems like it would be harder than your average wallet, and so maybe in the back pocket won't work. Because I saw people saying they way prefer the wallet in the back pocket for style. And that's just not something that's considered over here, I don't think. Like, the wallet goes in the place that's most useful. Not, like, which sort of looks kind of nice. And I, I, I'm always having flashes well, to, like, yeah, I can picture, like, uh, um, American shows where characters always have their wallets in their back pocket. But, like, to me, that just seems less safe. <laughs> like, I'm very protective of my wallet. That's pretty well, common here that people have it in their back pocket. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, All the time. Yeah. If 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 you're doing it for for style or whatever, I'd just be like, oh, that's just, just never oh, something dude. I've considered with my wallet. You just reminded me there was an ad I remember like ten years ago for the PSP where the dude had it in his back pocket, and that blew my mind. It's like, why would sit you on that PSP? You well, it's a lot of things. It sticks out of the back, so if somebody sees that, they can steal it from you, and you wouldn't see them coming. And like, yeah, if you sit on it, you'll destroy it. Well, that, that's, yeah, that's what that's people were saying. They want it to, like, you can see the, the top third of it, let's say, out of the pocket, and they like the way it looks, and I'm just like, man. Like, be careful when you're in London, okay? Because <laughs> that is gonna <laughs> yeah. get taken within the first five minutes. Yeah. Molar is wrong. Okay. <laughs> it's just warning you about pickpocketing, just saying. Molar is right. Alright. All things are balanced. I like wallets. Discussion. <laughs> I don't like these wallets we, that I see. Are we done? <laughs> well, this is the thing, I wouldn't be able to use these ones primarily it's because not. I have more card-related things to put in them that can be held by them, but also because I want somewhere for my coins to go. And I don't want it to be in my pocket. That's the other, that's the other thing, I, I always carry coins because I don't know when I'm going to need them. And that, <clears> that's the thing, I don't have the same trousers for that many days so like i just i would find it frustrating to have to keep clearing them out and put them in instead of just the wallet i feel like the risk of leaving the, the the coins in your pocket and then that doing something to like a washing machine is substantially higher because like i feel like it's a lot easier to forget to take a bunch of all of the coins out of your pocket rather than take the one wallet out and I'm pretty sure, like, coins can destroy washing machines. Like, if you leave them in the pocket, they can jam it. I... Uh, maybe. I find I, that... I feel like that's entirely possible. In fact, uh, I'm pretty... Maybe if, maybe if you have enough coins, but... Well, it that only sounds takes... bizarre. Right? Well, generally, takes... machines are built to where they, like... Machines are built with that in the, the, the washing machines, and dryers are built with that in mind. All the ones that I've ever seen, all it doesn't have any opening that's large enough for a coin. I mean, maybe it can happen, but that's the point. I'm not going to forget to take my wallet out of my po my pocket, or at least that's a lot less likely to happen than forgetting one or two coins that are <sighs> in the pocket. Yeah, I reckon it's mainly a. Uh, America versus the rest of the world sort of thing, possibly. Because um, a lot of people are saying like they just don't have that many coins. They, like they find it alien to the fact that I carry coins every day, and I'm just like, oh, it's alien in reverse. But for me, um, so I get yeah. yeah it could I be only a... keep coins to turn them into bills because I I I barely get them anymore because I pretty much pay everything with a debit card. 
Yeah, me too. But if you do, if I do get coins for whatever reason, then they only exist to turn into bills. I also need my coins. But wait, where do you get coins from then? If you need them, if I need the only the only time I do need them is for um, the laundry machines, and I get them from like whenever I'm out at uh, like groceries and stuff. You can have people exchange them, or you just go to the bank and you buy rolls of them. You just exchange for rolls. The only time I could pitch myself doing that is when I go down the arcades and use them. Mm. <laughs> All right. Also, by the way, there are articles about coins getting stuck in machines and how to remove them. So, I'm like, sure there are. Well, I guess it's interesting because there. Are, I saw like a few people saying, like, "Well, no, that's not possible. There's no way." It's like, how could? Like, surely it, you would have to accept that it's possible, even if it's unlikely. Sure, it's possible. Yeah, yeah. but not like, not this... like impossible to an extent that it would be like incredibly bizarre that it got jammed. Like, if you found out it was a coin, you wouldn't go, wow, that was unexpected. You'd be like, oh, that actually explains a lot. I, if, if the machines, like, if, uh, if machines stop, if I had a washer and dryer and I found out that the reason for it was a coin, I would say that's pretty, you know, it's pretty amazing that that happened. I could understand it happened. Like, I would see the result and be like, oh, a coin got into the machine. I still think it'd be pretty amazing that that ended up actually happening. There are articles about milk being racist, so so what? You found an article. <laughs> Man, these are great counter arguments. Um, so don't you have your own laundry machine rags? Buy one and don't ever need coins. So, not every. So if you want a, that's like a selling point for uh, properties and places to live. Essentially, is whether or not it has a washer and dryer. Especially if you're looking for apartments, the apartment will charge you more a month for the launder uh, the launder and dryer the the washer and the dryer and for me I don't go through that many clothes certainly not enough to justify a monthly difference for renting if I had a unit that had a washer and a dryer it is by no means worth it at all for me to have one with a washer and dryer and also like you have to have like there has to be places in the wall where like the water can connect specific mm -hmm. places for washers and dryers they can't just have you can't just plop them into a unit and they work. They're not self-contained. You have to they have to flush water in and out of it in a decent amount. They have to be connected to the wall specifically. So it's not like I can like I could buy a unit that had one. I had the option, but and I don't remember what the exact number was, but the price difference was just not it, it, it would have been insane of me to get a unit that had a washer and dryer considering what the difference per month was. Like, especially because I just walk, like, less than a minute, and I have access to many washers and dryers for cheap, so. See, the laundromats aren't as common here. Everybody has, like, washing machines. Yeah, same here. Laundromats, laundromats are decently common here. There's never <clears throat> one that's too far away. I've had to use them twice, maybe, but pretty extenuating we, circumstances but that's what just some people use as a laundromat you see them around yeah you see them around here it's just most people it's because most people have gardens and there aren't as many like apartments and stuff so it's just more common that you have a place to hang it i think rags are you saving up for a house no not currently i don't know i don't really have any housing plans in particular though as as time goes on and the the looming reality of relatives dying begins to encroach upon our once blissful lives, starts to creep in. Who knows what my housing situation will be in terms of places that open up as options and whatnot. But currently, no, I don't really have any aspirations for home ownership at the moment. Hmm. I think it's a matter of cultural evolution. The lack of requirement for coin holdage has meant that whenever it crops up, it'll just go in the pocket, and then it goes away. Meanwhile, it's constant over here, and so I reckon if it were needed constantly in America, you would eventually evolve to be putting it in your wallet. That's what I think. Yes, I think so. Yeah, probably, because here with one dollar bills and just coins are just they're, they're kind of seen as a nuisance here. You I just, mean, like you I consider them kind of annoying. Bills. But the, like, so if everything went in a way that I didn't need coins anymore, which I'm pretty sure that is the way that the world wants to go, right? Because coins 
we can do everything with cards. I think that's something that wants to happen. It feels like that's where we're heading towards, yeah. Because, like, uh, what do they call it? The thing where you just scan your card in, like, that applies... To, what's the cap on that right now? I don't know what it is in America. Like 100 bucks, usually. Something like that, yeah. Um, is, they'll probably keep expanding that to the point where it's just like everybody just has a card. No one has any notes or coins. Just evolve everything to just be card. And then... Yeah, they're... This little wallet will likely become the more prominent design for wallets. Possibly. Probably? Because the one, the vast majority of wallets here are just basically, they're basically just the size of cards. They're not, they're not big. They're, they're, they're just, they're, they're just a slightly larger than what a debit card would be because cards go in and bills go in, but that's pretty much it. Cashless society is the plan slash agenda. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not against, Why? like, the physical, well, it, does I mean... does that not feel like something that people would naturally lean towards, rather than an agenda? Yeah, I feel like, if we got rid of coins, there's a lot of benefits to that, in a lot of ways, probably. I'm not well, a I think coin titian, Fundamentally, but... people want access to all their money all the time, that's like the reason why people have cards and stuff. Yeah, I've, I've, it's like, I've, hey, instead of having to have all of my cash in this specific location and then some of my cash in my pocket, I have all of my cash accessible at all times. Well, because, like, making the lowest unit of, like, dollar a note rather than over here being the coin, like, I'd probably prefer it if they were notes. Cashless is globalist propaganda. Well, wait, so... By cashless, do they mean moneyless? Like, or do they just mean I no coins? I don't think they mean moneyless. Physical. I think they mean, I think they mean physical. Is I'm gone. not against losing coins and I guess notes. I'm, I don't know that I'm against that. Is, I, it, is, is the concern that, that our money isn't in our hand, rather it's stored somewhere forever? I think there. I, mean, I think there's a concern of if you have cash, it's more quote unquote yours in a sense, where mm. you don't have a bank or a system or a thing you're relying on in order to withdraw or deposit money. It's physically in your possession, and it is yours. Um, Alright. I, I can see... It has a more of an... Yeah, it's the more, appeal. there's more of an independent... Yeah, there's an independence appeal to it. However, what I do think is that if we... If eventually the need and desire for bills and coins goes away it will just be replaced by something else that people will invest in physically probably whether yeah. it's gold or precious metals or fuck i don't know wine or whatever people might use as a as a substitute well, yeah because people value. will um people still have gold and stuff as a storage of uh of value because that's just the thing that exists that you can have yeah. like people will still physical that. objects will always have value it just depends on what those objects are and they might change over time yeah i yes. think i think like silver is silver more valuable than gold now silver is another one of those sort of i'm not sure what the price is at the moment but silver is another like storage of value and then, of course, there's like crypto, which Ooh. probably change things too. As as Hunter just kind of pointed out, in a sense, because a lot of people saying like, I can store my cash, and you know that's mine, then no one can touch it. It's like, in fairness, who gives that cash value? Well, the government gives. Well, it's complicated, but the government and like people and stuff give that because they're saying value. like, if we have no cash, then the government has way too much control. And it's like, I mean, don't they have all control over money right now? Anyway, well, the government does have all control over the money because they have the res the central banks that print the money, and they set the agenda in terms of like the interest rate and stuff like that. Yeah, not the interest. Uh, still way more yeah. valuable. Okay. Yeah. But it is complicated because like the value is based on what the society itself decides, but it's also because of what the government says in terms of what it is. And like in in it's in cash has less there's less volatility to cash in a lot of places. Like it, like the dollar is probably there's there's probably less volatility for the value of a dollar well, over it time. Depends on, it depends on what different... you it depends on how you regulate it though. Like or it depends on how you peg the price or something like that. If it was gold standard or like, you know, the other different ways of like valuing it or if you'd like peg it to another currency or things like that well in in the sense of if you have a if you have a thousand dollars in you know bills under your mattress or whatever and you wait 20 years the the steady change in their value it'll probably be be, be more a bit be a bit more predictable in how it changes instead of if you bought silver or fuck ammunition or something well, like that 
partly because like there are agencies and stuff that control the the value in certain ways by like interest rates and stuff like that and how much of the supply there is in the market these so geniuses they're, they're are dancing around like, the incredible importance of gold standard but don't even realize it laugh my ass off. i know what the gold standard is <laughs> Not, it's, but what does that have to do with what we're talking about here specifically? Yeah, I don't see what that yeah, is. Yeah, it's, it's really funny to think, like, it's it's the key to everything we were talking about, where it's just like, no, nah, actually, that's adjacent. We're, we're talking about many uh, ideas right now. One of those that was interesting for me to think about was, um, some people have mentioned it, like, cash allows you to do untraceable transactions, or at least much less traceable ones. Um, definitely more so than, like, when you do transactions that have to go through banks and stuff like that, for sure. Didn't the gold standard end in, like, the 70s? In the 70s. Uh, it was Nixon. He got rid of the gold standard in the United States. He nixed it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, in a certain sense. <laughs> yeah. Coca-Cola is the gold standard. I don't know about that. Um, I mean, a lot of them are like, yeah. But yeah, I, I guess it's always this idea is like we don't want them to erase coins either because it's just step by step worry about the erasure of cash and the well, potential guess, consequences. Well, I mean, it part, I guess the thing is, is like the <clears throat> removal of coins may well just be like a matter of inflation. Like a cent is worth like nothing, whereas a cent a hundred years ago actually had some level of value. It's like if you look at the price of stuff in the UK, it's like oh, like six shillings. It's like what is that? Like nothing. Absolutely nothing compared to what it is now. Well, I, I, I just said, because obviously I, the, I opened this with more so just the utility idea, just like everywhere you go, everything you do, it's just this one card that you have pre-approved and it just does everything for you in a sense. But then, because that's how it would be in like most sci-fi things. It'd just be like they slot their card into a thing and it's just like, it's just this all-purpose card. But I can see how it's like, there could be horrible things that are happening as a result of that being the way that it is. Like utility-wise, it might be great, but... What does it mean for the economy that that is the only way people spend and uh, mm -hmm. log all their money? I do get it. It's super interesting. It's, it, this is part of what well, is difficult about crafting sci-fi futures, where you have to, like, uh, the fact well, that that's where the money's at, what does it mean for everything and else? Plus, crypto as well has to, like, factor into this stuff yeah. now. Now that it exists, it's, like, hard to... And, and it's hard to see what that will look like in 10, 20, or 30 years. So imagine if you're trying to do it 100 years from now. It's like, hmm... That'd be tough. <laughs> so is it, oh my god, we're still on this? Like, yeah. Well, we can talk about the wallet. The, I mean, I... The, what's his brand? The EKST? Well, ha actually, what do you think it's worth? Maybe we should take some guesses, and I'll, and I'll check and see what the... Uh, do you mean, how much uh, does it cost? Or? I'm gonna highball it as 50 bucks. I think it's gonna be very expensive. I'll go with 25. 25 bucks? Uh, what's our, what does our kraut think? Is he here? <laughs> Maybe he's asleep. Metal. Oh, Metal. The crowd. I was Where? thinking crowd like Chad. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 is, what do you think the read. value is of an EKST button laden uh, wallet is? Oh, the thing that he's promoting? Yeah. 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 Uh, man. 45 bucks, roundabout. All right. Hmm. What so were you ranked? Like, it looks like a. Well, I've, I've oh, okay. checked for the purposes of. I mean, a lot of people are typing um, in chat. I think they understood. I think I would have. I would have guessed around. I, I think I would have guessed around fifty or so. Um, mm. The lowest one that I see here is sixty-seven dollars. Oh shit! Um, okay. And that's I the completely lowest. misjudged it, that. Like. So. It, why? Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't blame you. Um, it's hard to gauge the price on something like that. I would imagine. Uh, however, they go up to. One hundred sixty-nine dollars or one hundred sixty-one dollars. Nice. Let me actually okay. check right. on that. What's the one hundred sixty-one dollar like, worth? So I thought it was a piece of metal molded to slot cards into with a little button that pushes them out. What what am I missing that makes them that expensive? That's probably well, well, what I'm gonna do. Is solar panel. panel mechanism. Solar panels. I'm, yeah. Oh, the I'm solar fuck. The yeah. Okay, I didn't. I forgot about that. Well, here the the sixty seven dollar one and the one sixty one. Oh, it's on sale. It's normally one hundred eighty nine dollars. Oh my so, god! I don't pay that much see. for Let a wallet. Let me go to features of both. Um, it looks like they both have RFID blocking technology, space grade aluminum. Uh, that doesn't fucking mean anything. 
What a space um, grade. Does that mean that well, if the you put it in the vacuum space, like, it would be fine? It's like putting the word gamer in front of something. <laughs> oh, gamer no. fuel. Uh, gamer yeah, fuel. it's not normal fuel. It's gamer fuel. Fan out oh, your by cards the way, like a switchblade. Uh, the tracker okay. card is extra. That's extra money. The tracker. I had you need to pay more to add that in. Wait, so, so like, is this solar, wallet, for instance, is That's charged by the solar panels or something, right? I think so, right? So its base is $89 for something called the Parliament Wallet, and then you need to add another $49 Leather. if you want so the tracker. The $160 one, I guess the, the Fortuna Parliament Wallet, ooh, that sounds very expensive. The, it looks like it's, it's it uses real leather, full-grain American hides, and treated with wax for a subtle shine, mm. um, hand-stitched. Mm. So it, it seems to have lovely okay. craftsmanship. And it had better for one hundred and sixty-one dollars, but yeah, it looks like there's a special little sleeve on the outside uh, that's a solar panel for locating it. This is a bouge wallet indeed. I just love the idea that they assume every time you lose your wallet, it will be in direct sunlight, and you'll be okay. <laughs> It'll be fine. Or you have to have, or you just, or or I guess so. I guess it charges. Here, let me let me take let me show this picture. So it looks like the outside of the wallet has a special sleeve that's designed to fit this um, tracker card essentially. So you have uh -huh. to make sure it's charged by leaving it in the sun, and then you have to put it in your wallet so that it is trackable and it has power to it. Uh huh. But it's not in the sun while it's actually being tracked. Dude, how's that for a ticking oh, no, clock just... in like a gangster movie where they stole a bunch of wallets and they're all on like a table in their hideout and the sun is moving across the sky and it's like <laughs> you can see it getting toward the solar panel while the police are looking for them and they're just like they're running out of time but they don't realize that's the ticking clock but we do. Fucking it's top weird tier. That you would think that you'd want to, you'd come up with something else in order to charge it because the, t the amount of time that a wallet sees sunlight Probably minuscule amounts of time. Not very high. If well, my so wallet, if my it. wallet was an animal, it would be like a mole. It wouldn't even like have eyes because it's always in the dark. Yeah, it's always in a pocket or indoors. It just never sees it's, it's the a, sunlight. It's almost an odd feature, I guess. Does the charge last for a really long time when you put it to full, and then you don't really need to have it in the sun? Oh boy. I don't know. I have no now idea. I feel like losing your wallet is a is a bottom up problem where you just need to get better at like, not losing keep it. Keep it in mind, train yourself, or buy an obnoxious wallet. So or that you never... start to lose. an obnoxious chain to attach the wallet to the the lip on your uh, yeah. the, the hoop on your belt. Those, thing. Or you can wear that little that 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 pack, you know the 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 pack. It's that like you the more around you. The more comfortable your wallet is, the mm. easier it is to forget it. Maybe that's the paradoxical right. exchange. Have that a you bunch have to of on. knives sticking out of it. Knives? <laughs> so you know where it is? Yeah. Knives. <laughs> These are knives. Knives. Because <laughs> whenever I go places, I get into the habit of patting my, you know, my my wallet and patting my phone. My phone's in my front left pocket. My wallet's in my back right pocket, and I just pat them both just out of habit to make sure I have them, and that's that's that. Well, look at the promotional images. Here, let me show you this. The, the promotional images for this wallet. I'm looking at the, the black colored leather ones now. He's in front of a like a sports car, a Ferrari or something. He's and he's like really well dressed. Rich people get and these, okay? Maybe that's the uh, is, the angle. Like they're trying to get rich people to buy them. I, it's the Sigma yeah, male grind angle. set, you know, that's that's when you get these ones. Oh, you add the tracker card for $42. That's yes. the option right there. It's oh, not yeah. even, uh, I assumed I, it was built into the extended price, I, uh, but no, you like add it for 42 I, more dollars. I, I suppose you missed the part where I mentioned that earlier. Like, yeah. Well, the... the, here, well, when you said you paid extra for it, I, because I'm looking at two different ones, the $40 ah, or the, the right, 60s. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I assume that it was the extra price wasn't just for the stitching and the leather because that's a hundred dollar difference, but it was also for that card. And I imagine the card probably isn't that expensive, dude. That so probably not forty nine dollars. Yeah, that first image yeah, though, it, he's he's clicking that with the pinky finger, and they pop out, and then he well, pulls yeah. one out, and he's like, yeah.
Well, that's proper etiquette. You always use the pinky. Pinky out, pinky in for the wallet. Man, just, your, feel, your mini cards that you use, they're all just... This boop. feels weird to me. Like, if you have all the cards that pop out of that slot, like, for instance, I just have multiple slots in different places on my wallet, and I remember where the cards are, so I can just immediately get the ones that I need. Why would... Why would it be better? It sounds it like have... something that would be fun to review. It does seem <laughs> like we all buy them, and then after a week of using them, we're like, right. <laughs> like, I've gone back to my old wallet. Yeah, <laughs> so I don't need... Wallet. I don't need electronics and moving parts in my wallet. Yeah, you yeah. put money into it. You put cards in it. It's not that complicated. It doesn't it's need a, lights yeah, and um, <laughs> pretty music. sure these have been around for thousands of years in some form or another. A normal wallet will last you many years. Yeah, because it's it lasts a wallet, years. you know, no mechanical and mechanism. It's just hmm. The I button is I, really this the is thing. a bouge wallet. This is, it is yeah. a yeah, wallet. it's such yeah. a it's such a gimmick. It's a gimmick. Yeah. yeah. Well, two two things about the image we have on screen right now, too, from Filmento. So one, the, I'm pretty sure the whole conversation started because he said no more fumbling with your cards, as if like <laughs> anybody That's not ever a thing had. That you do. Yeah, nobody ever yeah. fucking fumbled. But, but secondly, look at the photo they they made. They put it on like the a, what is the? It almost seems like it shouldn't be this way. Like gravity would defy this. You know what I mean? Like the. The valve is is it's all. Why have they put three no, the, phones the on valve it? Is, the valve is. I think the valve is flat, and they just filmed it. No, I know, because it has to be right. It wouldn't be that they glued them to, <laughs> to the thing. I just mean that it comes across as really odd to choose that as your. Like, look at the phones. It's like, yeah, oh, th you... this is a phone for rich people, and that worn red valve is. Just, it's got that working class stink about it that I want to keep away from my expensive, precious, <laughs> button laden wallet. If if it just feels like my, a really weird choice, like I'll oh, put them on the put them my, on that, you know. Yeah, my wallet belongs on that coffee table next to that super expensive coffee that needs to be served with a spoon. That's where Wait. my wallet belongs. Sorry, I'm just like I'm now starting to wonder about any practical use. You know how like if you if you need to, you have the mm. you have different cards in your wallet that are all for different purposes. Obviously, you have some that you're paying, some is like your bus fare, and then memberships other little cards that you want to use. Memberships, yeah. If you've got all of the cards in this one slot and you need to pop them out to make them work, does that not mean that you need to constantly be taking your things out and in of that wallet instead of just being able to keep them in the slots and just put that one up to the machine that you need to use it for? I assume. It like, depends. Um, it, so I know with, depending on what the cards are for, you might keep the card in your pocket if you just need to reach. Because when I was in a um, one of my jobs, I was a restaurant server. And we would use cards, which was debit. There were debit cards, essentially. Yeah. And you would scan them on a computer and it would be like your account. And we would always keep them like in our front pouch because we were using them so often. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't, I, I assume that like when you, when you, does the button retract them as well? Or do well, you so have to push them in manually? Answer. I assume you push them back in and it, it probably clips the, the button back right to be to be used I again i guess that also means I like if ever so. you need to get pulled over for your id you need to pop the thing oh out my God. And, like fish around for the id <laughs> yeah actually Dude, the, fucking, the, 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 the cop will be like you're, whoa you're what is that <laughs> well no no no. listen if you're if you have one of these wallets you're already clearly driving like a ferrari or no, a yeah, that's right you never get pulled so, over <laughs> you're, so if if you do get pulled over then the the lowly the lowly cop is going to be blown away peasant. by your car. You probably won't even notice your wallet. Yeah. But I was going to bring up something else. I maybe this is just me, but I I hate the way that you store the cash on this wallet. Right in a strap instead of in a on sleeve. That, on that strap, folded up that way, which means you can carry if you if you do carry cash, you have to carry less of it because it will bulge more. Because it's being folded up more, mm -hmm. and also it's there, and I don't know how much I trust that strap, and will that strap lose its elasticity over time? But also, you need to pull all of the money out to find the the notes that you want, rather than having all of your notes neatly just opening lined it up. up. Yeah, yeah, it's all yeah, in a row, yeah. and it's that's it's one of the coolest the things about wallets. Folds, and you just open up a wallet and, and you look at yeah. all your little notes, and you can sift through them. Now, uh, this is another Australian elitism. I think that having 
uh, notes that are different colors to represent what they are instead of just having the numbers is a really efficient way. Well, we have that too. Helping you. Yeah, but America does. Sure. They're all green. Uh, our, well, ours do have different designs and patterns. They have different to them. designs for sure. But so like, yeah, they're they're the same color. Um, but, but over here we have like pink is five dollars, blue is ten dollars, red is twenty, uh, yellow is fifty, wow, gold, monopoly and money. hundred is green. Yeah, yeah kind um, of. It's ours neat. is kind of our one hundred. Our new one hundreds sort of have a, like a stripe to them and some color to them. But yeah, it's pretty much all a dull greenish color. Though the That's designs and the looks yeah. of the numbers is there, there's there are a little different, and you just get used to the difference between them. Like you, like if you see a bill lying down, even you know you could just tell the difference between them if they're different mm -hmm. amounts because just of the design. But they are more similar. Yeah, I, I, I would be feel... fine for having them be different colors. But... Well, I think different colors is cool for the, from a design standpoint as well. Having really colorful notes is just neat. Like uh, Australian money just looks cool. I think it is useful. One, uh, one interesting one one thing too is that since our our money's as far as I know pretty much always had that greenish tint, then you know idioms have developed as a result of that. You know, seeing green, yeah, things of, of course. that nature. You know, of the course. only color they care about is green. Things of that nature. Green is the money color. I do like those idioms, but I do wonder if I would sacrifice the practical yeah, I, I, utility of having the different colored ones just for idioms. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty indifferent on it. I don't really yeah. care that much about them being different colors, but if they started to make them different colors, I'd be fine with it. Um I think it's just it's super minor. Oz money looks like plain money. Well, I think the thing that makes Australian money particularly cool is those little transparent things that they have. Apparently that makes it really difficult to counterfeit. Our money is mm. all different colors. Yeah, it's not like exactly the same. It, they're similar, but they are different. You oh, can tell it's... Also, I have a question because somebody just mentioned something about waterproof. Is uh, is U.S. money is that waterproof, or if you get it wet, does like that actually degrade? So the, here's the, the thing: it's not actually made out of paper. It's made out of like yeah, this no, cotton material. Yeah, you can like you can put it through a washer and it'll be fine. It's not but will like it be actually damaged, paper? like in a in a way that it'll, is sort of appreciable. It'll get, or is it... it'll get worn, but it won't get. No, you could you could you could throw bills and like if you have a roll of bills and you leave it in your pants and it goes through the the washer or whatever or if you just threw it in it would be fine when it came out okay i i always wondered because it's like because everybody says it's paper and it's like australian money is clearly not paper like it's it's not yeah it's it's, it's yeah, i think it, somebody it's, says it's, plastic um which might be right it's so our 100 dollar bill has some like plastic in it uh the You're new right. ones do uh it's it helps to prevent counterfeiting stripe and things in the, in the middle there the the one that yeah, is on but, screen but bills are yeah it's not it's not actually paper it's just paper like thus the expressions wait um, but... i i want to test my understanding of american so there's george washington uh i can't tell the guy on the two dollar bill and then there's your old boy lincoln is the ten dollar is that um uh hamilton what was the third one? jefferson jefferson sorry yeah i'm a fucking idiot i don't know why i said hamilton um or is that the guy in the twenty dollar one? Oh no, it is Hamilton. Okay. Oh, oh, Jefferson's kind of Jefferson's the two dollar bill. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he okay. is. Not many two dollar so. bills, but it's good. Sometimes when you go to the bank, $2. I'll ask so him for Hamilton all the on the ten dollar. Wait, twenty dollars is Hamilton, is what people. So who's on the ten dollar there? No, ten. No, so, 10 so is Hamilton, twelve is Jackson. Okay. Tw yeah, yeah, twenty is Jackson. And fifty is fifty is Ulysses S. Grant. And a hundred years. Franklin. That's uh, uh, oh my god, the kite guy. God damn it. Franklin. Benjamin, Benjamin Franklin. Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and also, if I you have, Franklin. so the you can exchange what's called mutilated currency. Essentially, if you have uh, bills that get either like burned or ripped or for whatever reason. As long as you have like 50 more, clearly more than 50% of it has to be um, mm -hmm. identifiable and mm -hmm. you can, you can get a replacement. Um, it, it'll, I think it'll be a case by case basis, but you it just, it, you know, if, if part of it gets ripped off, you can get a replacement for it. It's still, right. still good money, essentially. Um, so that way, to, yeah. To think no. about like, you know, how it's decided who gets put on the money. Well, yeah, I was gonna um, say rags. What the fuck? There's a lot of white people on these rags. You want to explain yourself? 
Uh, no. I don't think I need to explain myself. I feel like they'll never be replaced. I, I, I really Dude, feel Dude, I think like America would be really pissed if you like, replaced yeah. any of them. Yeah. They'll just make alternates. Like, they had the, um, yeah, they had the Susan right. B. Anthony silver dollar, they had the gold Sacagawea dollar. Yeah. Um, they, they will, they will have alternates and things of that nature that will probably come out, but the mainstays will yeah, I suppose, probably well, stay for a What, what a do you while. think would happen if they said Lincoln's going and we're putting Martin Luther King on there? I think there would be fucking I don't think, riots. I don't think people would tolerate that. I think, um, I think Lincoln's that you would, mm. Lincoln is like, if, he's got if like If you replaced Andrew Jackson. Jackson. Maybe. Yeah, You're but like, even then, do you uh, think yeah, people, I feel like, like people would, man, I don't know, like, I feel like... I feel like if you replaced any of these guys, like people would be really upset. Um, I was going to yeah, say, how far do you think it would? Right? Chat, what, what do you think would happen if if that was the situation? Do you reckon people would be pissed, or do you think we'd, we'd be entering some kind of like well, fucking oof, like crazy civil like war thing? There, well, I guess it's the thing of I feel like they're all on there for a reason because you basically got on all of like the most significant figures in U.S. political history. Um. Maybe I feel like they might be able to get away with replacing grants, but I don't think I'd be happy with that. Like, yeah, could, like, yeah, especially I, I think people would. It, it would depend. Like, you, you well, ain't getting rid of Washington or Lincoln or, or Lincoln Franklin. or Benjamin Franklin. Um, yeah, those are the big three. But oh, Jefferson, you're not getting rid of Jefferson. I don't I think, think you get rid of most, Jefferson either. Yeah, yeah, the the two that you could probably get away with. Maybe Grant and maybe Jackson, but I feel like the only reason you could get away yeah. with Grant is because of um is because he's more well known as like a general, or, or at a least he's more respected as a general than he was as a president. Um, yeah, he was in the middle and winning the war. So people that, yeah. are saying that um they try to get rid of Jackson apparently at some point. Is that true? Wait, Andrew, hold on. Do I am I I'm trying not to get mixed up. Andrew Jackson was um he was the let me let me double check. Oh, I'm going president. to leave now. I just rudely interrupt because you guys yeah, give no, me no pause. <laughs> <laughs> Non-stop. Okay, good right, night, I'm, I'm Tired. Good night, Moodle. Cool. And yeah, I'll, yeah, that, yeah, that's, yeah. That's all I got. Okay. Good night. Bye-bye. Good luck. Nothingheimers. Bye-bye. Well, I'm, ju I'm just reading that, uh, um, that with with Jackson, that apparently his reputation got worse because of stuff to do with like Native Americans and things that were happening at the time. But again, if that almost feels like another thing of like, I don't want to start. Yeah, I don't want to start pushing that. Well, you if know. we start doing that, everybody suffers, including like the people who we consider to be paragons. It's well, like, dude, including uh, us eventually. Oh, they'll definitely come for us. Of course, we will never be able to get but, on the the bills. But um, by the way, you know, did you guys know Andrew Jackson killed Charles Dickinson? Is that like a meme or is that? Hold on. <laughs> it was from. It was. Uh, I think it was. It was a duel. <laughs> I was figuring that's that's a. Uh... When you say Charles Dickinson, who that? I know Charles Dickens. I know. Ch yeah, everybody knows Dickens, but I don't know Dickinson. Yeah, it's just what I heard. It, it was just a random blurb, so I just thought I'd throw that out like I knew it. He was a he was an American attorney and a famous duelist, and he died in a duel with Andrew Jackson. Oh man, imagine nice. that being your claim to fame. You got killed by the president of America. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <In a duel. laughs> That's um, something. Yeah. I uh, I guess the the interesting thing would be like if they add two hundred dollar bill, you know, if inflation gets to that point, who would be the guy who gets his face on that one? Would it well, be like... the guy. Wow, Fringy. Well, wow. <laughs> wait, have they have they capped out at a hundred? They don't make they haven't made any bills higher than that. I think hundred's the highest. Yeah, I, I don't know that they have it. I'm honestly kind of surprised because hmm, there's a lot of money in America right a, now. There was a ten thousand dollar bill. Um, well, that was a trillion. But I don't think bill, it was. We know in the Simpsons. Yeah. <laughs> I have I have a I have a I think it's a five trillion dollar bill from Zimbabwe. It was like I, five I bucks. Feel like <laughs> if it was if it was a uh, Oh, somebody just said Teddy Roosevelt. It's like, I feel like everybody would be happy with that, right? Like, if Teddy I would Roosevelt be totally cool be... with Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah. Because yeah. the problem is, I was sitting here thinking, like, Woodrow Wilson. It's like, mm, I wonder if, like, that would be controversial. Because, uh, so, hmm. and, 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 and talking about the highest bill, there was a 10,000 bill featuring President Lincoln's tr uh, Secretary of the Treasury, Salmon oh. P. Chase, like the fish. Okay. Um, it was the highest denomination to ever publicly circulate, but wow. there was a one hundred thousand dollar bill 
with the portrait of Woodrow Wilson, Wilson, but its purpose was just to transfer funds between Federal Reserve banks, and it wasn't ever in retail transactions. Um, however, I think the way that the official money rules... Uh-oh. Oh, no. What's happening? Discord is clearly not working. The important thing is... Wait, now chat's not working. Uh-oh. Technically, right? I think nickels. Oh, um, a, a how? What are they called? A um, dime. Wait. One second. A okay. So the a buffalo nickel or an Indian buffalo head nickel. nickel. Like some of these, some of these old coins that they don't print anymore. Uh, buffalo like a like a like an Indian head nickel. Huh. Even though you work on my end, but chat is dead. So chat's working for me. Wait, rags well, go back. No. Rags still going. Did rags working not even me. notice? Rags still yapping. Rags Wait. is back. Rags help. Oh, I can what? I can hear myself on the stream now. Um, what happened? Yeah, I don't know because from my end. Yeah, I, don't I can know what hear happened. myself. So that means we can. So it seems like everything's working. But Mola can't see chat, and also I can't hear. I him hear rags and frogoid. Um, but we Mahler's gone. Well, maybe what some we'll just, chat's saying. It's yeah, because I well we can't hear him. It seems like nobody can. Maybe, maybe let's wait and see to see if it's if it pops back up. Um, if like we can start hearing him again. Um, yeah, Mahler dead. Um. Oh, and now chat's just totally disappeared. Rags and from Fringy screen. cut out, but now Mahler is back. I can hear Rags and Fringy. No Mahler, no Mahler. Oh, that, now chat's back on screen. Yeah, chat never stopped for me. Uh, I think. Well, oh, oh there Mahler, we, are. we can hear you. Okay. Looks like we're back on skit on oh track. Goodness. Don't quite understand what happened there because different things. I think my it was just a minor stroke from a PC, which is still to be expected yeah. with everything that's been happening with it. But I oh, think we should be okay. We can hear Rags you now. To... And it looks like they're saying that Mahler's back. Yeah, I think I think it's all all back up again. Um chat missed a very interesting uh explanation by Rags relating to like old coins and stuff that went in circulation, including like Confederate money and its value um, now in so, uh Yeah. Yeah, so in theory Right. In theory, alternate history, the Confederate states won the Civil War and they got to be a country and they're still around. Right. So if you had a 1890s dated circulation one dollar note from the Confederate States of America, you could go to your CSA bank or whatever. It's still to the government. Technically, it's one dollar. But ah, you would never so ever exchange it for an act for you know a new note because the value of that historically would be insanely high. Absolutely, and we well, I mean, I think I just want to have it for the sake of a collection thing of like 
you know, like, man, this, this is like a, it is, a country that only existed for four years. It is a very, yeah, Confederate money, especially around here, is very valuable. It's a super big collector's item. Um, uh, the, the, there's a local coin and stamp shop uh, downtown that I've gone to, and their most valuable stuff is Confederate state money. And somebody um, in chat mentioned yeah. Buffalo nickels, which Rags also mentioned. Yes as well buffalo nickels indian head nickels liberty dimes these things liberty are dimes. still technically <laughs> yeah uh it's got that's, a picture of cool. i think columbia on it um ah so liberty dimes were between uh 19 no sorry mercury dimes sorry mercury dimes because they the had mercury a mercury dime mercury with the helmet yeah so they were between 1916 and 1945 technically if you were to find an uh, let me pull up this chart real quick. Uh, doop, doop, doop. If you were to find a 1916 Mercury dime uh, from oh, Mark D for the... Uh, uh, oh, sorry, what's it called? The place that makes the money. The God, what are those places called? The Oh, are you talking about the... the we, mint. House is called mint. The, the Mint. Oh. Yeah, so the, I think there are two mints in the United States. If you found a 1916 Mercury dime from the mint labeled as D, I forget which one it is, that's uncirculated, that's $9,000. However, it's a, it is a dime, technically, 10 cents. You could but, use it for 10 cents, but well, you'd be an insane crazy person to do that. I mean, there's there's a great example, right, of like the, the sort of way that money is valued in terms of like the role of the state and stuff like that. Like it, it, as far as the state's concerned, that's worth like, yeah. yeah, 10 cents. But in terms of the value that's ascribed to it by society at large, which kind of can't be regulated. And it could be if you put it on, uh, no, you couldn't because it's like a certain amount from that particular time. Like the value of that is super crazy high. Apparently time, there was a... A centennial yeah, version of the Mercury one that was printed in 2016, um, and they were selling it. The demand was so high that the orders were no longer able to be placed within 45 minutes of the coin becoming available. Um, apparently, they sold like 122,000 that time. The remainder, which included as many as 8,000 to 9,000 coins that were unsold or returned to the mint, were offered on sale. Um, December 15th, 2016, with a limit of one per customer and sold out within 90 minutes. Um, one time while I was at, this will probably be, this actually might be applicable to a lot of people. So be actually aware for this and looking out for it because this has happened to me multiple times. Um, one time I went to a McDonald's, I was desperate, um, and I bought some stuff there and I got change in coins. This was many years ago back when I actually used coins. And one of the coins that they gave me was a buffalo nickel. And it was like, it's like, I still have it somewhere it, it, with the rest of my coin collection. It's probably worth anywhere between five and 20 bucks, right? But it just gets sifted in with the rest of the coin. And the person handed it to me didn't even notice. I even said something. I said, you realize that this is a buffalo nickel, right? And the person, they don't, they don't know what the fuck that was. I just letting them know. And I know I wouldn't have given it back. Um, but... <laughs> Yeah, it's just uh, it's just one of those things where that stuff just gets mixed in, yeah, and people don't even notice it, and that's the kind of stuff that you could just you just so happen to to get. Um, well, and I think all nickels ladies. made before 1965 had real silver in them, so save well, those. But I'm not Buffalo sure nickel, about that. The Buffalo nickel, according to Wikipedia, had a composition of 25, uh, 75 percent copper and 25 percent nickel. Um. In fact, it seems like they have these. So the mercury dime was nine, uh, was point uh, nine silver or point nine hundred silver, point one hundred copper, and in twenty sixteen it was point nine 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 gold. Oh boy, That's this cool. says that nickels in the United States, the minted between nineteen forty two and nineteen forty five, are thirty five percent silver, and they're known as silver war nickels. Apparently the uh, the mercury dime was um, was replaced because they had a new des design that had Roosevelt's uh, FDR's face on a on on a shortly after he died. Wait, so oh, that's the current dime. one. That's your current dime. I didn't know that. Right. Is, is the silver uh, the what about the your current dime has uh, FDR's face on it, and that was the one that replaced the uh, the mercury. Uh, dime. 
Okay. Because from I don't know what's on your coins. Because over here, all of ours have Queen Elizabeth on on them. Um, your Lord and, then, and Savior. Well, yeah, technically I had a state. Nichols, on, which Nichols, uh, uh, I think they have Jefferson on them. Nickel. Oh, I, all right. Now I need to know whose faces are on are on U.S. coins. So Lincoln's on the penny. Right. You have the nickel. And then Thomas have, Jefferson uh, is on the nickel. It says yes. Uh, FDR is on the um, the the dime. George Washington mm -hmm. is on the quarter. Yes. Um, Sacagawea JFK. is on the U.S. one dollar coin. Well, we skipped one. We skipped our fifty oh. cent piece. Which is, I don't blame you. Most people, a lot of people might not even know we have them, but our biggest coin is the 50 cent piece. Uh, they're not common at all. Uh, but sometimes, mm -hmm. like when I go to the bank, I will say, do you have any $2 bills and 50 cent coins, half dollar coins? Uh, and generally they'll have them. They just, they just get them. And it's, 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 I used to, would use them to pay with things just because it's, nifty and unusual to pay for things with just two dollar bills because they're not a common bill and half dollars i've got some of them but i don't spend them just because they're not as common but yeah 50 cents or half a dollar but very very uncommon you rarely ever see them same thing 50 cents a rapper that's true he's not as cool though the half oh. dollar is super cool it's got JFK on it, and it's all big. It says, you know, Liberty and all that, all that shit. It's got huh. the big seal of the president, uh, the United States of America on the back, and it's big, so you can, yeah. Ah, like it. It's your biggest coin. I see. Yeah, because, again, Wikipedia, which I'm reading off of, has all of these listed nice and conveniently so that you can see. There's JFK. By the way, I, of the art on bills, I really like the backside of the $2 bill, which is the signing of the Declaration of Independence. On the back of which one, sorry? Of the $2 bill. Ah. Huh. Let's see. Let me see if I can find that. Oh, yeah. And it has a that's very, awesome. And it, and it fills out the sides a whole lot with its its pattern. Yeah. Have Jefferson on the other side. But you, you do, you rarely see $2 bills over here. Uh, like like I said, the only way that you really are going to get your hands on them is, is at the bank where they just accumulate. You can you you can just go to the bank and exchange like, hey, how many two dollar bills do you have? And they count them. It's like I've got twenty dollars worth of them, and you just you know exchange. I'm uh now I'm starting to wonder because um Australia used to have the Australian pound. That's what they had for a really long time, and I think in the seventies they replaced it with uh, the Australian dollar. So like all of our money is super new, and it makes me wonder if part of the reason why. It, like the the US dollar and all of them look so different and kind of uh, almost in a certain sense not as sophisticated in design as like the the Australian dollar in terms of how many like little details are crammed in there if that just is just fundamentally because these these uh these paper you know money were designed a lot earlier than the uh... I think there are more details than you might think in different Oh no I I, I don't mean to uh, I'm not like I do see what, it. I do see what you detailed. I, I do see what you mean, though. Yeah, it, well, because it's just older and it it gets, you know... It, well, I mean, in terms of the Australian dollar, what I'm referencing is that there's, like, microscopic text that you need a, a magnifying oh. glass to see that is on the money as part of a as part of the sort of, you know, to prevent counterfeit. And, like, that seems like something that could have only been possible in modern times with the technology that we have now. Yeah, yeah. Print stuff that small. Uh, whereas with these ones, these were designed a lot earlier than that. Oh, we went to dollars in 1966, right? Yeah, that's what um, I mean. I've that's actually got... I, I could go get my coin collection later or ever, but the, you can have... Sometimes you find old bills. Bills don't last as long as coins for obvious reasons, but mm -hmm. you, you can get... Sometimes you'll find old bills, and the older $5 bills will just... They will clearly have a different design to the new five dollar bills, so it evolves over time and it changes. But the, I think feel like their window of change isn't as big. Mm -hmm. But they'll even still. I've still got some that still say of uh, these bills that you can exchange it for silver from the government. Because that used to be a thing that you could do. It's like yeah, if you just basically you go to the feds and you just say I want this in silver, you can exchange it. <laughs> Well, this uh, is... They stopped doing that a while back, but it's something that used to. I have, I have um, money. I have Japanese uh, 
No, 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 no. I have Philippine pesos issued by the Japanese imperial government. <laughs> From that that's, little window in time. There's a, money's great. I need to start getting back. There's a lot of history in money. Stuff's cool, yeah. Now that you've introduced me to this, because now again on Wikipedia, the the greatest resource in the world, they have like this list that just shows all of the old uh, variants of the two dollar note. That's what I'm looking at. You have all of these different designs with like the history of just explain. Like the two dollar note has written on it. Hey, this is legal tender that is all public debts and private, uh, like except duties and imports and interest in the public debts. Like, man, having like the exp explicit purpose of the money written on the money, like yes. that's just something that is kind of that's that's people, really cool. People just didn't know as much back then. They didn't know what that money stuff was for. I was going to say, relatively recently, Britain like switched its notes from being much more papery to much more plasticky. Right. Um, yeah, know. our new stuff is, yeah. I think it's because the plastic is uh, stronger. Hard. Well, it makes sense. It could be that. Super harder to counterfeit, I bet. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's what the big supposedly thing. it's. Yeah, because it can be like transparent in some parts. and. Well, that's what the Australian dollar more, has. Yeah. Like the notes have these little transparent symbols in the corner, and that makes them difficult to, to copy. Toy money. I mean, it works. <laughs> it's so good. Just interesting. The yeah, I've got I've got uh, all kinds of stuff from different companies. I got old Nazi money. That stuff always it, talk about something that keeps its value. Anything with a swastika on it keeps its value. That is historically significant stuff. Um, I've got some coinage from the from World War II that's made out of like aluminum because uh, they were saving the important quote unquote important metals for the war. So these these coins will just be weightless in your hands. They they feel fake because they're made. They change the metal that they were using during the war, and it feels like it's plastic, which is very strange when normally they're mm. made out of like metal metal. Um, you know, there's all kinds of really cool stuff. Like why? Did, oh yeah. So a lot of Nazi currency, the coinage later as as the years went on for the uh, for the Nazis and things weren't looking so good. Uh, and they needed more and more and more metals for the war effort, they started swapping over their coinage to lower quality metals. And so in later years of the war, a lot of the coins that are left from the Third Reich will be all rusted. They'll be green because they started using metals that would rust. And they would just oxidize. Um, right. All the good stuff was going to you know guns and bullets and stuff. So... Um, it's one of those things where like, ah, this is it's, this is that way because of this reason in history. And it's like having it in your hand in that sense and sort of having it in front of your face is it's this interesting connection to I think that's history that's a, that I really that's think one of those is cool. on a broader level, like there's a lot of the time where you just like remember it's like, oh yeah, things need to be moved to certain places and you need like the infrastructure and you need the materials and, and to, to do all of these things. And it can be really easy, especially in the world we live in now, to just assume that, like, oh, what are you talking about? You know, like, it's just the stuff. We just make stuff, and it's there. And it's really easy to make, and it's really easy to get around the world. And you don't have to deal with shortages. So I guess now more so we're getting reminded of stuff like that with the uh, the uh, microprocessor shortage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, I hope that all of these quirks of history don't disappear. But who knows? It maybe it's just I don't know. Maybe we it's just it was good while we had it. But who knows? Um, uh, uh, was it? But yeah, just this, coin is coins are have always interested me. They they've they have this. There's something really historical about them and the way that they're made. Why are things on them as they're on them? Coins will outlast the governments and empires that they came from. Wow, um, I mean that's there, clear with like the Roman coins and everything. Yeah, the I think I've got one. I think I have an old Roman coin in my collection. I mean, um, that would be something that would be super cool to have. Like, have one of the ones that have Augustus on it. Uh, you know, from the see, Roman Empire or Alexander the Great. Imagine you did like collect stuff from the Roman era, but you were just unfortunate and you kept collecting things, which is kind of a little embarrassing. Like, ah, oh, <laughs> this is actually a I don't know. A, which really, what what is an embarrassing thing you could have? It's like it's just like a fucking age old dildo or something. You're just like, but it's yeah, from Rome. You know, it's pretty <laughs> it's cool. From, it's from Rome. 
<laughs> you're like, come on, it's cool. It's gonna be worth. So it's interesting to look at, right? And you're like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. A Roman coin with Alexander the Great. I was talking about a coin with Alexander the Great's face on it, not specifically a Roman. <laughs> <laughs> Can't win. <laughs> like. <laughs> I want a Roman coin with Washington's face with, on it. Yeah, <laughs> go back in time and put it on there, and then dig it up. Could you imagine? That'd be really funny if you went, if you had a time machine. Go back in time, put the face of a modern person on there, and like you know, bury it in the sand, and then uh, and then go and then go back to the future, dig up that coin, and be like, hey, look at this, like. You could carbon date it, and you could prove that it's like three thousand years old, and it has the face of a very well-known, recognizable figure in the modern history. You could trick people into thinking they were a time that traveler. Would, that would probably be one of those. That sounds like like a reveal in some sci-fi movie. Like they pick up the coins, and it's like, wait a minute, and it's like a face from the future, but on the past. Come on, what happened? And then the credits hit, and you have to find out next time. That <laughs> figure it out next season. The fucking Alias did that. Did I ever tell you, like, I... Alias, one of the seasons, and someone in chat will be annoyed because I haven't gotten this right, but don't worry about it. The the essence will be correct. So, there's a, f uh, there's a season where her best friend is killed and replaced with a secret agent, and it's almost for the whole season, I'm pretty sure, that she never finds out. But we know, like, the whole time, or at least halfway through or something. And the finale is she finds out, and they have this huge fight, and, like... I think it ends with our protagonist succeeding, but like almost bleeding out because she's like dying or whatever. And then she like blacks out, and then she wakes up again, but she's in like the middle of China. And then it just cuts the credits, that's the end of the season. Oh. It's like, um, okay. <laughs> what the fuck um, just happened? If you, um, if you had a time machine, you could trick people into believing you were a time traveler. No, I was saying you could trick people into believing that other people were time travelers, not you. Another one. That's what I find more interesting. Go ahead. Is the she's like, I think it's the end of like season three or four. Everything's Victor. We did it. Everything's great. And we won. And she's in like a car. She's driving with her, um, a guy she's known since, like, season one, who she's now, I think, married to. And mm -hmm. we've had that long with him. And then he goes, it's time I tell you the truth. She's like, what? He goes, my name isn't the name that you think it is, and I'm, I'm not who you think I am. I haven't been this whole time. And then before you have, like, an answer to what the fuck's going on with that, they both get hit by a car, and then it just cuts the credits. So, <laughs> Alias was made by J.J. Abrams, right? <laughs> Well, everyone's yeah. saying mystery box in chat. It's like, literally, <laughs> Alias is one of the funniest shows for that. It'll just be like, hey, this is true now. And you're like, what? Um, but I don't remember That's it being, bad. like, terrible. There's some good stuff in Alias. I'd have to rewatch it. It was like something that he would do. Oh, yeah. It, it smells like a JJ production when you watch it. It's like scary movie, yeah. Except serious and like actually a, a meaning a show that wants to be like serious drama, right? Oh, hundred percent. Um, I think people even got to the point where they were hoping for some crazy nonsense to happen at the end of seasons. Man, that's. I feel like that's not going to be a great position to be in as like the writer of something that people are watching just to see how stupid it'll be. Yeah. Man, it's taken rags a while to find his uh, ancient coins. He's probably gone down to his like ancient cellar. He's, he's had to like his complete some tasks cellar, and puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Rags on this like adventure right now with his little torch and uh, little gear, <laughs> like, swinging across ropes and battling some monsters. We're just like running Come away on. from boulders. Wow, yeah. let's see the coins. They're cool. Maybe I mean, he's getting in his time machine to go get the coins, yeah. We point. could watch the remaining 30 seconds of Filmento's ad while he's gone. Oh, yeah. Let's do that, actually. Alright. Sell us the wallet, Filmento. All of which you can get with Extra's Minimalist Smart Wallet, which, due to these specific positives, of course, then earns the definitive title of the yeah, well, greatest wallet. I had to use the loo. I'm glad, I'm glad I went looking for that, even though I can't find it at the moment. Um... Because I found some, I found my old iPod Nano, 
the first gen oh, ones, boy. the original oh ones. My God. <laughs> yeah, I've, I got oh one back that. there. We thought you might uh, have been some... in a dungeon or whatever fighting no, demons. I, had... I actually, I did have to poo for whatever reason moving around. I say, no, it's um, not as interesting yeah, as I the found dungeon. some nifty stuff. Yeah, I, I found um, uh, my old uh, my old DS is in its box up there. Oh boy. Um, I don't think it was. I don't think it was the first gen one, but it was might it the be DS Lite. No, before that. Oh, so it was the old the DS chonky then. one. I think so. I think it was a chonky boy. Well, I had um, the chonky boy, but then I switched mine for a light. When that. Yeah, I found I found some interesting stuff there. I need to go through all that stuff. Um, see what I was uh, missing. Found a little stash of bullets and everything. I didn't even know I had. Who knows what? Who knows what treasures await? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, who knows what treasures at the end of this video? Twenty four seconds left. Do oh, it. Oh, oh boy. But of all time. So, joking aside, if you want to actually step up your role game, click the link below and check out Exter right now with a special 20% off Filmento discount. As always... Yeah, after checking out their wallets, I don't know if this ad here really conveys the sort of uh, grandeur and elegance that they try and portray on their website for who this, this, yeah, he, this he needed item to... is marketed to. You need to have sell. Michael Bay film footage, and then just like the the sleek the cars wallet. and the yeah. cool explosions and stuff, and then just be like, yeah, also I have this wallet. And of course you do. Thanks for watching. Alright, that's it. Alright. Man, bad. Oh, bad. Yeah, that was really shit. So yeah, the Tomorrow War is really bad, guys. I, I think they the probably got that message from what we said. <laughs> like, vaguely. I, I think they know. may have picked it up. I hope so. Yeah, because it's pretty, it's pretty bad. It's pretty we waited terrible. 90 minutes for this. <laughs> there were people who were literally like, can you please continue? And it's just like, there ain't anything left, guys. <laughs> That's it. It's just going to tell you to buy a wallet. And plus, I think it was an interesting detour into the history of coins. And I think notes. it was too. That was a fascinating. I wish I found it because I I know I've got some interesting stuff in there. I just I got to go through all my mm -hmm. things. I haven't really been up there in a while. Who um, knows? Yeah, I, I like my 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 first graphics card is like in there in a box. Um, I like I said the 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 OG iPod Nano was in there. I noticed. I was just kind of looking through the boxes. Um, all kinds of different different peripherals and things. Some old, uh like boxes and books and just stuff that you just forget out that you have over time. I need to go through and go through there and hell on the EFAP 150. Yeah, I just, here's what I found when I went going through the closet. What interesting things have I uncovered? Oh, look, it's this. I didn't even know I had, Oh, look, fallout new Vegas My on Xbox 360 a little gnome. collector's edition. I could find, I could find a little gnome. That's true. It's like Rex, you have to help me. And you're like, no, 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 no. you stay in there. Oh. This is your gnome place. This is your gnome place. You don't get to leave, all right? You're my prisoner. Gnomes still don't have rights. It. He's like, oh man. Nobody's coming to help you. Nobody <laughs> knows you're here. Nobody cares. You're How mine. does that make you I feel, gnome? You. Your property. You you mean as much to me as my table. Oh. He's like, man. no! Because he gets locked in the box kicked down the stairs. We fall, yeah, he falls into it, and Ragza just has like a box with no, it's an endless pit box. Tosses him. <laughs> he does say no, but then as it ends, he goes, no. Gnome. Gnome. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's like the entire joke structure for those Sherlock gnome like movies. It's just puns with gnomes. Genius. Um, which means we would, we would now go on to Super Chats. Oh boy! Um, All right. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm a little too tired. Strap on. To to even. I'm just gonna read them out instead of playing games. I'm just. I'm. I'm that chill right now. I just wanna. Wow. I can't. I don't know how long I'm gonna last though. Uh, yeah. we, we ain't gonna be able to get through all of them. I'm afraid. But uh, we will do our best. Uh, where are we? Clickety clack. They will. This is the thing, guys. Like this next week. I'm not gonna be able to do any catch up streams. Um, we'll do the anniversary, and then after that, we will catch up with every last one. Um, 
Which will make sense, by the way. You got lots of stuff that's going to be coming soon. Stuff we can be like, oh wow, that and that and that. And it's like, yeah. So anyway, the first one says, "Hi Rex." Hey there. And the next one, we've had this one every stream. Lord Longbone of Mutchlington Abbey. I'm sorry to bother you again, but have you given any thought to a Kong fab of Peter Jackson's Long Kong? P.S. Hello, Wagsies. Squitches for the good boy. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, just every time it may happen. I'm starting to think you do this every stream on purpose. And so I will now start answering it as, yeah, probably. We will probably do yeah. it. We will, we will probably have a Kong Fap. Mm -hmm. We watch the movie. I'm, if we like, we le legit had plans to. It was just on our list of things that we need to do that got oh. swallowed up by all the other things that we ended up doing. We did for Kong v Godzilla. They're talking about um, Peter Jackson Kong. Oh, that one? Yeah, mm -hmm. that was always on the table, but we never really set a Yeah, we haven't set anything for it. It is crazy. Kong vs. Godzilla, it almost happened so many times, and we never saw it. Yeah, um, it was, it was, yeah, it was brushing with destiny for weeks, but it just never, <laughs> just never, never quite got happened. There. Yeah. We always, two other things came out. We watched so many things, but it just took a backseat to those. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure it's awful. <laughs> you don't need us to tell you that. Uh, what would you rather fight? Ten emu-sized giraffes, or one giraffe-sized emu? Wait, uh, ten, ten emu-sized emu giraffes? Or, hmm. I'd, I would rather fight the ten emu-sized giraffes. Because yeah. I feel like a giraffe-sized emu is just like a, a dinosaur. It's a, <laughs> it's a something out of a Dungeons and Dragons manual. Like, I don't want to mess with that. But I, I feel... Yeah. Like, at least with the 10, I could isolate one or two, and... I don't know, I, what if I they're just, really I hostile, could, though? And, like, their numbers... Well, I assume they are, but I think that the, the kill and death potential of a smaller giraffe is going to be more manageable than a... Like, because it's... Like, an emu is bad enough, but an upgraded emu, and not just an upgraded emu, a super upgraded emu, yeah. will just be on a different level of deadly. Yeah, oh. I think so. With an emu, is is there a is there a possibility here that we could tackle it by buying it, like grabbing those legs and just ta even if it's the size of a giraffe, and then just trying to go for that neck and crush it? No, I think it'd be too big. That'd be tough. Cause it could, cause an emu can like jump up and do yep. all kinds of stuff, and I w I don't want to get anywhere near its legs, cause that's those are its weapons, and I I just true. Don't know. I just... I, I worry because we learned today about the giraffe kicking, and I wonder if sure. ten of them, and they're all trying to get you. I wonder if that's going to be tough to deal with. I, I, here's the thing. I think that a giraffe generally kicks in defense of itself. Um, so if it's trying to chase you, its ability to kick you with its hind legs is going to be difficult. So that will limit its ability to be able <clears throat> to kick you because it's trying to pursue you and chase after you. If it's as... I'm more concerned about the neck because that's how giraffes, like gi giraffe males, compete over females. I think they just bash each other, each other with their necks. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I would need to see how giraffes fight. Typically, <laughs> then I'd be able to make a more sure fire guess. I don't know. I obviously wish to go for the one where I have a more. Uh, a higher chance of survival, but I just don't know which one that may be. Now, maybe there's an aspect. It would be. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to keep it harping on. Um, get stuck in a rabbit hole, and we'll just hmm. giraffe hole, right? Very common for giraffes. Giraffe I, hole. Yes, that's where giraffes are born. Oh yeah, they yeah. Welcome to the world. And you just tumble Climb out down of the to giraffe hole. It's really cute. Yeah, the G hole. I've read somewhere. Don't remember exactly where. The giraffe's kick can decapitate a lion. Oh, I think. Oh my goodness. I think you might have read that one. Um, yeah, it's pretty fucking neat. If if true, in terms of like, what a what a Chad giraffe you'd feel like if he's trying to trying to eat you. Give it one good kick and his fucking head falls off. Damn. 
Uh, was the one who sent Black Rifle Coffee last stream was testing if YouTube was censoring or if my card wasn't working. It was my card. Ah, well. Hello there. Thank you. Mm. Hi, Wags. Hello. Mola, you are Lesbonius. Yeah, that's fair. And Sup Frog Daddy G. He's, uh, he's currently BRB'd. He shall return. You shouldn't mess with zebras. The daughter of the doctor that helps them will kill you too. Oh no. Very true. There's always going to be a doctor attached to any zebra you try and hurt. Mm. He'll fuck you up. Or his daughter will. Uh, you know what's the one good thing about the UK, Australia, and Canada that we have over the US? We didn't butcher the English language. We say zebra instead of zebra, like plebeians. Mm-hmm. Damn. How, how do you feel about that, right? Are you okay with that? Say that one more time. <laughs> <laughs> somebody somebody here feels that um, zebra is the absolute superior way of pronouncing the, the, the animal's... Uh, is animal's name? Is that correct? Animal's title? Animal's name. Yeah, it's a name. Name, yeah. Um, instead of zebra. I don't know. I don't really... Hair, I don't know which one's better. We just say it differently here. Wow. Because <laughs> like we say, like we have, like in the, our alphabet, we say Z and you guys say Z, and maybe that's like a zebra, zebra thing, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Zebra. Uh, gonna catch this later because I'm making major progress on my 5 plus hour DMC5 review. Shameless self-advert. I want to keep the bad mm -hmm. ball rolling. Um, hope you've all been doing well. Big love and respect for you guys. Keep up the fantastic work. Well, thank you. And you too. Five hour videos can be quite a stressful experience. I hope it all goes well. Uh, giraffes slap each other with their necks to fight. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> As you mentioned. All right. Is it the loser is just like, oh, my neck's hitting too much, I'm out. I mean, um, none of this shit. Ow, stop it. <laughs> Who would win in a cook-off, Tonald or Hassan's mum? Mm. Oh, Tonald. Tonald is... It's, if, if all you're doing is just cooking chicken nuggets, you're bound to get start getting... You're slipping. You yeah, know? this is the you, thing. You're not able to practice like you need to. and yeah. Don't know what her cooking prowess really you know, amounts to if we're only seeing nuggies and that's it. Just, you know. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Tonald, oof, he's, he's cooking up a whole banquet. Uh, through all EFAP-related content, what has been the hardest going to get through you've covered or anything you've given up on because it was so bad? So, Phil Mentor's so, video today, really actually. really tough to get through for me. The one today is, is one of the highest scorers for difficulty, I think. We were all having yeah. yeah. Um the good I question, say Cosmo though. for the voice. A big part of it is his his annoying voice he puts on. It fucking sounds terrible and it's grating on my ears and it just just ugh, it's it's a frustrating voice to have to listen to. Movie Bob is pretty bad. And if you remember, we'd have to slow him down in order to be able to understand what was even happening. And, yeah, and Movie yeah. Bob would speak in complete fucking nonsense. Hmm. But like hardest video, I'm I'm really not sure I could pick one. I'm not, I'm not sure. High top is Picking frustrating. One. He's funny though. <laughs> I do he consider funny. pretty funny. He is funny, but also so, frustrating. So fucking melodramatic about every little thing that ever existed. The end of the world. He, by the way, is like trying to con get his audience to convince him to make a Black Widow video because he just doesn't care about the film. I find that so funny. He's like, guys, it'd be good I for views, to, but, like, but like, I don't yeah. care about it. <laughs> it's like, oh man. The struggle. Um, humans initially performed endurance hunting. We'd literally just keep chasing things until they died of exhaustion. We were all just fat these days, lol. Well, it makes sense we're not doing do that, that anymore. You can do that with big lizards around here. Um, when I was uh, in scouts and stuff, we, we were in the woods often, and you'd have pretty uh, big lizards around, and you could just like literally run them down. 
you, they would just wear out too quick. And especially if you're a spry young lad and you could just go for it for a long time, mm-hmm. they, they wouldn't stand a chance. You just wear their ass down. And then you catch them just to say you caught them and then you let them go. And that would be that. And the lizard was probably very confused by all this. <laughs> Fucking humans. So weird. I was always at, uh, pretty sure it was a video you um, didn't finish. It's like, we uh, we never finished the Quentin uh, TRO video, I don't think. We only got, like, we, we got to like an hour and a half, I think. That was over two streams. Do you remember those days, Rags? Episode oh. 9 and 10, that was. No, 8 and no, 9. No, I don't remember. You know, 8 and 9, because 10 Maybe is where TRO saw, came if on. I... If I saw the video, it would probably jumpstart my memory and I'd know exactly what it was because I guess that's just how I am. But yeah, pulling it out of thin air, I just do not remember. It's crazy to think it was like three years ago. You know, t- time, time. It just, time, time is a mystery. Time is a, time is a, mystery. a velvet rope. <laughs> it's like it's, two boats or something. Yeah. Giraffes have the same number have of neck vertebrae as humans. Theirs are just much larger. Neat. Hmm. Hey, I got banned on that stream. I'm so proud. I was Ogre Lord 69,000. I misspelled Obey as o- Obey with an A. But it was worth it to be banned by Hassan. Hi, Rags and Frog. Uh, I'd say it's a badge of honor, but he bans anybody, so I don't know. Yeah, is it a badge of honor if he's <laughs> it's like all you have to do is just go hello and he's like, whoa. It's like neat. That's it's like, oh that's line. that's neat. But I wouldn't go any further than that. Yeah. Well, you guys finished that, TRO? I watched a few days ago. What we did with TRO is we skipped from like an hour and a half to the end, I think. So we I don't think that counts as finishing it. We, like, skipped over 20 minutes. Maybe one day, episode 1000, we will return to the unfinished portion of that video, because it would be funny. Maybe. Yeah, his video was shit. We've covered a lot of shit videos, I would we say. We have. In a few, yeah. I see a lot yeah, of requests for stuff. specific EFAP movies. Idea. Set up a Patreon or equivalent and have low-tier donators vote on what movie to watch and high tiers decide what movies appear on the poll. Ah, Can sorry. We ban them? We'll, uh... There are a lot of ways no. to do that, that that would be efficient yeah. monetarily, but that's just not the way it's decided. We, uh, we go with what we're all interested in seeing. That's the best way to do it, honestly. Fun fact, there was a horse versus humans long distance race, and there was a year when a human won the race. Irax. Wow. Hi! So is that... Like, the idea is that they both run, and they just have to keep running, the first one to stop loses? Or is it... And then it would depend on how far they both got, I guess? I don't know, I was, I'd be curious how that's determined. Would it be a certain length that they have to run, and the human just did it faster? I figure if, say for example, just to make this easy, if they both went to 10 meters and they both fell over, it's like, oh, they're pretty much the same, but if the horse made it to 10 really fast and the human made it to 11 but slightly slower, would the human win? Or would they lose mm. because they came second? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I'm beginning to wonder if urban fantasy, even good ones like Buffy, can ever have good world building. Your opinion, and how would you fix the problem? Um, so I'm assuming they're talking about trying to integrate stuff like demons and and orcs and whatever else into like a, like bright where it's like a normal world. I guess that's the problem. Is it depends on where it starts. If the urban fantasy, like if you if you just had a, a contemporary normal setting and then you dropped a bunch of fantasy elements in, like some event happened and then that created it, you can that would be easier to work with than trying to create yeah. a world where magic always existed, but for whatever reason, we ended up in the same place. Yeah, that's where the problem comes in. If you're like, we've got all the fantasy stuff, but we're still kind of in the exact place you all understand and recognize. Just like, that seems unlikely. Yep. And so you'd have to create something kind of new. I feel like that's just sort of like a, that's a market to be tapped. Sounds like it could be cool. Well, yeah, it could be. Uh, thoughts on a ghost story? I don't Not know what that is. I don't, yeah, I don't know, know what that is, yeah. I'm not sure. 
have not seen it. Finally, I got you live on a day off, you damn long noids. Uh, I will last till the end. The end, I tell you. Hi, Rags. Hi there. Uh, easier said than done. Well, let's see if let's see if they lied. Clob muck. Are you in chat right now? Hmm. Hmm. Because it's eight and a nearly nine hours later. Let's see if you lied. Got got my eye on you. Um. Enough about hero rats. How about god geese? God geese. Wonder how effective they are. I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna guess how his response will go. Hassan. What was that, sorry? They can be loud. Geese are loud. Mm -hmm. Maybe they can deafen their opponents. Maybe. Um, Probably not, I'm, though. I'm gonna guess how his response will go. Hassan. You know, you know, these guys, these guys, they just, they just don't, don't get it, you know? Assholes. Yeah, that's pretty much how it went. Um... So he didn't understand that what he's doing is something he's done forever, and that um, as soon as a YouTuber says to stop, he will, and that's fine. And that YouTubers should be able to, you know, just move on. It's fine. It was a very underwhelming response, but simultaneously he fucking hates our guts and thinks our content is terrible. Without having seen it. <gasps> Damn. Scathing. The club. Well, apparently, yeah. Some about our name, I guess, this EFAP. Ugh, that sounds dirty and good. It's probably terrible. Good. Um, would you rather be killed by a Komodo dragon, a Gimpy Gimpy plant, or piranhas? Um, fuck. I'll, I'll take my chances with the Komodo dragon. I think. When you say take your chances, I hear, I, th you get killed in I all of these three. So I hope yeah. that it will be the quickest of the. Oh, okay. Um. Even though I know I, that Komodo dragons are like pretty not quick in terms of venomous. like the, the method, that's my hope, right? Is that the venom will will kill me or at least numb the pain? Um, Piranus, Gimpy Gimpy is obviously out. Ob there's no way I'm not taking that one. Uh, and Piranus is another one where it's like, man, I don't want to be bitten to little bits by a bunch of yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't want. I don't want to be devoured in bites, little piranha bite-sized pieces. And uh, fuck that. I'll take yeah, my I'll chances take the with the poison. Yeah. I, I Let's like do the Komodo this. dragon. These are all horrifying. I just don't. Know. <laughs> I feel like Gibby Gibby has to go because it's like, for what I understand, the worst pain in, in existence. Base. Well, it seems that way. Yeah. And also, think about what it means to die by that. You're dying by yeah. it's the pain, not by well, any like trauma if, to your body or. If someone said the pain is so extreme it like knocks you unconscious and you die from, uh, I don't know. That doesn't seem to be how it works though. It seems like the because of course the the example is that the pain was so bad that a man chose to end his life rather than deal with it. Oh well, I don't know how it works. As in, like, have we done tests with many subjects? Well, I mean, the problem is it's like it seems like you. It's incredibly painful, but you're aware of the pain, and that there's not much that you can do to stop it. Um, at that point, at that point, I was gonna say it would probably depend on the amount of piranhas, because if if there's this, and and I I guess I just need to know the time the times on how long it takes to kill. Because if they tell if they told you the piranhas will kill you within two minutes and the komodo will take ten minutes, what would you choose then? Uh, the piranhas one and the komodo ten. Um. I guess by virtue of that, I'd probably take the piranhas, because it'll be over quicker. Somehow I imagine that it's just so much more horrifying to be eaten by piranhas than Komodo Dragon. I think that's the, the reason why it feels... Like, piranha feels like a really bad way to go. Um, I feel like whereas... I can... Like, it's more imaginable. Like, you can imagine it in the sense of... I can't imagine what it's like to be... Um, like to die of like a venomous bite or something. Mm. I feel like I'm going to take my chances with that because I can imagine how terrible the other one is. I'm picturing him like 
eating a whole leg of mine off, and I'm getting fully infected and bleeding out, and I'm just like, this this almost feels a little normal as a death. I guess the thing is, that's the thing. I, Komodo dragon feels more akin to, like, dying by bear than, you know, per, than piranha, which feels like a really... Piranha feels like, yeah, you, guess... you're losing po small portions of yourself until you're no longer alive. It's just that, that's like, yeah. that's some of that surreal horror stuff. And I guess that's what I mean, is, like, if I, if my leg gets bitten off, I'll be dead super quick, because I'll bleed out. So, like, I feel like, yeah, I'd, I'd take the Komodo dragon if it means losing the limb. Yeah, just to I, th out. I think I agree. The, the take the chances thing with the Komodo. Yeah. Uh, yo, 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 Fringy and Short Fat Otaku, did you know that orca whales are known predators mooses? Crazy fact, right? What, they eat moose? I, I guess, if you have enough coastline in Canada. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Well, this they is the thing. They're bound to I was going to say, I feel like orcas would fuck up anything that they are able to get in its sort of habitat. Well, yeah, they're top of the food chain. Um, it's not yeah, just, it's they, just that they're, they're also super smart at killing things, right? Like, they, they even use their environment yeah. and stuff. Apparently they hunt in groups as well, like wolves. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Hello, Massives. If destroying cause and effect as Loki does is a deciding factor for it being a 1 out of 10, what are factors to decide between 2 instead of a 3 and so on? Thanks for what you do. It's um, getting more difficult nowadays when everything's either yeah. a fucking 2 or 3, but mm. um, I don't think we have any criteria set in stone. A lot of this is based off of its comparison to other things. Well, yeah. so here's an interesting a one how much but it's good. If... Loki as a show was as broken in terms of its world building and time and all that shit, but the character work was phenomenal. I'd have to wonder what our rating would actually be. Would we be like it has to default to one, or would we be like the characters are fucking great, but the whole world is kind of broken in terms of how time works and how the world works and how choices have become fucking meaningless? So it'd be pretty I think complex. It could because yeah, I think it could. The The distinction between plot and character is going to be clear enough, I feel, for the most part, that well, you can make specific points on either, but so I feel like it can. I was talking about this the other day. It was like, storyline is the, the line of cause and effect all running smoothly. If you split it up into all of the lines, so like one scene, for example... They're all lining up to attack each other in Civil War. There isn't, if you highlight one break in that, that it destroys everything, because you've got a line for every character, as well as whatever wheel building led to it as a line, and then just like plot reasoning for certain things. So for example, we talk thoroughly about how Black Widow being there and everything she does is, is really good. Ant-Man, not good. Spider-Man, good. Iron Man, not good. Cap, good. Black Panther, not good. Eventually I'd be like, so we're looking like a 50-50 split here. As opposed to if someone mm -hmm. said, well, no, one motivation's broken, the whole scene is broken. And so what I'm saying is like, that 1 out of 10 for Loki is probably something we should have made more clearly. It's, I really don't feel it's simply representative of how they've broken reality. It's also because everything else is fucking terrible too. Like it doesn't, yeah. you know. Yeah. I think there has to be consideration given to the good stuff. Even, even like. If yeah. yeah, it's almost like a combo where in some games you can only get so high if you combo things. Maybe it, like a combination of everything almost gets it extra badness in the sense. Um, I don't know. Like I said, a lot of the stuff that we make in terms of where things fall on the one to ten scale is in relation to other things. So in theory, it gets more accurate over time mm -hmm. and it gets more robust over time. But I'm definitely fine with the idea that if you do good character work, it can it can elevate and raise up. A, yeah, because we we've, we've already done this for uh, the Nevers, right? Yes, um, I, I feel like the, the character work is strong enough that it it elevates a, a generally not good plot. Yeah, the plot's not very strong. In fact, it's funny because like I'm trying to think. Is like how was the will building in that? Was it okay? Is that what we would say? I don't remember. I think it's okay. Um, I think they could. I think do it's better. okay, uh, and I don't want to confuse world building with just aesthetic of the world. Um, well, no, yeah. I'm talk I'm, so I'm talking about all the sci-fi shit. I don't yeah, know what yeah, I should that's, say that's in case someone's looking to, well. to watch it. Um, 
So like origin uh, of powers, how they interact, and what. So all like the governing bodies and what they've chosen to do, all that sort of stuff. Like it seems mostly fine from what I remember. Fine. Yeah, I was about to say. I was just about to say fine. If you ever, if you take it all out, I feel like it's fine. It's just a lot of a lot of the specifics of events that take place are really tismy. Yeah, and and sort of, I guess the point I was trying to make was, if you have a line for each character, a line for each of those things, and several are broken, but several are in place. It's like if you break them all, especially the world, of course, it's just like it's just automatic failure, or at least close to failure, which is the. Uh, the one out of ten is what we save it for. Um, because I was thinking about infinity tisms. It's like it's not like we really did a a great effort of deciding if the characters were on point in that. So maybe perhaps we judged it too harshly, and perhaps it would mm. it could be considered a high one compared to Loki's low one. Like Loki was pathetic. It's got yeah. nothing going for it. Like there's just nothing. Um. Well, yeah, we we have high and lows of every number except a ten. So I, I, I'm fine with the one having high ones and low ones. Well, I guess in the same but way I, that we I don't have a high and low for zero, right? Yeah, because it's not even like a story at that point. Yeah. Maybe, maybe there's some special... Maybe once you get to the extremes, you have the special cases. But yeah, I don't see a zero even being... A low one is probably the, the lowest you can get. And so... um. Yeah, so they're asking, like, the difference between two and three. It's like, so all of those threads that are alive and well, if, um, you know, a lot of them are knocked out, it could be a three. And then if, like, very few things work anymore, it, it, it's honestly... This goes for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like, we... It, you try and spot, like, eyeball just how much continuity there is versus in, in continuity or discontinuity. What word am I looking for there? Is um. it discontinuity? Is there a word for that? Uh, Incontinence. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'd be happy to call it that. It'd be fun. Um, Plot. <laughs> so, yeah, Incontinence. continuity versus incontinence in relation to writing. And, yeah, you, I guess you try and weigh it up. Because this is what happens at the end of each of our DC movie watches. We all basically, like, give a number. And we're, we're usually close. Um... But then we start arguing to each other, like, why we feel that it should be higher or lower, and we usually try to come to a conclusion. Um, yeah. So, Short Fat Otaku has joined the Far Right Left podcast. I always knew he was the most extremist of centrists. Yep. Yeah. Just oh, came right on. Uh, what would you rather have as a pet? Raccoons or red pandas? Um, man, that's tough. Red panda. I Probably think. a red panda. More exotic. I think I'd want a red panda. Yeah. I, I, well, the more problem exotic. is I don't want to undersell raccoons, like sort of cool factor in terms of lock picking and stuff. Like that. That's a fun little gimmick. Yeah. But red pandas are pretty neat too. And then the follow up: What would win in a death battle, a grizzly bear or a polar bear? All right, polar bear. From what I understand, the polar bear outclasses the grizzly bear. Polar bears, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's is that is, is that a matter of just size and power? Big and aggressive. There you go. Uh, what is the most brutal death scene that you've seen in movies? Mine would be Quint's death in Jaws. Um, mm. honestly, the first thing that comes to mind for me is from fucking Tombstone. No, not Tombstone. Sorry. Uh, bone tomahawk that's it um where they do like the medieval thing where you hold a guy by his leg mm -hmm. each person and then you just cut down right, and split them uh, is, if that's what it's called i'm not 100 percent sure um i think yeah that's that death it wasn't just the gore it was also the sounds um it's fucking horrifying and this is the thing i I'm not sure if it's the same for you guys, but like, there's a film called Hostel. There's lots of films like this that are built for gore, and they don't yeah, hit me I the same way really that um something like Bone Tomahawk did, like where that. I actually like kind of care about what's happening. I'm invested, and then something horrifying happens well, to somebody. I mean, I think it's the thing of like Mortal Kombat. Like, you never watch that and get like yeah. it's not uncomfortable because it's just so unrealistic. It's just 
you can't buy into it but like if it looks realistic even if it's less graphic it can still be more disturbing oh chernobyl that's another good one yeah oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was, yeah, that was, that was tough dude the um there's so much good stuff in that show but when when they're like as townspeople appreciating like the um the ash or something and yeah. it's like you guys are dead like this just but they don't they have no clue Mm-hmm. Oh, and the fucking dude who picks up the graphite. Oh. Yeah, and his hand. Yeah, I forget um, his name, yeah. Start, he's, he gets that radiation burn through the glove. Yeah. And, like, that starts happening almost straight away. And then, I mean, I remember it's it's been talked about, but how effective it is when they look into the core, and it's just, like, it, it looks They show horrifying. it so briefly. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the... Again, you guys gotta see Chernobyl. It's yeah. it's great. so fucking good. It's amazing. Um, yeah, got some excellent actors for it as well. Yeah, I, I love it. It's such a great show. I would highly, highly, highly recommend you guys check out Chernobyl. Talk about oh, by the way, Chernobyl is becoming in these videos. It's it's like my go to for an excellently uh, executed theme, and it's not. It, it it's it's just it does it really really well so it's one of those not only does it do all these other things it actually does a good job of having an idea and a concept and uh, like a thematic element to it and mm -hmm. uh, doing it well um over under on how many hassan orbiters will pop up to accuse efap of stirring up unnecessary drama humor me chat also hello rag mula and fringu Hello. Hey, I don't really expect response. I feel like that's where it ends today. Yeah. I, I'd be surprised if you would want to keep anything going. Because um, you'll just say the same things, which, and there, there will be more and more people who will become like opposed to that stance. So, this is the thing. I think, has, we, I think I think we've think done. Even he knows there's nothing to gain. I think we've done yeah. some good work in terms of like getting the message a little bit more exposed. In terms of like what you're doing is shit. Stop it. All right, moving mm -hmm. on. <laughs> this is like, hope you guys can uh, open up of his chat. Are actually like, hmm, maybe that EFAP lot. You know, they're obviously incel Star Wars fans. We're wrong about everything, but maybe, maybe they had a point on this one thing. I don't know. The seed yeah, has been planted. They won't give up an inch. Well, they'll get banned if they did. So. And that's true. Yeah. Sans banned EFAP in his chat. I think it's done. Yeah, I'd I'd assume so. Yeah. Um. A stingerless bumblebee the size of a cat is cool. I think this is when we're talking about, like, imaginary pets that you could have as whatever you want. A bumblebee the size of a cat without a stinger. Uh, I worry I feel like about... they would be very loud when they fly around. Yeah, and I worry yeah. that the bumblebee... Would it be comfortable, or would it be like... What would it do? Just sort of chill? What would it do? Yeah. Because I mean, it can't interact like a... with flowers anymore you know it's too big you'd have to give it a special diet something to eat which i feel that mm -hmm. it's i feel like you could have food for a large bumblebee pretty easily if especially if it's just like a, like a sugar-based substance um but i just i think it in terms of keeping it happy it's like it's a bug like i i, I don't think they're that complex of, of a critter like yeah. I assume and as long as it's bees just... are too social, you know, there's that social element. Just yeah, you know, if you remove they, it from like, that they environment, they have a hive. Yeah, mm -hmm. does it have a queen? Does it have a thing to do? Um, why are people saying high dev? Is that another name for him? Yes, it's short for devastator. Yeah, the, yeah. What he's known as on these on these parts of the internet. <clears throat> no, I didn't get a notification for this stream. Wasn't able to put some nuggies in the microwave for this stream. Woe is me. Oh, Dude, that's just... That's hell. It just doesn't get worse than that. As animals are domesticated, they retain more and more adolescent features. Assuming that's true, what wild animal would you domesticate for looks? Mm. For looks? I guess it's just like which animals do you consider to be the cutest when they were younger that aren't yeah, currently are domesticated. Um, I 
mm, there's Cheetah a bunch. Cubs that's the like, thing. Yeah, there's a lot once you start. Yeah, a lot of the big cats, like just yeah. cats, are, like kittens are just generally cute. Same thing with dogs, you know, this, kittens and puppies are just really cute. Yep. Um, well, uh, hyenas are baby cute. seals. I mean, oh, baby so, seals, seals are, are like cute. at the top of the, yeah. I was watching um, Clarkson's Farm. I fully recommend it. Anyone who has Amazon Prime, it's waiting for you. It's just about Jeremy Clarkson doing a farm. It's real funny and really <laughs> engaging. There's an episode where he's um, having to birth lambs because his sheep are obviously giving birth and stuff. And like, it's um, there's loads of like bad things to it in terms of it, there, there can be stillborns. It's all very like, uh, you know, there's lots of flesh and slime and blood, and there's, there's all kinds of things can go wrong. But like, there's this very moment. Unpleasant. Yeah, there's this moment where there's a successful birth, the little lamb gets out, and it makes just a, a, a shorter, higher-pitched version of the, like, bleating that we've heard from all the other sheep for a while. And it just starts walking around, and I literally went, aww, and then Jeremy went, aww. <laughs> it's just like, because <laughs> it's almost impossible not to, when you see, because they're, like, super adorable. And, um, it's one of those things where, like, even he's just like, you know what, that, that part makes it all worth it. Um, but yeah, animals are just fucking oftentimes very cute when they're young. Um, I think there's a lot of birds that are terrifying when young, and then they um, get their feathers in and stuff, and they look a lot more normal, and you're like, oh, there you go. Yeah, baby birds are just like shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, chi there's some exceptions, like chicks that are like yeah. chicken chicks and little ducklings. Those are Those are cute when they're born. But a lot of other birds, once they're out of the egg, they are just hideous, awful creatures. They're just monstrous little dinosaurs. Ugh. They 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 develop well. Like a, an adult duck is cute. Um, a a oh, sorry, not an adult duck, but like a like, what's a good example? Uh, well, in fact, like almost all nor like, quote unquote normal birds, like robins and sparrows and things, when they when they are adults, they they retain their cuteness. They're very yeah. Lovable. They they have that Disney princess kind of thing well, they, going for them. You know, even adult ducks are often the the image of cuteness for a lot. Of, like, people love ducks, even though yeah, ducks are it, they're very it, they can't hurt you. They're they're harmless. They are very amicable. They're they're social. They're often going to be around people in the ponds and things. They can get used to people quite a bit. Um, they they make. They they don't make unpleasant noises. Um, they're they're super chill. Yeah, there's a lot to like about ducks. My first word was duck because we had a lot of ducks nearby, and so when I I just pick picked it up, and that was my first word was duck. Nice. Um, I want a Jabba slice from Warhammer Fantasy. Well. Let's have a look at what that is. Jabba Schleith or Sleeth. Oh. He looks big. I guess if he's all like cute and small and he just does. Ch oh, he's got a tongue on him. Uh. Well, you know what? You, you, you do you. Everyone's allowed to choose whatever they want. Uh, Star Trek Enterprise explained cl why Klingons in the original series look different by saying they had geneticism. Discovery changed the Klingons just for the toys and gave zero explanation. Rotten Tomatoes gave Enterprise 55 and Discovery 84. Yeah, well, I don't... Yeah, the critics are shit, so I don't even... Well, I was gonna say, we've... we've about any of them. We've pretty much gotten to the point where, do critics ever praise something for how, like, it, it has cause and effect? Is that something they ever fucking do? Yeah, especially now with how much how how much so much stuff is politicized and how a lot of people who have these re critic positions view things like that, it's just, it's it poisons the process. I just um, feel like part of it is yeah. that it would be too boring to do that. Got to got to do something else. You know what? This is this says great things about this had this was a great allegory for the Vietnam War. And you're like, oh. oh. And when it comes to the, the changing of things in Star Trek, when you had, like, the Cleons were essentially just brown humans, brown-skinned humans, 
they looked very similar to how humans looked in the o- in the original. I was at OT, the original series, and then in TNG, they had a much more distinct look that my is my favorite look. They just look, I think they look great in TNG. They have such an awesome and same thing with Deep Space Nine. They just have this great look to them. Um, and then you know, in in the new shows, they changed them to some bullshit. I guess I'm fine with the idea of just not even addressing the reason for it and leaving that in the realm of a different era, different show, trying some new things while keeping the name like you have, like in the original series for Star Trek, all the fucking buttons and knobs of the 60s that were on this space age ship. It's like it's, you know, it's an old yeah, and how you can modernize things to have more panels and stuff like that well, yeah, no, like it's just, there's always ways to escape that just... too narratively you should be like we did a revamp of the fucking the ship we, we we felt like the technology it wasn't the you know that tech was from literally decades ancient times it was just like a style one of the captains really liked having like an outlook that was just... more um retro or something like that i don't know and like the new captain's like no nah, we don't want to do retro no more we to do this one if you wanna, you don't have to. Yeah, but and, and but when you're changing like the look of entire races, just leave it in the nudge nudge wink wink territory. I don't even know. I, I feel like any explanation you try to give of that stuff is gonna raise more questions than it could possibly solve. And it's an issue that just just let it l- let it go. Just let it be a thing. We all know why. It's fine. Move on and focus on important things. <laughs> What is interesting, like, right? The like, stories of the yeah, you know, episodes. If, if the makeup on each slightly changes, like skin tones are just a lot lighter than they used to be, or something, just be like, eh. or if there's a third horn where there used to only be a, a lump, and you're like, okay, I guess that's a horn now. Um, I think you can get away with just not saying anything. Just be like, oh, they're just yeah, just different people of that species. But if it's like a dramatic change, um, and you can implement it, it's just like I don't know. I think you should probably go for it. I think people appreciate an acknowledgement. If you remember when they um they morphed a black man into a different black man from Iron Man One to Iron Man Two, uh when when Robert Downey Jr. first sees Rhodey he says something like, Wait, oh shit, you're here? And then Rhodey says, Yes, this is me, I'm here, let's just get on with this or something like that. As a it's like a meta line. It's like, yeah, that's Don Cheadle, that's not the other guy. Moving on. Like, okay. Um, you can do stuff like that. Because this just, as as I feel Rags was kind of pointing out there, it's just like, it would be a lot of work to try and justify it narratively instead of just being like, let's just get on with it. Like, for it, and it, it's like, it's a risk reward thing too. You have like nothing to gain from trying to explain that sort of thing, really. Um, <laughs> He's like, I was in a car accident, would... I had surgery, and now I look like this. You're yeah, like, okay. like nobody. Nobody cares, and I don't want to make this like appeal. Like that's the I think this is sort of a special thing where oh, so you shouldn't care if not enough people care. I'm like, well, you have so much money and time and budget and so much focus that you can give. You need to focus on like actually important things, like the plots of the episodes and the character interactions and things of that nature, instead of trying to come up with these insane explanations as to why the entire race looks totally different than it did in the last series. Like, we all know why. Just go with it, all right? Fight. Pick your battles. They try to explain the recasting of the Oracle in the Matrix films. It's like, yeah, I remember that. It's like, I my form changes or something like that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, like, if you no. don't, if you, because it said made it worse than just not acknowledging it. It's like, I wonder, though, if it was never acknowledged that, do you think people would just talk about it as like, yeah, she was just recast? Or do you think people would be like, it was a bit jarring because I didn't know who the fuck that was. And it was like, oh, oh, oh um, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. It's hard to know exactly how much because yeah because edward norton to mark ruffalo that wasn't an acknowledged at all i don't think there was no mm-hmm. lines to acknowledge that whatsoever um so you know it's leave it purely in like one of those leave it purely in the meta sorts of things yeah um and it's tough to know exactly what choice to make i suppose because a lot of people are asking like why did they switch actors for a roadie from what i googled when i wanted to know the answer to this pretty sure is his name terrence howard is that terrence right howard. 
I think he was very annoyed that he got paid very little compared to Robert Downey Jr. He of course like, he fucking did. <laughs> well, I think at that point, Terrence Howard's career might have been in a better position than Robert Downey Jr.'s. I'm not sure. I think they were like well, head to head. Iron but... Man helped him out a lot. That's oh, well, Iron Man saved his career. He's fucking. Well, I say saved. I think he would have been probably okay or whatever if he was still he getting was on cast. The up track, but this definitely put him into like a list. You know, yeah, basically superstardom. Terrence was paid more than RDJ. He was an Oscar winner, but he was barely in the movie. Okay, well, it's something to do with pay. Um. I think it was something to do with his pay in the next movie, because I think he did get paid more, but he was meant to get more in the sequel, and I can't remember. I think that's what happened. I, I, uh, let me, let's see. Terrence Howard, Iron Man 2. Um. Hmm. How many times did Gregor Clegg get recast without explanation? Twice. In Game of Thrones, there are three people who played Gregor Clegane, and it was never acknowledged. Which, again, is fine. Might be the smart move. Just let it... It's, it's, how do you explain it in-universe? I, I will be honest. Happen. I still remember when I first saw Gregor Clegane 2, and I was confused. I was like, who the fuck is this guy? And I remember him being referred to as Clegane, and I was just like, what? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, all right, we're doing Which, this. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of like... I think the jarring aspect is something that's really only going to happen initially, and then as soon as you understand that's the thing, you'll get over it. Pretty weak with the mountain. It was weird. But, um, the last guy they got to play the mountain was fucking... seemed perfect for him. I'm just sad that it amounted to what it amounted to. He was just a zombie. Full mountain was best, yeah. Um... Oh, yeah, shit, Terrence Howard is the guy who said 1 times 1 equals 2, and he has his own workings for it. Huh. There's uh, like this whole thing he's published about how 1 times 1 actually equals 2. He's got like a whole system. Right. So, according to him, he was meant to get paid $8 million for Iron Man 2 as part of the, the deal. He had a three-picture deal. Um, then they said, nah, it's 1. And according to him, it was because Rob Downey Jr. was getting the other seven million. <laughs> See, getting paid more. Um, that's his. That's his claim, anyway. Well, yeah. Make of that what you will. I wouldn't know exactly what happened there. And yeah, and he seems to imply as well that he helped Rob Downey Jr. get the the role in the first place, um, and that I guess he didn't think they got the support that he expected. I don't know. Yeah, that's the thing. There's just so little about it that we know for sure. Yeah, you never know who's who's saying what. There's it warped by their perspectives. You know what actually happened is, yeah. And then we got Don Cheadle, who has been in these movies for eleven years or whatever, waiting to finally have his chance. The patient boy, he's nearly there. Didn't he tweet, by the way, because he got nominated for an Oscar for his role in fucking Falcon the Winter Soldier, and he said, I don't even know why. Because <laughs> he was in it for, like, <laughs> five seconds. Oh, yeah, you're right. That'd be the guest star thing. I think, yeah, you're right, he did get... <laughs> I think he was he's... in it for one scene. Yeah, I think he put out a tweet saying, to be honest, I don't get it either. <laughs> it's just, why did I earn an Oscar nomination for this? Or Emmy, whatever, I don't know. It's... Infinitely hilarious, because nobody knows why. But for reference, he was fine. Like, he, he just, he just, it was like expositional. He was just like, so, are you going to do something with a shield? And then he was like, nah. I was like, oh, okay. Um, which animal would be the scariest to fight in an uprising? Apes don't count because they they will all cheat. In an uprising, the, e the the scariest to fight in an uprising. Wouldn't the answer to this just be the which one do we want, want least want to die to? Well, um, I in an uh, which would be most deadly? Uh, like I'm trying to find out which ones would have a chance. The, well, uh, they said which ones the scariest to fight against. 
do we assume that they're intelligent enough to be organized? Or is, are they well, only they're doing intelligent an uprising. enough for the purposes of the... Oh, the only chickens enough, are only revolting. Enough to only enough to organize, maybe, is how smart they are. And it's not even... It's just a phenomenon more than actual intelligence. Um, it would probably be some animal that we use for food. Maybe cows, cows? or... Because there's a lot of cows and stuff, and they're pretty big. And if a cow's on the warpath, they could probably fuck shit up. Um, and even though like they would lose because guns exist, uh, they could do a lot of damage. And oh, their bitch. initial just um oh birds so what so birds could uh, they just gun for everyone's yeah. eyes, you know. I was thinking, what about insects? Like, if they had an uprising worldwide to be anti-human, oh, yeah, united. In, yeah, insects. Like, yeah, like imagine that, ants. That's, that's kind of terrifying, ants. honestly. Yeah. Yeah, if, if, yeah. Dude, yeah. ants, there's no way we could stop them. Like, <laughs> there's no way. The ants have a new target. It's <laughs> like, no. You'd ha yeah, you'd have to develop some kind of a strategy against ants that involves... Uh, different kinds of liquids and I guess, yeah. fires. So if it's more well, war, the antagonist were ants. That would have been more believable. Oh, that's the huge reveal them. at the end. Yeah, yeah. like oh, these are aliens. You can just shoot them with bullets and they die and use guns. But with ants, it's like oh, we we gotta adopt. A we're not equipped this. to fight ants. We have to develop strategies to fight ants. We gotta we gotta lineage in this shit. I like the idea that we find it infinitely scarier that insects just rise up around the world against humans than aliens invading. It's like, we can handle them, we can shoot them. <laughs> but the insects, like, yeah, Jesus. The insects, yeah. I mean, I guess you could shoot ants, but... Yeah, uh, yeah there would be stuff like... You, you'd have to... Once you get the system, in terms of either canals that you flush, or pesticides... Uh, dirt. Yeah, I think I think you just it'd just be about mass producing pesticides and then or insecticides. Well, so this is the interesting thing. I yeah. think that it it's simultaneously scary that we have to like fight them, and there's a good chance that they will take advantage of trying to get us at our most vulnerable, like sleeping and stuff. Um, I'm not, I'm not you know I'm not entirely sure of exactly what they would do, but I'm just thinking there's probably a lot of potential if insects were specifically just honed in on trying to hurt you at best times and stuff. But then there's also the fact that if insects are attacking us and trying to fuck us over, they it might, like, affect the world's ecosystem significantly. If they're all, like... Mm. Yeah. Because people are saying, like, we can handle them. It's like, yeah, probably, I but, like... So eventually, well, but, I don't even yeah. know probably. I feel like the, the problem that we're going to struggle with is it's going to be very difficult for us to reduce their numbers quickly enough to to stop them from replacing those losses. Like, human losses would be harder to replace than ant losses. I would imagine, anyway. I might already design tech and bunkers and stuff that make it so that bugs just can't get in, or at least they can't without being detected. I'm imagining that's where we'd end up if it got really bad. Yeah, it would it, Yeah, it would be mass production of pesticides and, you know, water, places that are built into the water, or like boats and islands and things. Um, D gasolines and fire, um, uh, d all kinds of stuff. Uh, but yeah, that that would be certainly more of a concern than a lot of other potential options. Um, yeah, because like if we went with a more understandable choice straight away, it's like if polar bears rose up or something. I feel like we just shoot them. Yeah, I feel like it's handleable. It's like, it's it's not that many, and we have guns, and it really wouldn't be a contest at all. The polar bears wouldn't have a chance. And for them to no. attack our lands, it's going to cost them significantly to get here, <laughs> like in these places. Yeah, but ants have... There's a, there's this just expendability to ants, mm -hmm. um, and the, just the sheer numbers advantage. And that's only the that's only ants. We're, we're talking, like, all insects, man. You just, we're dealing with all kinds of crazy motherfuckers that can do all kinds of things. Uh, so Imagine in Australia, can... you guys are screwed if yeah. the insects start to uprise together. Mm -hmm. So we, we would start breeding anteaters. <laughs> it 
have an army of anteaters to fight <laughs> in the trenches. Um, Mula, Mula, your enthusiasm for slave gnomes indicates your warped capitalist bourgeois worldview. Hassan Baggins, millionaire. <laughs> Hassan Baggins, millionaire. I'm very pro gnome. I just think that they belong in captivity. That's where they thrive. Mula, play card games because they're long. Hi, doggy. Hi. That's not out of the question. Play card games because they're long? They're I mean, not long. I was about to say, oh, they're not they're long, not long yeah. compared to like. Even Lego games, like, Lego games are like four times the size of a card game, probably, if that, if not more. Yeah. If you just want to burn through Call of Duty campaigns, it wouldn't take you that long. Each one's like, what, eight hours, maybe? Nine? It's like, is it six to ten is like the, probably the area for most average well, playthroughs? Well, some of them are like four or five hours. Um, Modern Warfare 2 short. Um, unhollow, unfollowed Hassan because of this drama. Banning people who disagree with you is peak toxic masculinity behavior. <laughs> yeah, that, no, it's the peak Sigma male grind set. I would just, like, I would genuinely be curious, like, you don't even have to do it on a principled set. I'd just be like, what is it that you are entertained by on his stream? I really want to know. And... You know, it's not like an impossibility or anything. What's gonna happen? But like, uh, this isn't—I didn't mean to actually exclude the fact that he's fucking done a whole bunch of things that would make you like not like him and thus not want to watch his content. But I guess I'm just stuck back at square one. It's like, why were you there? And again, not trying to insult anybody, but why were you there? I watched the whole eight hours, free and it almost killed me. Nobody should have to <laughs> suffer that way. Yeah. And there's people who do that every day, because that's what they want to do. Um, they also often wrestled with Wotek on their off time. Oh, Wojtek. Yeah. Wojtek? What's, what's that? The bear, remember? The bear. Polish artillery bear. bear. Ah, artillery. right, right, right. Yeah, they did wrestle him. <laughs> the phrase artillery bear, something that needs to be... We need more of that. Artillery of that. bears. Need... They have artillery bears. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mola, like bring... they shoot bears at us using artillery? No, 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 no. It's arguably better or worse. I don't know. Uh, Mola, bring Chase, Mam, and Morty to poop on Hassan. Who's Mam? Is, is there someone we've had on you've had before that goes hmm. by the initials Mam? 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 Moriarty? Well, no, because they said and Mark? Morty, and I'm assuming Morty's for Moriarty, because he said he doesn't Mark? like to be called Our Morty. Mark. Was well, the Mark after Dark would be Mad, but they said Mam. Maybe it was a misspelling. Is Mam a? Is that stand for M A M something? Uh, Mark after Mark. Uh, mm. Man and. Bustle, uh... Most people think that it's just a misspelling. It's like, it probably was, yeah. But, um, I'm afraid they missed their opportunity. Mark? I'm sure it would have been hilarious. Um, but Mark there will be milk. plenty for them to laugh at in future, I'm sure of it. Mark after milk, that could be it. Yeah. I gotta get through a lot of milk. I got a bunch of extra milk I gotta drink. Huh. I believe in you. Yeah. Yeah. I had to take it. It was going to go bad, so I took it. So mm -hmm. and now I, I uh, got to get through some extra milk. Luckily, I, I love me some. I love me some milk. I'm a milk drinker. Love it. Um. Yum. I'm usually hello. As to the any pet question, if we're including fantasy creatures, I would like a dog-sized xenomorph. Its name would be Frank. I could see you doing it with fire there. The thing, I could see you doing it for like a cool factor, but the thing is, those things, when left to their own devices, make like horrifying nests with slime and go oh, glooms just go all over your house. If you've modified it to the point where it, it's like a dog and it's just chill and happy and stuff, it's like I guess so. I could see me doing that in like a video game. I don't know how that would translate IRL, having your actual pet be a xenomorph, you know, but. It's fair, it's fair. 
Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you have acid blood and all that, and it's Ugh. just like the double mouth. Do not and... fucking cut yourself, <laughs> little doggo. Yeah. It sounds like it's Rags bedtime. Yeah, I'm fucking. Ugh. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm, I... I'm, I'm, I'm running on fumes right now. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure how much long I can last myself. Um, what are you guys' thoughts on the time crystal state of matter? Apparently, some scientists made one using. Google's quantum computer. I don't know anything about time crystals, I'm gonna be honest. I was gonna say, I, I, this first I've heard of it. The time crystal? State of matter? It sounds fascinating. I will further talk on it the more I discover about it through maybe articles being written or, or people talking about it. But yes, as of now, I know nothing of this. Uh, looks like you're gonna have to ruin Hassan's grandma and free his mother from serfdom. <laughs> I'd also like to eat his nuggies in front of him as a final stab. This is the thing, man. Nuggies are mine. If... You know how to make Hassan care is, um, this theoretical world, because this just wouldn't happen, unfortunately, but theoretical world. We clone... Maybe the three of us, because I want to carry on doing EFAP and stuff, but... We make a Twitch channel. And all it is is rebroadcasting Hassan and like commenting on everything he says. If it's an eight hour stream, that's just that's just how it goes. And eventually all of his viewers move over because they get the benefit of the Hassan stream plus the entertainment factor of ours. And it until it like seriously damages <clears throat> everything to do with him, until he finally admits he's like, Okay, yes, yeah, stop restreaming my shit. You're just sniping me. Or, or something like that, just to just to finally get him to, to sort of experience... Like, because you have to generate that scenario for it to make any sense to him. It has to affect his viewers or his money for him to think anything is wrong. But I was about to say, like, even in that scenario I just generated, it's like, we've technically transformed the stream if we're doing it that way. So maybe if we literally just re-broadcast... Re re-broadcasted mm. <laughs> re it... And his viewers just came to that stream instead. And um, it just kept working that way until he stopped streaming other people's videos without commentary for some reason, you know? I'm trying to think of any way that would make him change his mind, but it's, it's, it's um... Probably wouldn't happen. Unless, of course, all this shit happens with the, uh, the Olympics, and then Twitch streamers are shut down by lots of people. That's gonna be great. Mm. They'll end up reflecting on us as well. A Twitch coup. Uh, why must new movies have the cannon fodder run to melee distance with guns and not shoot the Suicide Squad good rat? Question mark. So, oh, we are seeing it on guns. Monday. Uh, so give us two days, chat, and we will we will have seen it, and it's very likely EVAP 149 will be a breakdown of the Suicide Squad. Um, not 100% sure on that, though. Because we got lots of things happening at once, but... I'm more than interested in seeing it. I used to yeah, be excited yeah. to see it, but I keep seeing lots of things being said, and now I'm worried for the film. I wanted it to be really good, but now I don't know what's going to happen, so I just want to not read anything else from what people are saying, so I can... I can just watch it. I can, I can, I can, I can just watch it, and then be like, you know what? It was a goodie, or it was a baddie. Hold you to it, mutually? No. Um, no. Mola... You penguin massive welly wanker. Why you didn't show Doggo and Froggo lay a cake with other two neat British films also play GTA SA because, um, uh, uh, um, That's I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I could play GTA at some point. I'll show them lay a cake eventually. I also want to show them, um, Rock and Roller as a, as a package of the three for the, uh, Snatch and Lockstock. But then I also want to see, I think it was called The Gentleman, which is his newest one that, I don't know, anywhere close to that. I haven't seen that, so... You know, there, there's a million films to watch. Plenty for them to show me and for me to show them. We'll get there eventually, and we'll have all the hot takes. Don't worry. Uh, hello, everyone, especially the hosts, rags, and so on. Hello. Hi! Mola, bring in Short Fat Otaku, and I'll be your biggest fan. Um, well, He was here when you sent that, so... I guess you're my biggest fan. Oh my gosh. 
Wow. Um, at Dev, watch out, Dev. Rags hates all anime except certain Ghost in the Shell shows, so be prepared. He he. I'm guessing Dev is like super into anime. Hmm. Well, his name is Short Fat Otaku. Oh. It could be ironic. I don't think it is. I think he's <laughs> big into the anime. I like, by the way, that he left the stream, he went for dinner or whatever, like a, like a date. He came back, he started up a stream for Dragon Ball, he's finished it, he's probably gone to sleep now. We're still going. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> weak. Uh, yes, weak. So, what do you guys think about the new Suicide Squad? I thought it was okay, but it does that dumb let's play music trend. Maybe 5 out of 10? Well, in fairness... If that's the worst of its sins, I'm game. You're allowed to play music in movies. It's usually the execution we get frustrated by, where it's jukebox versus, like, having any fucking purpose at all. They're just like, I want to play this song now. I play this. By the way, David Ayer said that in his version of Suicide Squad, there is no fucking jukebox shit and that it's all an original soundtrack. That interested me. That is interesting, actually. It makes me... Where is this? And I'm curious to hear it, kind of, just out of well, curiosity. What did they What did they reject and replace with Jukebox? I will be honest, right? I don't remember any... Uh, there must have been some original soundtrack in Suicide Squad, right? I don't remember yeah, any of I it. I don't remember it. Um, but I presume the film works better when it's not shoving pop songs in your face all the time. Um, or popular songs. It's distracting, yeah. And so... Yeah, because this is the thing. If a David Ayer cut existed, I would probably be interested in checking it out. At the same time, I am that interested in checking out many directors' cuts that they wanted of many films. And so I don't really... Like, the fact that he's like, mine exists and is different, I'm just like, that's great. I think that's the case for a lot of people. To be honest with you, I'm more interested in seeing the original Fantastic Four version. Um, the one that was supposed to be closer to like a horror film. From what yeah, I, uh, that'd be interesting. Yeah. Um, greetings, Brood. Here's a little quiz for you. Who said it? Yeah. Cartman or Hassan? First quote. I've been waiting for chicken for too long. That's definitely Cartman. Cartman? <laughs> I'm pretty yeah, sure we'd all guess the, that's Cartman, yeah. It's the episode with uh, where they replace KFC with medicinal marijuana clinics. It's the episode, it's the Scarface one, where Cartman basically becomes Scarface, trading an illegal Kentucky Fried Chicken because it's, it's illegal in Colorado. Which is interesting, because it's like, mafia-ish, it's like the community one was about chicken as well. Yeah. People chicken, love chicken. chicken. They do, love chicken's chicken. fucking great. I'm eat chicken after we're done here. <laughs> so, quote two. Uh, the only way to fight hate is with even more hate. That's Hassan. I was about to say, like, if I was to guess, I'd say Hassan. I don't think that's Cartman. I don't think he's Yeah, that. I would... Yeah, I could I could hear... I don't... I might go with Cartman on this one. It might be Cartman, but... I think I'm gonna go is... with Cartman on this one. The problem is... Go with they don't Cartman. expect you to go Cartman twice. That's the thing. That's how they get you. <laughs> the the problem point. with this one is that, like, Cartman has said so much now. Mm. <laughs> it's like, it's yeah. a good Hassan chance that he's... said so much now. True. He might have Wait, said it. This is where but, it's like, I yeah, could see Cartman having said Cartman, any quote, really. Cartman says more in an episode than Hassan says in an episode, so... That's true. <laughs> Cartman says more in five minutes than Hassan does in eight hours. It's like, yes, true. Um, the own, uh, so the last one is, I do what I want, which... Yeah. That's definitely Cartman, hence... Well, I, I think, think the joke it, here is, I think both of them said that. Oh, they both say it, that's true, yeah. Because, of course, you mean it doesn't think of whatever I do what I want, but, yeah, Hassan has said that in the stuff <laughs> that we've watched. Hassan it's has true. Cartman energy uh, in certain ways, and, you know. Yes. Cartman no, wasn't a role Cartman. model. Then again, Cartman wouldn't say, you gnome fuck, that's, he's... Well, he Cartman's also kind of... Intelligent. Like, he's yeah, very he's, cunning. He, I would yeah. say cunning is the word, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he can be quite a smart boy. Yeah. Snafu died for our sins. Hi, Rags. Hello. He did indeed. Spanned for our sins. Heroic Rags swims five miles to bite Chenk's nephew. 
swims five, five miles. miles. Uh, I've swum a mile before the scouts. That was one of the the mile swim. That was not fun, but you know, oh. it's good to say you did it. Yeah. Just watched Avengers Assemble and couldn't help thinking that this was scripted by some guy. And ten minutes later, Loki becomes a simp. Yeah, a little bit. Also, uh, we talked about this with like the sequels and stuff. But like, if I rewatch Avengers, if someone says like, "Wow, can you believe Loki ends up with the TVA?" I should be like, "No." No. That's not something that happened. That's bullshit. It's like, it's really shitty. Just, ew, go away. Because uh, it, 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 this is what we mean about, like, the, it fucks up watching older stuff when you do this. Like, we can't, we can't accept Loki is true. It just fucks with everything else. Mm. You just have to kind of so keep it bad, we're just head canning it, head cannoning it out of, like, an actual cannon and just shooting it far, far away. Devin, you made it to EFAP. Congratulate, congrad, congratulation. Yeah. Bronkla Dinkins. Um, who's the hottest Swedish guy? Henrik Lundqvist, Victor Krohn, or John Lundvik? Yeah, let me open Google. Say the names one more time. The name, well, actually, I'll paste them because you're going to have to spell them. They're all Swedish. Henrik Lundqvist, Victor Krohn, John Ludwig. And John Ludwig. All right. Um. Oh, Henrik. I'd say Henrik. Yeah. And uh, who's more hot, Benjamin or Bianca Ingrosso? So. I can see Bianca and Grosso. Let's let's see what uh Benjamin looks looks like. Well, how are we doing? Um, Benjamin and Grosso? I think Rags would absolutely go for Benjamin. No. Out of those two? I think so. No, definitely Bianca in terms of hotness. I don't think Benjamin is I mean he's a good looking guy. Well, Hmm. It depends. He he is extremely subject, as many people are, to framing and individual pictures. Um. Uh. Ooh, let me see. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. I think I'm I'm I think I might go with Benjamin. Yeah. I knew it. I knew you better than you knew you. I think I it's it. because when you first look them up, the images that they show are misleading in a way. But the more you look at the more you look at Bianca, the more you're like, eh, you just look fake. And the more you look at Benjamin, you're like, oh well, he's he's got a lot of he's got a lot of stuff going. He's got a lot of good looks that work for him. What do you reckon, chat? Which one would you go with? Trevor Moore of the whitest kids you know has died? Oh. Damn. I watched some of their stuff before and it was really good. That's sad. I don't, uh, I don't recognize that, unfortunately, but yeah, let's, uh, let's see it. They both average. I don't know, man. I don't think he, well, from this image, I don't, I wouldn't call him average. Bringy, why haven't you offered your perspective on these? I I don't know, and I don't. I'm indifferent. Well, okay. Answer me this: Would you say he looks average? I don't think he looks average. He'd be above average, for sure. I feel like he's above yeah. average. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Anyway, um, have you seen Suicide Squad? Not yet. No. But soon. Would love to see another meme tier list stream. Oh, when we like rate the people we've covered based on their meme ability. Hmm. Uh, it's been a while since we've done that. Yeah, and I guess we'd have to figure out what it, what was our rationale last time. It was it like amount of memes spawned from them? Because I remember it was. 
or as qual like a single big meme that keeps yeah. going and going and going. You know, maybe that's uh, yeah. Hassan has film reviews on YouTube. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I should that. check them out sometimes and see how fucking devoid of oh. insight they are. Like staring into a black hole of pain. Bringy tied me up to watch Daredevil. I can't stop. Damn, Free. Oh, that's good. It's tying people up to do that now? Alright. No. It's not true. It's not true. Um. Oh, people saying, like, is it to rate the memers? I wouldn't want to rate the memers. I love all you guys. I don't want to be doing that. That's mean. Whoever ends up on the bottom of that list will be real happy, huh? <laughs> like, well, I made the list. <laughs> um, hashtag give Amy her life back because humans aren't meant to live as rats. Ah, I understand the reference. It is true. If EFAP was Aqua Teen Hunger Force, which characters would you be? Oh, I don't know if that's showing well enough. I'd, I would be Frylock. Like, he's, uh, he's like the only, the, he's the only one approaching a sane person in that trio. So it's, like, I, I can't even imagine that Meatwad and Shake are even, like, actual people who can exist. So it's, that, that show's just fucking weird. It's good. And I, I, I really like it, but Jesus, it's just, it's not for people. If you like this, if you like shows about catharsis and things of that nature, just don't. It's just not, it's not your show. It's, it's, it's one of those, um, it, it's like, um, it's like Xavier Renegade Angel in a way where it's just sort of crazy and zany. Mm -hmm. It's not as, I, I, it's not as clever as Xavier Renegade Angel. But it's still, it's just kind of crazy. For <laughs> Carl. I'm not Shake. No. I'm afraid I, I've not good. seen it, so I don't even know what the personalities are like. I'm just like, I don't know, I'm the one that is the one that is, the, whoever the long one is. Shake is probably the longest of the, the trio, I'm assuming. What do you mean it's not okay to kill them now that it's 1945? We've been doing it for years. Oh god. Tradition. Probably a fallacy of some kind. Wearing a veteran hat for aesthetic is hella cringe, but totally a Hassan thing to do. Well, that was the thing, I didn't have any of the, the understanding that Dev seemed to about why he was doing it. Um, If it was... Because it feels weird about the whole, like... I'm doing it for Stolen Valor, lol. It was just like, huh? I don't get it. Yeah, like, what actually was the point? Because he's so stupid, like, I didn't get an answer. He just restated the issue, but he thought that was an answer. He, he like, maybe if I say the question in my own voice, it will be an answer, I guess was his brain's rationale. Like, you're doing the bad thing. Why? He's like, I'm doing the bad thing. Yeah, I... Like, uh... You lost me on that one. Um, can't sit and watch currently, but I visited my Navy GF again and wanted to share my happiness via money. I hope Wolf is feeling better recently. Well, that's, uh, that's very kind. And I hope your Navy GF is doing well, as well as yourself. Uh, fuck, marry, kill, Buffy, Willow, Xander... I would be uh, marry Buffy. Sorry, yeah, cause hetero. <laughs> but um, marrying Buffy fucking Willow. And to explain why, you you if you've seen the show, oh, you can right. probably infer why. Um, like killing people ah. because hetero is this Batwoman? <laughs> <laughs> Kill the heteros. Um, the thing is, yeah, you know, if 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 it was all girls, I'd probably marry Xander. Like if if he was he was probably a gal. Yeah. yeah I probably would, but he's um, not. So he is not. This is what Snafu gave his life and shackles for. <laughs> poor man, poor Snafu. He's been joined by many at this point. He's got good company now. 
Um, Paul Bernie is Hassan's version of a blow-up doll, pretty much. And um, yeah, and with with that, I'm afraid I I am too dying to continue. Uh, I'm, oh, I think I'm getting there to... too. I'm Same poof. Here. Yeah. I am just pooped. Ugh, we had a a long boy today. Lots of events. Oh. Yeah, we did. We had a. It was a good one. I really enjoyed this. Both this one and last one. Top yeah. tier. Highest of caliber. All kinds of things to happen. Hope well, people will. Uh, I remember with the start of the stream, some people were like, "Oh man, it's nice for Eve have to finally have a strong villain again." <laughs> so something like that instead of like a unified a villain. villain. Yes, yeah, like I think I think what they meant by that is just like a concrete villain or something. I guess I don't know. Yeah, um, he's definitely a villain. He's a horrible person. <laughs> what else have we learned <laughs> from like the two E facts? He's just a. He's a really bad he's person. Terrible person. He's a bad guy. He's just, just a, just an asshole. Um, but it's been fun. And yes, I will. First thing, second, I hit stop stream. I'll upload. What did I, what did we what did, what was the agreed calling it? It was Hassan Pika, Man, of, Man Steel, of Steel, right? Man of Steel. Yeah. So that'll go up on Moolah like instantly. You'll see it within the hour, probably. You can watch all of that fun stuff that we've gone over in these past two EFAPs, I suppose. Then this will be up in a day or two, depending on how quickly YouTube processes it. Which, by the way, lately, YouTube has been very well behaved. I've been uploading them and it hasn't, like, taken a week to process. They just process instantly. And I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. Because I think people have noticed, like, wow, they're coming out a lot quicker usually uh, now than usual. And it's like, yeah, YouTube's been really kind to me with... How long it takes to process. I don't know what happened to them on their end, but they've changed something. Don't change it back is, is how I feel about it. Um, but yes, we've got the the anniversaries coming up now. <clears throat> as well as a couple of surprises here and there in in both the form. Well, you guys know that the Snyder Cut EFAP movies is, is coming. It is a chunky boy. And it's uh, probably the most editing meme has done. Um, up to this point for like a single video, I think. I, I'd have to ask him, I'm not 100% sure. So that's to be excited about. I am Exciting. W working away on a video too. It should be coming. And uh, yeah, well, I guess we'll see you next week on Friday the 13th because Metal's doing a 4K follower celebration -y thing. And I think we're gonna get together with a bunch of people and play some Gothic Phone for a couple of hours. <gasps> EFAP Yay! Gaming, yo. Um, and then, yeah, of course, EFAP 149 on the Saturday. And the week after that, we begin the anniversary stream. Of which, um, the three of us will attempt to run for 24 hours. Three eight-hour streams. Uh, hmm. I think we'll be able to do it. I, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about it. As long as I get my 20 hours of sleep beforehand. <laughs> Wow. I should be able to do it. See, I'm, I'm, my timeline's cursed because I know that I won't be able to get much sleep the night before. So, Maybe. yeah. As long as you take a quick nap in the middle of it, right? We'll allow it. Yeah, I suppose. Um, but that's that. Yeah. Anything else you guys want to say before we head out? No. I'm not um. Good. You know, I think we've said enough. I think, I think we've done our damage. I think we're ready to. I, th I think I'm ready to just collapse. I agree. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us. Thank you for the donations. And we shall see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Toodaloo. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.